Duo Kumite 2024 is about to take place in New York City. Here's what you need to know going into the tournament. Red Bull Kumite features a single elimination bracket, meaning one loss and you're out of there. To up the stakes even further, games are played first to five rather than the usual first to three. So players have more time to adapt and potentially mount a comeback. Oh my goodness. As players battle through the tournament, they'll face tougher and tougher opponents, all while locked in a cage with only one way out. Whoever survives the grueling event will be crowned the Red Bull Kumite 2024 champion. With so much on the line, Every single set at Red Bull Kumite will be as exciting as the last. Who do you think will be able to handle the pressure and take home the prize? Hello everyone, your boy Prodigal Sun here in Times Square for Red Bull Kumite New York, an absolutely mind-blowing extravaganza. And I'm going to be asking people about the color palette. How well can they identify characters just from colors and lines? It's going to be fun. Lines and squares, that's all you got, bro. Tell me, who is that? Which Street Fighter character is that? That looks like Ryu. It looks like Ryu. I'm gonna go with Ryu. Well done. <laughs> Tell me, who do you think that is? Ryu. Ryu. I ain't gonna lie right now. This one cooking me. Yeah? Who, who would you, who's the main character of the old Street Fighters? The main... The protagonist. The protag, Ryu, Ryu Ken. Does he have like a red headband? Ryu does. Yeah. Does he have like oh. a white... <laughs> I'll say uh, Vegeta. Who? Vegeta? Vegeta? Yeah. Bro, this is Street Fighter. Oh. Uh, Who, who's Blanca. that? That's Blanca. Okay. Yeah, yeah. One for one. We're in now, there. We're in now there. We're in. Green like that, that's gotta be Blanca. <laughs> that gotta be Blanca. The color's a bit of a giveaway. There's multiple characters, but based on the top, I'm gonna go with Chun-Li. Street Fighter 6. We're going by Street Fighter 6 colors. So it's gotta be like my known. Let me see, what's the six colors? The original eight, you were on the right track. We're warriors. Alright, so hold on. Who's got blue in the world? Chung Lee, that's Chung Lee. There you yeah, go. That's Chung Lee. That's go. Chung Lee. Who's that? Uh I see a red man, white, yellow, maybe Zangi. Okay. Oh, that was him, I was close. The color Dao code, Dao that was cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? Dawson. I love, the, I love the confidence. Straight away, straight away. Let's go for one more. Who's that? That's Marissa. For Street Fighter 6. Ooh, yeah. nice. I like that. You said that with commitment, yeah, right? Conviction see, behind that. The color, the, the red, the uh, mommy, mommy muscle. Mommy muscle. Begins with M. Marissa. Yes. Yes. Uh, Who's that? Last one. Let's go. I said we lay already. But this is giving me Guile vibes. I need your final answer, bro. What's it gonna be? Jackpot. Jackpot. I do like it. Uh, red top, blue bottom. bottom. I'll go Chun, maybe. Chun? All right. This guy, oh, the yellow hair. I thought the yellow hair would be a giveaway. Uh, all right. Good switch up, good switch up, good switch up. Who is that? For all the money? I think that's Geef. Geef? Final answer? Final answer. He's in there, he's in there. Nice W. It's time for guess the character with L.I. Joe. Now you know the cast very well. Definitely a Street Fighter aficionado. Are you confident here? I hope I am. <laughs> Let's jump straight in, right? right. It's a speed run, bro. Tell right. me, who's that? Real. Yes. Who's Ken. that? Ken. Who's that? Chun-Li. On point. Who's that? Kyle. Marissa. <laughs> Who's that? Luke. Wow, 100%. Keith. Yes. Manon. Oh, my days on a roll, on a roll. Dawson. Let's see if we can get 100%. Honda. Ken. Bro, you said... I said Ken already, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Blanca, I'm pissed. Show's not came, bro. <laughs> Who's that? Can Cammy. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, the Cammy got you, bro. Uh, you know why you were In game me? and out of game. You're rushing me. I know, you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready, man. Next, go, next. <laughs> Alright, I'll take one more. <laughs> you gotta be ready all the time, bro. Yo, that's it. Elijah with one L. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Over and out, guys. Peace. We are here at Red Bull Kumite in New York City, and we still have one more slot up for grabs, and that's what leads us to our top 16 of the LCQ. The fact that we have some of the best players in the world still coming from your respective Kumites as well as Capcom Cup, and we've already had some crazy matches on top of it. And we have so many great players. Like, if you think about the top 16 here, they all could be in the cage. They all actually, that's right? the all beauty. Of them could be in that's there. That's the beauty of this. But we're going to go straight into it right now. That's Just right. The kid Just the up kid. already. And that's right. This guy, v, uh, like V Wisdom, he came from Saudi Arabia for this tournament. Oh, and this Love is like exactly what we're talking about. Hit him with the slow mo. Beast mode, Ooh. baby. Oh. Wisdom calling, coming all the way from Saudi Arabia making top eight winner side. He's literally three matches away from being in Red Bull Kumite. We got more games for you guys. Speaking of, I believe we got two Kevins sitting down, a, a man of two Kevins, and of course, a Capcom Cup finalist. Right. A lot of people's favorite to make it out. Had a lot of love going behind him, but also Flaquito going up right now. Left to right, frame kills all day. Ooh, and this should be enough. Low forward, check your toes. Yep, we got uh, level two. I'm spinning that. Be smooth, uh, baby. Uh, uh, ah, da, 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 da. And that is it. This is going to be a big one. Because, like, we talked about Chris CCH. Like, you know, a lot of people kind of forgot about him, but he is here to play. Yeah, man. He is and here to last play. Last qualifier going up against Uriel Valerio, Ooh. one of my favorite Ken players. Oh, Do you spin oh, it now? Oh, the drop. Combo. Oh. oh, we are playing some games. That is bad oh. plus. Nice oh. block. Oh, they're flinging. Hard to punish the sweep. No, no DP. Okay. I'm back. Valorio is back. Oh, no driving pack. There it is. Good Damn. with punish. Oh. That crouching medium punch. Like Phenom said, Ken is not top five. Yo, pack your bags. We're going to Memphis. Oh, another banger coming up for you guys. JB going oh. up against a West Coast alumni Filipino, man. That's my boy. I love Anton. One of my guys out here. Oh, wow. Sneaky, sneaky, like you said. I told you, bro. He's sneaky with it. That's a perfect on top of and it. And just like that, JB. Mm. Filipino man still has a chance in the loser's bracket uh, with Chung Lee. But I think we have our winners, like the top four players there, right? JB, there's Dual Kevin, That's there's uh, Wisdom from Saudi Arabia, right? So there's, and Chris CCH. That, and Chris CCH. That's, that's, that's our, that's our four person. winners in uh, winners' top eight. That's going to be insane. Hey, let me give you a little lore with this match. Last time I see these two play, Kaba whooped his ass so bad that Tega oh, just had no. no choice but to laugh. He's just like, <laughs> oh no. Yo, you are getting, yo, Tega, listen, let me tell you, you are getting walked down, son. Uh. <laughs> we'll take that. Oh, oh. He, tried to, he tried to style on you. I think he tried to go for the max uh, meter build, huh? No, high enough for the hurricane oh, suit. Oh, that's yes. the end right there. Kaba moving on. Damn, Tega, I, I hate that it had to be you, my brother. We got MJ Gama versus Rain Pro. Okay, Rain Pro, we traveling out here, my boy. Good block. Good block. That was such a difference. Make. That could have been the momentum change right there. Woo! Boom! You just got kicked in the face. Shoes. Rain Pro. That's crazy. Rain Pro and Kaba not in the top eight actually says a lot. Top eight, I mean, now we're in first to three territory. We are having a change. No Luke Mirror match, though. No Duel Luke Kevin with the Rashid. They hit a lot of buttons while <laughs> he he's does. playing. He does. But that was a crazy punish, though. Mm -hmm. Even hey, though that he was He actually, think about that. No, no. That was like a legit punish because he was ready. He bro. was ready for Duel Kevin's accidental input. That's crazy right there. And now, guess what? He's taking the round. Oof. Oof. He's taking the round. Oh. oh. Not, but he has level two now. There it is. Level two time. Back time up. Time to play. Oh, he does a close range. Yep. That's guess we game. He's got level it. three. 
Hold the parry. Bends out the drive. G -G. Reversal. Duel. Kevin takes the set. 3-2 over B. Wisdom. Wow. But B. Wisdom staying alive. Something crazy, bro. Right. It was hard earned. Speaking of matches, we got one coming up. JB going up against Chris CCH. So we're going to see what's going to happen right here. And just like that, what instant, a reaction. Instant check. Uh-oh. This BB. game is opening up now is for Chris a, CCH. Is this a loop game? Next hit for level three, it's going to be level three. Yeah. Oh, Time that's to game. go to work, baby. That's game. Grab your briefcase and your lunch from the fridge. And we're going to Memphis. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Parry that perfect parry. to the corner. Be careful. Yeah, Once yep. again, that level three is on deck. Jump like kick throws and cook it. Cook that it. level three is on deck. And guess what? He got, he blocked it. JB moves on to winner's finals. Yo, one more match. One more match. All right, four players are left. We're fighting for the last spot in the cage. 15 names are already in the arena. It's time to determine who that last name is going to be. We got one of the most improved, informed players in the US right now in JB, rocking that Rashid. All right. And let's not Jewel forget Kevin. his opponent, Jewel Kev JB, as well. JB, a fight for the ages. He's kind of desperately trying to get in. He's getting beaten to the punch. Just continuing where he left off is Jewel Kevin. What? Bro! Me, I'm, I'm guessing, but bloody hell. Logan, what's going on, mate? Somebody slow down. A blow up is what's happening right here. This is a massacre. Jewel Kevin cool, looking to book his place in the cage. Putting himself in grand finals if he wins one more round. Back in the corner. He's almost burnt again. out. He's going to get Jewel burnt Kevin. out. Kevin. Oh, That's a mountain to climb now. Flashes through again. The arms no, we are didn't. perfect. No, we didn't. This kid is on absolute fire. Jewel Kevin with a absolute dominant performance Flawless. puts himself in grand finals with a huge statement the man to beat today Emanuel Villori is going to be staying on the setup because he is going into losers final now against JB Zuru Valorio looking to become a Mexican representative Come on. here at the Red Bull Kumite and he's out the corner. Oh, looking to chase oh, him down. Wow. No, no. One dragon last after that. Now he is in the corner. He he's got, the no, corner. I thought you could do. Oh, oh, oh it's over. He's got the gauge to get the kill. And Uriel Valorio. Woo. Vamos. Despite a valiant defense from JB, he wasn't able to control this wild Mexican Ken. Look at that. Ready for the grand finals. Got to give credit where credit due. He is a bit wild, but he's also very intelligent, very calculated. Duel Kevin out here. All everywhere we go, I feel like we're seeing Duel Kevin put yeah, in that man. work. And now another grand finals that you're sitting at. How are you feeling going into this match? But more importantly, what would it mean to you to get into tomorrow's finals? I, I've competed at Red Bull events, but Kumote is my first time, so it would mean a lot. My first time coming out and showing out to I actually come making and qualify, yeah, it would mean a lot to me. If you can please congratulate him, number one. And then I want to know how he feels about being here in New York at Red Bull Kumite and being in grand finals one game away. Este, pues, He's very siento... happy and honored. He's just trying to have a lot of fun going into the finals. It's going to be a good match, right? Yeah, he's just very joyous that he's here to have this opportunity to play. He's here to just have some fun. One of these players will be getting the chance to walk into that cage. It's either going to be Duel Kevin or Uriel Valerio. Trey, man, this dude, Uriel, lives in the scramble. Punish counter. That was on a jab okay. into level three. My man is nice with it. Yo, uh. you died. <laughs> oh, my God. So this ain't going to be easy for Uriel to keep this, like, offense versus somebody like Duel Kevin. Oh, what a check into level three. That is going to hurt like hell. He's not dead, though. Uh... No, but he's burned out. I think I'm going to call it. What time is it? A quarter to skin. Oh, my God. We backing off? We really going to grind this out for the green? Mm. Got no choice, right? You're trying to, get the, <sighs> trying to get the dub back. It's okay. That One can't. match away for that coveted seed in the finals tomorrow. Red Bull Kumite. So now you got to change it up. He's a character loyalist, Yurio is. So now you got to change it up. Oh, punish. Professional punish. Yep. Oh, it was out there for that long. What a whip punish. Oh, you're dead? He waited oh, his whole time. He waited the whole time, oh, forever for that. Dead? You died? As Yo. he should. Well earned. Yo, my God, Duel Kevin. One round away. 
Oh, what a catch! Is it enough, though? He nah, had a nah, cash nah, out. Nah, 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 he nah. had a cash out. He maxed out the damage. I like that. Oh, my God. The chip out. That's big damage. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Duel Kevin, you will see him tomorrow at the Red Bull Kumite New York City Finals. Give it up for Duel Kevin! What kind of message do you want to send competitors tomorrow? Uh, I mean, I'm just always hungry. Like I said, the only reason why I, I'm here is because I'm hungry. I, I, I wanted to take a break at first, but every loss, every round, every round dropped, every game dropped, like I'm going to be thinking about it, it's going to get me more hungry uh, to stay focused within that set that I lost a round or game. You have your ticket, your fighter car, into the Red Bull Kumite Tournament. Red Bull Kumite 2024 is not like any tournament you've ever seen. Here's what you need to know about the event's unique format. Being an invitational featuring 16 of the best players in the world, there is no seating for this event. Players' lives are represented by a fighter card, which are drawn at random at the beginning of the event. After all fighter cards are drawn, the bracket will be set. Once a player is defeated, they are out for good and they must relinquish their fighter call. Whoever makes it to the end of the event with their fighter court intact will be crowned the Red Bull Kumite champion. What matchups do you want to see drawn at Red Bull Kumite? Oh, we got a lot going down this weekend, but today we're going to see a lot of action because we have two spots up for grabs for our finals on Sunday, starting with the play-ins, where we have eight players who have qualified at previous events to be here and try to claim that spot. And what a pleasure it is to be in the mecca of fighting games here in New York. So much history, so many champions have already come out of New York, and of course we're gonna crown another Red Bull Kumite champion this very weekend. This is a, sort of a new game after that Capcom Cup. Want to see how firm of a grasp the players have on yeah. those little nuanced changes for their characters. China, of course, has been riding out with Kimberly from day one. He won one of the very first tournaments in Street Fighter VI. Ken, of course, didn't receive a significant number of changes in that sort of half balance patch to make him any less dangerous when it comes to the corner pressure. Well, the timing, I mean, you're going to see this from Rikichi as well. He's fantastic with his execution. All the way across. Oh, the yeah, overhead, overhead. He's like, take some of this medicine yourself and the There's trade. the trade combo. Shine, one more sequence is all he needs. Oh. And that's going to be it. Shine closes out a big 3 0 win here on home turf to advance. On winner's side, Kimberly with the win. Ryukichi, a sound 3-0 defeat. A big statement there for NYC here as we open up the Red Bull Kumite broadcast. It's time for our next matchup. We and got? we have got the young prodigy himself, Jen, up against Noah the prodigy. He is one of the... Let's the, keep it. We could see what happens when you are raised in the community, birthed into the cradle of the FGC. What a PP, perfect parry. Push the corner, still Steen didn't get that drive gauge. Ooh. And that oh, is what wow, he exactly what? he wanted. Noah burning out his opponent. Oh, wow. Pixels left. Medium gets the job done. Just the audacity of Noah, and that should be able to even it up as we go to a full round, full set between these two young Fitting players. Fitting to see this back and forth set going all the way to the final, final round. Chasing him down. You do not get out of this corner for free. Trade what combo. a trade on the overhead. Saving the resources. Couldn't kill with it. Great jump angle, but he's going to kill now with the level three. The big pop off from Noah on the stage. Respect to Shen Shon, daps him up, and Noah advances. Is the mic Minnesota. picking up the audio from the entourage? All I hear is Noah's corner going bananas. Let's get into our next one because uh, on stage we have Kusanagi representing France, one of two European players here, along with Garnet from Italy. He's going up against Space Boy, who uh, you know is definitely. Uh, a, a fan favorite. Perfect parry, though. Oh, what and a reset! reset. <laughs> My God, Kusanagi. 
with the set point here, not being put off. Oh my god. The boy from outer space, he's getting beat he's up He's gonna here. be riding that worm into the next round. He is not Play the, the music. Timothy Chamelet that we needed. Valiant performance from Space Boy. He'll go down to lose his bracket, but it's Kusanagi who advances, representing for France. This is our last round one matchup in this play-in. I think people here are stateside, perhaps a bit more familiar with a Nephew. Again, no stranger to... Massively, and I would not blame them at all. Tell no, me, although Garnet has been very, very active competing. And there is a tall order, a Nephew in the fuzzy onesie. I'm really happy to see a lot of the juries utilizing this uh, level two a lot more as well. It's such a great pressure tool. Especially against a character that doesn't have a true reversal wake up. What oh! a punish! The system mechanics conspiring against Dalsim, the oh. punish counter throw, and Nephew tosses Garnet down into the loser's bracket of this play-in. Of course, Nephew getting that new sponsor. So he also does have uh, you know, some of those expectations to fill, and he delivered greatly on those. Uh, a fantastic uh, first round of matches there. Whoever wins this one gets into the main event. Exactly. But the thing is, there's no seating. Mr. Shine, of course, taking out Yukichi Yo, in a 3 0 fashion. Convincing fashion, like serious, on yeah. fire right now. <laughs> this is for, for, all, for all the buckets, all the beans to get into the Sunday. These guys are playing both in winner's side. USA with a great showing so far, taking out two very strong Asian players. And it's going to be USA v USA with Noah the Prodigy taking on New York's very own. Yeah, New York, uh, Noah the Prodigy, of course, coming from Southern California. And so, yeah, we're talking about Noah the Prodigy here, but he is having some trouble dealing with this Kimberly. Level three, wake up, it's not the right choice. Parry's out. Level two, is that going to be able to that kill be it. One more, one more bar. Oh, no, one, he's going to yeah, go for the into le level yeah. two. There you go, it's Shine. 3-0 over Noah and wow. coming up here right now, we've got Kusanagi going Ooh, up speaking against of Paris. and now newly signed to Team Liquid. Liquid Ooh. Nephew coming up here. Well, wait, wait, when you're wait, 11 wait, years wait, old, wait, that wait, character wait, makes wait. sense. Why is Nephew going with some Ed oh, here? Oh, damn. We don't have a jury? Oh, oh just we're going to see jury, chip. baby. Yeah. We might be seeing jury earlier than we thought. Mm. God damn, Kusanagi absolutely going to town. So he's like, you That's know what? I don't like anything that happened in that last game. <laughs> oh no, DP. Ooh. Oh man, connect. I think that should be it. The level three's gonna come in time. Oh my goodness, there you have it. Kusanagi is gonna go out of there. It is Nephew bringing it back from 2-1 down and taking out Kusanagi into the loser's bracket. We have one of New York's finest right to my left, who is now in the grand finals. One match away from making it into tomorrow's Red Bull Kumite New York finals. My man, Shine, oh, give it up for Shine. For you. Well, you know, nephew, sitting comfy, but how confident are you right now after the previous set you played with Shine? Uh, I mean, I feel pretty good if I can just play as good as I did in the winter side set, but I feel like Shine has a big advantage because he's from New York and we're in New York, so it's kind of not very fair, um, but I'll do my best. I want the dirtiest, cheapest, most disrespectful gameplay you can possibly bust out in this grand final. Whoever wins Talk this becomes part of the curtain call, which yes. is the finals on Sunday. That's pretty prestigious, man. Mm. Offense. We are side killing, nephew. killing frames into counter hits. That's what it's all about right now for nephew. Ooh, loving the spacing with the plasma. Mm, the latex. See, that's Ooh, I'm waiting on it. Nice whip on his nephew with the perfect on top of it. Hold on. Oh, looking for the shimmy. But we walk Ooh, back. Bless with the walk speed, huh? Stand me the ums. So you got to bless the toes first if you really want to walk uh, them down. Oh. Mm. Nice Sh confirm your shine. Too old, close. Close to the reset right now. New York getting louder and louder. It's, it's nephew iced. He was waiting a little too long for the grand finals, right? That is a thing. Yo, I'm out. I ain't dealing oh. with none of this. Crouch strong to interrupt. Wow. Okay, Shine. Nephew goes straight into level two. Look at this, dude. Gonna get corner to corner. That was genius. Oh, yeah, that for the was pop so up. smart. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Off oh, of the Magic series just to get that burnout. Very nice. This is tough. Shine does have me to play with, however, defensively to get out the corner, so it's cool. Finish the string. 
He's almost home. He's almost home. He's almost home to the green. Oh, oh was it ready? He has so much ball, but sneaky. again, he just don't know what he's going to do. One round away from a reset for Sean. Fourth throw. Oh, no. I'm close. Ooh, I respect that. Get off yeah, of me. You got to no. do something. Keep him honest, yeah. nephew. All right. What are we going to do? Stock ups? No. No nope, uh, throw. Uh. Yo, the double drive rush spinning it all gets the punish counter on the throw. Man, the double drive rush all took for the purpose to catch that sticking button out, right? For the check, yeah. for the check attempt. All right, nephew, tie this up. Okay, nephew ties up the set. He's like, I don't want the reset. We trying to get, we trying to catch the ticket right now. Oh, oh the overhead, red. good block, oh, and the parry. Perfection. But, but we lost the combo. Shine ready in the scramble. He cannot lose another round if he wants a reset shot. Oh, 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 is this it? Is this the crown of champion? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Liquid's nephew will be going to the main event on Sunday. Give it up for your champion, y'all. That one was definitely close, but you clutched it up. What words do you want to all the competitors for tomorrow? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm playing pretty good, so they just got to be ready for me. There's no other juries, so I don't think they were preparing for that. Well, nephew, officially, you get this fighter card. You have the honor now of competing in Red Bull Kumite. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, can we make some noise for the one and only Dark Liquid Nephew! Red Bull Kumite 2024 is about to take place in New York. Here's what you need to know going into the tournament. Red Bull Kumite is a tournament featuring 16 of the best players in the world. 14 players are invited based on their ranking and recent tournament results. While two players have a chance to qualify through the Red Bull Kumite play-in tournament and last chance qualifier. The play-in tournament features the top eight finalists from the Red Bull Kumite World Qualifier Campaign, featuring players from the United States, France, Italy, and Japan. These eight contestants will enter a double elimination bracket with the winner earning one of the final two spots. Then, rounding out day one of Red Bull Kumite, the last chance qualifier will be taking place. 256 entrants will enter a double elimination tournament with the winner earning the second and final spot on the Kumite roster. Who do you want to see holding the trophy? Street Fighter 6. The ultimate battle for New York is about to begin. Big Bird, Punk, Mana, R.D., Gachikun, Chris Wong, Ida, Hibiki the Beast, Lashar, Broski, Mr. Crimson, Bontan, Oil King. Tokido, Knuckle Do. 16 players Red Bull Kumite, New York. Girl on Wall Street spells my name, man. My whole life been doing the same thing. Wrecking mics, my songs, the crowd sing. It's that concrete energy, leveled up ambition in the battle, claim victory. Surgical precision when I'm chopping down enemies. Certified gangsta only wins in my memory.
It's time. Time to summon the 16 strongest fighters from around the world to go to war right here in Brooklyn, New York. Battle King, are you talking about an underground brawl? Uh, a modern day coliseum? Exactly. The Red Bull Kumite is our world, our battleground. It's not for the weak. Each fighter will receive a unique fighter card. And if they lose, they return it to me. Eliminated. Game over. GG, just like that? It's done. And by the time all of the chaos has concluded, there will be one warrior standing. And that fighter will be awarded with the God Hand. God Hand? What is that exactly? <laughs> it's the most coveted trophy in the world. It harnesses all of the skills of the fallen warriors and gives them to the Red Bull Kumite champion. And that is why I'm holding this tournament, to find the best fighter in the world. I'll spread the word, Battle King. The warriors will come. The streets will echo with the sounds of their battles. Summoning you to Red Bull Kumite, New York. Bring your fiercest, bring your baddest, and defend your honor in the legendary tournament. New York City, welcome to We are here in one of the meccas of the fighting game community. It's birth legends such as Eddie Lee, IFC Yipes, Sanford Kelly, Justin Wong, the list goes on. How many years, how many hours have we watched Chinatown Fair, NLBC, you name it. And now, finally, Red Bull Kumite is right here in the Mecca. Tonight, we add another chapter to the story history that is the New York fighting game community.
the God. Mr. Crimson. The newly Team Liquid Nephew.
<laughs> it's time. of Red Bull Kumite is we don't care what you've done outside of the cage. There is no pecking order, no seeding. The third rule of Red Bull Kumite is your fighter card represents your life. So fight like it. If you lose, you burn it. The final rule of Red Bull Kumite is whoever you are, if I pull your cord, you fight immediately. Now that we officially have our ground rule set for Red Bull Kumite, I think that we need to know exactly how the draw is gonna work. All right, so we cooked up something very special for this year's Red Bull Kumite here in New York. So within this briefcase, we have every single player's card. We're going to pick player one, then we're going to pick player two, and that is going to be match number one. Why did you stop there? That's only match one. What about the rest of the matches? Don't we have to draw the entire bracket? We will not draw match two until match one is complete. <laughs> Joe, you never cease to amaze me. I could not let you down this year, so the players will not know what they're getting into until they're actually getting into it. Well, Joe, I want to make sure that Red Bull Kumite is a fair fight, even though it is not for the weak. I don't think either of us have innocent hands, so we need to bring somebody up here that can help us with this draw. I know just the person. Z, we need you. Draw our first match. Persia in the back. Let us know how our Kumite fighters are feeling right now. Well, everyone's locked and loaded. They're waiting to figure out who's stepping up first. Y'all ready to fight? Yeah. All right, I think it's time. Let's get it started. I know that's not fear that I smell right there, gentlemen. I hope that's not a little bit of trepidation. It better not be. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to pull our first competitor? First, maybe we should do something just to show everyone that this is indeed random. Z, if you can do us all a favor, please shuffle this deck. Okay. We play no favorites here at Red Bull Kumite. We just want the smoke. We just want to see the best of the best come out on top. Everything shuffled up, facing the same direction. Red Bull Kumite is not like any other shows. You heard it at the top. No seeding. These players have no ideas. You're dastardly, Joe. I can't believe it. These players have a whole idea. They need to be prepared for every one of each other. There is no working or understanding your opponent here. This is on the fly knowledge. Okay, Z, I think we're ready for our first one. Who is it going to be? Who do we got? Wow. And actually, we have our play-in champion, Liquid Nephew Persia. Bring me 
my fighter. Say less. It's your time, nephew. You don't want to miss your cab because we need you over there. So get your stuff. Let's go. I always describe my fighting style as uh, slightly aggressive with a focus on neutral. Oh, wow. That exchange is kind of crazy. Get, get, get off of me. You got to do something. Keep them honest, nephew. My toughest matchup was probably Shine in Grand Finals. Um, like, I feel like he played a lot better with the Kimberly. Like, he's not as comfortable with Chun-Li, even though it's a better matchup, I guess. That Don't. is definitely enough. Do we have uh, enough? Uh, yes, uh, it is. Yo, Shine, a couple times, he's done this. Oh, wake up. Oh, is this it? Is this the crown of champions? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Liquid's nephew will be going to the main event on Sunday. Give it up for your champion, y'all. He has his fight card, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for Nephew! And this is the player to actually reverse the, the sponsor curse. For years, somebody get a new sponsor and they get smoked at the next Not tournament. this time, not at Rebel Kumite, New York, baby, not here. That man is built different, immediately goes ahead and wins the play in. It has to play first, but who is his opponent going to be? Z, let's find out. Complete random. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Show the people. The stars have aligned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stars have aligned. Right. Persia. Please, bring us our fighter. You ready to represent for New York City, Aydam? How you feeling? Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. Always gotta keep the confidence up. All right, well, we're ready to see it. Don't miss that taxi. <laughs> My name is Aydam and I am from Queens, New York. This is like the first time where I'm actually the hometown favorite. So it feels like kind of surreal. You know, the New York FCC is cut through. They've kind of made me the player I am today and I'm thankful for it. The East Coast has always been known for lame and turtley play and the West Coast has been made for rush down. But you know, you do what's best for your chances to win. You just adapt both play styles. Like obviously I can play lame when I need to, but I also believe in the, you know, just mold the opponent and rush it down. Whatever gets you the fastest victory. I'm the person nobody wants to play. Cause you know, I have the hometown and advantage and also I'm, I'm playing a character nobody really knows how to fight against because no one really plays her. Winning Akumite is like really important and it like builds confidence, especially with Street Fighter VI and being a new game and all. Please welcome New York City's As you know, we got New York City's own Aydan, who was fierce in the Street Fighter V scene. And now he's here at Red Bull Kumite, New York, representing his hometown. This is a Capcom Cup champion. We seen him with the lower back then, and right now, the Manon is just as nasty. Aydan versus Nephew as our first match, that is absolute insanity. As I said before, the stars have aligned here at Rebel Kumite, New York, and this is what this event is all about. We do not get things like this at any other FGC event anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially have our first match, and we're gonna send things over to our casters to get things started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Bull Kumite NYC. And what a pleasure it is to be on this desk. It feels right to be at Akumite again with my guy, Let's Edward, go. Let's and go. to be in New York with the heart and soul, Woo. IFC. Yikes! Come on. Come on. Yeah, listen, listen. Come on. I appreciate the intro, Logan. You're one of the best in the business. F word, it's a pleasure that I'm Let's getting to do this with one of the best dudes do in the business. But look, bro. New York City for the one time. Make some noises in our backyard, Ooh. man. We don't get to see this every day. This is an offline event, and this is what we build the foundation of the FGC. 
I'm loving it, and I'm here to see it play out. What do we think about this first round? We know it's completely random, so anything can happen, and anything did happen. The hometown hero, Idom, first in, and he's going up against Nephew, qualified in the play-ins, looking very, very strong. He's obviously got the power up of the brand new sponsor, and he's going to want to put on a big performance. But how do these two usually go when they face head to head? Well, I've seen them play the can open multiple times. You know, we've been more on the online stuff. That's why it's so cool that we're back on the offline, right? Oh, but yes, we I would say again. Nephew kind of edges it out, but it's a little bit back and forth still. Like, I've seen uh, Idon beat Nephew before as well, but I think it's more in favor of Nephew. So, this is going to be interesting to see them go head to head offline. I mean, they've been playing in the back all day. You know, they probably don't even expect that they're going to pull those cards right and play mm. each other. This is it, man. This so, yeah. This is going to be cool. And that's the beautiful thing about this format. There's no point like holding back. You're going to have to play anybody, anybody. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to get through the strongest fighters uh, to make it. We talk about uh, Idom's run, though. Obviously, uh, yeah. You know, 2019, he was the Capcom Cup champion using that lower in Street Fighter V. But like many of the grappler users that have transitioned into Street Fighter VI, mm -hmm. they haven't really gelled that well with Manon. A few uh, players have moved off of the character entirely, but we still see Idon putting in that work. How do you feel about uh, her place at the moment? I mean, I don't want to be too harsh. I mean, the character is a very slickly designed, very mm. unique, very stylish character, very fun to use. But if you're trying to win, she's not necessarily the character you go for. Her strength is, you know, the system doesn't favor her in many ways. But if there's one player in the world who can take a character that everyone else has written off and make them relevant again, it's this kid. And what a time to do it, Logan, here on home soil in New York, New York Yo, City. I just want to shout out Idom as well. He actually made the effort to get his hair done properly for today <laughs> okay. to match the player card. Come on. That is attention to detail. Is he going to have the attention to detail in this matchup, though? The mind game's maxed out. Yo, shout out Red Bull with the rapid turnaround on the nephew card, man. Look at that, man. Jeez. I'm a, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm a little off with the smack talk on nephew, but I'll take it. It should have just been zero, to be real <laughs> with you. But it is what it is, though. You know, uh, just, just his demeanor, the way he plays and represents his play style, it, it's just talking smack for him if you really pay attention, you know what I mean? Like, you could be like, hey, man, good games. It just gives you that depth stare, like, yeah, whatever, man. Like, he's that, he's that, he's that type of guy, you know? So. He does it in his own way, doesn't he? Yeah. So I've tried to get a lot of words out of him. You won't get success with that, but you will on the screen, man. All right. Time. We have waited long enough to get into our first match. It's nothing but action now. Let's go back into the cage. Come on, guys. With the Battle King. Come on. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like our fighters are ready. But more importantly, I need to make sure that this New York City crowd is ready for what's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the first match of Red Bull Kumite is upon us. Are you ready? <laughs> fighters, Adam, nephew, let's begin. All right, of course, these are all long form sets as well. This ain't first to two. This is best of nine the whole mm -hmm. way through, ladies and gentlemen. So we will be determining who is the strongest fighter in the strongest format single elimination. Mm, that is some of the best, man. But I mean, you got no excuses. You got that many games to adapt. Why not? We all love a good old fashioned long set. So let's see how this plays out. How do you feel that benefits sort of Idom's play style, being able to think, you know, feel out his opponent, look for those patterns, look for those gaps, and take advantage of those big damage command grabs? Well, I mean, uh, you know, just uh, just to touch up on what Edward said, he is really good at the playing those characters that are underrepresented, but he's just so good at conditioning. He takes his time. Anything with a command throw character in Idom's hand, he's going to take it's sweet old time to just land and condition up, uh, accordingly. There we go. The pressure is on. This is both uh, collecting data. I mean, they were oh, playing the other day, but it might be a little different God today. damn. Straight away with the confirm there. Nice. Ooh, check that, okay. Level one, don't two, but that is, there we go. Mm. Is that roundhouse? Gotta watch out for the random DIs with that. Another thing that makes her weak, but such a good normal if they're not looking for that. Yeah, low And again, oh uh, yeah, he was anticipating something didn't come. Oh, Burns himself out. It's a good situation for Adam if he can get going. That's too close. Gets the punish. Goes in. Buttons. Adam with momentum here. Just waits for the level one there. Expected a super. It didn't come. Wake up medium. From nephew. He's in the corner. Oh, oh, back. That's level one. The reactions. Ready. That man is good. That boy good. And he still got That's the lead. Get a meeting out. Oh, what a time. And what a great time to let that off. First round in the first game. We're going all the way to first to five, so it's great to set the pace oh, wow, that with those reversals early on. Oh, you saw that entire hand? <laughs> yeah, right. Look at little cheesy cheese. Already the commando. Three medallions for the stallion. Oh, the perfection parry, the Kurt Headings. Very nice. 
Pinwheel, knock down, what's it gonna be? No open up, we take the throw gladly. It's a little bit of uh, extra credit there with the punish counter for sure. Well, I respect that level one with the side. Oh, what a choice. He uses the OD command grab instead. Gets to level four with that. Oh no, too close, that was a buffer, not a confirm. Massive drop there, and I'm gonna see Feng Shui engine kick out now. Yeah, Danger oh, sign here for Adam, and he's in burn burnout. Oh, everything connects. Okay, already first blood. Wow. For the boy Nephew. Nephew, pulling into the lead. Okay, here we go. It's all right, first to nine, guys, this is nothing. It's <laughs> best of nine. First of nine. First of nine, first of nine. First of nine. we'll take first to nine, week, my guy. Make it first to nine, I'll take it. That's a single you elimination. You best of nine, you're right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with it, that's how locked in I'm on on a match. Yo. I don't even know the time zone anymore. Don't check out jet lag though. Not even, huh? Been nah, a couple nah, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> feel that. Eight hours for me, but it's nothing. <laughs> You're traveling too long, bro. <laughs> All right, media level one. I like that. Set the tone, and we in the corner. Oh, Good block. overhead block. Needs to be wary, though. That was unsafe. Very yeah, he got it. To drive the impact we saw. Great uh, range on that stand short. Wow, he didn't want to spend it. Okay. Confident in the punish. Ankles. He's got four medallions. Toes. So four medals, and he's got the round. That's a massive situation there for... Oh, oh big jumping! Oh, my uh -oh. Word. Mental stack begins right here. Oh, don't get grabbed! Oh, oh my oh, goodness, no. it was too obvious. Man, you know, it's a rare thing to see a neutral jump. Everybody jumps back right on the That's when you know, right? Yeah. That's when you know for sure. Yeah, there's no point. If you if you believe the command grab's coming, you want that damage. Perfect parry. Oh, level that's five. five. Uh -oh. Even scaled, that still does big damage. Aye, aye, aye. Wake wow. up, crash. Medium punch, though, from Nephew. Sniping out the staggers. Oh, oh, throw Luffy. loops. It's what's the oh. breakfast! Hold oh. <laughs> right, Reed. <laughs> yeah, it's Logan. I feel like Idom's got off to a good start every single round, but the clutch has been in the favor of Nephew so far. Well, he's still got a huge uphill battle, right? Because those five medals are there, and every time you're getting scooped, that's three and a half K. That's like a level three of its own. Oh my god, and he's again, he every holds single north, time. And he cashes out the big damage here into the Feng Shui for the corner carry. He's going to get, get burnout. got to be careful. He blocks now. Yeah, it's going to be burnout. Burn yep. There's no way of avoiding that. 50, 50 no, oh, he missed oh, wow. it. He missed oh, it, and he no. punished as well. Idol's back in this round. Idol actually ducked in time to avoid that. Oh, no. Oh, very nice. Command throw? No, we out Delayed back jump. Adam has managed to survive that horrible situation. Yeah, Adam looking for this bailout, getting back in the green. We out of there. Just waiting for that bar to come back. Yeah, and here it comes. Oh, oh he gets hit. Adam oh, finally he gets hit by the overhead. That drive oh, rush no. overhead. nephew has been showing it all set and finally it hits. There he no, is. No, it's not going to happen. We're going to go to a 2 0 lead here for Liquid Nephew. And for Adam, the uphill battle continues. Just. Just didn't have the reach. Look, it could have gone either way. If you're playing a command grab character, you could have kept the string, you could have gone for the stand strong. He just happened to know every time you were going to do a grab. What can he do differently here, Yikes? That's the mind jam. Well, I feel like he's, I mean, it's not bad. Again, it's a, it's a best of nine, right? Exactly, yeah. First so, of five. so it's more so uh, how is he going to condition him early on to stop him from jumping, right? So I'm going to say uh, just throw a little bit more uh, And he's not back in with the Manon. There's no, no character change. No, he's been no, playing just taking around. Yeah, just taking his time. We have seen the, the JP come there out you go. on the occasion, so. Yeah. But we're staking out with the Manon. There's still many more games to go. I want to see the legs get clipped a little more. Oh, that was nice. beautiful with punish. All right, the aggressor is Idom. Quick knockdown, of course. Ooh. Just got to keep it a bit safer, I think, for Idom. You know, you don't have to actually start command grabbing in a long set. Get your opponent comfortable with the strings, then throw them in. Exactly. Big gambles, but you know, it pays out, right? It's Manon. It's all, it's all. Yeah, that's true. You know, it, it, uh, who am I to tell a guy? A command grab <laughs> character like Idom. That's play a command grab character. Here we go. Regular throws? No, we're looking for a little Oh, throw. that oh, works the, out. The Plus on win. Trap. <laughs> oh, what? Are you know block. what? He does play more. All right, here we go. Oh, it hit. Oh, I think the freeze frame messed him up there. He probably went for a last minute parry, yeah, last minute block. That's still in there, bro. That, that kills you when that happens that's and suddenly the fireball hit. Good call. Oh. Shout out to the guard players. Still eating off that one. <laughs> Put the information out there. Nobody know, though. Uh. Oh, that looked close enough for a stand short. Nice. This time he does yeah, get that it. Would have definitely reached. Yeah. Okay, I'm adding a medallion. This is looking dangerous. Target combo for the whip one. If you're just feeling the temperature right just here. Just fishing. Thank God she came two on one up. Oh, wow. I'm so ready to anti here. The one jumping we've seen. Oh, the oh, angle's oh, worked the out. Find it. He's, he's trying to get away. Keep them strings tight. Go for the legs. For dessert. Oh, bad mm. jumping. Well scouted out there by Nephew. Trade All hit. Trade, too close again. No, we'll get punished. Punish. There we go. Level three. It's over. Oh, we're going to spend it. No, we got spend it. Two. All yeah. right, we're nice going, optimal. Going to the next game, a little All bit of right. cash here. And the crowd's liking that one. As 
as we go into the final round. Three medals up. And ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen Manon live in a top eight before, every time she gets that medal up, I want to hear that number shouted out. Let's take it back to the CEO. Okay, I got you. That. I like that. that I like that. that. You that hear me, people? Hard. I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We got enough games to get that chart. Four! Four! Come on. Oh, Max Distance overhead. Oh, blocks the overhead again. Getting a bit too predictable. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no! Oh, he wanted max damage, he didn't walk back enough. That would have been the round. I think he would have done so much damage and got to level two. He gets the punish again, though. Knocked out, what's it going to be on the wake up? Got to watch out for that, that burnout. Mm. Feng Shui is there if he does get burnt out. Standing short, he burns himself out. He's going to get punished oh, in the corner. No. It's going to be the Feng Shui, like I called. This Hugely be, bad situation there for Idom. This is going to be like a, a two touch situation still, depending on the opener. Oh! He's trying to challenge oh, level one. Good two, blocks. Maybe. He's getting Marvel Wake Up Buns, gets the trade here. Everything's working out for Nephew here. There we go, we no. out of it. Does he get out of no, time? No, no, he's no, not, no, no. Big punish, big punish, big punish. punish. And no. Oh, too far. Oh, he gets the hit he's anyway. He's going to get, get chipped. Run! Run! Oh, my God. I, I, ah! Oh, <laughs> the double dash for no. what? I don't know if it was like a hard read on a back dash or just trying to meet him in the middle, you know what I'm saying, on the all fights, but that was uh, very unfortunate. Unless, of course, he read it wrong and he was about to get the drive gauge, right? I mean, two massive errors there for Idol. First, he missed the max damage combo, which would have been Didn't huge. Walk back just far Didn't walk back and you're far right. enough. He had the drive gates to extend it as well. And would have got to level two, I reckon. I think he would have killed there. And then also went for the wake, wake up in the corner and just put him, burnt himself out. Mm, good block in the overhead once again. We it's been that so good at that, but the reward has been non-existent, you That is true. No real confirms right off a low forward or uh, anything, so it has to be off the stagger string, started from the strong. Or the nice drag. check. Command throw. No, not even. Man, good defense from Nephew, man. He's like at those ranges where you can kind of see if there's a command throw or not. His reads have been just ridiculously good. 3-0 up here. And if you're looking at Idom, the last time he played in the Rebel Kumite, it wasn't good either. Needs to banish that curse here. But, but Nephew's got other plans. Last time, the third the third was the shimmy, and you see that time Idom pressing buttons, getting counter hit with the third throw off the loops. And now he's sitting still. He's just got the read on him. Patiently blocks it out, oh, gets the delay count here. Here comes the point joy again. Oh no, it's time to guess. What's the hypothesis here? Wake Buttons, up, Buttons. Nice. I know it's known for that for any game that he plays, man. He don't believe in your offense unless it's really calling. But this is nephew we're talking about here. Oh, oh Mr. Whip punish and go with punish for it. Get off of me. Another Finally gets right, at last hits. he gets it. Elegant, smooth. He's been guessing wrong on Wake Up a lot, guys. Finally gets one right. Can he take some encouragement, some momentum from that? You don't want to go 4 0 down here. Oh no, oh, no the angle. And he wins the scramble again. Back of the throw. Big life lead here for Nephew. If he goes 4 0 up, this is going to be an almost insurmountable oh, let's go mountain. Right. Oh, he takes to again. Nice anti as always. He set him up. He sized him up for that one. Oh, delay throw. This could be the end. And it's going to be a 4 0 lead for Nephew in the hometown. Boy, has it all to do now. Idom is looking at two back to back 5 0 defeats first round at yes, Red Bull exactly. It happened that just like that last time, huh? Yeah, Problem X. Problem X with, with the Lily, Lily last time. In South Africa. That is facts. Oh, I was just about to suggest that. Go to the character select screen, take a breather. Yeah. It's all good. The people are behind you, Aydan. I'll, that, tell you so I'll tell you something, Yabs. What's you up, You mentioned brother? earlier, someone else was it you that asked me, Logan, earlier about Manon and the relevance yeah, of the character right. and the strength of the character. If he's able, and it's a big if, but if he's able to bring this back with that character, that's going to be one hell of a statement. I mean, uh, crowd, get behind him. That's right. It's a lot to ask for. It's too many, uh, what I like to say, it's too many uh, gambles and big bets. And Nephew is the one who's getting paid out the most, to be honest with you. Woo! That got a neutral jump. That's good presence of mind. That means he's awoke. I think those are the warm up matches. The bus ass, the 4 0. He's, he's had a 90% block rate on that overhead, man. So good. Huh. Just not being able to switch the momentum. She's still plus, obviously, anyway. Mm, that that again. again. Oh, wow. Well. All the right reads from Nephew. So confident he doesn't even go for a OD reversal, just straight for the level one. Sweet. Oh, doesn't yeah. work. I don't trying to get a bit unpredictable, and even that's not working out for him. Parry's going to die there for the punish counter, and it's going to be set point to Nephew. Another 5 0. Yes, Glooming yes. over the head Looking of Idom. Very, very bad right now, but Idom looking to pull something back as he takes him to the corner. Two. Let's go. The medallions. Oh, the delay crap. Meet him on wake up. The momentum shifts again. And we're looking for him. Let this and nephew's really good. Oh, where you go in? You can't good jump out of that. Oh, the trade. Looking for the trade conversion. Just too far away. Punishes. That was a proper punish. That's nice back for him. No, oh, man, can I? Should we just close this out? One Definitely. more. Level Idom. two. That's right. Let's get some noise, some momentum back. As Idom saves the first set point here. Come on, Idom. It's going to be a long road back, but he's made the first few steps. Get a breadstick. I don't like the donuts. 
Still set point here to Nephew. Big whiff on that stand medium. Trying to cut down those carbs. Oh, there it is. The private though. That was meaty. Oh. oh. oh there. Here comes the Feng Shui. There's a time to block and a time Button. to guess. A wise man once said. <laughs> He's trying to snipe our driver versus Ooh, now. I see that was that. almost the angle. Almost right. Good blocks. Oh, the delay. Oh, the setup. Looking for the shot. Oh, my oh, goodness. Such a ridiculously good. And he's got still the level alive, alive. one. And he's got the store release as well. This is tough. Just for game. Oh, my God. Free. 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 Oh, oh, oh nephew. nephew. Closes it out. In the first round, proving his playing qualification was justified. An emphatic statement from Liquid's newest member. We say goodbye to New York's own Idom. Another 5-0 defeat from this character, man. Manon. Where do you go from here? Oh, like, 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 you don't want to stay too negative, but a guy with his level of talent, we saw Problem X in a similar situation with Lily, made the change up. Something we can discuss in more detail later, I must say. Well, let's discuss it in more detail in the cage. Throw it back over to the Battle King. Nephew with a dominant performance, yet again, somehow showing that the sponsor curse does not apply to everyone. Congratulations on your first performance. You can go ahead and join the players back in the player lounge. I don't, you performed well, but it was not good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, can we please make some noise for the hometown hero, Excess Idol! Hand over your fighter car to Li Joe. From here, but go back home, please. Ladies and gentlemen, our first match is officially done. We're gonna go ahead and send things back over to our casters. You hate to see it. Yo, you know, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> so, Joe's a great guy. Don't be fooled, okay? But when it comes to fighting games, he's a bit of a jerk, so it's cool. Makes Where sense. Where did you learn sense. that, though? Chinatown fair. Come on. That's right. The Come home. on. The it heart. is what it is, man. The but heart, no, man. just to touch up on what you said, F word, uh, yeah, before we yeah. get to Dr. Rob, um, this doesn't take nothing away from mine, huh? Let's, let's be clear. Absolutely Everybody's not. a killer on that stage. It could go either way, and it's single elimination. Pretty sure in the back of his mind, like, yo, no, I let everybody down, but I'm pretty sure everybody here in New York is still proud of Idom, of course, right? Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Idom is a, is a product of what New York City FGC is all about. Coming in humble, he learned the hard way from the pop-offs to, you know, all the pressure situations, you know what I mean, to get these opportunities to be in the big stage. So for Idom, I'm pretty sure he's going to take it back to the lab. Maybe a character uh, choice just to have something to back up Manon a little more strongly. Yeah. You've seen him working on the JP, so maybe he'll have more confidence down the pipeline with the character. But all in all, I just feel like once... Idom catches his momentum, it's just going to steamroll from there, and we're going to see him a lot more and get those high results. And do you think results. that's going to be, you know, momentum that comes with changes to the character? Does he need to dance around the character, select screen a bit more? What do you think is happening? I feel like he just needs to be more in tune with the game, you know? But we saw his, his biggest success came when he actually got back up for Laura, and then he yeah. won Capcom Cup once he got the poison. So Absolutely. don't drop men on, but maybe add something to it. Well, but we can speculate about it all day, but let's hear from the source directly in the back of that cab. Let's go back over to Z. Idom, you play a character that has medallions. Do you know what a taxi medallion is? No, I never heard of a taxi. You know, I'm, I'm kind of young, so like we don't, we have Ubers, not taxis. You are so young, <laughs> you have never been in an actual New York taxi cab. What does it mean you've heard the legacy of the New York legends coming from the scene? representing the crowd. What does it mean to you to be a fighting game player from this very strong region with a long history? Um, it's kind of refreshing like to know that like 
some of the the strongest players in the world, like Justin, Yipes, Sanford, all the all the old legends. And you know, I'm trying to kind of you know keep the mantle going because like uh, even like Smug with Street Fighter Four, I would say myself with Street Fighter Five. You know, somebody's got to take up the mantle with Six, and hopefully, I can continue the legacy in Six. Speaking of keeping the mantle, you are definitely keeping the Manon flame alive. Tell me, what are your thoughts about character loyalty? You've stuck through the thick and the thin, you're still here. Uh, it's rough. It's rough, kind of, like, uh, seeing, yes, like the, seeing, like, the way I'm playing and, like, kind of, you know, trying to, you know, find my footing still. I still feel like the game's been out for so long, but I still haven't gotten, like, a, a good footing in the game yet. Like, I'm kind of just trying to like try new things and stuff and I still haven't been able to find my footing like I have previously. Well, this is the end of the journey. I'm going to send you home to the, not to the not airport, airport. We can take the <laughs> not the airport. Yep, you have the shortest <laughs> ride here. Let's go back to L.I. Joe and the Boss King. And that is it for New York City's Adam. I'll tell you what. My man was gracious and humble in defeat there. We officially have our first match done. That's crazy, Joe. What you think about that? That's only the first match. We got plenty more to go. We got this entire bracket to fill out. We've only just begun. Joe, you are evil. Do you understand? Not only did you just say something disrespectful to my man Adon when he gave you the car, you made this crazy system where these guys don't even know who they're going to play next. I love it. I needed to actually test their skill. I don't want anybody training, watching match videos, going to YouTube, no. You come out here, you play the guy that's in front of you. You win, you stay, you lose. Go back home, please. Z, I think we need to go ahead and get to our next match. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the second draw? Z, do the honors. Oh my God. Knuckle Dude! It's time. Persia, bring me my player! Let's go, dude. Let's go grab your stuff. You already know you gotta hit the cab. We gotta get into this second match. Y'all, y'all nervous? Y'all nervous to get picked next here? <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Twelve years ago, and so it's like riding a bike. I was usually known for aggressive playstyle, but as I gotten older and have kids, I feel like I'm more reserved lately. <laughs> I always say like I'm not the most execution-heavy player. I'm not the most naturally talented, but I do think I work pretty hard, and my will to win is is really strong. I do have two dollars at home, and I feel like it makes me want to work harder, but at the same time, it puts more pressure. Now, when it comes to making like high-pressure decision making, it's it's tricky to navigate through that when I'm having my, my kids in, my, in the back of my head. It's actually going to be my first time doing a single elimination. So I'm not anxious or nervous about it. I just want to perform my best. Shopify Rebellions, Knuckle Dude. Do you know how much of a bad man you got to be to make it out of Florida? You know what's going on down there, Joe? That is a bad, bad man in and out of the game. Capcom Cup champion, and he has two keys. Full-time streamer, player, and all that, and family man at the same time. One of the best players in the world. Absolutely. One of the most storied, Knuckle Dude Dang. 100%. Cannot wait to see if he can get to the next round. But we're going to find out very soon when we get our next draw. Z, let's see it. Who we got? I like how Z does it blind, too. Give it to me, Z. He don't want no questions. No confusion. What y'all doing to Knuckle Dude? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Hibiki the Beast. Right, Persia, right. bring me my fighter. Yes, he is on his way, and he's looking determined. So I'm looking forward to this one. My 
、ストリートファイター6のメインキャラクターはリリーです、えー、ネットブルック見ては私は初めての参加ですそうですね僕の秘めたるつ強みはやっぱ僕の使ってるキャ,ラキャラがリリーっていうキャラなんですけどコマンド投げがあるんですね、まあ、対応してその相手の動きに合わせて自分の動きも変えて勝ちたいなと思ってます、まあ、誰がっていうわけではないんですけど、まあ、せっかく日本からニューヨークまで来たので日本人以外と対戦したいなとは思ってます日本はとても格闘ゲームのレベルが高いんですけど、まあ、その中で、えー、かなりいい環境でトレーニングできてあの世界に通用すると思うんで、えー、自信を持ってきました。And there he is, the man himself hailing from Japan, Habiki the Beast. Don't get it confused because he's a nice guy. Oh no, this man is a savage without a shadow of a doubt. The best Street Fighter VI Lily player that there is. Imagine that, a Lily player. That's something that we just don't really see. In Street Fighter 6 right now, bro. A Lily, that's crazy. And I know all of the low tier warriors at home are extremely hyped up to see this match.、Uh, you know what? I don't think that she actually is that low tier. I don't think so. Okay, But I know,、okay. you know what? Hibiki's gonna prove it right here, right now, Red Bull Kumite, New York. Okay, with that being said, I think it is time for us to go ahead and get into this. Let's send it over to our casters. All right. You know, every time Kumite l o v e to invite some of those character specialists, and we have a man who I don't believe has actually stepped out of Japan offline in Street Fighter VI as of yet. Is this the first time we've seen Hibiki? He was at the LCQ. Of course, he was. Well, I don't want to run at the LCQ. Actually, 2 0 up against Kakura. Just... Oh, yeah, of course, he finished top eight. That's right, that's right. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rare appearance then of Hibiki. He doesn't travel much. Yeah, exactly, exactly.、Uh, um, absolute monster online with a character that you know a lot about, of course. I mean, I don't know how I ended up playing this character, to be honest. I was fiddling around in the game when it first came out. It's just kind of stuck with me. I, I agree a little bit with L.I. Joe. At the end of the day, a low tier character isn't an irrelevant character、mm. in this game because it's quite fairly balanced, but she's definitely stronger than people give her credit for. And she's also. The risk reward when you start playing a certain way is actually stupid high. This matchup, though, is one I'd rather not play personally, but if there's one、uh, Lily player I've seen make this matchup look 5 5, it's this guy. So, what makes it interesting in this matchup is, you know, obviously、uh, Lily's strong point is to get space, get the win stocks, right? But obviously, you could kind of navigate through that and just put the pressure on and just walk forward to, you know, kind of eliminate that, right? And keep、with、the, the booms on the screen as yeah, well, especially the, the charged up EX, I mean. Right, right. So, character, of course, is to touch that up like Guile. Who could just set the tone with Sonic Booms that walk forward? This is going to be pretty tough for Hibiki. But again, I've never seen this matchup before played at the highest level. And again, this is Red Bull Kumite. We get to see and have a privilege to see these players who never get a chance to really play on the offline side of things. This is a treat for us. I'll tell you what, on, in, in Hibiki's favor, is he plays against Daikoku. He plays against、uh, Higuchi. Higuchi a ton, and it goes back and forth. Knuckle Dude's Lily experience is going to be relatively limited versus like, what Hibiki gets to see.、So. Yeah, there's no way to play this matchup at this level. Other than playing Hibiki, right?、Other、this is what, I mean, there's some、You'll、good, there's some good idea, lilies. Like, yeah, yeah, there's some, some good really lilies、ones. in North America, absolutely. But at this level, yeah, he's, like, just, he's, he's gonna be yeah, doing stuff. Different. Like his, his hit confirms the character are one of his biggest assets. Unbelievable.、Yeah. You know what's unbelievable? Knuckle Dude has kids. <laughs> That's kind of crazy to me. Yeah, two of them. Me, that's how it reminds me. See, so you, it's normal because you know that you've been in the game for a while. But、you、he's a lot younger than me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah he started earlier、crazy. than I did. You know what I'm saying? Logan, you next up, brother? Oh, I've never seen him respond to that question like that. Touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go back to the Battle King. I'm coming off this topic. <laughs> we officially, we officially have our second match. Our fighters look ready. But I want to ask you guys one thing. Do you have Hibiki the Beast? Or do you have Knuckle Do? In the end of the day, we are about to find out the time for talking is done. Gentlemen, let's begin. 
Yo, man, shout outs to the Battle King. He's the guy that pretty much uh, hired us to be here today. You know what I mean? Bring, bring all the heralds together. You know together, what, bro? You know? Like, I'm, I'm living in the UK. You know how strange it was when a New York taxi pulled outside my house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine my surprise to see Z in see, those shades. And I'm pretty sure you asked Z, and Z was like, listen, just don't ask no questions. We're going to Red Bull Kumite. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> All right, here we go. Knuckle Blue versus Hibiki. Make some noise, y'all, for the one time. Let's go. All right, we're going to see some shooty right now. Mm. Already in those uncomfortable spots. Wow, Hibiki don't want to be in. Command grab, first seven seconds of the set. Yeah, and actually going into a draft rush cancel off that crouch heavy on block. Sorry, oh, it was hit, actually, to be fair. Man, stuff is happening so fast. I didn't even know that when you got Winstocks. Okay, oh, the flash Matt, kick. straight away, setting the tone for the set. Exactly. Perfect parry just gets punished. Keep them honest. Oh wow, hold it all the way through. Oh, still still my turn. Look at that meter. Watch out straight away to drive for us. Couldn't That's agree a more. Great situation. And a throw. Mm, big payout right there. A lot of meat off of the punish counter. Oh, he's too. gonna burn her out. Oh. Tries the light. Come on, grab it. Doesn't have that much range. You know, I love it. Even though Hibiki's uh, oh, big whip, not punished. Still looking comfortable. Oh no, a little too close. Oh, the crate. <laughs> Finish it. That he's gonna break. We yes. spoke about matchup experience, but what does it matter when you're playing that good? No and loot in there. No exclusive skins. USA chance. Still my turn. In 2024. I know. It's all right, though. You know what? We'll take it. That's <laughs> <laughs> all we got. <laughs> Scoop. There we go. Win stocks already. One in the chamber. Yeah, it's got to be careful with those booms. Nice Scott. That's oh, a big the whip, whip punish. punish. Very nice. Ooh, Again, again straight away with a way to load you know what, but credit to Hibiki though, even though he's getting decked by those flash kicks, he's not slowing down on his offense. Exactly, yeah. which you shouldn't. And you've spoken about this before, Edward, right? Getting sent back to neutral Ooh. for Lily is not really the end of the world for her, Win right? up again. As long as she can get that the wind stock, I think in this matchup it can be very difficult because the booms come on the screen and you can't get wind again. Exactly. He's not been able to land a single command. Oh, what a conversion! Ooh, oh, man! Oh, oh, that's a dead that Lily! To the level three. Oh, get that oh, out oh, of here. Reset! The mid combo reset with an overhead. And Hibiki caught sleeping at the wheel twice. The drive impact into the corner first round. The overhead reset the second time round. And listen, man, this guy's meant to be the online monster. You're getting caught with all of the classics. Unacceptable know? play. Somebody do this, man. Do. <laughs> Let's go. No, but credit to Nugget I like when everybody has the, you know, save it for national tech, right? Even though we've seen it many times from other characters that got overheads, but the fact that he represented that the first round, first game, we're going to see that in the later game as well. I promise you. Yeah, Hibiki just holding onto this parry and getting blown up for doing so a couple of times now. You mentioned that the, the drive, re drive reversal when she gets knocked down is actually a good thing. Actually, in this matchup, I don't like it. I think it's a great decision from Guile. Brings the but drive gauge down and like, it ends up full screen. The drive gauge used, though, surely. You know, if you're I know, if you normal, can get, if you can get back in. Uh oh, speaking of getting in. There you go, gets it. Oh, oh the he semi yeah, he's, he's messed up. He's been messed up with the flash kicks. A little too close. Didn't drive reversal this time, though. Just took it. Hibiki trying to put the pressure on. Nice spacing on that. Me uh -oh. hit. Oh, funny lands a command grab. Stocks for free. There we go. We got one win. Diversify your portfolio. Gotta be careful with that meter, though. Gotta invest for the future. Almost burnt out here, Logan. This is this is scary. Wow, that's a little dangerous. Trying to and he's in the corner way. too. Here it comes, the burnout. Oh no. Are you gonna actually gonna react? Oh yeah, react. It pulls him back in the corner. Horrible situation for Hibiki. You know it's coming. And Knuckle Dude knows it. Bad neutral jump gets the juggle. He's burning himself out though. Can he get some kind of momentum here? Man, he's so comfortable. Is, that, is this even matchup knowledge? This is just a guy thing, huh? Yeah, he's just ready, man. He's just ready. Oh, that's zero. Oh, nice with punish. Can he, he make it count? No. Gets an open. Level two? No, he's going to get the level, level, level three. three. Oh, my what God, the call. Optimal conversion. Jeez. That was very nice. And he knew it. That was confident. When you see somebody burn all of the meat, all of the cash, that's how you know he's going to designate that ass. Very nice. He beautifully beat. measured. Beautifully measured. No Went for the extra round. taps as well. Maximum meter build. In the ground. Uh, Ooh, just missed the whiff on his there, jumps out, knuckle this reads a bit on, well, on like point. On block, I know you saw him do it the first game on, yes. on hit, but at that range when he's not confident getting Ooh. a hit. Yeah, I think he just wants to get in now. Force knuckle to yeah. make some guesses. This is where you want him though. Get him a little claustrophobic here. Nice call out there, expecting him to try and get away, which he did. Crouching sort connected straight into the level three. And knuckle Dude has the full screen to work with again. And a significant lap lead. A ton of drive gauge back as well off that. Oh man, look at that. You could just tell the booms are plus from that far, bro. Oh, it's the throw this time. Suplex that is German, and we in this close and we in this corner. Again, he misses that light. Come on, he's gonna die for it as well. Oh, keeps that combo simple. Knuckle do. I love the fact he went for the simple one there. Just make sure she's dead. Man, no room for free stocks. What a match. I'm pretty sure we can did not up into this verse. But it's alright though. Gotta make it count, no excuses. 
Yeah, Hibiki's definitely going to be very well versed in this matchup. But Knuckle just has a really oh, awkward Knuckle style. Dude. You know what he has done, right? Yeah. Is it a, sw a switch Safe of a jump. I mean, that's the Oh, he missed it. Yo. There we go. Oh, the annoying stuff. Now Big jump. Perfect. Parry into the jump. Catches that boom pan out. Back throw. Oh, just when he got some momentum. Did it back throw, though. Oh, the bazooka's oh, yeah, need to, isn't it? It's got him. GG's. Uh, oh, the pressure's on. Bad situation for Hibiki. Oh, my another. goodness. Ooh. It's a shimmy. He's got to keep guessing. We're going to get a shimmy situation here. Oh, oh, oh yikes. Oh, oh, I Yep, that's. I see it every Tuesday, man. I know the blueprint. That's why when I play through, I'm going to whoop his ass. <laughs> They're serious. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, that was clean. It's looking very good for Knuckle Do here. 2 0 up. Finally gets a confirm on a hit this time. Takes the knockdown in the corner, carry. Oh, Knuckle Commits not to the biting. heavy. Yeah. And Oduto needs to be like wary this. as well because the jump forward is going to blow that up. Oh, man, the timing on these boomer pros. He got the perfect oh, parry. No. Doesn't matter. Still able to get plus frames to the bazooka knee. What's that? Parry again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've man. never seen so many perfect parries come to, to no avail. Good job to Ibiki though, it, look, it looks tough, but he's still staying in that range. Yeah, that's that the game plan, he's got to stay with that game plan. Knuckle Duke can only get right, that's perfectly spaced. He's a meaty up. light. Kept him in place here, it's a great round from Hibiki. Oh, and a trade really, with yeah. the crowd's heavy punch. And I, and I really like playing at that range, that, that awkward range, because you have the threat of the perfect parry with the jump, it means the dude has to be wary to throw the second boom, just in case the perfect parry's there. Exactly. Can't be just doing it from full screen away or two thirds of a screen away. You need to really present a threat. Love the strategy from Nogadu using that driver. Oh, so no it's a great there. situation there. Agree with you guys. Yeah, that level two is so good for burnout situations, man. Yes. Ooh, oh, can't hit take and turn. meet him. Uh oh. Are oh, we gonna jump? Don't jump. You gotta walk in and block, man. But that. It's tough. Oh, that was, that was definitely plus. That was so meaty. Almost got his meter back. Just has to take the pros. Oh, it's going to take. I'm surprised he took that. Uh oh, we're back oh, in the oh, green. Oh, oh, oh. Scramble works out for two. Meaty overhead. Meaty overhead. I didn't even know that worked. That's ridiculous. God, damn, yeah, yeah, dude's yeah. playing so good. He is playing so damn good. He's confident, man. Remember what he said in his interview. He has his kids in the back of his mind right now, man. This guy's focused. He wants to bring the W to oh, the family. Oh, there's that perfect parry jump range. Yeah, he wants to bring it to the family. I'll tell you what, he's not deterred from taking risks, despite having those kids at home waiting for him. Because the wake-up <laughs> OD flash kicks as well as the up to paying off right now. Oh, Mr. Bro, oh, plus on whiff. I swear that's part of the plan every single time, huh? Hit he's the brakes. Like it was exactly how we planned it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's, a <laughs> that's one of my very school favorites. Huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm, my man's throwing drones, aka the Sonic Bones. This is looking terrible here for Hibiki. Oh, the command nice on the counter poke, really? Yeah, the light one. Did they say punish counter, huh? Yeah, yeah guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, where you going? Oh, he missed oh, no. that mid. Oh, what's that? Sir? Is that a reset? Oh my god. Take notes, take notes. Put that one then in the note. Oh, he's dead anyway. Counts for nothing. The counter hit that always leads to the fist is 3 0 Knuckle Dude. Oh, we're gonna see some kind of amazing comeback here. It's not looking like it so far. He looks so comfortable. Hibiki now taking to the sky more than he was earlier, guys. Feeling the need to take a bit more risk. Just needs to slow down this knuckle dude momentum. Just hasn't made him uncomfortable enough. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really see nothing Hibiki's doing wrong. This is just tough. Yeah. Yeah. Knuckle dude's just <laughs> playing incredibly well. Oh, Big wow, you cursed him, bro. Bad boom. Punish counter as well. My god, the timing on that. Oh, the command oh, drop. Yep. Oh, huge life lead now. Condition of Merlin. And I like Hibiki oh, not being put off. Yes, yeah, so I was just gonna say. You know, we've seen the OD flash kick ripped off a number of times by Dube. Hibiki can't be caught off. He has to stay in. He has he's to not, keep He's not it. giving up on his round. He's burnt out. Yeah. I mean, this, this round could very well easily go bad for Hibiki here. He's got to be careful. No way to get wind up into EX. Doesn't make a difference. He can't get through these booms. And he's oh, going to get overhead. No! He's going to die. Level one. No way. Is it enough? It. Oh, oh, my wow. goodness. I told you. That matchup is like 8-2 when she's in burnout. It's horrible. And Dube knew that. It took full advantage. Based on experience, huh? God, yeah, tell bro. <laughs> Listen, you ain't, you're not doing much, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've heard it so locked in looking at this man. <laughs> oh, well, okay, conditioning early. We see the dandruff. I need to clean the head. Get off of me. Mm, those long pokes. This is looking nice. terrible. Speaking of long pokes. Yeah, need to see more of that back heavy punch. I feel like he hasn't implemented it much. Missed that command grab, but as you said earlier, it was a back jump, not a neutral jump. So he's still in this round. He has the corner. The read. So thirsty to burn him out. I see you, Knuckle Doom. The boom patterns are so good. And he tried to check that dash. Not going to happen. So close to burnout now. Look at this round safe jump. Star oh, burns him out. Burnout time. Here oh, he we activates level two. That's genius. Oh, we're get a horrible That's situation so for Hibiki. Horrible situation. He's going to get chipped out. He's not careful. He can't get anything going. One more button. Oh, that was oh, no. it. That was it. Oh, that would have been oh, the Oh, my goodness. If 
committed to the wind release. He would have had the level three. Yo, I cannot believe. Yo, dude is just like nine for ten right now in EX Flash Kick, dude. Man, USA is looking really strong. I'm look at this performance from dude. 4 oh, 0. Oh, oh, break the crates. Bro, why is that whiff throw in front of Hibiki's face unblockable? I know. It's, 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 it's just. <laughs> I get it with it too. Oh! That was ridiculous. He's seen one perfect back parry too many. He's ready this time. That was like for my country. <laughs> Shut up. He's up. Shout out to Chum, we don't drop, we don't ride balls. No, it just wakes up with it. Uncle oh, dude, it's just undeterred. He knows everything Hibiki wants. Perfect parry into oh, the wind okay. stop. Missed this combo though, a rare drop from Hibiki. But Knuckle dude almost, almost burnt out. Perfect parry just gets him punished. Oh my oh. goodness, he can't get him going. Thing. You said, Yikes, you know, you've got to block a walk, but right now Hibiki's blocking and walking into every follow up that Knuckle dude throws out, mm -hmm. whether it's the roundhouse, whether it's that back fierce. It's the second layer that's impressing me, Logan. Yeah, he's just, he's yeah. actually getting perfect parry yeah. and getting punished for the follow up he's doing for afterwards. He's trying to do anything afterwards, exactly. Yep. Knuckle dude just two on point. Why does that fierce link from everywhere? Mm. Let's go. Oh, Look at this. Safe, it's a jump. Oh, that was never going to work anyway. Maybe that was DP. Oh, oh drop no. from Knuckle Dude. Hibiki's alive. You know oh, what? I think out. he did that on Oh, he missed the meaty, meaty boom. Can he stay survive the burnout? No, no he tried to burn Barry. And he's going to get his meter back too. I think it's, I think it's checkmate, guys. Horrible situation for Hibiki. This Headed towards a 5 0 loss oh, there. Oh, God. No. The drive rush is incoming. Oh, no. He doesn't even the, need there's it. no he way. He doesn't out. even oh, need it. Oh, my goodness. Knuckle Dude. And Hibiki the Beast is put in Sonic Boom Jail. Knuckle Dude, an emphatic 5 0. Back to back. Yo, let me five O's. Yo, let's just throw that card in the trash. It never happened. Damn, bro. Guys, we got 10 matches straight. People been getting pushed in out here, man. It is yeah. what it is. This is Knuckle Dude, man. Look, you gotta understand, you wanna talk about somebody that's super seasoned? It's Knuckle Dude. He's in every local, every major that he can go to, every online. This guy's just too seasoned. He's too good right now. Let's throw it back into the ring, to the Battle King. We've got a card to get rid of. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Knuckle Dude. That's how you feeling today. Please come up here with me, brother. So, your first match of the day, and you play that dominant. Your season has been phenomenal up to this point, and you are continuing that momentum. How have you performed so well this season? And do you have any message to maybe your fans and to your family at home? Uh, like I said, it's just the will to win, man. I want to do good for my family. I want to do good for people who support me. And I want to do good for my, my sponsor because they believe in me. So, yeah, just want to have a lot of reason to perform well. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Knuckle, do you can join the other players uh, back there in the players area. You're go you can go ahead down. Habiki the Beast. You fought hard, but it was not good enough. That said, though, ladies and gentlemen, we know how phenomenal he is. We've seen him hustle up to this point. One of the most ridiculous, the best Lily player in the world from Japan. Make some noise for Hibiki the Man! Hibiki, please hand over your fighter car. Hibiki, thank you for coming. JFK is not far. I'll show him over. That is it for match two. We're gonna th send things right back over to our commentators. He didn't lie, he is a jerk. He is a jerk, man. I keep it real. Damn, damn. Man, how about that set, though? How about that performance, firstly, from Knuckle Dude? But man, unfortunate for Hibiki, now, now we see I know the next you match. Said, I know you said that match was bad, but it's not that bad, right? Like, Knuckle Dude was I just think, playing. I think, give credit where credit due. Knuckle yeah. Dude just played, played incredibly well. He was just a step ahead the whole way. That matchup is not 
that bad. I think it's maybe 5.565. It was a bad out. draw. At the end of the day, when you look at it, I didn't like the draw. I didn't yeah, like the draw. It was a bad draw for Habiki, of course, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was the first set of matches. We're going to get Nephew versus Knuckle Dude. But again, just to touch up a quick on a Habiki the Beast and Knuckle Dude. I mean, again, bad draw for a character that uh, relies on space to get what she needs to get right, yep, in order yep. to fight. And then you got a guy like Knuckle Dude who's just a bum rusher. <laughs> yeah, bad draw. So, and, you, and you engage with Gala on his terms because mm -hmm. as soon as those booms are on the screen, he's going to do it when he wants and you got to deal with it, you know? I mean, I hope he's not feeling too harsh on himself. He's had a phenomenal year. Still easily the best lead player in the world. And, you know, who knows what's to come. As a and hopefully some, uh, some changes ahead for the character too. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Uh, let's head back over to that yellow cab and find out what Hibiki has to say. <laughs> I'm with Hibiki, we're on our way to the airport, but we have to know, how was America and New York for you? So, unfortunately, I lost in the first round, and it is a disappointing result, and so it's a, a pretty sad feeling for me right now. Uh, I'm gonna take you to the happiest place on earth for you, and he says, I wanna go back to Japan, so let's go right now. Joe? King, let's go back to you. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for match number two. So far, these matches have been a little crazy, bro. Absolute blowouts. Straight blowouts, two, five donuts in a row. I hope that our competitors here can do a little bit better than that in the future because the Battle King is not pleased. This is Red Bull Kumite. But that said, we said from the beginning, only the strong will survive. We did not come here to play. We came for war. That said, it is time for us to get into our third draw. Z, do the honors. What do we got? Tokido! Let's go. All right. Tokido getting ready to head on down. But I have a question for you guys. Who wants to get their name pulled right now? Any takers? Oh, okay, we got some takers. We got some takers. All right, so Punk and Minna, they want to fight them. Let's see if the card falls in their favor. Let's check it out. Tokido, I'm from Tokyo, Japan. To hear players call me legend or the greatest, for me, it's my honor. My play style is aggressive. Especially in this game, aggressive style is very effective. This time, my eight times level kumite, but I never won, so I cannot lose. I don't play against uh, Broski or I don't. Sometimes I feel stress, but in the match, I act. I don't have any stress. My most important thing is to win. Let's hear it for... Oh, test, test. Let's, Let's hear it hear. for the murder face, Tokido! Joe, that is an absolute legend that we are seeing before us right now. There, <laughs> there is absolutely no doubt that Tokido is one of the greatest fighting game players we've ever had on the scene. It's been amazing to watch him come up from Street Fighter 2 all the way up here to Street Fighter 6. There's a reason that they call him the murder face, and I take it kind of disrespectful that people are saying that they're raising their hands saying they want to go up against Tokido. But what's the chances at this point? What if we really do pull a Punk or Mina? Let's find it's out. It's possible. It's it possible. It is possible. Red Bull, Red Bull Kumite, New York, you're ready for the next pull for Tokido's opponent.
Oh my god. Ah! Oh, okay. Big bird. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Big bird stepping up. He's grabbing his equipment, but let's see how this is going to go. Hopefully, we don't have another 5 0, but we're going to find out. <laughs> I go by Big Bird, and I'm from UAE. Uh, so, winning Red Bull Kumite for me was uh, very important because I'm a Red Bull player, and a Red Bull player winning a Red Bull Kumite is very, very big, especially because it hasn't been done before by any Red Bull player. So, me being the first one, was actually really important for me and I feel very proud of that. There's no one specifically that I want to avoid or not draw out because I feel like it doesn't matter who do you want to play, it doesn't matter who it is, it's just gonna be hard regardless. It's just a matter of pick your poison, you know? So what gives me the edge over my opponents, I would say because I'm chilling, since I come in as a champion from last year, they just gotta come prepared and, uh, you know, just do what I gotta do. The reigning and defending Red Bull Kumite champion, Big Bird! Now, there's really not much to be said, Rob. You just said it. This is a Red Bull Kumite champion. He's the only player in history from Red Bull to actually win Kumite, which is crazy to imagine. You know the amount of pressure that had to be on his back? Tremendous. And of course, him and Angry Bird, they put their scene on the map. Those two are the main guys, at least in the world of Street Fighter. Phenomenal. A hundred percent. It actually is very amazing to see both of those players come from there and be so dominant here, anywhere and across the world in the FGC. Beautiful this, thing. This matchup is crazy. This is wild. Tokido versus Big Bird round one? Are you kidding me? This is only game three. I love to see it. Ah, it's beautiful. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get into the carnage. Let's go ahead and send things over to our commentators. The arena erupted when Takedo's name was drawn, almost like a hometown hero. And I heard it at the start when they were announcing all the names. New York loves them, so Takedo. Yeah, man. I mean, look, uh, big staple. You know, back in the day when we didn't have the YouTubes and all that, when we was watching it from Windows Media Play and all that, Tokido <laughs> was definitely <laughs> one of those matches we used to watch back in the day here in New York. So we always have this appreciation for Tokido because we've been seeing this guy since the beginning of time. Six on the fundamentals. Is that justified? Yes. Especially when you play as many games as this guy does to such a level. Now, interestingly enough, having won things like Evo and many other tournaments, he mentioned he's been here eight times in Invitee. Been to the final, I think, once or twice. Still, he's in the first ever final, He's right? in the first ever final, man. I, I can't remember if it was double elimination back then. So I think he might have been winner's side. And it still has not won a Red Bull Kumite. It's just crazy to me. But that is the way it stands. Can well, he change it today? he's got a tough draw here because, let me tell you, if there's a character that Big Bird has experience against, it is Ken Masters. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Angry Bird, of course, was invited to be part of this Kumite. Had to bow out due to his health. We wish him all the best back home. I know he's uh, watching sure, sure, and cheering on it. his training partner, his friend. But His defending champ. His defending champ, of course. The first ever Red Bull-sponsored champion. But you can hear in the arena who they are behind. You know, uh, And it's the murder face himself. And to touch it up, right, just to add more to the lore. You know, we got a lot of Dominicanos here in the building, right? Yeah. In New York City. Talk to me. So anytime you see Tokido, you're sometimes lurking around the corner. It's man. Everybody wants to see that, man. So that's like a, a So we, we want Tokido to, Kido to stay in right now to get that match later? I think that's the plan. I'm sorry, I think right? that's the plan. But look, uh, I wouldn't even be mad at that if, if uh, Big Bird actually defeats Tokido. So all right, we'll let's get into the match. We'll throw it back to the Battle King inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is too big of a match to just get started without something special. So just to show our appreciation, to show our hype for this match, I need a very specific chant. On the count of three, I want to hear Kumate, Kumate. One, two, three, Kumate! 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 Yeah. Kumate! 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 Our fighters are ready! Our crowd is ready! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Kumite! What 
a pleasure it is here to be in New York. This crowd, <laughs> electric. We're back outside, it's Kumite, NYC. It's still only the first round, still only our third match. And let me tell you, this is not going to be a blowout. I guarantee that one. This is going to be back and forth. No chance. Real no head-to-head chance. Head matches. And of course, it's a Japanese Ken. So we're seeing this all costume. And you made a good point. Like, Takedo at some point, let's be honest, Angry Bird was quite far ahead of him. But one of the things he did to get to that level was play against the birds. Facts. Tons. And they had tons of backs and forth, and it got closer and closer as it went on. Now, I believe it's very even, so it's going either way. Yeah, I mean, early on with the game, I mean, I'm pretty sure people still feel that way. They Ooh, say that the first are some of the best in the world, for sure. Let's go command throw. Oh, oh. that's gonna hurt. Mm. Time to get Oh, it. where are you going? To hold where up. are you going? Ladies and gentlemen, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> that's hey, what hey. you call boss ass. Hey, it's Marissa. Hey, she gets rounds like that. Come on, come on, guys. Yep. You know, I, you know what I appreciate from Big Bird? He doesn't fake jacks. He knows that this character steamrolls. Oh, no, he, 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 of course. Oh, the meaty so Uh oh, conditioning. Walk up throw, walk up stand fierce. Either or. No, looking for the shimmy already with the back dash. Big Bird. I like the early uses of the drive reversal, yeah, man. Just I want to get it back to neutral. Yes. Slow that Ken play down. Hmm. Advancing Norm out. The gen right. Oh, the what a you check. Going? You just finished your, your combo. How are you so ready to Double check that? Perfect. Back to back. Oh, oh. Let me get it back to back. This will be ill. Please, set the tone. Can I get the perfection? The golden stuff. Even Tokido wants ah. No, you may not. Adele's right. not interested. And he's in burnout. He's got to be careful. Oh! Oh, oh my god. And he's almost at level three as well. Big Bro, block. He's dead. He's, he's dead. dead. He's, dead. he's, he's dead. actually dead. dead. That is a dead dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God, God. Good <laughs> God. You want to talk about making bad decisions? Oh, oh man. That was it right there. That man definitely caught a typo on his, <laughs> on his keyboard. Let me tell you that right now. Oh my god. Again, just to touch up with your setup work. He's just too familiar with this matchup, man. Shout out to Angry Bird. I'm pretty sure he's going wild right now. Bro. He's the defending champ for a reason. This Back. character is so electric for offline. <laughs> is this the gatekeeper? Where are you going? Oh. Oh. Where are you going? Taste the asphalt. Do it again. Takeda feeling the pressure here. Oh, oh that was the punish. Oh, 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 I mean, he doesn't spend anything for this kill. Good lord, it's all going wrong for Takeda. And I don't know, Logan, you might have cursed it at the start of the match, buddy. It's a bit early to say, but damn. Yikes. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you here, man. I know it's a, uh, you know, first five, whatever the case may be, but like, I know we got a lot of games to play, but we're going to have to be a little more serious here. Big Bird is not playing any games. I think he takes a lot. Of, oh, that's such a good strategy. I love that. Oh, back throw to the, the range you, you gained, I use against you. That medium and string, he's got that anti-air on lock. Oh, no. So ready every time. Takedo so feeling the need to overextend. It's not working out so far. Yeah, exactly. Being a little too aggressive. I mean, that's what he said on the tape, right? But Big Bird is just doing a great job on the anti-airs, the checks, the whip punishes. Yeah, and it's going to be absolutely impossible to catch Big Bird with something he hasn't seen before, catching him unawares. Finally gets oh, the jump oh in this time. God. It's a perfect parry. Ooh. 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 That is a dead dead. Even with the scaling, it doesn't matter. Mm. He was dead halfway through that combo, god damn. Kiss the ring. Let's go home, Ken. Bow down. Big Bird really making a statement here. I mean, Takedo, no joke. A lot of people, I mean, you saw Persia ask, who wants to play it, man? Almost wanna, completely silent room. He might want to swap out for the, uh, the, oh, other, the other hitbox he brought down with him. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> might have a better, better chance on that one. There's too much blood on this one. Might have switched oh, it the meaty again. We're going to throw? Beautiful timing. Good pace and block out there from Big Bird. And that counter hit for Green was so damn good. Okay, buses out. This time he does get right. I like the fact that has got been the turn. Oh, trade oh, hit. Trade was nice though. Still has the corner. Can he make a count? Bro, look at all those resources. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, we're going to get go. around? Yes, oh, we yes, are. We are. Doesn't uh, even need to spend the meter. Tokido needs right, to be very careful how he's using that standard roundhouse, man. <laughs> Marissa got the button for those. So we'll see what happens. All right. Already with the nice glaze. jump angle that. Very difficult for Marissa to deal with. Tries to wake up uh, with it. Catches the start of that. The Gladius, yeah. Overhead. Absolutely. Oh, oh for the meat. He no, mistimed absolutely it. not. Back in the corner you are. Hold these plus frames. There's the jump back. Oh, my God. That oh, anti oh, yeah, now he's going to hurt. Oh, my Just God. Burns him out mid-combo. Oh. What a jump from Takedo. Oh. We'll take those. Defusion Nature. Nice <laughs> Where are you, Steve? Shout out, my boy, Steve. God bless you. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 
No donuts. Listen, that is the mother face, mother face, mother face. No 5 0 here, man. You called it, Logan. Tokido right now is about as uh, as about as much of a native New Yorker as Problem X is to this crowd. Listen, we'll we'll, we'll take it. He loves Adopted. pizza. Adopted. We'll take it. He loves pizza. That's a parry. Yes. And side switch. Oh, oh no! Mr. Heavy. Dropped it. Rare drop from Tokido. Didn't have a combo. Didn't go to the DP, which would have linked. Oh, committed to the tight combo. We'll get punished. Uh huh. Are we gonna go for one stop throw this time? Yes. Oh no! Oh, oh what? what? And he still jumped. Bro, throw would have worked too. Empty jump throw. You already saw it. Just committed to the button. Tokido on a whiz. Is it gonna cost him everything? Oh, the delay jab. Wake up. Yeah, beats the delay button. Yes. Nice meet you. Got the safe. Burns himself out. Mm, very risky there from Big Bird. Probably wasn't keeping. Oh, trying to burn Tokido out as well, but Whiff button gets punished. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah takes the pressing trade. on the zero. He's gonna touch you. I'm waiting to see that man. Someone do it, please. Oh. oh. Chip Brown's come back into Kino's favor. We can oh, the check. Oh my goodness, what a clutch read. Anticipating the forward dash, reacting time. Tokido was so thirsty to get some blocks and I'm pretty sure he was like, oh my God, he's about to get drive gauge. I need to no. chip him out now. Mess it up though. And Adele just predicted that. Oh, oh yeah, 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 the delay, the oh. delay, the delay, the delay, the delay. I love that. We found an answer. I love the delay. Oh, and the, and the free spread messed up his parry. Throw. It's all turning around now, guys. Oh, no. oh my god. I was just talking about that. Watch how you whiff that button against Marisa, man. Stay there with the answer. Uh, oh, what? Oh, again, he drops yeah, he's the... catching the recovery of the parry. I still see. have to block the high low. I see. Okay, okay, okay. That's why it comes up punished counter. But, but the killer just dropped another combo. That's what I was referring to. No, oh, no. no. Charge it up. Uh, uh, this is big damage. And we're going to take Oki here. What's the guess? The hypothesis he's is being in. checked. Defense to Guido. Oh, finally. Oh, oh big yeah. jumping. He should be able to kill him. Wait, hold on. I like the raw damage. Low Look. on the drive gauge, right? So he could have killed him. I really, let me see. Can he? No, he can't now. But oh, he could have killed gauge. him with yeah, a drive yeah, gauge. He's alive. You do minimally more damage if you do a full drive gauge oh, combo anyway, gets more. into that level three. The step kick level three does a lot because there's hardly any scaling, but you do do a little bit more if you spend the gauge on it. Definitely, yeah, if you spend it with a gauge. But Takedo had been dropping stuff, so I yeah, understand he got the simple thing. Yeah. And in the end, it didn't matter. Oh, oh, where are you going? <laughs> Mm. Well, I thought he was going to do it again. Harry, that is a little bit uh, <laughs> risky against Marisa, I mean. Oh, good jump angle. Oh. Doesn't get the punishment recovery. Take it down. Oh, Man, every time. Minus, it's not your turn. That is a dead kid. I oh, don't need to spend all this. He's going to do it anyway. This is perfection. Big Bird back in the winner's side there. Goes into a 3-1 lead Perfect against Takeda. And it all came from a minus two medium punch. Welcome to Street Fighter 6, baby. Yeah, boy, who told you to press low forward? Don't the nerve of you. Back. The nerve of you to try to fight back. <laughs> Don't just try and hit me. How dare you take your turn. Mm, good commitment right there. Oh, oh, oh no. Man. Could have definitely linked the light afterwards. I've seen some uncharacteristic drops here from Tequila. What oh. timing on the phalanx. Unhand me, please. Release me. All right, now we start. Now we took your blast. Okay, we're trying to buy some time. Oh, oh no. he tried to press a button or move. Definitely tried. Oh, he's dead. Oh my goodness, it's all working for Adele here. Yeah, and we're seeing some very uncharacteristic drops from Takeda. Went for yes. an optimal link after that punish counter stand, Fears. Hmm. Oh, just missed the whiff punish there. Too far for the link. Oh, and no. Perfect parry from Big Bird. That charge is just guaranteed after the gen rivals in the time. Sheesh. Okay. Right yes. back at you. Side switch up to the corner, yeah. Regular. You pick your corner, you can at the end of the day. Stay in roundhouse? Yeah, stay in face, please. Represent that line. And again! again. The same situation. He needs to start looking for this. Oh no. Uh. They Get just signed Zephyr Skeeter to try to jump in. That's not been a go to tactic that's gotten much, much reward in this set so far. Angry Bird almost burns himself out but keeps the pressure going. Tries to back that out. That's plus. Man, he really cares about his drive gauge. I understand, Tokido. Okay, that is the back throw that you needed. Jump in. Oh, oh finally. Oh, it out. Uh, no. Is he going to see it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. This is terrible. That was oh, a wake up. He was so close. Oh, Is it going to chip out? Yeah, 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 Stay right at those ranges, yes. Yeah. Oh, now he's just going straight for the driver. Oh, oh, big drop, okay. Drop from Big Bird as well. 
See if Tokido can take this opening. He's missing that meat, yeah, to him. He's got to let him run a little more. It would work. But he's trying to get the crouch of jab every single time. He's trying to manage Nice walk underneath yeah, as well. Looks like it. This time he doesn't press a button. The last one's sick. Lovely whiff punish. He's going for the full thing. No punish oh, Gets away with that sweep. Yep. Nice. Catches him trying to walk out. Now we got the corner pressure. Now we get the punish counter throw. And Tokido puts another round on the board. One by one. Trying to bring this back. There we go. No, oh. low crush. Yes, the Kal-El punch. Uh. Oh, speaking of dust. Oh, yeah, the bait. Oh what? my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. What? Yeah, uh, next round, please. Next round, please. What part of the plan? Another. Oh. Big Bird is playing insane. That bait was disgusting. Phenomenal. God Phenomenal. Damn. Let's go. Set oh, point. No. Starts it with a big jump in. I think Big Bird smells blood. Command throw, yes, of course. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm scored it. Standing strong right here. Tokido in and out. Oh, where are you going? With me where are you going? You One son more of a... more guess. Oh, the entire thought you was going to oh, go Oh, too far away for the stand. This is so unfortunate. Oh, it's all a time. Big Bird delivers. The a defending champion. 5-1. A huge statement victory against very much one of the favorites here today with the crowd. Tokido is banished to the Shadow Realm, toss this man's card away. But Big Bird looking to defend his title. Have we ever had a repeat Kumite champion, a back-to-back -back champion? Right? Fujimura? Was it? Didn't he win twice? He won Rebel Kumite Japan, and I swear he won one before that. Yes. Well, oh, no, no, Big no, Bird he lost to... Uh, he's looking to do it again today. What a great start from him. Let's throw it back to the cage wow. with the Battle King. Big Bird. You are the reigning and defending Red Bull Kumite champion. Also, you called your shot. When you were asked who you wanted to fight here at Kumite, you said it was that man right there, Tokido. Was it what you expected? Um, to be honest, uh, I feel like I played really good and I made a lot of good reads, but that's because I played, I played Tokido a lot in Japan, so we kind of know each other's habits, but I have the advantage of playing versus the best Ken in the world. So I kind of know the matchup really well, and because of the nerves to Ken, like the drive rush and uh, the throw loop, I feel like the matchup got a bit easier. But, you know, this is a Rebel Kumite, I'm the defending champ, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Big Bird, ladies and gentlemen, you can join the other players back there in the player lounge. Man, I think because he's the champ, he can take his sweet time. Now, Tokido, as for you, I know they call you the murder face, but now it's time to get out my face. It was not good enough. That said, we do know Tokido is a legend. We do know that everybody turned up as soon as they saw him. One more time for the murder face, Tokido! So, Keto, please hand over your fighter card. Keep the seat next to Hibiki warm for me on that plane ride. <laughs> we are officially four matches deep in Red Bull Kumite. Ladies and gentlemen, are you enjoying the show? Before we get into our next one, let's kick things back over to our commentators. Hey, yo, somebody needs to tell Joe, those are collectibles, you know? That was a shiny as well. He's just scrunching that front of Nah, nah, get him out of here. Get him out of here. I like that attitude, yeah. Joe. Get him out of here. Look, as much as I love Tokido, we got to keep the rules set here. If you get your ass kicked, you get your ass kicked. Get the back oh, of the That box. man had more hitboxes than he had games won. <laughs> That's true, though. That's boss. He'll be back, though. There's a certain person coming, I believe, releasing real soon. We're all looking forward to Takedo on that character, aren't we? Some Akuma. Yeah, that is great. That's low. There you go, Big Bird, man. The defending champion, winning Red Bull Kumite South Africa, right? That's right. That's right. The first Red Bull athlete to win the Red Bull Kumite. It took eight years 
eight events to happen. Of course, this is the ninth Kumite, and we are here in New York City, the beating heart of the North American FGC. And what a pleasure it is to be back here on the desk, calling some Street Fighter Six action with my brothers, F Word, Kumite on. legend, Come and of on. course, Jeez. the heart Daddy and voice of Mike. New York. Let's send it back over to that yellow cab whilst we Come pat on. each other on the bats and find out what Takedo has to say for himself in the cab with Z. Yeah, 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 yeah. Takedo, you've been to eight other Kumites. What makes this tournament so special and so difficult to win for a legend, a GOAT like yourself that has won so many fighting game tournaments in your career? Oh. Yes, today I feel I play. Um, my condition is very good. But uh, yes, recently, all over the world, a lot of so many good players. So now it's very difficult to win tournament. Yeah. You have a very popular channel. I saw you filming when you were walking down the aisle. What do you want to say to your fans, your friends, your family, back home? Give them the message. Okay, so this time I really wanna win. So the my most important thing is, of course, not filming. To win is my most important thing. But this time, I don't, I couldn't do that. I'm sorry, but uh, I will be back more stronger. So trust me. That's why we love you. That's why you're the GOAT. I'm gonna send you back home. Let's go back to the desk with Eli Joe and the Battle King. Well, it's not L.I. Joe and the Battle King, but we are still here ready for battle. We've got some more. Hey, hey, hey right, guys. You right, Edward? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I Caught you off guard there. Oh, I was bit. completely prepared. It's all part of the show. Always a, a <laughs> supreme right. consummate professional. So professional. Some yeah. professional performances, <laughs> though. We've seen one dropped game in three sets. That's true. That is dominating so far. What says? I like to call that. I say that a lot, but it's <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, we like that one, yes. We like that one. But nah, man, we need to see some more competitiveness, man. This is yeah. way too one-sided. When Takedo got that game, I thought we might turn around, but wasn't to be. Hopefully the next one. Well, we've got 12 more players that are raring to fight in this first round. So let's find out who the next two are going to be. Let's get back over to the stage. Gachi Kong, the Chris Battle Wong. King and Eli it. Joe. You're calling it out? Call yeah, it. Gachi Kong, Chris I'm Wong. Expected. It was destined to happen. Come on. Let's go. Body bags, body bag, body bag, body bag. Every single match so far has been a blowout. This is unbelievable. Did you see this coming? I did not. I thought at least the murder face, one of the fighting game legends, Tokido, was going to hold it down for me, but everyone keeps letting me down here today. We will see if the tide shift at all. Z, we are ready to find out who our next competitor will be. Okay, okay. Recently taken the world by storm. LaShawn! Persia, bring me my player. He is in route and ready. I gotta ask again, who wants their card to get pulled in this matchup? Any takers? Any takers? Ooh, okay. That, that felt a little confident. All right, well, we're gonna find out who he's going up against. Let's get it. I'm Lesha and I'm from South Korea. This tournament is my first Red Bull Kumite. New York은 제가 본 도시 중에서 가장 아름답고 가장 멋있는 도시인 것 같습니다. 강력한 선수기 때문에 제가 바로 이기는 거는 없는 것 같습니다. 솔직하게. 히비키 선수가 이 대회를 우승할 것 같습니다. 어, 모두와 친하게 지내고 싶고요. 그리고 제 플레이는 제가 생각할 때는 그래도 좀 귀여운 플레이가 아닌가 생각하고 있습니다. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Make some noise for the shark. Joe, you know what's interesting? LaShore's name sounds really deep, but it's actually from the name Left Shark because Katy Perry performed with Sharks at the Super Bowl, oh. and he liked the Left Shark. I did not know that, but we do know that LaShar was killing it in his previous run at Capcom, because that was a great run by LaShar. LaShar was, he was in Group F, the Group of Death. The Group of Death, and he did real well there. Let's see if he can pull it off here. I need to, I need some hope. I need some hope, because like I said, everybody let me down. I need some hope, so let's some hope. It's LaShar. Let's see it. All right, Z, we are ready to get our next competitor. Let's see who it's going to be. Who do we got? Who's facing off with LaShar? Okay. Okay, fan favorite. Fan favorite. Let me get Oil King. Persia, bring me my fighter. He was already locked and loaded. He was already on his way. Eye on the prize. I'm looking forward to it. But also, as we get through these matches, we're seeing less and less players here sitting with us. So we got to see a little bit more of like who you might face up against. But let's get to the match at hand. Uh, I've been in the world a lot of times, I've been in the world a lot of times. I think it's Chris Wong, because Chris Wong is from Hong Kong. 所以其实我跟他都是讲那个普通话 Mandarin， 所以我们非常的亲近。我不希望我们两个讲中文的这么远飞过来，第一场就要打。而且这是一个 OK。当然，我认为现在纽约的天气其实蛮舒服的，不会太冷，也不会太热。但是我认为穿短裤还是太冷了。不过我觉得大家不用担心，在未来你一定会见到的。所以我参加一个 event 是比较热的天气的话。All right, here he comes. Let's give it up for Oil King. Oil King, a fan favorite, and with good reason, one of the most fashionable guys in the FGC as well. Certainly one of the most fashionable. I know he's got the pants on. I don't know if this is a winning formula for him, I'll tell you that. I can't believe he did not bring out the short shorts. I think it's because it's round one, so he's decided he doesn't need them yet. I think under those pants, he must have the short shorts, just he's in case to. he goes down He's got to have them on. There's no way he doesn't have them. That's the power up. 100%. That's pretty much like going, uh, again, that's another IP. We're not going to go there with it. That's like going, uh, pop a V-trigger back at Street Fighter Five. <laughs> he just has the little that short shorts on. That is his V-trigger, shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this short and go ahead and send things over to our commentators. We are taking it to Asia East, a region that has really exploded this past year in Street Fighter VI. Of course, the Capcom Cup champion has come from this region. Lashar exploded out of that group of death with an incredible performance. And of course, Chris Wong, ever present in those grand finals at the CBT offline events as well. Well, that's what I was hoping not to see when I saw Lashar drew. Uh, you know, I didn't get it right with the Gatchikun Chris Wong pick, but I might still be right about that. I just prayed it wasn't Chris Wong because they're good training partners. And as obviously Oil King mentioned, but Lashar not too far from them as well. You know, it could be someone they play with a lot too. So we'll see how this one goes but as a draw very interesting match and it could go either way yeah yes. i mean oil king hasn't had the greatest of seasons we saw him at kumite last time round in south africa experiment with a couple of characters yep. uh, obviously rashid has released subsequently but still dancing around the character select screen and not really having the results only finishing i think it was eighth uh, in the online premiere for asia east uh, in which we saw Lashar finish fourth, uh, sorry, third, and NL take that one for qualification with Chris Wong and Umo both making up the numbers as well. So it's like a new generation of yes. players is coming through in South Korea, yeah, in very Taiwan, yeah. in Hong Kong. It's lucky. a very exciting time right now. Very. Yeah, I wanted to touch up, man. Lashar, it's like he's just writing his book here in the world of Street Fighter Six. I mean, we all know him from the KOF side of things. You know what I mean? Did, a cre did incredible at Evil Japan. I feel like he got a second place, I believe, last year. I could be wrong, I think, to uh, Shanghai's but. Uh, the fact that he showed out and could play this strong in Street Fighter 6 is very impressive. I'm looking forward to see his growth in uh, this franchise. Also okay, played the BFC as well. Oh, as well. Yes, yep. yes, yes. Shout out to Damascus. He put that information out there for us. That is true. Did play uh, Dragon Ball Fighters as well. Very well versed in fighting games. 
He's one of those guys that we don't, we don't know much about, but the level he plays at is just so impressive. And when you think about the caliber of Chun Li's we have across different parts of the world, a lot of people are starting to feel like this is actually the Chun Li to watch. It's the, it's the Chun Li we didn't know we needed. And every time he plays someone who plays and trains with another Chun Li, they tend to call out this guy's the hardest Chun Li they play they fa they faced against. So it says a lot considering the guys out there representing the character. All right, let's see how hard it's going to be for Oil King. Let's send it back to the cage and the Battle King to introduce the action. I have to let it be known. This is one of the best crowds that I have ever been in front of. This is insane. New York City, how are we feeling? So far, the matches have been insane. I'm not gonna do it one by one. What I'm gonna do is count to three, and I want you to yell out who you have winning this match. One, two, three. agree the fans are ready the fighters are ready ladies and gentlemen let's begin shout out to the battle king man holding it down as usual man uh, the courtesy of intros for the violence that we're about to get here let's go Oil King versus Lashar. <laughs> well, I know there was another Rashid there that was uh, looking to get some uh, some action against Lashar, but it's going to be Oil King this time around. And uh, you mentioned about Oil King and his form and where he's at. I think he has found, at least at the very least, he's definitely found his character. And we've seen moments of absolute brilliance since he picked up the Rashid. Let's see yeah. if he can do it here. A Red Bull Kumite. Oh. New York 2024, but he's up against a guy in incredible form right now in the shot. He's up to a flying start here. He's going to have a, a lot of information because, of course, he did use Chun Li himself, Oil King. Indeed. Uh, proceeding along with Manon. Yes, yeah, throw pressure already. Here we go. The conditioning state is what I like to call this. And you were right as well. You did mention, you know, the other Chun Li's that we were looking at throughout the season. Mo Kay, arguably, you know, one of the best players in the world, period, for a, for a couple of months. Looking at Valmaster as well, innovating that character in Europe. But Lashar has emerged as the one to watch. Yes, sir. In recent both, months. They dancing right now. The fill-out games. Valmaster too, after that phenomenal performance in Paris and just in general. But yeah, this guy's just taking the character, I mean, in my opinion, just to a slightly higher level. See what the other things catch up, things like that. In and out. We teach, we teach over here. Lashaw, very familiar. First blood. All right. Mm, ready for the hands. That's yes. one of the things that separates him as well. He, he's always ready for that. Yeah, he's playing on that very interesting, like, crossed over WASD controller. He's got keyboard buttons on there. The attack buttons are on the left hand side. It's a very really interesting setup that the Shah's got. Yeah, he's actually not lying, folks, if y'all wondering. No, it's, it's unbelievably we weird. We might get a shot of that later on the uh, on the camera. Oh! oh! He's, my hand is hot. He did that with his fingertips, Logan. Yeah, he's typing a report up right now to whom it may concern. Uh, <laughs> oh, the pressure's on. Go for the my previous throw loop. <laughs> oh, we oh, dancing. Oh, knocking from the cross medium. Whoa. That works. That's right. We'll take that the one oh, hit. Wow. Oh, my right God. Again. The OD. Luckily, his wake-up decision-making and reading is way better than his tournament decision-making and reading. Seriously. Calling that Hibiki to win the whole thing was a terrible call, but that wake-up OD up kick wasn't. 1-0 up here now. Spit of Hibiki's on the shot now. Oh! Good was punishment. Jeez. Didn't even bait out the throw. Just punish the button. Oh, oh the meaty stuff. Goodness. We're playing with the data right now. Okay, wake up with the parry. You know, yeah. that, that's a wise choice. From that far, why not? Lashar looking to bait out a reversal button as well. Did that little tap parry. Oh, Trying to meet in the it. air, yeah. Didn't bait out the tension kicks, but the air-to-air -air didn't connect either. Ready there we go, again. nice and late that time. Mm. Ooh, wake Keep up, on us. Mixer. Yes, sir. Back to the corner. Oh, he need to space turn. himself out. He's almost at that burnout. Watch it. Ooh, nice the punishment. Rugged throw, no. Okay. Oh. Oil King's arriving now. Can he make this count? Oh, the oh, whip. Oh, the quick we got marble mix-ups. And again. That's a button this time, oh. for sure. Oh, looking for the shimmy again. Oh, oh the awareness here on the show is crazy. Get out of here with all that. Oh, oh he's out of there. He's out of there, John. Oh, I was definitely taken. That boy good. <laughs> God, I bet just didn't want to didn't risk. Lechard. Didn't want to risk going for a throw or a meaty. Tried to jump over to make keep it safe. I put himself in the corner. Mm. And that cost him everything. And now Lechard's picking up where he left off. Oh, nice nice jump check. Yeah. Yep. That's just a five right there. Switch. Hold in center of the ring. Mm. Ooh. Huh. I like that Lashaw was yeah, aware of that. Oh, not really wow. working, but again, lets off the OD. A 
pattern there emerging. Oh, nice the buffer. Shot into the Cashes OD, out. into the level three. Yeah, I want to see you dehydrated, Can my good man. Can you give the opportunity for Lashar to regain some of that drive gauge? You're right, Yax. Yeah, drive gauge avoid now off that great decision. And he has him cornered, where he's had most of his success so far in this set. Oh, he gets the wrong again get on get that one. Jumps to get that level time. two. There we go. Finally, we're going to see level two. Can he make it count? Here it comes. The category five. While wow, the defense. No, you're going to grab me. You're going to earn this hit. Wow. Oh, buttons from Lashar. Oh! Oil King special. He's again, taking he's getting back wrong. Into. He's getting some of his own I medicine here. I can't believe Oil King took it back to Street Fighter 5. There was a lot of answers to Street Fighter 5 there from Oil King. <laughs> Wake up, Chad. <laughs> he's still playing the game, man. He's still playing the same game. Oh. Love it. All right. So back. far, so good for Lashar. Wow. Yo, okay. Wow. He knew. All right. Looking for that proper punish right now is Oil King. No, I feel like Lashar is more of the aggressor oh, here in this match. It's interesting though because Lashar doesn't play that like walk forward jab style Chun Li that we see a lot of uh, like Moke and Valmaster players. Maybe he's just got stand jab like that, look, and his presence of mind is just. Yeah, it's a lot more moving in and out, hit and run kind yes, of style. Yes, exactly. It's annoying. It's annoying. Rather than the wall of buttons. It's and like his, yeah, his reads on offense are so on point too. Mm, the yeah. range. The beautiful spacing on all of these normals as well, level, the medium level. specifically. Oh, he just got level two. Oh, you're yeah. kidding me. Oh, that speaking level one's not gonna kill. But the level two juggle. Start, he's not gonna drop something, huh? Damn, yeah. talk about optimal Yeah, I mean, you don't wanna see that beat two bars in the same round and then the comeback's on, so. Just close it out, I like that, always. If you can get the kill, go for it. Man, the chest is on point. Look, show I see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the parry. That is the oh, famous button. What a beautiful what conversion a as well. The counter hit into the low forward. Re throw all the way to the corner. Backdash. Man, I've seen everybody represent that throughout this whole tournament. That got to be high level meta, right? Backdash on the throw. That yeah. is risky for me. I don't got the cajones for that. Well, yeah, depending on your enough. frame advantage as well, you get punished counter, right? So, oh, oh no. That's a strange decision uh. there from Lashaw. Testing Ori King's reactions. He was more than ready. Reacts to the graffiti. And we get the category five. Uh oh, we got about to get Mixy. Oh, oh, looking for the technical right there. Uh -huh. Charles overhead, gonna get the follow up as well. It gets the timing as well. Mm, string him up. Harry punch. Yep, don't let off. Don't let off the gas. Oh, 100% oh, hit rate, guys. You can't tell me no. But respect to Oka, man, we don't wanna slow down. We wanna let him know that we oh, are fantastic at the offense. Level three. Oh, yep. he's, he's dead. dead. Absolutely. Oh my D goodness. E D dead. Frick. The strongest woman in the world, Chun Li. Man. The Shah back at the top. 3 0 though. Pretty tough boy. Oh, okay, now can I see the mirror match? I feel like that's going to be the possibility. No, we just need a breather. Lads, we are currently at 18 and 1 for the winners. This is crazy, man. What is going on? I mean, hey, never seen a Rebel Kumite like it. Blowouts every set so far. Now, suddenly, I believe a 3-0 lead. And these aren't yes, even, like, super favorable pairings. No. I mean, the Libby Gar match is a little bit difficult. These are, like, some seriously strong players, though, who play these matchups well. But the Shah, I mean, he is the guy in form. He would be the favorite in this set based on recent efforts. But yeah. to be winning like this, oh, that gets the count hit confirmed. as well, beautiful stuff. Uh, and oh, he gets wow, out of the corner as well. Love that from the Shah. Playing to perfection right now. Perfect right, carry, though. Parry. Carry him over there fast. Oh, oh wow. the good read on the throw. The Shaw seriously hitting him with the classic. The air legs. This reads a bit out of control, Yikes. We're calling out everything. We out of there. You know, he's at those optimal ranges too, so either poke back or parry. Either or. Oh, walking him down. We back in the opening gambit. We really enjoying Lashar's like different defensive options as well. There's no way Time to in. predict what it's gonna be. Delayed buttons, jump back. Oh, oh delay, cross medium. Buttons yeah. on delay. Damn. It's so difficult. And of course, the wake up OD Tencho kicks as well. You cannot condition Lashar. I thought you couldn't condition the Oil King. Yeah, he was that boy, guy for a while, be, but. Must be in the water in that region, boy. Jeepers, creepers. Asia East coming through right now. Everyone's favorite button. Let me see that start staying strong a little more. Oil King is in there, though. Oh, yeah. Here comes the level two. Great Desert Storm. Stand back, there's a hurricane coming. What's a choice? Oh, Lashaw with the brick wall. Almost robotic defense. Royal King is just out. Uh, getting hit with Chases so many him down, moves. lovely. Finally adapts to that escape. He spent a lot of meter though. Royal King can get him burnt out. He burns himself out. Trying to get it closed out. Watch out for the confirmer to level three. He'll look for that to save some meter. Knocked down. Air grab. Side switches. The delay. Good back throw. That's what he needed. Royal King now. 
He's just going to close this out. Situation for Lashalo can afford to be patient. Level three. He doesn't need to overextend. Mita's coming as well, Logan. Yeah. Oh, too that far. Out. There we go. There it is. You already seen him buffering it. Watch it. Oh, oh my God! Whiffing everything in front doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, finally gets his wrong. Spencer right on one doesn't need to. I like how he occupies the offense. Get that little mirage, thinking it's gonna be a throw, right? Yeah. The classic stuff. Oil King, okay, with a chance to get a breadstick. Ooh. This is the wall show. Now, the one thing that Lashar is showing that they're gonna be proactive on defense and proactive marshaling that space. Oil King's starting to walk into that space and take advantage of whiff buttons. Oh, oh lovely. Where you yes. going? And the full conversion Damn. that time. The full it's conversion that time. Out. Not quite though, right? Close, but we got we had that range to stand strong. Let's just chip him out, right? Oh, yeah, block something. Oh, it's oh, burnt out. It is burnt oh, out. Oh my goodness. Air throw? No. Oh, oh my days. Oh, King needs a miracle now. Mm. Oh my god. That's a good way to start. He's sizing them up perfect though. He's just missed time towards the end. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a problem to deal with. Yeah. Oh, oh we had five all time in. Oh, that was. So clever. Oh, where you going? Oh my get a, get the full level after this. What's crazy? Almost his meter back. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to touch oh, that up. He's about to get the level God, two. Immediately. Oil King arriving in the set. Can he close this out? Doesn't want to go fall down. Gets a hit. One more will do it. Oh, no, but that's not from the side. Choice. No, oh, no. Oh, oh my God. God. Into the Surely he can't one. kill. Surely. Uh, 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 Something is dead. He's dead. Yes, he oh, is. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Bless shot. Optimal stuff. From the Yo, what's going on? And we are ladies. looking at another five game blowout. I this promise you. This is crazy. This is not scripted. Man, what is going on this year at Rebel Kurite? This is looking oh, like look at that talent into matches. the drive, even though you can do that. It's, it's a fresh it's, game, it's man. It's looking real Goldberg esque. You know? <laughs> this score. That's boss. <laughs> All right. Right, fight your way out this corner, Lashaw. I mean, he's comfortable. I mean, he got a lot of games to give away, right? But he's going to try to finish strong. Oil King need to step it up here. Big time. Mm. Nice. No link off to that, though. Man, not falling for the frame traps or nothing. He's like, you're going to throw me, man. Switching up his options, too. I wake up. He'll do like a delay parry or just wake up jab. So difficult to get a read on the timing. Oh, wow. misses up. Mm, no, I want that. Well, that's actually good for Lashar, I think. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh that works out, though. That works out. Oh, my word. He did that late as well. Like, as late as possible. The defense is on point right here for Lashar. We out of there. Retreating. He just wanted to see the high. green. Head for the hills. It's three drop rushes in a row to no avail. Mm. Into the level two. Should be able to close out the round. Can you finish the job, though? Okay, let me see some optimal stuff. Oh, man, that took it nuts. Yeah, there, there, was, nice. there, was, there was, there was. Didn't have the meter. Had the max damage without it. Okay. Man. Okay, gets the first round here. Doesn't let Lashar get to set point. Yeah, Checks yeah. in between. Finally, he's ready to do that. They're getting away with that one too many times. Well, he's under reversal this time. He's right. Keep him honest always. Okay, dash and watch it. Lashar's going to check that next time, Oil Queen. Be careful. He's at that range. Oh, he's angle again. Right Finding that perfect angle to make the 10 show kicks. Wick. No! Oh! We're between the string. That's not safe, my boy. Bro, we saw the interruption with the light punch on the string earlier on a couple seconds ago. Spent all of the resources wow, wow. to make the most of that one. Royal King is a little flustered here, throwing buttons first up, not on the shot. Yeah. Nice Ooh, check. Looking, looking for Oh, everything's hitting though. Man, look at that, not overextending. This Burn is out. a genius play, but Royal King with a chance though. One more sequence and he gets level two. There it is! Oh, oh, oh the not stunned. Gets a hit. No, oh, there, there it is. is! No option for you, that should be a dead shot lead. There's a checkmate. Finish the jam, you got the drive rush, there don't it drop is. Don't drop it, don't drop it, come on. Nice Royal King gonna register. Easy. Ah. One, let's go! You know, that was with confidence. That's the way of saying I gotta warm up going into the next match. Let me practice as I move forward. Oil King sending a message to Lashaw. It's not over. Did we just get a real match out? I hope so. How yeah, many first oh ones so far God, today? The whiff punish was delightful. Setting him up to try oh and Oh my press goodness! Up. And now Lashaw locking down the corner. Mm. Yeah, didn't even challenge this time, just took it. Oh, shit, that's yeah, giving him a chance to get back in the round. Don't reach, I don't like hers. Uh, the overhead block every Still single time. For the yeah, he's blocked it really well. Okay, this is a real Oil King round right now. Just one way. Finally! There's the, bait. the bait out. Oil King's figured something out. Yeah. And he's making a fight out of this one yet, fellas. Here we go. Don't count him out just yet. That momentum. Oh, that we're jumping is causing all sorts of problems. Yeah, he's having an absolute nightmare dealing with that, finding the right timing. Wins the scramble though, does the shot. 
able to jump into the throw, take though. Man. Yes, holds up forward and he's out of there. Man, that wall jump is really throwing off the shot. Mm -hmm. He's always walking back, trying to size him up. Always can choose is not to, to walk, uh, jump off the wall. Uh, bro, I can't think of any times as well with Ooh. that double jump that Lashar's been able to actually time the air to air medium kick. Yeah, it's missed every time. The air to air has not been the answer. Oh, so yeah. burn out here. Dehydrated. Side switch is cool, mate. That's the best time to go to the side Ooh, switch. Oh, me, he stuff. Jeez. Good God. set point, Lashar. Oh, yeah, close this up. Wow. I like that. I like that. I respect it. OK. Come on. Oh, oh no. but I respect that. OK, OK, okay nothing for it. Yeah, he just says it out That was like a statement. That was a statement piece right there. I don't even know what she can get off that, to be honest. There's nothing. It goes all the way back. I heard you like the weather warm, Oil King. <laughs> nice, me. Catch him trying to escape. Oh, no. Again, finally, the shot starting to get wrong a little bit here. Starting to take a little bit too predictably. That low key looked like it was going to cross up. Oh, what a call out there with that button right in the middle of the string. Maybe try to back that to get out of there. Side switch is out. Oh, oh no. that the oh. wrong choice. That side up was genius. What a way to call his bluff. He didn't uh, even shimmy, did he? He uh, just uh, stood there. Yeah, exactly. Safe jump. What's no, another yeah, one? Doesn't not, come. Not biting that time. Back for yeah, looking back in this round. Can he save himself? Here comes the level two. Great oh. Desert Storm. Category five, but we get oh, the category oh, with confidence. We're not scared. One more oh. guess, guys. It's going to get it. There you have it. Lashar, the future wow. is now. There is a new generation of killers in East Asia. Oh, my days. Ten. And Lashar is amongst the very best of them. Oil King goes down 5-1. And Lashar with a very impressive performance, debatably the strongest Chun Li out right now. Sure Bart is like in that bracket with a big, big 5 1 victory. And we are at 20 and 2. 5 0, 5 0, 5 1, 5 1. This is crazy. Man. It's classic. It's like an arcade cabinet, man. You just got to keep taking that token and trying to give it a shot. And I mean, to try to win. But it is what it is, man. It's, it's, it's a wash up. It's a wash up season right now. I mean, it looked like Old King figured something out, but it's that level that. It's the layers. We speak about this all the time for generations in fighting games. Some players have got those layers. And just when it looked like Orking made the ad adaptation, that loss gave Lashar more, de more de data than he realized. And suddenly he made the adaptation and just ran away with it. Fantastic. Well, I will say as well, it's very important to notice that, you know, Rashid is so much built around the ability to utilize that level two mm. uh, yeah. as a tool. And Oil King wasn't really able to get a lot out of it. We saw the level two come out many, many times. It was very notable that, did, you know, yeah. there's that beautiful moment at the end there where Lashar had the perfect timing to interrupt with a jab, convert it into a full combo. And that really underlined you know, the inability uh, of Oil King to able to turn those opportunities into wins. But it was Lashar that got the wins. So let's throw it back over to the Battle King in the cage with Lashar. Lashar, you have been ridiculous up to this point this season. You are clearly a shark in the water. You can go ahead. The Battle King is, please, go back with the other players. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, he knew what I was saying. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, sorry, Oil King. Okay, come here. Now, Oil King, you know damn well we wanted to see those shorts. Now look at you, all right? You, 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 you could have put on for the people. That said, Oil King is a fan favorite for a reason. One of the most ridiculous players in the world over the last how many years? Can we please make some noise for Oil King? Oil King, please hand over your fighter car. I would have beat him. And just like that, another one bites the dust. So far in Red Bull Kumite, we've seen absolute blowouts. I think the best that we've seen so far, what, 5-1, something close to that? It is absolutely insane, Joe. As I said before, continuing to let me down, let me apologize to you for getting these people together. 
I, yeah, I can't believe it. Let you me know apologize what I to, see. to you for bringing this <laughs> ragtag of fighting game players together here in this building. I apologize, sir. I it won't happen again. I'm trusting that things will improve afterwards. Otherwise, we'll be testing your theory on if you really can beat the players. That said, let's go ahead and send it back over to our commentators. Those two guys are having way too much fun. <laughs> They're having way too much fun, bro. <laughs> They're in a character, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Go ahead, yeah. that, hit that. But it has been very, very one-sided in these first four round one matches. We've got another four round one matches uh, to come, so hopefully we'll get some closer back and forth battles. But let's please, take a please, look please. at some of the highlights from our first four round one matches. Here we go. First up, it was Nephew up against Idom. Very sad to see, of course, unfortunately, I don't got eliminated early. But you know what? I, you know what? I look at this. Even though it's hard L's, right? It's just uh, showcasing what's to come in terms of storylines, in terms of when the next time Idom sees nephew in a tournament, right? It's gonna be a little more, uh, a little more personal. So I can actually appreciate that nephew washed him up, even though he's from New York. But it is what it is. We're gonna see more of this matchup in the future. The nephew's on absolute fire this weekend too. He's just come from that of his, of his victory as well in the play-in, looking looking very solid. And for Adam, there were moments there where he looked like he might be able to turn it around. But just overall, the momentum, the momentum was all on nephew's side. Defense was great on nephew's side. Neutral jump punishes on command throws every single time. So it's kind of like throwing, deterring uh, Adam away from his usual game plan, right? Yeah, just had the reach, just one step ahead. And then of course went off one of my reach, favorites oh with Hibiki and. and Talk about an absolute display of domination. Knuckle do on absolute fire here in this Knuckle set. Knuckle do was basically doing whatever he wanted in this set. Whether yeah. it was full screen, up close, the mix ups were working, the mid combo resets were working. Nothing Hibiki was doing almost was working out for him. Oh my god. And as you pointed out during the set, that burnout situation where Lily just has to block everything out, it's so difficult That's for horrible, him to deal horrible. with. And he, I must say, like, there was one round where I think I counted six perfect parries mm. from Hibiki, which Into led to nothing. nothing. Well, speaking of nothing, oh my word, the number of perfects that we saw in this. I hope oh. they show that. I hope they show this level <laughs> three comeback as well, because that was. Certainly yeah, the highlight that was set. nutty. You know, it, was that, uh, it shows the ground rules when you fight Marissa. Do yeah. not wake up with a Here person. we go. <laughs> that really was a statement of the set. But he, for me, he was, he was just—he was into Kido's head. Just Level had two. those hard reads on him, and that was another example of exactly that. Slow down the aggressor, became the aggressor, man. That's how I looked at it in this matchup. Big Bird is just phenomenal, and he's focused. You know what? I just feel like he has that demeanor that he has something to prove. And he's got so much confidence in that matchup as well. You know, plays it literally every single day. Knows it like the back of his hand. Uh, and here we go, another matchup that both of these players will have played a number of times throughout this season, both online this is the jump and in the corner, offline. Isn't it? Why does he jump in the corner here? That was the wrong bet. And I think it I, I, the wrong. I'm actually very impressed that he had time to react to that. Usually in those crossing situations, they're like with a throw or some tech. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what he's looking for, right? Yeah, he's looking for yeah. a throw tech, but you know, he's playing on the keyboard. Jump. He's playing on that keyboard. He only has to press the down button twice to get those tension kicks. A double tap. Oh, you know what? Exactly. I didn't even realize that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's easy, it really that's makes Chun Li a very, very much Legit. more optimized character that. when you just have to tap down twice to get the uh, get the combos out. And there we are. <laughs> oh wow. And who are these guys that we see uh, on the Gorgeous. screen? Uh, cool guys there, Especially yeah. Especially that hench-looking guy in the middle. <laughs> Beautiful hair. He <laughs> looks smooth, though. I came from a big fan. <laughs> Where'd he get his T-shirt from? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Can, can I say that? No? You know? <laughs> I want to keep my job. Let's All right. Sure. There's the first half of our round Ooh, one complete. And we so, have okay, already okay. lost Idom, the Beaky the Beast, Tokido, and Oil King for powerful names eliminated already from this bracket. But... Be very happy to see two USA flags there in the next round. We'll take that. We'll take that. I mean, you know, yeah. wanted some New York up there, but it's all good. You know, you know, it gives me more of a purpose to step my game up. Maybe I can end up in this cage. Oh, I like that. I like Hopefully, that. I hear you. I hear you no, talking. I'm with that. I'm with Keep that. Talking. Keep talking. We'll see. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, let's head over to that yellow taxi and hear what Z has to say. Oil King, it was an unfortunate result here at the Red Bull Kumite. Do you regret not wearing those beautiful short shorts? Uh, I say I won't regret it. But I believe there are many people who want to see it. But trust me, one day you will see it. So this time I didn't wear my shorts, but he promises that next time you'll be able to see it. Do you have any message for your friends, family, loved ones out there before I send you to the airport? I think there are a lot of people who are 
那个 s o i f i c a 我是拿第三嘛，这次在第一轮就出局了。不过我会我会回来 ，I will come back，I will come back。So last time I did really well at Kumite, I got third place. This time I pieced out in the very first round, so I know a lot of people are disappointed, but I promise you, I will come back. Let's go to the airport and give it back to Joe and the Battle King. Yet again, we have seen a dominant performance. Lashar is looking ridiculous. We are at the halfway point of Red Bull Kumite. Up to this point, the show has been the same. But I want to make sure we know exactly what's going through the rest of the players' minds right now in the back. Persia, let us know what's going on. What's up, everybody? We've been hanging out over here in the player lounge, and we're starting to get down to the nitty gritty here because we still have a few players who have not been drawn yet. So, with the format, with the single elimination, you're starting to see who you could possibly be up against. Amongst the four of you, who don't you want to fight? Uh, of course, Mana. I feel like it's no secret. <laughs> yeah, no secret. How, how about you? Who don't uh, you want to fight? Mana is tough, but it's also an opportunity for me to get a revenge, so... No, I won't say anyone. <laughs> oh, he's not scared of nobody! All right, how about you? Um, I don't want to fight Crimson, just because we're the EU reps here. Be a bit of a team kill in that way, but we'll see. Fair, fair. And how about you, Mana? Who don't you want to fight? <clears throat> Same thing. I don't want to fight people that I fight uh, often. Uh, Punk or Kevin. I'm ready for anybody else, you know. No one is easy, but I'll try my best. See, I like that. That was four completely different, like, perspectives and answers, and that's what makes Red Bull Kumite so awesome. But at the same time, is there anybody that's been eliminated that you're surprised to see out of the tournament already? Uh, not really from the matches. I've seen them paired up against. I feel like it's went how you would expect, kind of. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, Hibiki, uh, I think he had a uh, pretty bad draw. Uh, Gad is one of the hard matchup for Lily. So, but it's the cruelty of the Red Bull Committee sometimes. It's about the picking. <laughs> uh, I think Oil King probably for me. He was kind of one of my sleeper picks to take the whole thing. So I was a little bit surprised by that. But, you know, anything can happen out here. I was waiting for uh, another chapter of uh, fighting Tokido. And I'm, I'm not, not surprised because Big Bird is really good against Ken, but a little bit sad that we couldn't fight here, so I'm going to have to wait for my chance. And I'm sure there will be plenty more chances in the future, but for now, we're going to throw it right back to Rob. It looked like them boys were in the lineup, and right now I'm going to tell you, Punk the God is guilty. That said, serious gamers get their snacking and Red Bull fix at 7-Eleven. Stores are open 24 hours a day, and the 7 Now delivery app means your favorites are just a few taps away. And more Red Bull Kumite is also just a little bit away. Ladies and gentlemen, stay right there, and we'll be right back with the second half of Red Bull Kumite.
In anticipation of Red Bull Kumite 2024, hosted in Brooklyn, New York, we're looking back and celebrating some of the most memorable moments in Kumite history. Let's kick it off at Kumite 2015 in Paris. After falling short numerous times in past tournaments, Bonchan entered Red Bull Kumite 2015 looking to finally pick up his first major tournament win in Street Fighter 4. Facing a stacked field including former EVO champions like Daigo Umehara, Luffy, and Infiltration, Bonchan would have his work cut out for him. After taking out the aforementioned players in some close rounds, Bonchan would be knocked into losers by his friend and training partner, Takedo. However, after beating Nemo 3-0 to make it into Grand Finals, Bonchan would not be denied. In an intense series, he reset the bracket 3-1 before winning the tournament with another 3-1 victory, cementing himself into the history books as the first ever champion of Red Bull Kumite. Speaking of Takedo, he has, well, a history of being on the losing side of big moments. Red Bull Kumite 2023 South Africa Hometown hero, Jabi M, had been dominating since his debut in Street Fighter V, but was still relatively unknown on the world stage. So when he matched up against Takedo, one of the best Japanese players in the world, he was a clear underdog. Starting off the set, Takedo looked in control, with a dominant Game 1 win that made the set look like a foregone conclusion. However, Jabi M showed that he wasn't about to roll over, and clapped back with an equally dominant Game 2, capped off by a perfect. As the set went on, Jabi M shocked the world with a 5 3 victory over Takedo in what became one of the most memorable sets from the entire tournament. Rounding out part 1 is Red Bull Kumite 2021 in Las Vegas, with a group stage match for bracket qualification between Brian F and Mono. Both players seemed evenly matched, and the set went to a third and final game. That's when this happened. Brian F lands a godlike read to take the set and move on to the bracket stage. However, despite the hype of the casters and fans in attendance, Brian F. had to come clean. It was an accident. <laughs> that wraps up Volume 1 of the best Red Bull Kumite moments. Welcome back to Red Bull Kumite, New York. New York City, how we feeling? That is much more like it, Joe. Thank you. That said, the first half of matches People was getting washed. It was kind of ugly. It was nasty. Body bag. Straight smoke. Now we're about to see if that trend is going to continue through the second half or if people are going to start fighting back. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time that we get into our next match. Z, let's draw our first competitor. Who do we got? Okay. Who do we got? Okay. Not quite in New York, but. Punk the God. This is crazy. Punk the God, one of the most notorious trash talkers, one of the strongest players, probably the most ridiculous fundamentals that I've seen in the world of Street Fighter, at least in recent memory. Right now, Punk, whoever he has to go up against, I do not think it's going to be an easy draw whatsoever. I don't know if Persia, I don't think Persia is quite ready with our fighter yet. But with that being said, P Punk against anyone is absolutely insane. And I do think Persia is in position now. Persia, bring me our fighter. When I tell you Punk was ready immediately, you don't see him here right now. He was already out the door the second that card flipped. So I already know he's hungry to play. But who here is hungry to play against Punk? Any takers? Any takers? Oh, see, I respect that. You're like, I'll fight anybody. I, mean, I saw y'all looking away, looking away a little bit, but we'll see what the card has to say about that in the next draw. Punk and I'm from Philadelphia, I guess, but I live in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> 
My play style is honestly probably the dumbest one. I don't use all of my system mechanics and, you know, trying to force my turn all the time. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna just play this way. That's, she shouldn't really be playing. If I had to pick a player that I want to avoid, uh, probably be Habiki since he played Lily and just don't really know anything about the character at all. I just want to play Tokido again because I love the guy, but like, I hate him at the same time. So I feel like he's going to my Street Fighter V legacy. Hopefully I can actually win and, you know, people on YouTube can stop saying I choke all the time. I'm sorry, it happens, bro. Like, it's, it's not that easy sometimes in this game. Things can get crazy really fast. You can just lose matches in a blink of an eye. So I just kind of play, have fun, and then whatever happens, it just happens in this game. <laughs>
Red Bull Kumite. If you're with me for some Street Fighter 6, make some noise! My name is Tasty Steve, and I am joined by two legends, one on the desk, one when it comes to fighting games. I'm going to start to my right. Please make a warm welcome for one of my good friends and my commentary partners, James Chan! What's up, everybody? And you know what? I am so happy that we can be joined here on the desk by the prodigal son of New York, Justin Wong! <laughs> The legend. That's no. a legend. Thank you, everybody. That is a legend. I haven't been back. That is a legend. I haven't been back for like seven, eight years. <laughs> Literally, when I touch down JFK, it's like, this is home. Yo. Yeah. Right? I need to go to Chinatown and everything. But one big shout out is obviously the New York fighting game community. Talk we, to them. Right? We got to give a big shout out. We talked about Yipes. We talked about Eddie Lee, Sanford. But don't forget about Golden Sen. Henry Sen hey, over there, Henry bro. Henry Sen in the building. Right? NLBC, in the put him building. in the back right here. Right? He, he's actually kind of like my dad. Yo! Right? He took me to term. He drove me to Chicago. Major 16 hour, but 16 go. hour car ride and everything. But this story right here, right? They this. talked about it, the shake hands, like I'm not trying to let go. But it all started from the training arc because mm. they were all stuck in the hotel room, That's right. right? Because of the pandemic and they were playing online and Punk's like, yo, you're trash. I watched you. <laughs> like, you're not gonna smoke me. Like, you can't beat me. That's the classic that punk we know. The that is the lore. Famous last words yes. at that point, right? But yeah. that's why Punk on his card, smack talk, fully maxed <laughs> fully out. Fully maxed out, right? man. Exactly. Fully maxed I, out. I didn't see Punk tell people all day, every day, how he will smoke them, which way, no matter what way. <laughs> but we're gonna throw it to the boy, Hollywood, Battlemaster, the BK. Take it away, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, am I here? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special one. Right now, Punk the God and Mr. Crimson. What are the chances after we saw that video, he said he didn't want to go up against Punk the God. And sure enough, that's the name he was drawing. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you what we have to do when we have a special match like this, and we need to do it one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, can we do it? Kuma Tay, Kuma Tay, Kuma Tay. Our fighters, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Then it is time for Punk the God versus Mr. Crimson. Let's begin. And there you have it. The match has been told. I'm glad we had the lore. <laughs> Mr. Crimson yes. versus Punk the God is gonna be Cammy versus Dalsum. Not Karen. Not Karen. Not no Karen, Karen. Karen right? Mm -hmm. Not Karen. You know, it's funny because Mr. Crimson talks about like he doesn't want to fight Punk, the play style and everything. But Punk is like, he always hated Dalsum. Yep. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's one of those things like long limbs, he keeps walking in the normals, hard to whiff punish when yep. you think about it. Yeah. But I feel like Dalsum is like way slipperier in this yes. game than he's ever been. Uh -oh. But Cammy oh, has slippery. always uh. been good against Dalsum because of those dive kicks. Dive right. kicks. Always that having a way in. Yep. And now oh. with the spin knuckle as well too, right? Get in against the fireball. So much stronger too. And this character comes from make Punk use a little more unconventional methods of getting in, even though she's really strong yep. on the ground. Burns himself out Ooh. early. The but DI. Not close enough to the wall. But he is burned out right now. Can you Don't find test the reactions no, of can't. Punk the no. God. You can't. That is a guy. Don't test the reactions. Punk is reactions. He, he is. is. My man control. is reactions. He just formulated it to It is. It's like he he probably oh, has the best reactions of God. all time. That wasn't combo. That, that wasn't the combo, God but it still worked. That he even flustered Mr. Crimson there. Right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cammy does have Ooh. kind of like a throw loop with oh that crouching goodness. heavy punch. Oh. Big damage here, goes oh, for the mix-up. I like that. I like that sacrificing little damage uh. to get later. But look at this, a perfect Oof. KO Oof. How fast two. was that first game? Bro, James didn't even finish his that sentence, was a and we're going run. back. <laughs> James didn't even finish his sentence, and we're going to a rematch. All right. Yo, damn. I mean, so far, all we've been seeing are 5-0s and 5-1s. I think Punk's going to want to try to keep that going, but let's see if Mr. Crimson can break that, tra that trend. Okay, nice. nice anti-air attempt right there. The cannon strike. Oh. Why are you reaching? Because nah. Punk's all about the shimmy. Uh, you know the master. He'll shimmy, he'll shimmy you two times, three times. The travel size nice. shimmy. Challenge with the low. 
Okay, here we go. What's the neutral? What's the mix? Mr. Crimson, you need to play solid right now. Antire needs to be on oh, point. I was about to say, I really like the patience of oh, Mr. Crimson. It gets hit by the DI into the wall. Pump the God once again on a three round run and halfway through this game number two. And it's scary to fight Punk's Cammy even at a full screen because he's so well ready to whip punish even all of Dalsum's long limbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and you can see yeah. he's already prepared, also, especially Ooh. when it comes to this range where he can actually get these big whip punishes. Drive rush, he will always spin the meter to get in, and he just wants to keep the pressure up. Oh. Nice, oh, nice, nice perfect nice. parry right there. Throw. That's got, great. Got a back throw. Get, get out of that corner situation, but oh no. It's yeah. the jump, yeah. I think he's trying to go for float. Ooh, the but gets the level three. three. Big damage on the table. Kill? Is this going to kill? No, no way, uh, James. Not yet. No not way. yet. It wasn't in the yellow. I got to ask, man. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's on the job for him, nice. I understand. I like exactly. the meaty heavy kick right there. That was good. Try to burn yeah. him out, but the anti is on point. But going to the third round, Punk has level three. He's going to react with a level three against the limb or even with Punish into oh, it, so right? Like you right see, he's there. already yeah, primed uh -huh. for it. The faster these rounds go, the worse it gets for Mr. Crimson. But the slower it goes, the better it is for Mr. Crimson. 1,000%. For sure. For sure. Oh, oh, what the heck? Yeah. But you know what? You got the counter hit on the Crouch Light Punch. So he's going to be able to link into the crowd strong. The throw strike guess is looking really good right yep. now for throw Punk. Throw again? Yep. Oh, How no. many throws are we taking? Are we changing but, up? Yeah, but oh, yeah. Yeah. good call, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, teleport. Not Go now. back to mid screen. Mm -hmm. How dare you? I don't challenge. What, oh, oh, no, no that's a bad situation. Threw him right back into the corner. Oh, oh just time. in time. Perfect, perfect placement just on the drive time. reversal. No more drive gauges here. We're playing honest matches right here. Is it honest? Cammy has a bullet coming. Yeah, well, I was about to say. <laughs> Cammy oh. literally has a bullet. Anti air trades. Nice, oh, that's no, a, no oh, punish oh, because of oh, the, because of the block stun. Mm -hmm, burnout. Wow. The jab into the tick throw. Oh, Mr. Shit Crimson damage, in trouble. Shit damage, what are you gonna yeah, do? go for the parry. Great, great oh, adjustment. Oh, new two jump, not gonna work. He's still holding that's the parry. Oh, parry. Perfect parry. parry. Back, Back throw. throw. Here comes Mr. Crimson. Oh, oh my god, the OD. He let, went for it. Let me out, he says. I will not be locked down. Was that a reaction or was that just a I just did it? Bro, he is the what reaction. What do you think? He just it's, absorbed it's into punk. the game, it's bro. Punk, right? I believe it's the reaction. Remember, yeah. this man changed Street Fighter V with the single hit confirmed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everyone wanted to play like him. They're like, this is how you need to be a pro player yeah. in Street Fighter V, right? And I, I really think he probably has the best reactions of all time. Yo, There's no other player close guys. enough. To the, Phenom. I'd say you think Phenom's, Phenom's up Phenom's there? Phenom's up there. Phenom's up there. Phenom's up there. We need to have there. a, like, you know how the basketball, you have the three-point contest? <laughs> we need a reaction contest. We do. We need that. Think about it, We need to add that to Red Bull Kumite. The reaction contest. Reaction they do contest. it in professional baseball. <laughs> they should do it in Street Fighter and fighting games. Oh, nice. oh right away. God. You cannot try to poke Punk at a screen away like that. You have to be so careful. Okay, yep. Use, use the yoga. Heavy. Yep, the yoga comet. Oh no, that's a knockdown too. Oh, nice jump back medium. Kiss that soft knockdown. Go for the flow. Oh, wow. Oh. Conversion? But, uh, yeah, he's switching sides. He's just switching sides with that setup right there. Good call out on the neutral jump right there. By oh Mr. no, they the timing of the meaty. It's opened up though. They trade in the corner. This is not looking good for Mr. Crimson once again. Yep. Oh no, that's dead because that was a punish counter on that drive parry. He tried to perfect parry the jump like he did last game, but Punk ready for it this time. Yeah, it's kind of like a human habit, right? Like if you're not ready for anti, yep. you just want to do a tap parry. Oh, he tried to do something. Did you see the jump strong into the dive kick? Yeah. Why is Punk so ready for these situations? This is crazy. He's just trying everything. Yeah. Nice crouch oh, fierce, okay, nice shimmy. Okay, here we it's, go. it's not that much damage though. Punk's like, all right, it's cool. Yeah. Don't you, worry about it. You don't get oaky. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared. <laughs> and you're willing to exchange that for keeping the moments. Quick yep. knockdowns are not going to slow you down that much. Yeah, Mr. Crim, you see Mr. Crimson whipping the grab. He's trying to get oh, Punk no, to react to something out, unsafe. Got to be careful, though. He's still got bars. Yo, yeah, speaking of bars, it. he's got three Ooh, of them bad boys. Lock it the in. Optimal. Close it out. Uh, the drive. by. You don't understand how that combo is not just do it. You have right, to literally yes. delay a second and make the character fall down to get that hold cannon spike to get that level three right. cancel. So if you do it too early, you're already airborne. So you just answered your own question. You said you think that's reactions. Of course that's reactions. And he's got the ability. <laughs> but that combo to do was that. so awful. I mean, they people said on the internet, Cammy doesn't do that much damage. Dude, <laughs> man, look, you, know, dude. I mean, you like, remember that, right? You, you listen to those guys. Out, yeah. The internet's not a real place. Dude. We're going to game number three. <laughs> Punk versus Mr. Crimson. And it is not looking good for Mr. Crimson right now. And he's having a hard time oh. keeping out this cami. Dive kick, counter hit combo, and now you're in the corner again. Yeah, it's it's just really tough. Like, obviously, we know Mr. Crimson. He did one Red Bull with Street Fighter Five Dawson. Mm -hmm. He was more aggressive during that time. That yep. was a different Dawson. Now right. it's, like, a bit slowed down. You know, he has to kind of prepare himself on, like, what does he need to do next? But Punk is like, oh, you're playing slower? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
He's like, oh, you want to slow it down? Cool. Give no me more mix. time. You want to play nooch? Yeah, you, you against me? Yeah, this is the game that Punk wants oh, to oof. play. Oof. Oh, okay. He's eating limbs right now, though. Yeah, nicely done. It's so hard to jump forward on Dalsim. But uh -oh. he's ready with those anti airs, but that's going to be a knockdown. Yep. So that Punk's going to get in for the throw. Punk. Punk's going to keep this mix oh, up. No. Oh, no. Oh, perfect spacing yeah, was perfect crazy. spacing. Level oh, two on deck. Dead. That's right. Yo, he's teach him how to kill. walk again. Hit him with the animated two movie. Oh! oh. I love that super. The Yo. throwback to Street Fighter, the animated movie. That's the only time Cammy got burned in that whole movie. Yo. <laughs> they had to take her down so with extreme prejudice, that. bro. <laughs> I that was crazy. Nice. I want more Cammy in that, but yeah. you know what? That's what Punk's giving us right now. Yeah, Mr. Prison is doing such a great job using Ooh, that conversion. It's the Yoga Inferno. Look at that oh, damage yeah. right there. Oh, yo, Good tried check. the back fist to get through there. Mr. Crimson waking up right now but in burnout. Kinda, yeah, he's burned out, though, which is kind of scary because obviously Cammy kind of has like a, a nice trap, right, with the spin knuckle. Right. I mean, that's the thing. Dawson usually does pretty well when he's burned out because he can keep out. Oh. But against Cammy, it's such a different story with the spin oh. knuckles and the dive kicks. Yeah. James, you talked about how slippery this character is. And this axe nice. on display right level now. Two. Mr. Crimson with the level two. That's a big chunk of damage right there. Mr. Crimson with a clean lead. And what a way to finish the round. Stops right. the bleeding. Didn't get the match, but gets a round in there. Do you think Dawson is a character that gets better in longer sets? I think so. Right? I think Because I, I feel like Mr. Crimson is able to fight a lot more mm -hmm. now, right? Yeah, you have to... Dalsum is a counter character. Yes. He really has to learn the, what the opponent wants to do yeah. so he can stop that. But Puck how do you right stop now, this though? How, yeah. do you, how do you stop the throw loops? Ooh. How do you stop the corner pressure? But he escapes. Yeah, uh, most of the times he had been teleporting back into the corner. That time was the first time he went out, but Punk got him right back in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect again, nice. Oh, that was damage. so genius. What? Yo, that yeah. was the most high level. No, that was so enough for the throw rocket. You guys in. don't know what just happened. Talk to me then. Right. The reason why Mr. Crimson backed that is because one. Punk pressed a button so late that if you throw or press a button, Punk was able to respond with a tech or bluff. Yes. Uh -huh. So he backdashed knowing Punk was going to throw, trying to tech his throw. That was instant oh, crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Oh, that's that's him, galaxy break. Galaxy break. Oh punch. my god, this dude. Punk, bro, punk. How, do we, how do we go transition into a whiff punish? Yo. <laughs> but Punk, honestly, I mean, he still took that one anyway. And remember, you wanted this, Mr. Crimson. This is you, what you, you asked, asked for. for this, Crimson. He said he wanted the match, but in his interview, I don't want to fight Punk. <laughs> <laughs> why did he, why did he, it's like choosing one or the other. Yo, that, that was one, a different Crimson. That that was the same guy. Neutral jump. He's right no matter what that way, right? Yeah. So there you go. Dawson player Ooh. mindset. Okay, what's the guess? Yeah, you had the tech. It's a force. Oh, Comet. oh my god. god. Spin yeah. the oh that Comet god. was too I, slow. Match, match point for point. Punk. Another Yo, one. Are we getting another 5-0 here at Red Bull Kumite? This first round here has been so Oh, he's just holding the parry. Oh, 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 he's just holding he the parry. He spent the call so much of his drive gauge on that, but he doesn't care. He's up so many games. He could take more risk in this right. type of format, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, this Reset. is best of nine, first okay. to five. Wait a minute, Dawson, Mr. Crimson. Dawson does have a throw loop. Oh, oh nice. Mm. Yep, juggle right there. Great conversion. Good anti-air. He's going to get the full combo here into the level one. Big damage. That's a level one damage combo from Dawson. Yeah, he went for the up blast. Oh, no. Punish killer okay. on that throw. That's a fifth of the Oh, combo. wow. The trade? Into, into the, the level three. Oh. That is Punk the God. The trade? Is that 5 0? -oh? Shake it. Hold the hand. Hold no, the hand. I would have uh, oh, held the hand. He should have held the hand. Shake. Never let go, Punk. Never let go. Never let go. <laughs> like they're stranded in the That's ocean. Punk the God. It was enough room on that door. Leader of the Alpha. <laughs> Academy. <laughs> that was enough room on that yeah, door. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Punk the God with an amazing, an exclamation mark yes. on that 5-0 victory versus Mr. Crimson. What a way to play it out. Yeah. And the, everything looked on point. The whip punishments, whip punish. the confirms, the long-range control, yes. and just making sure Dalton was not able to get his game started. Even, even the mix-ups in the corner, like, just Mr. Crimson had just had such a hard time thinking, like, yeah. strike throw, strike throw. Yeah. It's such a simple concept, right? Literally heads or tails, but when you keep guessing wrong, it really shows and it hurts so much, especially if you're playing a character like Dawson who doesn't have a wake-up DP, yes, exactly. right? A wake-up level one, but, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, let's right? throw it over to Mr. Rob TV. Ladies and gentlemen, how about that fight? Punk the guy. Probably the most ridiculous fundamentals in the world of Street Fighter. You let it be known that you actually play a, a dumb style by not abusing the mechanics, but we can't tell right there. Take us through that match.
Uh, I mean, it's awesome. Um, so you got to abuse the system mechanics. I kind of knew that I would win 5-0. It's what I kind of expected there. Uh, I just feel like the matchup is just really bad. Like, there's nothing you can really do to stop Cammy as Dalsam. You can try, but when she hits you one time, it's just, you're kind of done. So I just play for the one hit, and I just go as crazy and keep throwing different things at you as much as possible, and you're not going to really check all of them. I knew I was going to win 5-0. It's crazy. Get to the back. You know what? You don't know how to go ahead. Congratulations. Mr. Crimson, right here, please. You played, I ain't gonna lie, you got smoke. <laughs> that being said, we have seen you do work four years, including right now in Street Fighter VI. You are one of the best players in the world, and of course, newly a father as well. Please make some noise for Mr. Crimson! Mr. Crimson, please hand over your fight card. Let me give you a little bit of piece of advice, Mr. Crimson. Go back to Street Fighter V. And that is how it goes right here at Red Bull Kumite. No remorse, no time for the weak, only the strong survive. So far, 5-0, 5-1, 5-1, 5-0 is looking disgusting. And we need to see some better play from the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna send things back to our commentators. The Battle King is disgusting. I, I, I don't know who that man is up there. I don't know. That's not Listen. L.I. Joe. That's L.I. Jerk, dude. That's, I mean, seriously. Okay, dude. but I'm, I actually hill? love this multiverse L.I. Joe. I'm a fan. <laughs> Please be like this forever. I am not a I'm fan, a of, fan of Joe. This. I love I, I, Joe. I don't know who the hell that I, is. That, that is an is evil not, that is not, interpretation. I, that I, I am not, not a fan. Him at all. Listen, if you think about it, it's a compliment. Go back to Street Fighter V. That's your best game. Ah, I like oh, how you spin he's it. Being nice. He's you're, being nice in that time. Right. You gotta be optimistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're doing you know? right there. Exactly. I would do it too. Okay, okay, but fair enough. Okay. It don't stop there's, the action here. There's though. L.I. Joy then, right? Yeah, okay, okay, we got it. There you go. It does not stop the action here. We got a lot of players that went home. Idom, Abiki, Tokido, mm. and Oil King, and now Jeez. Mr. Crimson. These people are moving into the quarterfinals. Yes. But we still got more games to play. Big we names. still got more players yeah, to eliminate. Big names, right? There's still Menor D, Gachi Kun, Chris Wong, yeah. right? Ooh. Broski, and oh, Bon Chan. So, but I am I need to hear Mr. Crimson's thoughts about this. Let's go to Z right now. Give it to us. Curious minds want to know, Mr. Crimson, is the beef still going on? Is it buried? Is it real? What is going on between you and Punk? Yeah, of course the beef is still going on. I want to take my revenge. But this time he got me and he got me well. Nothing to say about it. It was a great match. We congratulated you for being a papa. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How has that changed your life, your attention to games after becoming a father? It's something really important for me, of course. I uh, always wanted to have a family. Uh, we can expect that it will have pressure, but actually it didn't. Now I know that I have my little boy when I come back home, my lovely wife also. But I want to perform also for them. So I definitely want to be back and I will be back. Well, we're going to take you home to your lovely family and take it back to Joe and the Battle King. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we feeling about Red Bull Kumite? Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. That was a wash. What's going on right there, Joe? It's a grudge match. I mean, it's supposed to be close. That was definitely a grudge match, but right now, Justin, James, and Steve, don't ever let me hear you say my name ever again. Joe, 
You gotta try to be calm. Try to remain calm. I don't know why they up there trying to disrespect you like that, as if it's not how you normally are. They know how we get down. Don't make me come up there, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are about to go ahead and get to our next match draw. Z, do the honors. Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. It is time for Duel Kevin! Persia, let us know what is on Duel Kevin's minds in the back. How is my guy feeling? You heard the boss, how you feeling? And I'm actually curious if you can manifest which card comes next, who, who you want? I don't know, it's a lot of Luke's right now still here. Um, yeah, maybe some of my favorite players, like, uh, I mean, a few of them. Mena, Bon Chan, Chris Wong, you know? Anybody, really. Say, give me all of them. Yeah, it'll be a good match no matter what. All right, well, go catch your cab, and then we'll see who you're fighting next. After Captain Cup, I was actually very tired, and I was telling myself, since it's the end of the season, I was telling myself to take a break, and I was like, I just want to keep beating people. And I like doing Kevin just taking his time. He ain't giving up nothing. As he should. Well earned. Oh, what a catch! The least I want to draw first is definitely Punk. <laughs> it's probably a lot of people's choice. One of the greatest players in the world. So he had a cash out. He had a cash. Oh my God, the chip out. That's big damage. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Duel Kevin, you will see him tomorrow at the Red Bull Kumite New York City Finals. To get the last spot tomorrow feels amazing, actually. Uh, a lot of strong killers, international killers. So me being able to share the st stage with them and get some matches with them in a serious tournament say is a great feeling. New York City, let me hear it for Duel Kevin! And as you just said, Rob, Duel Kevin came through at the LCQ and was crowned champion. And now here he is in the official final event for Red Bull Kumite New York. That boy, of course, is representing the Midwest region. But fun fact, he was actually born right here in New York. So in some way, he is a native son. I actually heard there's even more lore. He was born in Long Island, New York. Here you go. Here you go, Joe. Okay, that being said, with us having dual Kevin, we need to see who his opponent is going to be. We only got a few cores left. Z, let's see it. Oh, okay, okay. Let me get Chris Wong. Chris Wong been so consistent, it's ridiculous. Persia, what's going on with my player back there? How is the fighter? Are you looking forward to this match? Are you looking forward to fighting the LCQ winner? Yes, I saw yesterday, Duke Given said he wanted to play with me, the first match. So I'm excited. And we're all excited too. And Again, another poetic matchup. The players are getting what they're asking for, and I'm excited to see it. Good luck. I'm Chris Wong. I'm from Hong Kong. I won the Cup 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 因為我有同日本嘅玩家或者係好日本玩家或者係啲韓國嘅高手玩家去練習啦，咁所以我係 keep 到呢個高水平嘅比賽。咁誒，同埋我會做，即係可能公餘嘅時間咧，我會做一啲運動，咁啊令到我比賽嗰陣可以維持個體力。可能因為比賽係可能七至八個鐘啊，或者係更加長嘅時間。最唔想打到應該係 Bon Chan， 點解咧？因為 Bon Chan 我喺 online 同佢練習啦，又或者係打一啲排名賽啦，咁我通常都係輸嘅，係同埋大家都係用同一隻角色 look 噶，咁所以佢喺誒打 look 嘅 mirror， 即係 look 打 look 嘅對賽裏邊咧，佢係非常之有策略同埋有對策嘅。And he has arrived. Give it up for Chris. Whoa! 
This is one of the most consistent players in the world this season. We've seen him get second place in Singapore CPT, and then first place in France right after, and then eventually second place at Capcom Cup. Yes, Chris has absolutely been killing it by far. One of the strongest Luke's currently on the scene in Street Fighter VI. Let's see if that Luke is going to be able to stand up to duel Kevin. We're about to find out. We have a mirror match brewing. Unless Kev goes with the Rashid, I want to see what our commentators think about this action. So let's talk about Chris Wong. He said he got second place at Capcom Cup. I'm going to tell you right now, my man was cooking so wild at Capcom Cup, he actually could have won that bad boy. He that, that's really what I'm saying. Close. He was really in that spot. But also on top of that, this is the businessman I like to call. He put himself in this position because he says that he trains with some of the best and he feels like he can uphold it. But dual Kevin, a Kevin of two. When I tell you this guy is one of the strongest Street Fighter players in general, he's been one of the people time and time who told me, Steve, watch what I do in Street Fighter 5. Yeah, you're now that. watch oh, what yeah. I do That's in Street right. Fighter yeah. 6. Mm -hmm. And now he is on a Red Bull Kumite stage representing, coming from one of the last FQ. spots available. Yeah. Right, but you got to think about it. You know, shout out to St. Cola. Shout mid best. <laughs> the mid best. Kevin, <laughs> mid best. But if you guys don't know, Chris Wong, like from Hong Kong, he's been playing Street Fighter 5, had amazing Nash, yeah. an amazing run. Also, you know what I mean? He's like, he's like my second cousin. Mm. Every every seven years, <laughs> every seven yeah, this is the one. every but seven years we meet up with all the families and we have a family cookout. So no, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The that, that's the okay. lore. That's, that's the, the lore. That's the lore. Well, yeah, that's the lore. We make it real. Well, look, yeah. regardless of what happens here, uh, it's gonna be a great match between these two. Of course, it is best of nine, first of five. We like to say yes, yes. around these parts. But what are your thoughts on this, James? I mean, look, if you are not picking Chris Wong as one of the favorites to take Bruh. this tournament, keep in mind the last three off line events he went to. He got second place in Singapore, first place in France, second place at Capcom Cup. I mean, that is a record. I mean, even though he didn't win Capcom Cup, it's hard not to say he might be the best yeah. Street Fighter Six player right now. Second place for 300000 is not a bad place to be in. <laughs> okay. I would like to hear what the Battle King has to say about it. Let's send it to Rob TV. Oh, y'all are making noise already at the beginning of this. Y'all ready for this one? Can we get that with the clappers one more time? Come on, come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see what we have. We have the model of consistency in Chris Wong. We have the LCQ winner, Dual Kevin. I need to know who your favorite is for this match. Make some noise if you have Chris Wong. On the other hand, from the Midwest, we have the man who did not even know for sure he was going to be here today. Or maybe he knew, but we didn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise if you have Duel Kevin. Chris, Kevin, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Enough said then. It's time for Kumite. You heard the man, the man leading all these plans. <laughs> the battle master, the battle yeah. king, I like to say, yeah. BK. You know, Duel Kevin, obviously, he's playing Rashid here. Yes. He, um, one of his main characters, obviously, also Luke. Yes. Yep. Right? He usually kind of avoids the Luke mirror match. He's not a big fan of it, so he's like, okay, I need a second character because I already know I need to prepare for all these Lukes. So we got to throw him off guards. He's using Rashid to counter that. And Chris Wong, I mean, he fights the Japanese players. Yes. That means he has experience with Gachi Kun That's all the true. time. That's true. That puts him in a good spot, especially in this matchup. We don't see many Rashids, but all of them are really strong, especially when you oh, see wow. where they place in a lot of these events. Knowledge check right there. Yeah, you saw instant, that punish? Instant. Yeah, and again, Duel Kevin, I mean, his rise in Street Fighter, obviously he's been known for a lot of other fighting yep. games yes. out there, but like his rise in Street Fighter, and I loved seeing him. He got second place at uh, Frosty Faustings earlier yep. uh, to Punk, actually. And so that was one where he was able to play Rashid and get practice. Mm. Yeah. Eating two throws right now. He's in a bad position. That's Big life lead for Chris Wong. Yeah, that is Luke. And also, like, even remember, he went, won the play in qualifiers, and th there's a lot of match footage, recent match yep. footage. So that means Chris Wong probably had a lot of chance to study against what Duke Kevin's going to do, or even against Nephew, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. And still, once again, oh, nice. Trying to use it to follow up on that whirlwind there. Chris yeah. Wong holding his ground really well. Look at the life lead. He's controlling. He knows. Oh, nice walk back. Oh, but too far away. With punish. For the link. 
Yeah, he tried to link the counter hit into the sweep, it looked like, and it was just a little too far. And Chris, good presence of mind to swing Ooh, right afterwards. So pressure drop rush. That, that, is is such, that is such a popular thing that everybody's Ooh. been doing right now. Nice, perfect parry, uh -huh. go for the back out. throw. Get What's the, the setup? Oh. Wow, he just woke up with a level one already. Yeah. Is that oh, the trade? Oh, shot? Oh, oh no, just okay. in time. Nice oh, jump. The what jump back. is happening? Okay, the scrambles. <laughs> Yo, he Category got a five. Combo anyway. <laughs> oh, nice combo. Oh, perfect timing too. He got the timing of the jump fierce, but dropped the the forward. Strong yeah, he right dropped there. the mixer right there. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, wait a minute. Big damage here. Nice, nice. HP mixer on the follow up. Oh, Big how, dash rush. Over how dare there. you backdash me? Oh, oh. dual Kevin. Eagle spike. That's Kevin number one. Kevin number one. That's Kevin number When's one. Kevin number two coming out? <laughs> when he wins the set. That's okay, Kevin when number he wins two. the set. <laughs> so every, first round, it's always the first Kevin. It's the first Kevin, bro. Okay, but so going to the third round though. Chris Wong has three bars. That means you know Memphis is coming. I <laughs> say Memphis is coming. <laughs> Pack your bags. Pack your bags. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Using a lot of parry. Back That's throw. Back throw. Yeah, this is huge again. The corner is such a bad place to be. Oh, in this there game. it is. Mm. Pack your bags. Put on your suit. Level two. Nah. Level one. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Choice. Okay. If you did level two or level three, he would have burned oh. him. He would have definitely burned him. But this is the round. Oh, oh the, yeah, you're dead. This, this is, is the so round. Much Chris Wong was the one who did that like 80 percent combo and ran that one time. It was yep. ridiculous. The drive rush back. The drive, the drive rush heavy kick yeah. Yeah. into the full combo. That means he gets three drive rush heavies yep. all the time. Big damage. Big damage. Yeah, I, I, I really thought the the first the first inter, the, the first exchange where using the level one, I thought that was a mistake, right? Yeah. Because it's like you could have burned them out earlier, but you know, Joel Kevin got kind of happy, trigger happy that level one, right? Super Rashid kick. Yo, the crowd's behind it though. I can hear the thunder sticks going off behind me, but mm -hmm. nice. Stand fierce, stand blast, and he's really trying to keep this in control. Stand medium kick, just to make sure Joel Kevin doesn't get comfortable swinging in that range right there. Nice, perfect parry on that sandblaster. Oh. Trying to get, oh, did that oh, that oh, to go. Got that dive punch from Luke. Dive, I like Let's... that dive punch. That's a good one right there. <laughs> that thing is so broken. <laughs> okay, yo, he is buffering that medium. Mm -hmm. I mean, they said there was less recovery, but it's still really hard to whiff punish that button. Yeah, you still see people pumping that bad boy. Yeah, it's also a threat because you're like, okay, you can drive rush cancel, it's plus on block. Like, I really don't want to mess with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of not wanting to mess with that, Chris Wong is on full defense mode right now. He is, he is not interacting at all. I mean, there's, there's really no reason to, right? He has the yep. lead, but now, here we go, dual Kevin. Not quite in the lead yet, but take okay. it. Now he has the lead for sure. Yeah, lucky Over back throw right there. Guards the toes. Yep. Still Jack gets mixer. hit by the mixer, Counter though. Counter hit, too. Mm. Level it's, one, is that enough? Super kick! Oh, oh, super Rashid kick! But... You know what I feel like the difference is between like let's say a uh, Rashid like Gachi Kun or Oil King versus Dual Kevin. You know how Dual Kevin in this interview talked about how he doesn't want to fight Punk. Yeah. That means Punk nurtured him when it comes to normals, footsies, mm -hmm. playing the neutral. Because Dual Kevin is winning the exchanges on the ground a lot, yes, catching he is. Chris Wong walking back with the crouching medium kick. Okay, up catching the legs, and now the throws are becoming a lot more potent. Okay, no good punish Ooh. there. Dead heavy kick, though. It's one of his best buttons, and, and doing it at the range is now where Chris Wong can't punish it like he could in the first round. These pokes are adding up. He's not getting anything oh big. Oh, just in time. He just challenges it. He's just like, get your last kick and out of here. Okay, time to guess, baby. It's hard. Are you going to drive reversal? No, you're taking the hit, the overhead. overhead. And this is enough. This should be enough. Oh, yeah. oh he's still got, sure. that he's got that sushi. Super good. Yeah. One to one. Even one. We got a real set here. Okay. One to one, no blowouts this no time. Blowout. Let's go. Not that wood, we're not quite there yet, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna see a 5-2 at least. Wow. <laughs> so positive, here we go. Ooh, drive oh, reversal wow. early. Okay, and you know what? You spend it when they drive rush cancel like that, it makes it so that the, 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 the drive meter bounces Oh, nice. Out. For sure, two oh, to three. Didn't believe it though. Chris Wong, you gotta protect that drive gauge. Dual Kevin's healthy. Oh Ooh. no, there's that crouching strong, but only into a standing medium kick. Yep. No drive rush cancel off of that. Yeah, not committing to anything big, even though he did land those hits, but he is controlling the screen. He is. He's in a walk back? Oh, that was godlike. He just got the meter to not burn out, so he has one extra drive rush. Level and one. Here we go, level yeah, one. Easy. Vulcan easy. blast to take it out. Okay, wait a minute. Man, they are really going back and forth. We might have to settle That's on what our I'm hands, saying. Bro. This is a slow play. Like, both of these players, they're not trying to play ham. Right, they're trying to play this neutral, <laughs> yeah. and they're, you know, they're going to take their time. I, we're going to be sitting here for a bit. Hey, I'm about it, though. You know, look, look, I, I have no problem yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, highly yeah, competitive yeah. Street Fighter Six, bro. Okay, using a whirlwind shot to bait something out. 
Wow. Suppressor. Yeah, trying to pull oh, the button. Yeah, that dive button. Scott Chikuna's looking like God damn it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Why is that button so good? Oh. Stand light kick hand blast. Remember, they did improve Rashid's uh, OD spinning mixer, though. Oh, yeah, they did. Minute. You're right. It's oh, all right, level it's two. Yeah, here we go. What's it gonna oh, wow. back to He's like, nah, son. He saw the dash. Arms, dude. dash into his oh. Level two, ineffective. Oh, wow. Get, try oh, to get the perfect pair. That should be enough. The micro Beast mode, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, Ooh. let me hit the slow mo. Dead. You see the micro walk there? He just. Gave enough bait for Dual Kevin to try to walk backwards and was able to catch his feet with the crouching light kick. And yeah. that led to that finishing combo. Yeah, Street Fighter defense neutral has changed so much because obviously they took, they removed crouch tech. Crouch tech is completely gone. So it's like you really have to guess if yeah. you want to either mm -hmm. walk back or take the throw or just even just press a button. Yep. So walking back is a popular option since Street Fighter V. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really happy to see. We've been talking about this yesterday and I'm sure you guys noticed that the back dashes in the corner, yes. one and another tool. You see the people deal with throws, especially when some of these characters have loops to deal with. But we're fighting in the middle of the screen. Big damage once again on the side of nice. Chris Wong. Yep. Couldn't get a full combo there because it's close oh. to the corner. Bro, is that, that, a, is that tech? I Remember what yeah, we talked about, about yesterday? He did that on purpose? He did it yesterday, did too. yesterday, okay. too, while we were talking he, he about it. He screwed out. I was confused. Oh, and then the surprise oh. drive him back. Big damage here. No reaction yeah, yeah. for Chris Wong, and it's almost a burnout. Oh, he read the shimmy! He read the shimmy! Low forward, gets the driver He's forward, puts out, himself though. in burnout, looking a little dry. Nice. Looking a little thirsty. The level one is going to do it. Chris Wong. D right there. Bro, jab, jab. Most people have done jab, jab, flash knuckle. Right. Yeah. He did jab, jab, level one, optimal stuff. Mm. That was so much damage, too. Yo, third strike is just jab, jab in the super. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yo. Nice punish with the punish counter. What's the setup? Take him to the mm. corner. How dare you try to jump? Nice, perfect parry. Had the hit. Nice interrupt right there after the parry. Okay, sand blast. Oh, oh, didn't get the whip punish on that knee. Yep, yep. Wait a minute. Dual Kevin with the corner now. Frank trying kills. to get a button. Yeah. There was the back dash in the corner. A lot of back dash oh, has been happening. Yeah, that does hit on the other side, but unfortunately does pop him out of the corner. So he tries to back throw, and yeah, you see him trying to push nice. him right back in there. He's going to be able to get the kill here. It no doesn't even need the super meter. Meter required. That's a huge win right there. Mm -hmm. Going with three bars, that means instead of, because usually Rashid doesn't use level three, that means he could get two Yasars yep. in this final yep. game right here. And there's a the throw, too. He can do it now oh, if he wanted to. He just takes he, the charge. I thought he was going to go for I it. I thought he was about yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe right here? Here? Yo, he's playing yeah, up there. Okay, okay, here we go. That's one. Yeah, so What's the mix? Ooh, airborne. You can definitely build up a second one. Whoa, there's the back dash in the corner. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm out. Wow. Oh, out Where I'm are you out. going? And he got the level three. No, no, that was crazy. Oh, my God. God. What just happened? In trouble. Yo, Overhead. Yo, that was for the throw. They are scrambling bro, right now. You know what? Don't care for the Street Fighter 6 player, but that was some marble right that there, baby. That was definitely some marble. <laughs> and there we go. Dual that Kevin. That was OD. Time to set. Two, two. Where was Damn, he going? Damn, they are scrambling. We got ourselves they are a scrambling. Set. We got ourselves a set Oh, here. my God. Like, okay. Dual Kevin using the escape, right? Using the next OD to get out. But Chris Burns Wong was, out. Chris Wong response was amazing. Right. Uh -huh. He probably, this never has happened before, that, but no. I need to do something. Right, exactly. And I, I felt like, like at least the fact that he did something, it was really ambitious and great. But it was unfortunate that it just happened like that. <laughs> There's no way he trained for that. There's, There's no way. No, it's impossible. No way. Yeah, exactly. But again, Dual Kevin had that enhanced OD mixer, which let him still get Why? the follow-up afterwards. Why did he get the jump and punish, though? He Yo, just <laughs> <what>? <laughs> but that's knowledge, too. Yeah, right? yeah Knowing that's true. the optimal punish. I mean, come on, Luke's got to have some weakness, oh, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Woo! OK, nice oh, combo. Dual Take Kevin looking strong. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah, missed the crosscut right there, right? Oh, oh the classic! The classic missed the throw! Oh, oh the you're shimmy. reaching! You're reaching too much right do now, Chris Wall! Again. Oh, he's still he's still tech the throw! And I like the fact that he hit the OD instead. That way he tried to get through, puts himself in burnout. Too far, too he, far. He actually beat the suppressor mm -hmm. with Stan Jab. Impressive. Oh! Drive impact, takes a little bit of chip damage. Oh you're my. gonna get chipped out. And you can see him just backing up. He doesn't want to give him the space, but he's putting oh him in the Oh my god, the jump in! That's big! He did not spin. Oh, the oh, neutral jump. He tried, jump. He tried to he, he tried to bait the super Rashid kick. That's why he oh, neutral jump, right? Oh, right. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But I mean, what was the wake up? Uh, Roman shot. Roman yeah, that shot. was actually kind of confusing. Unless that was supposed to be the super Rashid kick and it was oh, just yeah. an execution error. Possibly. Yo, he's been playing back quite a little bit, so I'm, I'm confused on it too. Okay. Bro. Misses the perfect parry attempt, but, but doesn't get punished counter throw. That's okay. 
Yeah, getting a knockdown in the corner in this situation, not the worst. You just don't want to have your back to the wall. Oh, nice Let's check. Go. You have to spend something. You need to get something started. Oh, gets out of the corner. Yeah, yeah. Chris Wonkin, one little tap, he can kill you right now. Mm -hmm. Putting a lot of faith in himself right now. Ooh. Gets the trade. Oh, Didn't God, swing so right there. Of the trade combo, no oh. whip punish. Okay. Oh, oh that's yeah. It. That's it right three, there. 3-2, two. 3-2, three, two, baby. This is a back and forth. We got a set, everybody. Mm -hmm. Buckle up. We got a set. Yo, New York Gala joined this Street Fighter 6. Man, make some noise out there, man. These, these games are not sick. Is this not ridiculous? Giving us games right now. What I came outside for. They are swinging. They are fighting. They're playing neutral. <laughs> Street Fighter is being played right now. All the tools on display right here. Man, Street Fighter 6 has a huge mental stack. Watching these two go back and forth like this is actually ridiculous. Yes. It's so hard to keep track nice of all the combo. options that you have. And yeah, I'm trying to push Chris Wong into the corner. Ooh, nice. What an anti -air. Yeah, he was able to reach him. I don't even think Chris Wong hit a oh, button. Oh, no punish, though. Oh, he could have drive rushed and get a huge punish yeah. there. And the pace of this game is speeding up to a dual Kevin pace, where it's a lot harder for Chris mm -hmm. Wong to get his game yep, started. Yep, yep, yep. Nice back oh, dash again. Yes. Chris Wong is using that option a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. yeah, Chris Still working. Second time he's been able to back dash dual Kevin's throw right there. Crouch a medium punch. Perfect parry, too. Yeah. You need to be careful. Whiff punish on whiff punishes. Check. Now, this time from dual Kevin. Gonna try to push him towards the corner as much Get as possible. Get the OD uppercut to stop the pressure. Back to the mid screen on the fight. Small hold on the parry. You can see him kind of getting into this position. He's yeah, getting yeah, into yeah, this yeah. perfect parry punish position, oh, oh, oh. but still gets hit by the trade right there, both of them. Yeah, anyone can, next hit, anyone could win, right? Mm -hmm. Don't even could even force a situation using just Yasar right now yeah. if you wanted to. I don't think you can activate it raw right at yeah, this yeah, range yeah. here. He's got to find some time to activate it. And there oh, it is. There it is right oh, there. Oh, he, he missed it. it. And Chris knows it too. That's why he's getting to this oh, range. Oh, he what got a the hit though. By dual Kevin it to stop out. the approach of the drive rush. Once again, dual Kevin making this a match. Yeah. And he gets to keep all of his meter too. Yeah, I know. And we and we talked about this yesterday when Dual Kevin was playing. That crouching light punch just hits from yes, a mile we away. Talked about this. The hitbox on it is beautiful. And the crouching medium kick still reached. Yes, Dude, yes. that was hella far. Perfect punish counter combo. Oh, but the jump is the god hand mm -hmm. right there. Oh, no. The jab. Dual Kevin ready on the recovery. Oh, look at that. Had the frame kills for that. Chris has seen it before, but he still got hit afterwards. Not gonna spin anything just no, yet. No, no, no. What's the yep. set? Go low? Go for oh, the throw. Empty, empty. Back dash. No. Okay. Oh, oh perfect parry. parry. And he's going to go for the side switch? No, he's actually going to go for the damage here. Yeah. I'm surprised. No back throw. Mm -hmm. Okay, forward throw, though. Mm -hmm. Are we driving, drive rushing forward? No, sand blast. Okay. Oh, my God. They are playing some street Bro, fighters. Are... Oh, just the wall. Counter, counter, hit. Over the counter Level hit. three. Over the counter hit. Take him for a spin. Is. Take him for a spin. Him. Where are we going? Three. Right. Hit him with the three, two, two one. Oh! Dual Kevin ties the set. That was picture perfect. Kevin number two is making an appearance right now. <laughs> he, he got the counter hit on the overhead. Th this New York crowd is Let's going go. off right now. Let's go, New York. This New York crowd Let's is go, going off right oh. now. OK, OK, nice. Go for the combo. Good combo right there, DP. Now you're back in the corner. Time to guess. Good check. Ooh. Oh. Yo, Spike. Dual Kevin picking up steam, catches uh -oh. you low with the crowd short. And takes him all the way to the corner in two sequences just like that. Oof. That standing mini kick from looks so I mean, good. It's nice. That the was counter hit like counter hit combo. Yo, oh, Shimmy. Oh, yeah, the frame kill fake into the throw. All right, let's go. But you're burnt out. You have he to make this count. This time. Dual Kevin trying to get a lead right now. He's finally in the lead. He's finally in the lead. First lead we've seen. It's only by a round, but it means a lot. It does and mean Chris a lot. Chris Wong instantly right out the gate gets a big hit to the corner. We go with oh. the uppercut. Bades out the OD from Dual Kevin. Interesting. This, yeah. He didn't spend any drive. He could have done a bit more damage, but maybe he was like, you know what? I don't want to really push it, right? And because this can happen. Perfect parry. Right. Back throw. Level you saw two. It. And look at him. Look, yeah, at, look that at that drive, drive gauge. Oh, yeah. oh, nice oh, parry. He got so much of that gauge back. But you still took the throw, and now you're trapped in the corner still. Anti-air. Oh, back dash to you get You can't it. jump against Kevin. One of the best anti in the business. Oh, the throw. Back throw. Oh, Mid-screen fight. Are we getting the comeback here? Another you know what we're going to we, get? We're we going to get, get another level two soon. Yeah. That's what we we're getting. Are we getting the Guile theme right here? No, we're getting another Yasar. Oh, oh never, never mind. mind. See you next round. <laughs> See you next round. Uh, uh, we're spending it all. How's expensive? Yeah. He's spending it all. I felt like he could have done level two. I, I literally yeah. looking for level two. Yeah. He probably should have went all. for the dash mm. into the no. eraser route. Exactly. Yeah. Got to repave the cobblestone after that, bro.
Okay, okay, we're gonna see. But Dual Kevin, he has a Yasar available. He can just spend it any time. But you know what? We're gonna Whoa! go for dash overheads. Why not? Dude, you just know there your it is. opponent is asleep. Is, it, is this a Marvel 3 set play right now? No, no perfect no, parry. But you can't do anything about that. He gets away because he just bounces nice away. Nice backdash again. Oh, wow. Oh, the jump. What? He got the powered up jump. Yep, he used the last frames of the Typhoon to get in there. That was OD, Dual Kevin. Try rush in and tries to get the throw. It's not gonna work oh out. My God. Stand heavy. The beer. So much damage right uh, here. Big damage. Don't spend any bar. Tries oh. to go for a shimmy. Doesn't fall for it. No perfect parry bait. Mm, he was looking for the throw too. You know he was. And both of them just prepared for it. They go back to the neutral. Which crouching medium kick oh, is gonna clip nice. first? Look, one Duel more Kevin, throw. Duel Kevin has been raw drive rushing in so many times, and he just walked up into the cross up distance. Oh, nice. What? That should be it. That so should pressure. be it. Level two is in, uh, is definitely happening uh, right here. Uh, All right. Okay. The eraser. Yeah. Yes, eraser. Oh. Uh, cool. That was such a clutch combo. You understand? He had to get literally yes. use all the drive rushes, also get the perfect flash knuckle, and then to the level two. Uh huh. That's absolutely Ooh. true. And oh you gotta remember, God. doing that combo mid screen is a little tricky because you yeah. have to use you have to use specific things. It's you gotta make sure you're not too close to the yeah. corner or something yeah. like that, right? But dual Kevin there, he only had a taste of that lead. But Chris Wong wrestling it right back. It's four three. We are going Damn. the distance. I need to Getting see a four sweaty. four. I want to see a four four. You guys want to see a four four here in New York? Four. You want to see a four four? And then Let's one go. more. Four four and then one more. <laughs> Let's add another one too. Why right. not? <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's four look. four. Let me get one more. Win by two. Win by two. Is that what uh, we're doing? I would yeah. love win, win by rules. two. That would be crazy. Volleyball rules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm down. No, they're thinking about it. They're taking their time. They know that this is really important on oh. the line. This is a single elimination oh, tournament. Too close, too close. That same punish. Yep. The thing of I'm scared the most of having to talk to Joe after I lose. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that L.I. jerk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Oh, no punish on that whiff throw, though. Yeah, I feel like Chris Wong's like, he has the best backdash when mm -hmm. it comes to avoiding these throws. It's just insane. Mid-screen corner, he got it all. Yeah, the placement on him is actually really good. And it's so clutch to exactly change back like Ooh, the momentum oh, of some of these games. How dare you? Don't touch me. Mm. All right. Look at that combo. Goes though. for the DP. Yep. Gets Again. the pressure in the corner. He's wow. Been, yeah, a lot of neutral jumps. What a jab check by Duel Kevin on that neutral jump. I was literally about to say, he's so confident in like stuffing dash. Uh, wow. Drive rush. His he's throw, throw one first. Jabs. Okay. Oh, what are you going to do? Look, what look, you look at the do? drive gauges. Look at the drive gauges. He wants to burn Chris Wong out. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Oh. What can you do? He's got a level two, though, he, so you can't look he, at the he chip. Can chip. He can chip you look out. Look at the chip damage. He can chip look you out. Damage. No he can out. chip you out. Yo, this New York crowd that, is going no, crazy. That's all guaranteed. Eventually, the mixer will push you out in yep. burnout, but right there, guaranteed stuff. Did you see him he actually dab reset yes. to go even closer yes. to make sure he was close enough? That was genius play Dude, by I, Duel Kevin. I hope everybody in the chat right now can hear the audience's chanting, yeah, I hope Kevin, they can too. Kevin, okay, Kevin, Back Kevin. throw. Okay, Sandblast. Using more of the light punch Sandblast, try to bait the parries out, right? Oh, cross cut, no cross cut, no cut. Okay, not comfortable right there. Yeah. Huh? He hasn't been going for many cross cuts at all. Yes. Oh, the check again. again with the crouching jab. The dual Kevin is so nice. Great. Don't He's jump. ready for the jump back as well. We know how to deal with people that up back. Let's go. go Perfect parry. parry range too. Yeah, watch out. Be watch careful. Watch for the low forward. I know that low forward is oh, coming, right? It's, it's scheming, coming, bro. It's scheming. That's why you see dual Kevin crouch blocking a lot. He knows that's coming. Oh, oh great, great drive reversal. Offensive, offensive drive reversal. There we Keep go. Keep him in the corner. Nice, oh, perfect parry. No back okay. throw. Side switch. Oh, no. Oh, misses no. it. He could have just jumped over for the side switch, but he misses. That's a okay. Throw. Level he two, saw. baby. What's the guess? Walk forward. Yeah. Overhead. Just, yeah, let it, let it throw. roll. Let it roll. Okay. Driver is oh, a punish. That's, that's going to be a punish. Four, 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 baby. Four, 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 Yo! They need to go to characters. Yo, they need I to know. go back to characters Yo. like ASAP. I know. Go take a break. Drink a Red Bull. We're here to stay. We're here, baby. We got ourselves a game nine here. This is it right now. It is now down to a best of one. Oh, that's Whoa. scary. It's so scary because now it's like you're thinking, loser goes home, winner goes on. Is it gonna, you know, ruin my execution? Am I gonna start messing up combos? It's the mental. It's the it's mental. The this mental. becomes a mental fight uh -huh. now. 
people don't talk about the mental fatigue enough when, in these fighting game tournaments. I mean, you know more than anyone else, mm -hmm. right, Justin? Oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sandblast right there. No, use, try to use the cartwheel to go through. Yeah. Interesting choice. We haven't seen him use that all day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. First time for everything. Yep, using the whirlwind shot. You know, playing this neutral, setting the tone of the pace of the match. Chris has been respecting his neutral game so yeah. much right now. Maybe a little bit too Kevin. much, right? That's what I was about to say. Dual Kevin's getting comfortable trying Ooh, out a couple of extra no things. No big punish, though. But yeah, that was just the standing medium kick, and you can't cancel that button. Yeah, I feel like he could maybe do a micro step into another crouch medium punch drive rush there, possibly. Oh, oh here we go. There's the god button right there. Uh, okay. Into the corner, what oh, are you going to do? He didn't commit to it because Kevin was holding up there. Oh, nice! Side switch? Side switch, yes. There it is. Wait a minute. You and have to take this. Because that was a punish counter. He's still burned out. He nice again oh, with the back dash. Again. I'm telling you, again. the master. We've the, been talking about the this. The master of back dashes. Is that like five out of five right now I'm or telling something? You, he's slippery out there. Chris Wong on set point. But Dual Kevin still with the solid anti even though he's down the match. Okay. Oh, yeah. Great kill back again. Dash back dash again. again. Missed the combo, though. And then Dual Kevin just came out with a drive impact of all it, things. It, it's tech, because what if the Luke dropped the flash knuckle? Right. It's an mm -hmm. option select. Yep. And you're right there on the wall, so you're going to get a knockdown right after okay. it. Okay. But Chris Wong, pretty much almost one touch away from winning <laughs> yeah. this, right? Yep. One throw, one touch. If you made out like one EX spinning mixer, it could be game over. James, don't jinx it right now. <laughs> okay, no level three spent. We're not being greedy. We're going to spend this we're, level we're two. We're going to spend though. this level two. Oh, oh overhead. Oh, jab, jab. Throw the throw. Let's go. Final. Final game. Game. Final round. round. Let's go. Oh, the low four. Are we spending Drive it, though? Rush him in. Are we, oh, we spinning it? Are we we're spinning it? No, not no, yet. Corner carry. Oh, oh, my God. We're spending it now, though. Oh, okay. This is not good. Here we go. Okay. He's got a new side. Uh, He's got uh, a new uh, side. Uh, Ready to go. So oh. bad, this. All right. What's the guess? What's the mix? Taking the block. Good trade. Again, we're spending all the bar. It's not enough, though. One more shot. Do Kevin. What do you got? No. And that's going to do it. That's going to be it. Oh, my God. To get to this cage. Match. What a route Insane. to get to this cage. Insane. Yo, yo, Red Bull New York, make some noise for Dual Kevin. What a god out here, bro. What a god. Don't forget both of these players. Chris Wong out there. Wow. Wow. James, you okay? You all right? You all right, James? I, 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 I can't do this anymore. Anyway. Is this I'm the finals? Too, I'm too old for this, man. I'm too old for this now. Yo, that was a set. That was an amazing that set. That was a set. Kevin, you know what it is, That was an amazing set. Wow. Yo. Jeez. <laughs> Louise. Jeez. I want it all. all right. Listen. Listen, listen. We that was to, a lie. It was too good. We need to catch our breath. Rob, please, talk to them. Yo. Was that the best match we've seen so far at Red Bull Open Day? Chris Wong, that was a phenomenal performance. You move on to the next round, you can go ahead to the back, into the player lounge. Congratulations. Kevin. This crowd is absolutely electric right now. What do you have to say about that match? What is this moment like for you with this audience being in the an uproar and screaming your name? I mean, I, I lost, right? So it's like, I always wish I could play better, but I, I, it's, it's another showcase of like where I stand as a player. So it's only just gonna make me wanna improve more and more. To a lot of people, that story is inspirational. A lot of people are excited, but the Battle King is disgusting. Let's go.
Abdul Kevin, please hand over your fighter car. I don't know what all you guys are cheering for. You're right, yeah, yeah, he lost. You can boo all you want, he lost. We're looking for champions here, Joe. I don't know what these people, I don't know what's wrong with them. They like mediocrity. I guess so, and I said he was born from Long Island. I'm disgusted. disgusted. Imagine how I feel being from the Midwest. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, after that putrid performance from Duel Kevin, I don't even want to hold the mic right now. We're going to send things back over to our commentators. Once again, I don't look. The worst thing about losing is How? having to talk to How can heel you? Joe back bro, there. The Yo, make sure he <laughs> You know what's crazy? That dude is evil, bro. That suit is too nice. He's, it's so nice he turned evil. <laughs> Damn, I'm upset. Uh, yo, Joe, chill, bro. Yo, and like Joe, oh, chill. Oh, oh, chill. Oh, yo, chill. No. You yo, right? chill. Yo, you all right? Easy, easy. Listen, listen. Easy. It's okay. It's okay. Easy. Don't you gotta, worry. You gotta, you gotta like, easy. Don't look, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't take the glasses off. Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. Don't do it to us. Yo, Joe, chill. We're just calling the shots. We're just, hey, look, I'm just, just here to talk. I mean? I'm just here to talk, all right? All right, thank you. Damn. Thank you. Damn, that you was. You give somebody a nice tie, they just know, lose right? all composure. Damn. Why, why, but why do you have to rip the card? Why do you have to rip the card? I was, I was ready to take him on. I was ready to take him on. Let's take a look back at you. that ridiculous okay. set you guys just saw between Dual Kevin <laughs> and Chris Wong. Look at that I guess carry. the cookout stays, you know, intact. Yeah, Chris yeah. Wong takes the set, but it was not easy. Dude, can I say something? This is what the fighting game community is about. With you guys out there cheering Kevin's name, yeah. you saw the smile on Kevin's face. Yeah. That was an experience that he you will remember forever. This is what the fighting game community yeah, is facts. about. That's facts. Shout outs to you guys, New York. Man. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. It was just amazing plays back and forth, right? Yeah. You, all the perfect parries, all the shots, even the supers. The, <laughs> yo, we're getting it. The pop on. <laughs> The pop off, the four four one the more. The four four one more. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, oh, down the to the wire. Yeah, this one was tough right here. Oh man, guess for game and the scenario, yeah. Dual Kevin. Oh. I mean, he took it to the wire. He took it to the distance, right? Anyone could have won that. And the fact that Dual Kevin, Capcom Cup finalist, was able to take it down to second yes. place, Chris Wong, Capcom Cup, right? That means a lot. That means Dual Kevin could have been second place as well too. I mean, Any one of them could have been, right? He was there representing at Capcom Cup, just the same. Chris Wong got a little further, but look what that sets up. Oh, my up. God. Chris Wong <laughs> Punk versus Punk. Versus God. Chris Wong. Yo, but oh. we still, we still have... We still have four players. Oh. Four players. Who is it? Like and two of them's going home. Menardi. Broski. Right? Who else? Uh, Bonchan. Bonchakun and Bonchan. Oh, my God. Look, what? As we figure this what? out, I want to hear Z yes. talk to my man about oh. his adventure here. Let's take it to my man in the cab. Duel Kevin, I know that you are originally from New York, Long yeah. Island. How does it feel to play in front of your family, your crowd that you grew up with? <laughs> um, it feels good to, you know, to be back. Like the, the Midwest family is when uh, when it comes to FGC. The personal life is when it comes to the New York family. So like, it's like I have two families, you know. So it's it's cool to to be back playing fighting games. Sharing that with the Midwest peeps, but you know, sharing love with the New York peeps as well, because uh, I grew up here, like I said, in Long Island. You had the closest, longest match that we've had all day, a riveting one that went down to the last wire. At times, it felt like you were playing a Marvel instead of Street Fighter. <laughs> Tell us what it's like to juggle two games at a super high level like you do. Oh man, it's super hard, but like, when once you're able to, and I spoke about it yesterday in the LCQ, like, once you're able to like find a way to connect the pieces, to where like, oh, this is how it is in Street Fighter, but it's similar how it is in Marvel. So it makes, it helps me uh, learn better, learn faster that way. Because I've learned it before in Marvel. I'm just connecting the dots in Street Fighter. Love it. Well, dual Kevin, if you ever become single Kevin, I think the crowd loves you, shoot your shot. But right now we gotta send you to the airport. Let's go back to the Battle King and Joe. Finally, we have seen a match that is worthy of being here on Red Bull. That was insane, Joe. Five, four, okay, okay. Now, that was a good match, but as I said, 
absolutely not good enough for me. I don't yeah. know about you, but not good enough for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was trying to be a little nice because Kev's from the Midwest, but he did kind of get washed when you really think yeah. about it. It was barely even close if you ask yeah. me. That said, we only have four players who have not yet been called to the Red Bull Kumite stage. That said, everyone has to throw hands. Z, we want our next fighter. Hailing from Japan, Gachiku! Persia, what's the energy back there? You know, it's tense back here. We're getting down to our last four players. Now we know who's coming up next, but after this as well, we're gonna kind of, by process of elimination, know our final matchup as well. So I think everyone's just kind of ready to fight, especially after the excitement and energy of that last match. I can tell you guys want to get in there. ま、誰よりも練習はしとるなっていうのは自分の自信ではある。自負はしてるんで、ま、そこがあの、他のプレイヤーとは違うとこかなって思います。とまず一般のオープントーナメント違うのがその招待選手大会を楽しむっていうの
How long did we see this like got Elijah? Yes. He was actually one of my favorite players to watch back in the Street Fighter 4 days because of early Sagat. But this is a crazy match. This is another team kill. Only one Japanese player is going to make it. Only one. And you know what? Sure. I love yep. to see this chaos. We have Japan versus Japan, two of the best players in the world, an EVO champion versus a Capcom Cup champion. Let's send things over to our commentators. What a great thing to point out, man. We talking about EVO champions mm -hmm. up there. Bonchan, one of those people that a lot of people say should be on that Mount Rushmore. Yes. He's one of those oh, players. Yeah. Gachakun, one of my favorite players to just watch. And just one of the coolest individuals out there. Capcom Cup champion as well. I mean, what more can you say, can man? I, can I tell you about the lore? Like, just a little bit. Okay, Talk to okay, me. okay, okay. So, you know, L.I. Joe said Bonchan, one of his favorite players to watch because he played Sagat. Gachikun is a Sagat main as well That's in Street Fighter right. 4. Yeah. That's so right. they both played the same character in Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 5, obviously, they kind of change, right? Mm -hmm. Gachikun played more of a Rashid. Right? While Bonchez, you know, he's like, I'm going to try all these different safe yeah. characters, right? Okay. Ryu, then eventually Karen, because he, he helped Japan learn the Karen matchup right. to fight against Punk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. now Street Fighter 6, we have Luke um, versus Rashid. And don't forget, Family men. <laughs> well, look, right. I know you're supporting Family the dads men. out yeah. there. I want to know what the people out there are feeling. New York, how you feeling about this Street Fighter Six right now? Make some noise for me. Yeah, we're definitely going to get there. We're definitely going to get there. Yeah, one of and, the of things... course, at GameStop, did you know you can trade recent or not-so-recent games for top value to put towards the purchase of newly released games? The, that, combined with their awesome weekly deals and pro membership rewards, are our favorite game hacks of all time. All time. Shout out to GameStop for holding us down here. And with that being said, I believe we're getting my man Rob ready in the ring. You ain't got to look at me like that. They're taking the full heel turn as we go to the cards. <laughs> This is what it's all about. No seeding. As much as these players have accomplished, we do not care what they've done outside of the cage because it is all about tonight, right here and right now. I need to ask, do you have Ball Chan? Okay, 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 I like that energy. But how are we feeling about Good A Squads Gachi cool. New York City, we don't need to speculate any longer. For all of you here in New York and for everybody at home, it is time for war. Gachi cool versus Bonchan. Let's begin. So I want to talk a little bit about the lore here as well. Yes. Remember, Gachakun at one point in time didn't think he could be a pro player. Mm. He did not have any intention. He got second place at a Red Bull Kumite, and he was like, maybe I can do this. Mm -hmm. And so it was Red Bull Kumite that birthed Gachakun, the Capcom Cup champion. Nice, let's go. All right, here we go already. I know, all the corner carry. What are you going to do? Wake up, crouch, medium kick. Oh, stand heavy right yeah, there. Thank God it wasn't a punish counter. Yeah, it's funny because we just saw this match. And yes. here we see it again. Okay. okay, to the corner we go. Gotcha, Kud. To control with the meaty. Nice, perfect parry. Oh, perfect. Side switch, like yep. you said. Oh. Back dash. Back dash. Ooh, oh, the check. Wow. Get off of me. Yeah. I'm out of there. But you're burned out, though. Yeah, he burned himself out, but he's got the cross cut there. No, he tried to go for the throw, the defensive shimmy. Whoa, oh, my that gosh. Works. Yo, the, oh, you did the challenge. Good counter hit. Okay, oh another goodness. challenge. All these hits are coming. Oh, come Force the level dude, two. How do you, what do you do? What do you see, do? You, you, you can't do anything. The thing is, even if he, even though Gachikun won the round for Bonchan, that's a huge win because yeah. he was burnt out. He was it's fighting true. for his life. So for him, it's like, I did lose, but you know what? I'm going to round two with more meter than you. Yeah, mm -hmm. good point, good point. Perfect knuckle right there. And don't forget, too, this is a Red Bull team kill this as well. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Yeah, didn't Bonchan travel around all of Japan because of Red Bull yes. as well, too, uh, right? Teaching, uh, you know, promoting esports yeah, out promoting there. Esports. Yeah, Yeah, it's super cool. Okay, here's the combo, though. More than one reason for deserving that spot. I, I know, know, right? Ooh, Ooh the fail wow. shot! Wow! Even went for the follow-up as well. Spend a little bit of extra to that drive gauge. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because when you watch Bonchan even play a cap up, he was the only yep. loot player that was actually using, like, the extra in no, for real, yeah. Oh boy, here oh. we go, the drive cancel oh. off of that crouch medium kick. He should be able to kill here with just the one bar. Yep. 
Easy. Simple and easy. Okay, okay. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, okay, okay. They're both stressed out. Level twos on deck <laughs> on both sides. Also, Gotcha Kun, you can tell, using a little different tools than the last receiver we saw, right? Using yep. a lot more stand medium punch. Oh, playing no. at a closer range, and that's getting them in range for stuff like this. I think what's beautiful about that exchange is right there, Bonchan did the proper punish. Bonchan did not react with throwback. Mm. Because if he did do throw, Gachikun would recover in time and actually got a punish for himself. Wow, what, what the sweep out of nowhere, just to punish that forward medium punch. Oh, wow, runs into the stand medium, okay. activates level two. Time to guess, time to take the plus frames, push him out the whirlwind. Yeah, Are you gonna drive reversal? No. Oh. oh, what? And he actually texts the one time. That's great for Bacha. He just took say. one throw Great. and a back dash in the corner again, but... It might be a loop thing. <laughs> I know, right? Yo, it is. I don't only oh, been the loop. Same oh, job. Gachi Kun striking first blood. Okay, okay. Talking to the cameras. Here we are. <laughs> Okay, what's the mix? What's the guess? Oh, the wow. the new the classic, the classic right there. Oh, oh no. Was, was he too close in the corner there, maybe? Oh, not not sure. sure. But I mean, I've always said, like, that's one of the only weaknesses of Luke is that, you know, you, you're you invariably going to drop a flash nuzzle yeah. combo yeah. at some point. It's very, they're very, I ain't going to say iffy, but that's there's, not a weakness. That's, that's, that's not your a fault. Yeah, right? That's <laughs> oh, you, yeah. Because absolutely. you can't do the input. But yeah, it's one of those things where you have to take that into account when landing these big combos. Stop. You have to do perfect nuzzle. Yeah, yeah. Stop calling me out, Justin. No, no, it's <laughs> not. I'm, 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 I'm oh, you're right. Die. It's them. <laughs> I blame them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, so sick. In burnout right combo. now. Bonchan in trouble real close to this wall. Going oh, nice. Love throw. it. Yeah, empty, empty throw, I should say. Yeah, again with the throw. What's the guess again? Are we going for a whirlwind shot? Yes, we are. I like that. Try oh, to stagger it. But didn't cancel. Didn't cancel. But he got the perfect parry. He should be able to kill with a super machine mm. kick right here. But Doesn't he might not even eat it, actually. Got you. Cool. Up a game in a round right now as we end this game, too. Oh, my God. But guess what? We got another Yasar coming for sure, yeah, right? you know, bro. Unless Bonchan, I mean, he, unless he bulldogs right now. Again, perfect there parry. it is. This is a chance. It's going to take him to the corner. Yeah, going to be a lot of scaling thanks to that perfect parry. But here he goes. Uses the drive cancel to keep the pressure going in the corner. Yeah, it was really expensive. That was super expensive. Committing to the target. Oh! Combo. Big neutral jump in the corner. Is he dead? If he spins it all. Is he dead? Uh, nah. Is he going to no, go? go for the level uh, one? He has such a big life lead. He wants to keep oh, wait, it. Oh, that level three is going to hit. Oh, my and it's, God. And it's CA. Wow. Yeah, that he is going to hurt. It? He did that. Wow. He's going to he's gonna burn out, too. Oh, time, that's true. That's time true. For the, time for the mixer block stun. Okay, here mixer we go. Mixer block stun. Yep. Oh, yep. There we go. Forward medium punch. Got to be careful with the gaps here. Yep. Oh. Everything becomes plus two. Oh, he tried to shimmy. He tried to shimmy. He just oh. got him. Pixel. It's enough. Pixel. It's enough. The combo, it's enough. Big and that edge. wasn't even just, that wasn't even the end. Yeah. He that was halfway. Dude, if Rashid's, Rashid's shoes were worn down a little bit, that <laughs> drive impact was going to miss. That <laughs> barely hit. Imagine that. People always talk about don't wake up super. Wake up level three just won the whole game right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From full life. Nice Dude, little shimmy here by Bonchan. Bad ideas become the best ideas after a while. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, nice anti-air. Ooh, oh, wow. I like that. Using the car wheel for the super jump. Try to meet him up there and still eat the light. Yeah, I feel like so many people are so good at perfect parrying sandblast now and able to just like cancel out of it to do something, right? It really changes up how you play the matchup now. Yeah. Like even as a Luke player, you have to think about Left, it. You have, just to like look, there, right? you have to look for those players that are able to do that. Changes how you play the neutral and it makes it a lot harder for Luke to get his game started. Yeah, yeah, it's, actually, wheel. it's actually the biggest weakness of how fast sandblaster is. Yes. It makes it a little bit easier. Oh, oh no! Uh, yeah, this this yeah, this is gonna be dead. No, no not just, quite. Oh, oh missed the meaty. Was that a backdash in there or did he just miss the meaty? He just missed the meaty. Okay. Forces the level two again. We're playing safe. And Bonchan just, just walk it under. <laughs> yeah, My I man. get it. I get it. You're like, you know what? What am I gonna do? I, I can't job. I can't even parry. Why am I prolonging? I just think of Logan Sama, man. He had the picture of the, the nice. Jonathan Kitt whirlwind, bro. He just, <laughs> just, just let it happen, bro. Okay, All forward right, throw again. All right. Trying to just zone with that wind shot over here. Drive rush oppressor. Get forward medium punch, block stud. Ball chance spending a lot of bar with this drive rush. You gotta be careful. Anti air, you can't jump against Gachukun. That's a Sagat player. Mm -hmm. Playing so oh. slow right now. The the classic. Yeah, crouching, medium kick into Back the drive dash. dash. Oh, okay. Ooh. Big hits, no trade. Could have been closer. 
Uh oh, this is intense. Bonchan, you need to spend the level three for sure to close this round, probably. Perfect carry. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is going to be a big hit, but he's probably not going to go for the level three just no, yet. No, he, he is. He, he needs to, to recharge oh, that you're drive right, gauge. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. This is not working out so well for Bonchan in this situation. Okay, okay. Excuse me, Bonchan with a big lead in this okay. situation. Excuse me. Yeah, but gotcha, he's one throw. Trade combo, but he didn't cancel. Yeah. I don't know if he didn't One lead. throw away. He's going to get the level two. Yes, sir. Okay. What are you going to do? Am I going to push you out? Am I going to throw it? Super jumping out. But at least he walked out of its range, basically. No, did he? Oh, did he? Right. he Kick it out there. Bonchan still checking, though. He's not letting him have that ground at all. Overhand oh. works out. Just face it oh. out. Oh. Get to the throw. This guy, gotcha, who plans some crazy. Crazy footsies right now. Crazy neutral, crazy footsie. And people are saying, yo, Rasheed has stuffy normals, man. Look, with drive rush in the game, my man's moving <laughs> okay. all over the place. All right, right there, that was kind of stuffy, oh, my no. bad. <laughs> and then Bonchan dropping the combo there, unfortunately. He dropped oh, that, that combo three times in a row already. Mm -hmm. Big damage on the board here. Bonchan. Oh, caught the back dash. Yes. He's like, look, Luke's are the one that back dash. Yeah, only okay? Luke's. Rashid's not allowed to do that. You already fly too much. <laughs> I get it. Oh. Punish! That was a godlike punish counter combo. Yeah. Yeah. Godlike it. That's what we saw. Like Chris Wong yep. did that as well exactly. at that same range. Yep. Nice interrupt on that whirlwind pressure. Not going to let you get away with it, Bonchan. Doing yeah. just the same. Well, is Bonchan going to put a one on the board? No, oh, missed the sweep. Yeah. Punish sweep of sweep. And beautiful yes. off of that punish counter sweep. He gets the free cartwheel to the other side. Now Bonchan in the Ooh. corner. No combo conversion, but still, the pressure is still on. Speaking of no combo conversion, this is a big combo conversion. He's got two bars on top of it. And we'll go for the mix as well, too. Oh, we'll try to back up. He's like, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, maybe Crouch the DP was coming. Oh, he jab, tried jab. to delay. He tried to bait something out or maybe get him to press a button and hit him first. Yep, but Gachakun yep. actually first to the punch. Yeah, the thing about Bonchan, like, he's really good at delaying his, like, crouching jabs. And then Gachakun is like, you know what? If you're going to delay it, I'm going to delay it just a little bit faster. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, no. Here we go. Level two again. Every oh, time my God. Got hit. Up. That's big damage. That's oh, big damage. Got clipped. Yeah. But he does. He can't spend the oh, follow-up. He misses the timing. He misses the timing of the jab. Oh. Heavy punch. Here we, oh, uh, wow, he goes for the uh, eraser right uh, here. Uh, trying to put him close to burnout. Ooh. Okay, you, gotta, you have to chase him down. Don't yeah. let Gachikun build that bar back, but he is. Those heavies count. Yeah, but every time you throw that sandblaster, actually, if he even drive parries that, yes. it doesn't oh. gain anything. Call Gachikun peeking. Nice level one. He's trying to he's trying to do some damage on it. Attack on the health and the drive gauge. We saw him stagger those crouching jabs in the corner. What's last the punish? Time. Oh, it's so hard to punish that. It's so really hard. Is. The timing on it is just so awkward. Yeah, Bonchan's buffering that crouch medium punch, hoping something hits with that. He needs to put one on the board. Level two is almost there. One more block string. Nice oh, fatal right shot. That was nice. Good damage, but he got the level two from that parry. Oh, oh but my God! So what is? Here comes the SR. That's enough. That's He's enough. He's gonna burn him out. Okay, is this enough? And, and, oh, kill. he missed it. This we got the grab. Oh my God! The only option Bonchan could have done was wake up level one. Yeah, it right. was the bet for game. So he, he chose to do something else. Yeah, those situations oh. are really scary. Puts a lot of pressure on you to whether what to do on wake up. Now Gachakun going into this final game 4-0 on the board with the Rashid Bonchan trying to fight back. Oh, nice. too far away. Love he that. tried to throw from too far away. Okay, go for the meaty cross medium punch right there. Nice pressure. No whip punish on both sides. Mm. Medium punch target combo. Gets the knockdown. Fights back to the middle. Oh my God. Lots of respect being played. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Stan Roundhouse gets yeah. the hit. Yeah, with the crouching yeah. jab delay as well. Again, with the counter hits. That's what we saw from Duel Kevin as well. Those uh, crouching light yes. checks. Nice oh. jump in. Nothing crouching about that. You, Big you jump dead. Roundhouse. You dead. You died. How okay. does Luke have privilege? Two privilege buttons in the air. <laughs> Two. Right? Jump That's heavy, fast. jump, jump, both jump heavies. Yeah, Big both damage jump heavies are crazy. Uh, shout out to Ultra David. He always says there's like four dive kicks in the game, and, and Luke has two of them. Shout <laughs> out to Ultra David. <laughs> nice drive reversal. Love that. Oh, oh. Punch in the face. That's what you get for reaching. Spending the level two. Uh, uh, We're kind of uh, close to it. Are we going to burn out? Is it enough? Would, no. Just barely. But right, we need an OD mixer? No. Oh, that should be punch enough. Punch counter, yeah. If he decides to spend a little bit of meter here, he Actually. gets the burnout guaranteed yeah. here. And the, you know what's the beauty about that level one right there? He could have killed. He could have killed, maybe. But he did the level one early because he didn't want the drive gauge to start recovering. Yeah, yes. that was super smart. Mm -hmm. That was super smart. So Bonchan puts one on the board. We don't have a 5-0 here. Can Bonchan start? I mean, again, when you want to make these comebacks, it's one game, one round at yeah. a time. 
stops the bleeding with See, that win. That's only for Bonchan thinking about it. But for Gajikun, I'm up three games. I could take some risks. Yep. I could make you kind of feel uncomfortable. It's not the same. It's not 0-0 zero, zero anymore. Definitely not. Oh, you can yeah. put these bigger risks on the board, get a bigger payout, close this game out look, soon. Look at the offense happening right yeah. now, right? Rashid already knows. Oh, oh my god, what? Bonchan. Oh, nice, it. nice. Go. Yeah, uh. you're plus after that target combo if you get the hit. Okay, perfect. Per oh, double perfect? Back that was back. crazy. And he answered with a fireball. Stopped yes. exactly what Gachikun was going to do. Nice, OD. get off of me. Doesn't spend okay. the follow-up, okay. though. Okay. Perfect parry oh, again. Oh, yeah. the level Isar. two. Here we go. Isai, what you are you going to do, Bonchan? You need to defend. Oh, my God. He went for the dry pit. Oh, oh my that's God. Gonna that's not going to work. Oh, you're dead. Yo, Gachikun won round away from putting away Bonchan. It was really oh. interesting on how, like, what was the drive impact supposed to accomplish? It doesn't, I'm not sure. The Yassar, even if it hit, the Yassar would have smoked him anyway. Maybe he was hoping for a trade so that he couldn't combo afterwards. I'm oh, not that's sure. That's tough, man. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Okay, and we're going to see, though. He just did the, 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 the run and didn't do any follow ups. Yeah. Gachikun just got the throw after that. Yeah, back throw. And that's what you want as a Rashid player, right? You're in the corner. Look, I'm bullying with these normals. You're close to danger right here. You need to defend properly. But Bonchan does have level three, so he can turn it around oh, just like that. Nice. No, okay. not yet. Oh. He didn't want to spend it just yet. Ow. Oh, oh here we go. Drop Let's see. Forward. Are we spending it, though? That's a jab start. No, so not yet. Go for the medium. He wants he the kill. He wants the maximum damage. Oh, wow. And then he almost burned himself out, too. Yeah, he has to be real careful right now. Gachikun right. might step on the gas. Actually, okay. he's in similar situations. He can't use so much drive either. Hell yeah, oh, now he's burned out. Oh, oh. That's one drive impact. We're gonna go to for Mixer, Chip that's time. plus two. You still got that level three. You better be careful. I, you... I would just drive impact. I want you to spend the super. What? Okay. Dachi Kun, you're oh. one hit away from a level two. But I don't think you're gonna use it though, right? And and Gabonchan about to get that drive gauge back. Can he actually get it back? Yes. Yes, he oh. will get it back. Great wow. patient play. Fatal shot? No. Dry reversal. Okay. Already, Bonchan's about to get burned out again. Yeah, but he wants to put Gachikun at one hit away from kill. There he, it is. He didn't believe. Oh my god. The trade. trade. Bonchan still alive in this set. He's still alive. You know, it's one of those things also, when, when you're like literally at the end, like you, you don't want to go out. You want to oh. fight. You want to. That's where the Ultra Instinct kicks yeah. in, right? Yeah. Gachikun was confused. He didn't know if he wanted to spend the level two there. Back he kind of stopped. Oh, oh, no. oh, okay, oh, we're, we're back. We're back. Don't worry about no, no, it, guys. No, 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 no. We're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, oh. It was just too violent. We couldn't show it on screen. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, just yeah. to check it. Oh, no, the no level three spent. I would have surprised. I would have spent burnt, the level three. Burnt. You burnt have to out. do something. Yeah. You're burnt out. Oh, okay, oh, the throw. Wow. Bonchan being a little too defensive right now. Oh. There it is. Got level him. two. Uh, Interesting. Uh, only goes for the uh, level two. Uh, you know why? Mm. Pushes him, it pushes him all the way to the corner. Right, but it doesn't freeze the drive game, yeah. unfortunately. You're true. Yeah, that's true about that. Look at this. He's, he's stalling. Gotchkun's like, yo, yeah, I'm chilling. Uh -huh. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> Let me get my drive Taking gauge back. All right, let's fight now. That was an FPS, dude. Just crouching and yeah. getting your life back, let's dude. Fight my man now. was camping. Uh -huh. Oh, the low forward. We're going to go oh, for a 4 2, baby. Level one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. And you remember when you were saying that Gachiku was up three games, you can kind of experiment. But as you get. Well, as you keep losing that lead one game at a time, the nerves start kicking in. Yeah, that's for sure. The closer and closer it gets, you get closer to crouch and medium punch. Bonchan drawing first blood in this game. The momentum is real right now. Yep. Yep. All yep. Right. Nice whirlwind shot. But look at this Bonchan already low on drive gauge. So he backs off a little bit here. That yeah, tries to build it back a little bit. It's really hard because even if like you parry one projectile, you're not really building bar no, anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and Gachikun's not giving him time either. He's like, I don't even want you to have the space to be comfortable unless you perfect parry. Exactly. Oh, and nice. interrupts with the target. Get off of me. Wake up, OD Mixer. We're taking these risks. Guys, like I said, I'm up the games. Ooh. Oh. Damium kick, nice combo. Ooh. Again, you reach, I teach. They jump in here, gets a throw in the corner now. Jumping light right there Obey for low block. He's gonna OB. be able to kill off of this. There we go. Now Gachikun at match point He's once like, again. Yeah, back at match point. Almost get to level two. That's kind of his condition <laughs> when to start the neutral, right? I mean, there's a reason why people say it might be the best level two in the game. Yeah, probably it is. Okay, misses the perfect parry. Nice jumping Ooh. heavy kick, air to air. Go for the forward throw. Oh, oh he misses it though. How Try dare you? Checks him with the jab. Though, yeah. Perfect nice. Parry. I love it's it. In. Do I reverse yeah, it? Yeah, we're spending it. Go go. And two. now Bonchat, even if he blocks this, it's going to be so close to being burnt out. Is he going to kick it over? He can defend. He can hold he the parry, yeah, like he said. Yep. Oh. 
Nice, nice. anti oh. almost got a combo. Back throw from Bonchan. Bonchan, he has level three. He could spend it if he needed to. Ow, gets the counter hit again. This is another good run right here for Gachiku. This is a guess for game right here. Guess oh, for game yeah. right here. Here it is right now. Guess he for game. Did you press it? Oh! Just like that. Decisions had to be made right there. Decisions had to be made. But Gachiku, he kept it simple, didn't need to pressure, and moves on. Bonchan talking about how he was a defensive player. Yes. Really put that on display right there until it got him in trouble. That was the Hail Mary we saw there Hail with Mary, the level yeah. three. And it's not a lot. It's not easy, especially when you are facing that kind of offense versus a player, a character <laughs> like Rashid. You saw how he was kind of sprinkling in the whirlwinds, makes you kind of question that fundamental, that ground game that you want to play. And it's not easy to take a game, stop the momentum of a player like Gachikun in that situation. Yeah, it, it's really tough because when you think about the whirlwind shot, like it's it just stalls. It goes up like yep. In this angle, yep. and you're like, I have to sit here and then wait for the parry. There's yeah. so much space, and Rishi just w kind of walks kind of closer and closer to you, right? Yeah, he likes the edge, gets closer and closer, make sure you take away some options. But one of our only options, because he is, you know, the battle king, we're gonna send it to Rob TV in the stage. That is how you play Street Fighter. That is the aura of a winner. Gachi Kun, congratulations. Please join the other players as you are moving on to round two. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Mm-mm. Bonchan, that was close to not being the worst Street Fighter performance I've ever seen in my life. That said, can we please give it up for one of the greatest Street Fighter players of all time, Bonja! Bonchan, hand over your fighter core. Rob, that performance was so bad, I'm gonna send him to one of the worst airports in the world. Please take him to LaGuardia and get him out of here. That performance, deserve exactly that, Joe. I love it. Right to LaGuardia. Nadi, he doesn't even get JFK, along with Tokido. <laughs> and Ibiki, he's flying him by himself. Back As to Tokyo. he deserves to do, because that was a performance so bad that only Bon Chan can do it. That said, let's send it back over to our commentators. LaGuardia? No. Yes. LaGuardia? Okay. LaGuardia is pretty bad. No. JFK is definitely the best airport, but you know what? At least we got to give Joe the benefit of the doubt. He didn't send them to Newark. Yeah, he, he right? could have been a he lot worse. He didn't send them to Newark. That's a lot okay. farther to go to when you know. Well, look, man, we ain't got much further to go until we eliminate another player before we get to this next round of Red Bull Kumite. The matches have been ridiculous so far, and we've been seeing quite the buildup of some of these players. Of course, we're going to take a look at this replay from what we just saw here recently, especially with the games being so good. Yes, another, you know, like you said, we did see that match previously, but oh. it's so different. The it fact is. that, every, like, all the loops, all the machines, like, if you are, a, like, a character that you play the same character, I could tell who you are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's so beautiful. The fact that your personality shows so much. And Gachikun, I mean, he's a Sagat player, but now it's like, Rashid is really his character. Yes. Yeah. He's so really beautiful. taking over this character. Yeah, when he plays the streams, he does a lot of Rashid's. And you know, he gets a little frustrated with the anti-airs and everything. <laughs> but when he is moving, when yes. he's in the zone, he's in there. Yeah, and, and honestly, when he won Singapore offline, he really kind of ushered in a lot of the Rashid players. They're like, okay, we believe now. We believe. And now the Rashid army is coming in. That quarterfinal bracket really filling up right now. We got Nephew, Knuckle Dude, Big Bird, Lashar, Punk. 
Chris Wong, and you just saw Gotcha Kuhn send Bonchan to LaGuardia. That was terrible. Oh but we have one <sighs> more we know. set to play, and we, we know. already know who yeah. it is because there's only two players remaining back there. It's Mena RD. It's Broski. Those going to be our last two players. I wonder how this is going to turn out because one of them is going home. One of them is going home, but this might be a match of like David and Goliath, right? Mm -hmm. Mena RD, he's, been on, he's on the top of the world, right? Winning all the tournaments, doing so well. Broski, I mean, he's the underdog, super underdog, amazing streamer. He streams all the tech when it comes to Aki and Jamie, low tier hero himself, right? Yeah, he played Oro yes. in Street Fighter mm -hmm. Five, really showed off like the value of these characters. So. This is literally a match, a really exciting match, because these are weird characters. Aki, <laughs> possibly versus Blanca. Blanca? Yes. Oh, my we God. We talked about the weirdness, yes, but we're getting it. a little bit ahead of ourselves. Oh, yeah, that's Let's true. You're right. Let's send it to the cab. Let's see what <laughs> Z has excited. to say with Bonchan. I know. It's okay, Justin. It's all right. <laughs> well, well Bonchan, you talked about yeah. eating delicious New York food. I am so curious. What did you get to eat here in New York, New York? Well, Bonchan got a chance to eat Mexican food here. It was so delicious, probably the best that he has ever had. え、これ魔法のタクシーなんですけども、え、一番幸せなところ連れて行きますんで、どちらに行きましょうか? All right, this is a magic taxi. We can take you anywhere. It's the happiest place in the world, and Bonchan wants to go home. Do you have a message for all of your fans, your family, and your friends? So, this is it's more. Oh, and stick with the Katakata Aria to the Mas. Nihon Jikan that one, Ima, Chodo Socho Kreana, Jikan, Shinakara, Nagaya, the Mikiko, the Mikiko, the Mikiko. 残念ながら僕の旅はここまでということなので、日本帰ってからね、またみなさんと遊べる機会を楽しみにしています。応援ありがとうございました。Thank you so much to the fans back in Japan. Right now, it's probably really early in the morning. So for those that stayed up to watch and support, he is very gracious for that. And when he returns back to Japan, he hopes to meet you all again. ありがとうございます。Back to you, Joe and Battle King. And just like that, we only have one match left in round one, and we already know who it is. It's of course gonna be Mina versus Broski, but still, we are gonna do our draw as it is tradition, and we need each of these players to get their spotlight. That said, Joe, you can go ahead and take the first card. Just to see who's coming out first, that's it. Yeah, again, this is just to see who's coming out and who is going to be on the player one side, I believe. Yes, so, that as well. We know the match, but can we get Broski to come out here and take player one side? Persia, let us know how the players are feeling. They know who's going against each other. What's going on back there, Persia? Yeah, I mean, you guys, you knew previously you were going to be going up against each other. Were you formulating a game plan while you were waiting? Do you have any final or fighting words you want to send over to Mena before you head in? Um, I mean, it's time to find out who's stronger, the strongest ball or Aki is cool. Oh. All right, well, taxi's waiting for you. Got you uh, sitting on P1 side as well, which is, you know, something I feel like we don't really talk about too much, but do you actually have a side preference? I don't, honestly. <laughs> I, just, I just play, you know, I just want to win. All right. Well, we're going into this match. You guys are the last two of the first round. How have you been feeling about all the competition you've seen so far? And is that like kind of increasing your hunger to take this match? Honestly, it, it has been. The competition is really good. I've seen all the players, especially that Will Kevin versus Chris Wong match. And uh, I feel hype, you know. I feel really, really excited to play. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it too. So let's get it going. Kumite, I'm actually not too nervous. I feel like in a lot of ways I'm kind of one of the underdogs here. That puts me in a position where I can just kind of sneak in and do some damage, you know? People aren't maybe putting me on the radar, and maybe they should. I think my worst possible draw would probably be Hibiki. I, I think when it comes to character selection, I just gravitate towards weird characters. Some people were arguing about whether Aki was strong or weak or top tier or bottom tier, and I just got so tired of it, I kind of suggested that people just stop saying that and start just saying, eh, Aki's cool. 
I think when I go up against like, you know, world champions and stuff, that's better for me because they've got everything to lose, got a reputation to maintain. People are expecting them to win. When you go in with the expectation that you're supposed to win, that's when the nerves start to set in. So if I go in there thinking, you know, the people watching are maybe not expecting me to do well here, that's brilliant for me because the best I can do is beat their expectations. The worst I can do is just what they expect. And this is it. Make some noise for our last match. Player one of our last match. Here is Broski. This is Broski's first time in yes. Red Bull Kumite. Yes. So you know he is extremely hyped up. Imagine your first time in Kumite and you have the last match. And this is it also. As Broski, Broski was talking about, he does use a little bit of an unorthodox character that not a lot of people know how to fight. He's an Aki main now. So very interesting to play. Uh, you know, Mena also uses Blanca. Aki Blanca, kind of a cool match to see if he picks Blanca, but we'll see. Definitely very unique. That said, you just brought up the other player. We have one name that has yet to be called, and that is, of course, the Bull, the fighter pride of the Dominican Republic, Mena or D. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's ready. Get our man his call. He's ready. That crowd is electric. Can we get that back, OG? We need that fighter card right back. We need the card first. Okay. He officially has his fighter card. Ladies and gentlemen, Mena R. D. Bandito's very own, the only two-time Capcom Cup champion, the fighting prize of the Dior. This audience is on fire, Joe. Yes, this man has been to every top-tier tournament you can think of, and has either won or got top two or got top three. Easily one of the greatest forces in our current Street Fighter generation is Mena R.D. And he's here today. You know he wants this W here. He wants this W. We're about to see if he'll get exactly that. Let's then things over to our commentators. That was My name is Saul Mena, better known as Bandits Men R.D. And I'm from the Dominican Republic. I have competed in previous Rebel Kumites, but only one. This tournament is one of the most fun. Big Bird has the title right now, you know, his mouth, he be talking. I wanna, I wanna take that away from him right now. <laughs> the main factor in Rebel Kumite that favors me is that it's first to five. If I can perform technically, I'm not dropping combos, I'm not dropping much things. I feel like I got it, you know? Now ask, ask me, who do I wanna fight? I'm waiting for Tokido. That's who I want to fight. I was waiting for him in the SFL finals and he didn't go. So I'm waiting for him now. We have to settle it before season two comes out, before Akuma comes out. So I'm waiting for him. Before, before Akuma comes out, before the demon is on the screen again, he's trying to settle it. But Mena RD versus Broski. You guys are having quite a chat about we, this before we even got here. It's Talk to me a little right? bit. Because obviously, James, you were talking about how you've been playing a lot of Aki. You mm -hmm. know a lot about her. How do you think Aki can deal with Blanca or Luke? I mean, Aki actually, I mean, talking to Mono, who is a, a you know, big Aki player, yeah. he actually feels like she fights Luke pretty decently because she can actually, you know, do the stance into the lunge. Yeah, that's past true. the fireball. Beats fireball so yeah. I think the Blanca might actually be a better choice yeah. for Mena RD. It could be an interesting better choice. However, I just want to say one thing about Aki, though. Aki is cool. Aki is cool. But does Mena know the matchup? We talked about that, right? Yep. And you're like, oh, he might play Mono, uh -huh. but don't forget. Mena's training partner, Kaba, lost to an Aki yep. in the pools. Yep, that's lost absolutely to profit. true. And I'm going to tell you right now, that says a lot, especially with these two, because they have some amazing experience across the board. They know how to fight matchups, and that goes a long way, especially if you're trying to get a W when it comes to a tournament like this. He said it's cool because it's some of the best competition you can get, and the crowd is not letting it go. Mena RD is getting such an applause here. This match is going to be crazy. Can you imagine? 
imagine if Broski could take this. This would be the biggest upset in all this of would Red be Bull Kumite an amazing history. I want to see the upset. match. Let's go to Rob right now. <laughs> We are officially at the final match of round one. I love the energy that we have in here. First and foremost, I gotta ask, make some noise if you like Borowski. I've got a feeling, I've got a sneaky feeling that the roof is about to blow off of this place. Make some noise if you have the pool. Mena or D. We haven't done it in a while, but this is the final match of round one, so it is absolutely necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, let them hear it. Cool Marte, Cool Marte, Cool Marte. Broski, Mina, it is time. New York City, we're about to begin, it's time for Kuma Ter. Kuma Ter. Okay, we're gonna get with the Luke. So, like you said, Mono told you yes. that, you know, Aki does pretty good against Luke. And I can kind of see that. Also, Aki is so good at just yes. drive rushing behind the fireball. Literally, yeah. I was right? really about to say it. Her, she has some natural tools for traversing fireballs, whether it be coming from stands or just being able to play like a pretty confident oh, no. fireball game herself. Big jump in here. And yeah. you know what? I was just about to say that. Perfect pairing her fireball is a little harder because it's slow, but then men are perfect pairing the first one. That's so true. But the thing is also, Aki's fireball is so good, right? But the thing is, the biggest weakness, it has a bit of recovery. Yes. So jump yeah. in, you're, you're, you know, you might get jumped in a lot. A good call in on oh. the jump in from a projectile from Aki will get you a long way. You can oh, see how this curves yeah. That's tough right it's there. Cool. So Broski, got to start looking into trying to go into the, to the Serpent Slither right here. Maybe just to try to call that out, or maybe even go for that as well. Yeah, or even using this OD fireball, right? Mm -hmm. You saw the jump after that situation right there. I'm interested to see if he's going to do the same. Probably a check. Gets to throw in the corner. Man, no, can't on. get out, man. Probably oh, trying to go yeah. slither out. Yep, OD oh. snake step. Oh. And that should be enough, just like that. Level three. Time to go to work. That was such a fast first game. It is fast. Memphis. See, the thing is, it's, it's so hard for Aki to get out because Mena already grabbed the first OD snake yep. step, right? Mm -hmm. And even if, like, Broski did wake up level one, no damage, barely any damage. And also, if he did a meaty jab, he blocks in time. Oh, no. Drive rush gets clipped go, early. Yeah. Mena R&D running away with it. And here we go, corner position again. Meaty is going to find its mark. So what's the next mix up here for Mena? He it's goes tough. for the meaty again into the tick throw. I mean, meaty is the best. Oh, wow. anti air this time. Yeah, it's tough. Back throw. Aki needs to back dash a lot more, maybe, possibly. Good check with the jab. That's a buff jab right there, but oh, doesn't matter. Overhead. He went for the flip kick to avoid the throw. That's the bull. Hold forward oh, all day. He's going to be able to juggle off of that. Yep, okay. There we go. Poison going. Yep, getting the toxic blossom right oh, there. Oh, there we go. Big combo. OK, yeah. she's so dangerous in the corner here. This oh, goes around. Yeah, but then Mena just held up forward. Just raw jump out. Yo, the neutral jump always convert, almost converted to something no anti -air, big. Yeah. No anti-air, no anti-air. Aki has great anti-airs, too. Wake up level one, added some poison there. OK. OK, what's the guess? Fireball? No, go straight in. Could have been for a grab. Oh, oh. Air, wins the air to air right there. And then you see Mena RD just jumping away. He's been taking to the air a lot, but what a perfect carry here. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get a hard knockdown. Okay, probably. what's the setup here? He goes for the safe jump into the throw. Mm, so, so that combo he did there, that's a buff yes. from the crouching yeah. light punch. Yep. Usually you can only get two, but now you can get three. Mm. Yep. And by getting the three of them like that, that actually sets them up so that I believe, if regardless of which way they wake up, you'll always land in the front. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go, Mena with the bull. Nice, he got away, but Mena's one hit away from winning this yeah, game. Yeah, trouble right? on the ropes. Oh, no. Too Mena's far away for the down heavy punch to hit, cross up. Okay. Trade. Yeah, good trade, no anti-airs though. Yeah, Fireball. There go, and confirms it into the follow-up. Okay, the fire, nice. Oh, no. Not enough though. Okay, back throw. Broski, you have one more shot. 
Oh, wow. The OD was still able to block in time. Dude, you need to throw an OD fireball. You can't even throw a regular oh, fireball. Hits him out of the air, but not that, gonna get anything out of that. Yes, that's plus two. Yeah, I was about to say, you gotta hold that. Jump oh. in's not gonna work. Not gonna stay the defense of minute on D, a yeah. back throw. Yeah, those jumps has been killing him. Because yeah. in that angle, even if he did, like, just like the anti-air -air version of Serpent Slash, like, I don't think it's going to hit because she moves forward a no, little bit. No, that's absolutely true. I mean, she's got the crouch heavy kick, but again, the, the trades with loose jump attacks. You don't want so that. Good. Nice oh, here we jump. Go. Okay, here we go. Again, she could do so much damage here in the corner. Goes nice. for the meeting. That's setup, got like. But he blocked it. Mena was ready for Can't it. challenge there. Perfect from Broski. Fighting back. Aki is cool. Let's Stops go. the bleeding. Gets around on the board. Mena still two games up. Let's see if Broski can keep this momentum. Yeah, no drive rush forward. But here it is. There's a drive rush forward. Uh -huh. After yeah. the perfect carry as well. Yeah, got, that's a frame trap. That target combo that uh, that Aki has is a frame trap in between. Yep. Mm. Okay, don't get hit now. Okay, takes out the poison. Gets out of there. Ooh. Big counter hit right there. Nice throw tech. And now plus two right there. Goes for the low option. Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? no. Oh, okay. Tries to go for the slitter step to bait the fireball. Yeah. I nice see. cancel, too. Waiting for it. But... Oh, no drive rush there. Looking oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Is going to find the hit here. Is he going to go for the level two, or is he actually going to just try to save some of the meter? I think he's going to save it just in case if things go wrong. But no, Aki is one of the scariest characters when you're in burnout. Oh. But he does not give him a chance. Aki is absolutely terrifying is. when you're in burnout. She is. That new jab is actually a part of it as well, man. Yeah. You really got to be scared, especially if you're on burnout. Yep. You're not uh -huh. going to be able to move that's around this string. much. That's a true string. You can't challenge that. Yeah, that's a frame trap right there when you go into that as well. Okay, here we go. Big combo. Not poison, but we're going to stack it up there. There's the poison right there. Goes for the plus two situation here. Yeah, it keeps him in the corner. Nice, got there the it is. Oh, the that's gonna hurt Please spend that level three. Yeah. It's going to allow him to yeah. extend. Yep, there we go. Hit him with the Magnus there, Opus. Here there. and uh, there. Ooh. My Magnum oh. Opus! Damn, that took off damage. Yeah, with the Bagua in the background. Let's okay. go. Doesn't go for the grab. Oh, level three, oh, three to get oh. through. Lots of recovery on that fireball, like you said. Yeah, yeah. And this is the full critical R2. Out! That's such unfortunate. And she's burnt oh, out. No. It's time for Men of the Bully. This Men is, is the bully. It's time He's for Men of the Bully. Oh, nice he defense. He oh, challenged. the challenge. He challenged. Wow. Using the follow up of that fireball to get that serpent lash was amazing there. All right, so Broski putting one on the board over here. Okay, perfect range right nice. there. Oh, yeah. You talked about that reaction. You can't help it sometimes, but to try to perfect parry the jump yeah. in. I think Mena is also comfortable with jumping because, like, Broski hasn't really been anti-ing that well, yeah. right? Just like there again, Second going time. for it. You almost burn out. Those two throws was 40% damage right there. Don't, you know, that's privilege right there. Ooh. Nice anti -ing. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, wait Drive for the fireball. In there, that's yeah. like plus six at that point. There we go. Follow up. All the way into the corner. No, actually just goes for the repoison. Yes. I mean, and look at nice. it there. We go yeah. set it Stack up. it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep him poisoned the whole time. Wow. Yo. You're, you're burnt out let now. Me out. Level one, you have to react to it. Don't let Meta bully you with the drive impact. Oh, Good jump. Him. But again, he's that's out. okay. Just beats the, oh, again, the challenge. That's a win. That's a win. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, the cancel. Okay. So oh, takes a hit again. Same way he finished it last time. What did, Broski tried to tie it up 2-2. Two, two. What did Feng say? Just take the poison, right? Yeah, just take the poison. <laughs> take the poison. <laughs> oh, for oh, Yeah. Here we go. All the way to the corner, just like that. Just like that. A throw. Men RD trying to get back in control here. Oh, my God. This was how Men RD won all his two games, was getting Broski into the corner, and uh -oh. Broski could not find a way out. It's okay. Oh, no crowd fierce that time. And again, the frame trap challenge. on that. Yeah, don't challenge. Anti-air, oh, big oh, damage. Big damage on the table. Oh, no, air. okay. Repoise, no need. Yeah, I reset. Wait a minute. Broski. Okay, this, this, this could be a cross-up. No, he didn't go for it. Level Ooh, three? Level three. Yes. Level three. That's Here big we damage. go. Poison still on the board. This yeah. is going to hurt like hell. Not burn, not burn out, though, but close to it. He can go for fireball and try to bait up the level three because he can special cancel into OD's snake step if he wanted to. Oh, nice parry. Nice parry, but still trapped in the corner. Oh, two, two. Two, two. Broski oh God, on the board ties it up two to two. Aki is cool, huh, James? Aki is cool. Aki is cool. Aki is cool. Going into game five right now between these two, Broski versus Men RD. Nice. Again with the check with the three jabs. Oh, big jump in. These little buffs really helped a lot. 
Don't punish. Nice. Oh, it just oh. wakes up with the buttons. No. Yes, follow it. Here. Nice anti-air. Oh, Trying okay. to chase down. Anti-air again. And it's a re-poison because of that. So you gotta deal with this poison. Nice, I love it. Use the slitter. Wow, just really taking advantage of this poison right now. Trying to jump out into the another lane. Him again. That's standing strong. Remember, also got two more active frames. Mm. So it checks things a Stay lot better. Different. Oh, he could die. He's dead here. Yeah. He's dead he here. Be able to extend Full it combo. Here. Level one. There Take him to the sky. Put him in the bubble. Broski. Taking the lead here. But it's just one round. And it is against. But he's in the lead now, he's though. In the lead yes. Now. But it is against Capcom Cup. Two time Capcom mm -hmm. Cup champion. But you see again that standing strong Ooh. is a better driver the than the on the slither. What an answer to that. First time going for it, too. Nice tech. Oh, and jump in. Yeah, yeah. Roski's trying to get some oh. extra damage with the jump in now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be scary. Knocked down in the corner. Again. They trade after the drive rush. Thank God for that standing medium punch buff. Oh, Please. yeah. There oh. it is. There it is. I told you. It's upper body in oh, the projectile. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, level two. Coming. We level have three. Oh, no. no. He could have spent the level two to try to burn him out. But they, you gotta watch out. Yeah, you gotta be careful. If he throws a fireball. Oh. That's plus six. I love oh, three metal RD. He just Steal it. did it. He just did it. He just did it. Broski got greedy with the grab. He yes, wanted to yeah, close. Yeah. And I feel like in that way, that was kind of inexperienced, right? Because he was right. trying to take the try to close out the yeah. game too fast there. I, I mean it might have even beat the, the follow-up kicks as well. As long as there's a gap in there, there's nothing you can do about yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, even though Mena spent the level three, Broski, I mean, if he gets the hit, like I said, it's gonna hurt. If, if he gets started, it's gonna be real hard. Nice oh, jump, nice. Good, good read, good okay, tech. tech is, oh. oh, that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Mena RD takes back the lead. I told you, world double, Capcom Cup champion Mena RD. No lead is safe against this player. He was able oh, to shut jump. down momentum so fast. Here we go, yep. And now he's gonna go for the throw setup. There it is. Punish counter as well. Again, another of punish counter. 40% of your life on that, plus two. There it is, the gap. He lost so much life in a span of 15 Ooh, seconds. Yes. But this, you know, it doesn't matter. Oh, Maybe it does with the bubble. Not you're gonna not kill. dead. Not gonna kill quite yet, but you're gonna get the fireball set up. Stack the poison, put the poison on the floor, put the puddle on the floor, yeah. play it lame. Don't go, don't try to close it. ODI, real close to that corner. Uppercut this time, NRD still fighting back. Nice level what one! Catch on the jump check, back! Check, yeah, catches him, but it's still, Broski with still a healthy life lead yeah. here. Don't get uh -oh. too antsy, watch out for the drive, yeah! Nice. Amazing parry. parry That's the punishable! Control. That's minus 18! DI not gonna work! Man, that's so smart, he didn't DI back! Right. He knows his check. life is too low, he was aware. Okay, you oh gotta God, watch out. What are you gonna oh. get back! Oh, Ooh, drive, the drive parry. Don't throw it! No, you could've done it! He you could've lunged! Yo, oh just my walk God. behind the bubble. Yeah, walk behind the bubble. Keep it safe. Oh, that's right. You, time. You, you, oh, oh the OD God. serpent strike. The OD, the OD serpent lash. Really? The call out? That thing is so light as a block, too. I mean, it doesn't matter. Right. Nice. Oh, good reaction. Good patience right there. Yep. No anti again. That's a bad habit that a lot of people have right now. But oh, trains. train combo, train combo. That's not good for Broski. And here we go, quarter position. Get Shimmy, Mena RD here. Should be able to take this unless he doesn't want to spend any meter. He does not. He does not. He's not that scared of Baki right now. Oh. But, so cool. but you know what? Now, now you should be scared. You're in danger. Oh, you, are oh, you, are so scared. Scared. No. So, you are dead. You are dead. This is You are dead. Level three. You are dead. That's a level three. James, you are right. He should have spent the bar. <laughs> Should have spent that bar. Because this is gonna kill for sure. SCA. Absolutely critical art on deck. Extra damage. We're tied. Three to three. This is the best out of three now? Oh Yo, my are we, god. Are we gonna see a character change? No, no. he's gonna stick with the loop. Yo, the Broski chance no, from New York. Dude. Uh, this, like I said, this is David versus Goliath. Uh -huh. No, oh, no frame no. kill. It wasn't mean enough. It wasn't yeah. mean enough. You missed the frame kill. Anti-air, don't jump. Yeah. You're poison, baby. He's gonna go in. Oh my god. He's not looking so fast. well. Again, Mena is kept pushing buttons so oh. many times. Oh, he's is getting he dead? Really trapped so much. Oh, no, poison. poison. Safe jump, safe, safe jump. jump. Go for the drive impact, maybe. The poison's still there. Back dash. dash. Wait a minute. What? Side what? Switch. What? what kind of side switch Neutral was that? Jump. Crouch heavy. DI, oh. I got it too. Broski. 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 Roll the R's. Oh my god. Broski.
Rocky with the reaction. This is the oral goat, okay? Yo. Him and Brian F, the oral goat. Yo. Optimization is his name. They have to do. Broski is the one player out there who keeps saying that Aki is not low tier. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay. And then it's trying to say, no, Ooh. she is low tier, dude. <laughs> she is. Nice. Crouch yeah. heavy punch. Okay. Get off of me. Beautiful, beautiful right there. But close to being oh burned out now. Too far away. Too far away. What a whiff punish. Punish counter throw. Yeah. Broski oh, in trouble. Yeah. Stay that was fierce. Dead. Even if he had blocked that, he would have died by chip. There was yeah. nothing he could do. Yeah, there's no reason for, for him to even spend the super there. Right. And we have another tie. 3-3 three, three in a round. Level 3? Oh. No level 3. Nope, not yet. Not yet. He wants to get some more damage. Yeah. Maybe a clean hit he right here. It. Here he goes. Maybe a level 3 now because no. it'll be close to the burn setup. up. No. We want yeah, the setup. Want the setup. Yeah. Safe jump. Yep. Oh my god, that's, pixels! Pixels! Yeah. That's tech right there. You can't drive impact after a drive parry. Oh. Level oh, 3! Okay. Oh, we burn that's out! Burn I think out. we're burned out! That's gonna burn that's out! Gonna burn out. out. Broski, on the verge, look how much health he has! Okay. This is on the verge we of going 4-3! We need to watch three. out for Mena's reactions. Mena's reactions against drive back is so good. You really have to be careful. But Aki has the, is the one of the yep. best! Plus, yeah. It's plus. one of the best when it comes to this! Throw. This is so important! Level 1! He Double got hit! hit. He did it. OD fireball, let's go! You have to spend the meter, you have so much bar! You need to chase before! You can kill him right here! He got and him. he did! He got him. Let's he go! Got him. He he had, no he had no meter! Yeah. He had no meter! Let's go, baby! Broski is up 4 to 3 over Mena RD! This Mena is gonna RD. be the biggest upset! Yeah, I'm telling you right now. DR, where are you at? You need to cheer for your board Yo, right DR, now! Even if you're in the chat right now, we need you to make some noise out there. Okay, here we go. And on cue, the New York crowd answers. Side switch. Nice. The meaty grab is so good because it stopped literally OD Snake Step and even him jumping. He can yep. anti her just in time. Right. And here we go. Back to the full screen. Oh, yeah, was able to block in time, but then gets thrown. Men RD been getting away with a lot of throws here. Broski has not teched a lot of throws. Okay. Take throw again. Tries to go for the parry. That's Jumps okay. Out. That's a win. Wow. Look, look, look at Men. Oh, my God. The jump that out. Was the buff. That was the buff. But here we go. Men RD going to get the hit here. Level one. Level, level two. two. To uh, guarantee uh, it. Uh, ah, da, 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 da. Ooh. Wow. He pulls it back. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, I think that's when you know Mena's like kind of nervous because he level one would have killed, but he's like, oh man, you know, I think I should spend a level two right. instead. Uh, yeah. Make sure. Nice drive reversal. Keep the offense going. Nice trade. Oh, again, yeah, yeah. that bad habit again. And you're burnt out. out. That's a big decision right there. Yeah, I spent the meter to get out of there, but he's going to get oh. driving back in here. Yeah. Here we go, Mena RD looking so great here. He's got one bar right now, not going to spend it just level yet. Level one. I'm out. Guess what? Aki has another level one just in case if Mena wants to bully. Yep, exactly. Whoa! Oh, what a oh, snake oh, step. Going for? Level one again? No, good wow. challenge. Minus, yeah, backdash right there. Oh, oh my he god. Had it. He had it. He did. He just yeah. got chipped right there. Here we go, Mena Four, four. Ties it up. One more. Four, Final four. Game. Final one game. More. Game nine. Four, here. four. One more. Four, four. One more. Oh my god. No punish. He could have punished that big. You wonder why I was so happy uh, when I found out Broski was invited here. We got to see No anti-air! No anti-air, here we go, what's the setup? Okay. You have to double dash into the meaty. That's a re-poison stack. Yeah. Nice, get off of me, you have to. Sometimes you gotta take these risks against Aki. Big jump back. Oh, oh it's gonna be a punish trouble. right there. Here we go, big opportunity for Mena. Here's the corner again. Safe oh jump. No, Baited. that's blocked. That should you're be the dead. round. You're, you're dead. dead, you're dead. Here we go, Mena RD, match point. Match point, Mena. What is he gonna do? What's his approach? Drive rush right out of the gate. Wow. Okay. Take him to the corner. Go for the grab. Uh, How many grabs are we taking? Two That's up. two. Is it another one? Jump out. No. Nope. Can't get out. Can't get out. Oh my god, the buffer. No whip punishes are happening. Uh, another three. Throw. Mena RD. Don't hold these things. Oh, That's, That's it. it. That's gonna do it right there. Mena RD takes it over Broski. He succeeds. That I was an amazing know. match. Like, what a like Mena was the favorite, right? Yep. Easily the favorite. But that was down to the wire. We nah. gotta give a big shout out to Broski, bro. Broski, no. dude. You got we you. gotta give a big shout out to Broski. Aki is Yo. cool. A Aki. Come on. I wanna hear the chant. Aki. Aki is cool. Aki is cool. Aki is ridiculous. Mena RD takes the set. But yo, New York, do not let Broski lead that stage. Make some noise for Broski! Woo! That is a 
a set. That's Aki, baby. That is a set. Aki. Yo, damn. That was a beautiful match, man. That was beautiful a beautiful match. match. And we can't take anything away. The crowd is letting y'all know. Men and RD made some amazing adjustments. We're going to send it to the host, Mr. Hollywood, Rob TV. Wow. Men of RD. The audience went absolutely insane. This, re this support is something that we have not seen to this level of Red Bull Kumite, New York. What is going through your mind right now? Do you have any message for everyone here in the audience? All I'm gonna say is, there's the Dominican movement, but there's also the Men RD movement, and that one is worldwide. You can join anytime you want. You can go back to the player lounge. Congratulations on moving to the next round. Obviously, this crowd is cheering because you played so amazing and they have amnesia and forgot that you ended up choking at the end. That said, though, Broski, this was your first Red Bull Kumite. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please make some noise for the amazing performance we just saw from Broski? Broski, hand over your fighter call. I don't even want to touch that card. Throw that out, Broski. I don't know why he was hanging around. It's over with. Go home. I'm not touching that thing. I don't blame you, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, how do we feel about round one of Red Bull Commentary? Rob, that is it. We have our first line gone. Look at these names X'd out that you would never think. Idom, Hibiki the Beast, Tokido, Oil King, Mr. Crimson, Duel Kevin, Bonchan, and now Broski are officially gone from this year's Kumite. As amazing as those players are, we are here not to just find players who are skilled, not to just find players who have the heart, but to find the best. And obviously, those names you listed are not for today. That said, I do know that we have Persia in the back ready to give us. Actually, before we go to Persia, we still got to talk to Broski before he takes before he takes his last trip out of Red Bull Kumite. So let's go ahead and send it over to our casters. Man, look, regardless of the fact that Broski is going home, what a display for, and I'm glad that I have you guys here to talk about it, because James, you knew a lot about that matchup and just some <laughs> of the things that will be happening. And of course, just filling in those blanks even more so with Justin, it was absolutely ridiculous to see a display like that. Men are almost went home, bro, and he had the almost crowd on his side, home, right? Bro, Especially crazy. if we go back and look at this, we talked about how the hockey would be a nice fight, what James said, for the loop, right. but it didn't look so that clean starting well, off. Yeah, it was a 2-0 right away yeah, for right Mena. Away, yep. And it just looked like Mena, every time he got Broski in the corner, it was done. But if you notice, crazy enough, like, you could just give the advice, don't get put in the corner. Yeah. But that's what Broski did once he started getting into game three, four, and five. He really was able to stay out of that situation. There was yeah. a couple of times where he ate big jump ins, where he got stuffed, where he literally could have just unraveled. But he literally kept it together so well. His anti-airs weren't working all the time. He started switching to a different button and really played slow enough to actually make this a contendable set that we saw here between these two. It's really beautiful because Aki, like you said, it's a, still a brand yeah. new character. A lot of people are not familiar. How many people can they say, oh, I know the Aki matchup? Nobody, it's not bro. easy. I'm not so, like, men.
end of the bull, like his best strategy is to really just bulldoze over you. Yes. That's really mm -hmm. the best strategy when you don't know the matchup. And of course, you can see our quarterfinals matches getting set up we here. We know these matchups Nephew for sure. Versus no. Knuckle oh, Dude. There's too many Big good matches. Bird versus Lashar. Oh my God. Punk Hunk versus Chris Wong. That's what I'm gotcha saying. Gotcha Kuhn versus Meta RD. Capcom Cup champion versus Capcom Cup Yo, champion. Oh, and you know what? Uh, F Word came up and pointed out that if Gotcha Kuhn and Chris Wong win, they're going to uh, jump up there and have a revenge match oh as well. Oh my God. Yo, we're getting, <laughs> look, you guys are in a treat for some amazing, amazing Street Fighter. But first and foremost, one more time, can you guys make my man feel welcome? Make some noise for Broski! My man did an amazing job. All you got to do is remember just how well he played. We're going to send it to Z in the cab. Broski, Broski. They describe this matchup like a David versus Goliath. Even in your interview, you said you were the underdog, no pressure. But what was it actually like in the hot seat in this really hostile crowd with a lot of jeering and, and crowd noise? How did you think of your performance? Uh, I thought I got off to a kind of a bad start first couple of games. I was a little bit nervous, but I managed to pick it up towards the end. But Men is such a professional, like he just didn't seem to crack at all. Now you are the biggest cheerleader, the stan of the Aki fan club. Tell us what it means to play this character. What is your relationship? Do you dream of her at night? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I go that far, but I just think she's like a really fun character to play. I think she's fun to watch. Like this, she seems to be a good spectator character and uh, I hope I can do more with her in the future. Thank you so much for showing out with one of these rare characters. We're gonna send you home right now and take it back to Joe and the Battle King. Joe, are you ready for round two? I don't know if the question is I'm ready for round two, but Red Bull Kumite New York, make some noise. Let us know if you are ready for round two. Before we get there, we're gonna go ahead and see uh, what's on the mind of our competitors that are left for round two? Persia, what's up with our fighters? What's up, everyone? I am here with our three U.S. representatives that have made it to round two. You know, we're kind of outnumbering the other regions right now, and I feel like the U.S. is always close to clutching the win, but something always happens. Do we feel like that's going to change today? Well, I mean, men is part of America, right? So I think our chances are pretty good, yeah? <laughs> claimed, already claimed, immediately. You know, overall, I think Street Fighter VI has kind of spiced up the level of competition between regions and stuff like that. So I would love to get your thoughts on how you think the U.S. kind of stacks up against other regions currently in Street Fighter VI. Uh, I think at the top level, we have players that can compete with like every other player uh, in, throughout the world. But um, I would say in Asia, um, for instance, like they have probably like a larger amount um, at that top level. So uh, while we might have like one really good player for each character, um, they have like two or three. So um, yeah. All right. Well, with that said, how do you think the U.S. can continue to level up? What are some things you think we're missing that if we add, then it's going to take us to the next level? Um, I feel like if like American players just like, you know, study their losses uh, would go a long way. I feel like a lot of times in America people lose, but they don't really ever come back with new strategies. They just kind of come back and they just keep playing. But I know they want to get better, but I just feel like they don't actually learn from like their losses or mistakes. So I think just watching replays over and really just sitting down and trying to figure out what went wrong and why you're actually losing the matches, you know. So I feel like that will help America allow, uh, go a long way. Ooh, all right. Well, I hope everyone's listening. You know, Punk's trying to give you some advice here. But best of luck to the three of you in round number two. I know it's going to be six, so let's just go ahead and get right to it. Round two is about to be insane. That said, we do need to take a little break, but so you know, do not go anywhere on the break because we have a very special combo video for you guys during this break. You do not want to miss things of this level. That said, we'll be right back with round two of Red Bull Kumite.
What's up, everybody? It's Facebook here at OS New York. We're at a really great bar parade for the FTC. Uh, one of my favorite spots. Personally, I think this is a very important uh, venue for the FTC just for the simple fact that it supports both the casual and competitive aspects of the tournament. So even if you're not winning every event, you still have something to do if you lose. Yo, what's going on? This is Logan Sama and... That's what? I got it in the same place, side by side. Events like this are the crux of what's great about the FGC because it's all about coming together and playing games. We've got people here that are world champions running sets with people that have signed up for the LCQ, amateurs, it doesn't matter. We come together. That's my favorite thing about stuff like this, you know? Red Bull providing the opportunity for us to all get together and just play games into the night. It's beautiful. Community nights like this means everything. You got the whole New York scene coming out. It's amazing because it's a beautiful production, but at the same time, it feels like it's FGC. I feel like Red Bull gets it, and this is the sentiment throughout the whole community. And this is just the beginning. We still got the actual show, the LCQ to play it, and then the grand finale on Sunday. Absolutely ridiculous, bro. This is what the FGC is all about. I was just talking to somebody over here right now. They was like, yo, this is my first time at the event. Like, I've never been to anything like this. And this Red Bull thing really kind of makes it a lot more casual to hang out. So you get to hang out with a bunch of the athletes, a bunch of the official players, and you get to play with like, somebody who's talking to me as a commentator most of like, yo man, I've been listening to you talk since I was a kid. And you're just hanging out at this video game event. And I'm like, that's what we do. That's what the community is. It's not anybody outside. It's a lot of people inside the community that put stuff like together to make sure the community stay around. <laughs> He's the best! He's really the best! He's the best! He's the best!
from all around the world running together at the same time. Welcome to the Wings for Life World Run, where 100% of all money raised goes to spinal cord research. Sign up now at wingsforlifeworldrun.com. Let's run for those who can. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan Hart and I am here, yes, in the heart of New York City in Times Square because it's time for Red Bull Community in New York. I am here to talk to players and people and fans alike about this tier list. Everyone has a different opinion and I want to collect some opinions today and see what people think about the latest patch and update. My girlfriend competed, she lost. But this is my chance to change the uh, tier list to reflect that. All right, Dawson's got to go way up. I'll put him in S. Dawson goes S? Dawson goes S for All right, sure. and then someone who's in a higher group needs to go down. Who are you okay, going to pick? Okay. Uh, I feel like Chun-Li has had too much time in the in the spotlight. Chun-Li goes down, people. The only space was in C, so Okay. Chun-Li. And, and why did you put Dalsim in S here? Well, when I played the first time ever today, he had very stretchy arms, and uh, I'm a fan of a certain show where people have stretchy arms. How confident are you about the tier list right now? There's some errors. There's some glaring issues. <laughs> I think I'll fix it. All right, go ahead. Move one character up. Ooh, shoved into A tier, Chun Li. She's very fun to watch, but she's also just very good. She also counters my character very hard. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take have a, hot, uh, a very hot take. Why did Luke suddenly disappear from S and appear in A? Well, other than the fact, other than the fact that he lost Capcom, well, he lost his. He wants the approaching medium, the uh, button that does everything for you. Pays your taxes, babysits your kids. It's supposed to, to win you a million dollars, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. Who else? Uh, well, guess who won Capcom Cup? Can you see any glaring mistakes without pointing them out? All right, so right now, I see one character's too low and one character's too high, and I'm about to change that. I don't care if she's already low, Lily's going lower. I would move, move her down here if I could, but she's going here because, you know, I have nowhere else to put her. Why is she so low, bro? I, the way that I have to play and play against that character, the coin flip, I just can't play it. One character, I don't know why she's this low. Best DLC character drop so far, so there is a down, and it's she, I already see, you know, Aki. She's too low. You know what? Put her over here. Aki, Aki's the best. Oh, this I is saw a, the guy do this. Ooh, I don't know what happened. This character's not that good. Wait, she is not in the class of the million dollar character jury. Insanity. I, I I really can't right, believe that this it. character got moved Never. down the tier at all. Wait, I was watching this over there. I, like, I can't believe it. I had to come. I had to come by and uh, restore order. Without moving anything yet, do you see any glaring mistakes? Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of mistakes. I think JP still has the best level two in the game. His normals are still good. He still has the same zoning game plan. He lost his crouch fierce anti air, but considering that he had no weaknesses beforehand. That doesn't really make up for it as much. So you think he went from invincible to being mortal? Yeah. Yeah, why did you move Ryu from A tier down to B tier? So as a Ryu player, I don't think Ryu's on the same tier as Chun-Li, Blanca, Ken, Marisa. Hold on, hold on. Hashogeki buff, bro? I Minus three, I can't punish? I don't get my punish? Yeah, that's fine and all, but like, okay, it's only good as a meaty setup off of Light Tatsu. I, oh, I have to sacrifice Oki to get like engine install. You're gonna move one character up, whoever you want from one tier list to another, and you're gonna move one character down. Ooh, already with the JP, oh my God. Straight down to C tier. Ryan, we gotta be honest, those nerfs were crazy. Worst tier in the game? He can't fight? It's a wrap? He sucks, Idom said it. Idom, Idom said it. Why is Ken in S? Phenom, I'm on to you, stop playing around. We know what you were doing in Tokyo. You did some serious damage to my guy down there. You did some serious work to my guy. And I played some Ken on the side. You know how strong that character is, so there it is. Use any parameter. Move one character up and one character down. Go right ahead. Oh, Kimberly's getting a move. Oh, oh, Kimberly's going into S tier. Let's go. She looks awesome. Like she looks like she could kick some butt. <laughs> she definitely can. Yeah. Oh, Guile dropping to C tier. And why did you move Guile down from A to C? I don't know. He just looks too cocky. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the tier list? Where's the guy? My man right here. Yo, give me that. Man said, Where's the guy? My thoughts exactly. I couldn't say it better myself. Right, he's moving blanket down, you know. That's good for a problem. He'll get buffed, in it? Look. Can't be in C tier. <laughs> all right, so who you want to move up? I, I want him on top. Of it. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, S, S, S. So he's in there, yeah? Yeah. Why do you like Guile for S tier? Because he's a difficult character. Not that many people know how to use him. When I was playing, when I used to play um, um, Third Strike, 
Wait, wait, when he used to play third strike? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to tell him? So, um, G- Guile's not in third strike. Yes, he is. Guile? No, yeah, he's, he's in third strike. Like, bro, he's definitely not in third strike. Oh, yeah, look it up. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I've got Mr. L.I. Joe on deck to talk me through his choices for what he's going to change here. All right, I didn't look at this yet. I didn't see this yet. It's my first time. Okay. So, you can move one character up to any position you want, one? and you can move one character down. To any position? Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, he went straight JP. There was no delay in that movement. Take your time, Joe. Where do you want him? I really don't think he's that bad right now. I don't think he's that bad. He's Where not, does he go? He's not here. I'm, oh, no. I want to say, like, here. Nah, I, see, I see disappointed members of the crowd right now. I got to move somebody down, right? Any character you want. Kimberly? Kimberly. I think Kimberly would go, like, here. Ryu's also way too low, I think. Whatever. Th- th- that's my two. That's my two. They're on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Red Bull Kumite, New York. The first round was absolutely insane. At first, everyone was getting destroyed. It was very ugly. A lot of 5-0s, a lot of 5-1s. But eventually, we started seeing wars. How about that Aki? Broski's on to something. Aki is cool. That said, we have our first round two match. We no longer need our competitors to come out 1v1 because we know what's up. Please come to the stage, nephew and knuckle dude. One round, two rounds, three rounds, four. If you want to dance, then come hit the floor. And if you jump up, then I know you want more. Put your hands up so I know you Come on, man. Core. Nephew and Knuckle Dude, of course. Knuckle Kn- Knuckledo sponsored by Shopify Rebellion. Nephew by Team Liquid. The play-in winner and a Capcom Cup champion. Oh yeah, I like this energy. I like this energy. The cream rises to the top. For them to even make it this far is of course phenomenal. But in the end of the day, there can only be one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna send things over to our commentators. Welcome back, Red Bull, Kumite, New York. We've switched up the desk a little bit. I'm glad you guys are still with me. We still got the legend James Chin, but I got my brethren from another mother right here, right next to me. Make some noise for IFC Yipes, people out there in New York. We are on his home territory. The matches have been ridiculous, and it's going to be an honor once again to share the desk with you guys. But we have to talk about our match coming up. We do have Knuckle Doodang in the ring right now, going up against a newly sponsored Liquid Nephew. I mean, very familiar with both of these talents right here. You've seen them on the online seat. Hell, you see them on the offline seat. But this is what's so important about this. I keep stressing it, sound like a broken record, but we are back outside. The cords is Mm. cut in half, and we're going to see what's the real deal when it comes to uh, to the face-to-face. Both of these guys, man. I mean, look, honestly, Steve, I just got to say one thing. We just went from, like, one of the most famous New York players in Justin Wong, and now we've switched out to one of the other most famous players oh, from New York City. That's low, that's low. That's low. I, honestly, yeah. I, still, I still live here, though. <laughs> now, Fair with that enough. being said, we're going to get enough. to this next match because I know you guys are ready. Make some noise if you're ready for some Street Fighter Six. Yes, we're going to send it to the evil one, Hollywood, <laughs> Rob TV. That was out of love. That was out of love. No, he's evil. I want to make a couple of things clear to nephew and knuckle do. We are not here to see a friendly competition. We are not here to see handshakes, hugs, or any of that. This is Kumite. This is war. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for round two of Red Bull Kumite? If y'all are ready, if our players are ready, then that's enough said. Round two. Let's begin. Yo, Rob TV, man, appreciate uh, you guys hiring us, man. Yeah, you man. You and Joe, I mean, I actually <laughs> had to go through Joe to get to you. I understand, man. But I'm going to send you the invoice, Rob. You already know the vibe. Some dude just showed up at my house and told me to go to the airport. That's how I found out about this. But here we go. 
Knuckle oh, Dude Dang dude, versus nephew, he, the He's busting nephew. out the head. Nephew is mm. busting out the head. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, wait, We're getting oh, too excited. That's no. not that. Come on, James. Y'all can't be switching the screens on me like that. That scared me. I'm like, what the? I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's the pick. He did this in LCQ. I forgot exactly. I think it was against Kusanagi in the... No, not the LCQ. The plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, he tried it out. You know what I mean? He got washed. And now he's running the back. Yeah, this is actually going to be one of these tough ones, no matter who you slice it. I mean, Nephew has been on a tear this entire weekend. And if you talk about Knuckle Doom, my man's always in the lab, man. He always runs. Oh, yeah. I mean, the chair's got Street Fighter level at this point. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're going to be afraid no matter what. But I feel like Knuckle Doom is one of these players. He takes on all challenges. Dude, he doesn't care who it is. He's Chairman Do now, dude, because, I mean, he's always got that chair out there. So. <laughs> well, before we go any further, yo, New York, you guys still with me out there? Make some noise one more time before we get into this match, yeah? With that being said, I would like to show a little love to Victrix by PDP. Of course, thanks to Victrix by PDP for supplying the per peripherals here at Red Bull Kumite. Their award-winning gaming peripherals are unique and accessible as the gaming community itself. Shout-outs to Victrix for holding us down. But I believe Ooh. it's about to go down as we get into this match. Red Bull Kumite, New York. And again, you know, Nephew, he's really been playing a lot of Ed. He said during the play, -in, he was sad that he had to switch away and he wanted to use as much Ed as possible. So here he is, busting him out. I will say this, maybe a little bit of a lack of character knowledge, probably uh, bringing this out just for that. Right. Mm -hmm. I would definitely take that approach, especially for somebody like Knuckle Dude, who has so much experience across the board, just in Street Fighter Six alone. That you actually saw there, Knuckle Dude trying to drive Perry the, uh, the Psycho Flicker charge. Yes. If you do that, it only pulls you in yeah. half the distance. So that's the important part. OD, you gotta be careful. I think that's actually easy to even or plus on that after he does the OD. Yeah, I know, I know the, uh, the Psycho Flicker, well, it's called Flicker now, but I'm gonna call it Snatcher, that's just me, sorry. <laughs> but, oh, uh, no. oh, that's a punish. He's yeah. trying to dodge into the, 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 you know, the 3D plane here. Nah, Kyle's like, get back here, get back. It's only up, down, left, or right here, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, is, is that Bison in the background is the question. All right, we'll talk about bro. that later. All right, back to the zoning game. I think this is pretty tough to do a uh, regular Snatcher. I want to see how EX Snatcher Ooh. works. Ooh. Harry. Stand strong, uh -huh. target combo right there. The kill rush, baby, too oh. good. Oh, nice. yeah. reaction, That yeah. is how you punish. There Out you of the go. corner, Sonic Hurricane goes for the side switch with the knee bazooka. Oh, it's going to work out this time. <laughs> no technicals. That's a wake-up super, my friend. Dude, these two are swinging right now, just waking up supers all over the place. Oh, oh what, a what check. a check. Phantom oh. normals. OD flash kick. Get up off of me, young boy. It's crazy. You got to start over again every time you get hit with this. Yeah, you remember we uh, right before we went to break, Persia interviewed all these players and said, oh, three Americans left, but we got a team kill right here. So one of them's got to go home after this. Yeah, no remorse. I'm from New York City. <laughs> Ooh, there it is. That yeah. that you were talking about. You don't get, don't get all the way Ooh. in there. Oh, nice. Knuckle dude, what a check right there. Going to take that first game pretty convincingly. I do like this offense that Nephew's trying to employ, staying close to Gal. I mean, obviously, one of the hardest things about this matchup is the fact that he gets to control the pace just like this. Man, I mean, it's a first to five. Ooh, so I get it. I'm st stand heavy. Uh oh. OD flicker. But yeah, man, first to five, so I get it, man. To run it back, though, that takes a lot of Cajones Malones, man, mm -hmm. to go up against Knuckle Dude. I'm going to be very honest with you. This guy's season, like you mentioned, every time you even watch, if it's not the chair, it's Knuckle Dude playing Street Fighter 6. Exactly. Well, get off of me, please. Drive reversal. Oh, nice. Oh, no, he just got the cross up right there. Not sure what happened with Nephew. So, one thing I want to point out about Ed is he is, he gets bodied a little bit by random cross ups, right? However, you could kill Rush. He actually has uh, three frames of invincibility from the, from the dome mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty good. So, one way to avoid the cross up, Ooh. definitely kill Rush. Wow. All right, here we go. Oh, no, oh, drops the combo. Man. Might just show a little bit of that unfamiliarity right there, Knuckle Dude. Is he going to activate the level two? Oh, no, actually, Nephew is the one who's going to activate. Oh. No, he got tossed. Wake Yo, up, OD. No meaty song. Oh, 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 my God. The reactions. That was so clean. Okay, Nephew. You know, I have doubted this character a little bit. It's be it looks like it's in beta form, but you know what? I can't question the skill. I'm going to tell you right now, this is very reminiscent of Colleen. You get to keep up that pressure up close. Mm. Um, they got the foot speed as well. This is something the nephew was known for in the Street Fighter Five. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely known for that Colleen. It was one of the best Colleen's that we had. Dude, wow. <clears throat> I got the range. Hold oh, it. yeah. Hold, hold the parry. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh. Use the movement backwards while he stands to actually get away from that. It gets the knockdown with the super. Going for the quick burnout here. Yeah, and actually, you know what? Nephew still hasn't decided to cancel that into the forward dash to go for a throw, potentially. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, perfect parry. 
It's not a reaction, it's an assumption. Mm. That was so clean, nephew. What a way to tie this up with confidence. Locked in with the head pick, and it's paying dividends. Yeah, I like that you, you know, talked about it as, as an assumption, you know, when, whenever you go for that perfect parry, it's usually just when the opponents like to counter yep. poke, right? Yep. yep. Starts off with the parry. Drive rush to the knee, Bazooka. Nice counter hit throw. Wait a minute, Knuckle Dude. Let me fall back here. Yep. I, I got the lead. It's a slight one, but you know what? Let me make it annoying. Nice! Oh my gosh. Using it to get across the screen. Fireball Ward not going to work out in your favor right now versus Guy. I'm not saying he can't, because he can definitely change up the speed on his own projectiles, but it's going to be a lot hard, harder versus a player like Knuckle Do. Best booms in the business, if you ask me. Yeah, he's not even scared. I mean, yeah. he's gone through it. So, I mean, nephew's gone through the Sonic Boom so many times. And oh man, it's <laughs> Knuckle Do's just not stopping. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There it is again. Puts himself a burnout. Look at how he's using these fireballs. And it's like a little fake out, too, because you don't know if he's going to. Which speed he's gonna do, or if he's even gonna shoot it. So that's actually really good. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a trade right there. That knee is zero on block right there. So they mm. both go for their four frames. Loving the pokes right there, the phantom pokes. Oh, he's about to get chipped out. Nice block on the overhead. Oh. It wasn't, it was right, right when he recovered the help. He tried to chip him out, and it was just pixels away from being able to get uh, it. Didn't get the kill though. He could have did a little more. Eats the flash kick. Wow. Wonder, I wonder, all right, so I know after the level two, you can set up multiple uppercuts, but I wonder if it's from the air cycle snatcher from the multiple so uppercuts. I know that you can do DP, it gives you one, pulls back in, and then you can actually Ooh, use oh my to pull in and Get continue the combo without meter, but safe jump. Oh, crush is on, no open up. It uh, cracked open. Pressure in the corner. Oh, the flip. Looking yeah. for the, dri uh, the drive impact? Yeah. Like I said, he hasn't canceled with the forward dash yet. Just not willing to uh, risk that against Knuckle Juice Drive Parry. Yeah, but while in Flicker, it's actually the back dash has gotten him oh, out of trouble. Big right, jump in sure. with the roundhouse. Big okay, damage. we go for the level one here. Never shot to spend that cat. That's Knuckle Dude. That's Boom. safe jump. Yeah, stays on the same side. You see, he's the same, but not as fast. Speaking of as fast, now we could tame the neutral a little bit. Oh no, he just walked into it. Knuckle Dude tried to sneak in a grab. I know this guy. Mm. <laughs> Bit of a scumbag. You got to do it for the kids. All right, Chuck the Booms. Oh, the Booms still on the screen. It just didn't get the charge, unfortunately. OD Flicker actually clashes with the Booms. Look at this fireball war. Walking them down slowly but surely. Look at those perfect that lead. parries, too. Yep. Nice, gets the clip right there. And now, gonna charge in there. Yep, that's safe. Oh, oh wow, gets crossed up. Just talking about that, man. Yep. He gets he gets bodied by cross-ups a little bit, but that kill rush can't help you. Don't know if Nephew knows, but something to add up there All for right. the head players. Nephew burned oh. out, Nephew burned out. I don't know if there's anything he could do in that situation right there. Mm. You see zero bars on Nephew's side over there. Mm, 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 mm. The baby booms. Welcome to Street Fighter Rainbow Edition. <laughs> the Baby Boom Parade. And I did spend about $5, and I never put a quarter in that machine again. Wow. I'm going to tell you that right now. Wow. If y'all know, y'all know. Rainbow Edition. Man. You didn't no. want to do the Air SPDs, man? Man, hell no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Man, hell no. Let's go. You could change characters with the start button. Yeah, just come on. That was crazy, bro. That was I crazy. was throwback. Only in the laundromat, guys. You won't find that nowhere else. <laughs> there we go. Oh, good shimmy. Yo, uh, stand fierce right there. Oh, yeah. Throw. Attempt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, nephew now with this corner position. No dry parry that time. That's so good after the throw, bro. The snatcher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What you're in the corner. Like, it's so hard to deal with that situation. Anti air. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Yeah. A punch counter on that. Oh, set the booms. Yep, this is Sonic Boom Prison. Mm -hmm. uh, and you knock down, you gotta think about it again. No resources, not even the space to even get a flick or a snatcher. Uh, the drive impact. No Finish reaction the job. from Matthew. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, loops? Dude, yes. He doesn't even need to spend the meter, potentially. Yeah. There it is. No meter required in this fourth game. Dude, those loops, man. I mean, Knuckle 2 makes it look like that they're just free. Like, they're auto-timed, I swear. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. He's been throwing booms a long time now. <laughs> so, that is an A group combo, I see. Right? <laughs> oh, the whip punishment. That's yeah. enough to do. Yeah, and again, the whip punish allows that the guy will hike the chain and combo. Big damage here. Mm. Oh, Level no, he's going to go into it. Out. Yeah, built some of his drive gauge back and actually put Nephew at just a half a block of drive gauge left. Jab Sonic Boom, drive rush right behind it. You want to be a scumbag? There it is. Oh, oh the check. Yeah, interrupt. Medium punch right there. Oh, oh that's a catch. Oh. Oh. That was genius. Oh, no. I'm not losing. Uh, to anybody. Back. Come here. Oh. Tim, he said, ooh. <laughs> ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Uh, oh. Right through there again. Look at this. Yep, there's that drive parry again. Oh, not gotta be careful. Punish. You that gotta be. Puts himself in burnout. Oh, gets the forward throw. Delayed forward throw. Here he goes. Pulls him again. Just jumps right back. 
Why choice from another dude to take that throw, by the way. Very smart. Oh, oh the hit, hit, hit. Zip him up. That, that's not a good jab. That's, that's the jab. It's not that good, though. That's the jab. That's the jab. Oh, he's close? He said, that's the jab. He really looked at me and just said, that's the jab. Now, the jab. I, I wonder if uh, Knuckle Dude just like, didn't have the flash kick charge or anything like that. That, um, or just do something, because at that point it was a checkmate, right? Just uh, jail right. him and just finish the job. Oh, small target combo sets you up for the throw. That choice is like, Hit you with three of them. Oh, uh, oh, not get in there. Oh, damn, you see the cockback on the double of the drivers? Let me at him. He, he winds it up. Hit him with the why I order. Oh, why I order. You know the show, James. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of honey behind that move. Uh, oh, my <laughs> goodness, the flash kick. Sonic boom right back at it. The parkour tour is in effect. Ooh. And you got to guess again. Look at this offense. Knuckle do not let Nephew get set up at all. Ooh, back to the boom pressure. Kurt Hennings. Kurt yeah. Hennings. Every time he chucks it. Kurt Hennings. <laughs> Gotta try to, yeah, look at this. Knuckle Dude actually being walked back by Nephew. Mm -hmm. Interesting huh. that he's willing to give up that much space, but that's why he drive rush forward right there with that crouch meeting kick. Oh, oh jump yes. like gets the cross up. Didn't believe in the hit though. And a small scramble in the middle of the stage. I mean, I, I appreciate that Nephew's trying to challenge the cross up, but I feel like at this point you just gotta block it, right? Level two. Yeah. Gotta do something, gotta do something. Jimmy! Oh, he tried to grab in between. Yeah. Or just push him out just out of the range where it won't connect. Oh, and just wait for the throw in that setup over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Well, just judging by how Knuckle Dude is looking, it looks like a nephew problem. Yes. Yeah, it looks. Well, that's unfortunate. But you know what? It ain't FGC without a bit of uh, issues <laughs> with the controllers. And that's no diss. Yeah, it just, look, it's it not, just that's happens. what happens. What, what do they say? FGC, we know drama? <laughs> <laughs> we know drama. Man, God, I hope not. That, it was bad back in the day, the especially in New York. Can sink it. Oh, yeah. It was bad back in the day. But you know what? We grew from it. And we are here. Look at us. New no. York, make some noise for the one time. Yeah. Y'all know how this goes. Y'all know how this goes. Listen, Maybe I'm a, a tournament. I'm going to show some love. Usually, uh, I let Ultimizer do this, but I'm going to do this for the one time. Yo, can I hear a... Yeah. Yo, Boy, that, that was, was that, bad, that was thunderous. You, man. yes, you. Yeah. That energy. I love it. Keep <laughs> it. Shout out to Keep the Ultimizer. <laughs> My guy. Yeah, man. It's the energy oh, that man. we had. But look, first off, we got to talk about the surprise pick a little bit while we got the time. That Ed actually looks pretty good oh, under yeah. the control of Nephew. It really does fit like that rush down, stay in their space kind of play that Nephew was actually known for. Kind of like made a Street Fighter career. Right. And you get to see it all over again. And if you think about it, I'm definitely getting like very much kind of Falkish vibes from how you know you walk down after the level two right. with him as well. So there's a lot of options this character has as well. I'm really interested to see how this game's going to play out. He's got to develop, man. One of the funniest things too is like obviously you know nephew is going to be more familiar with the jury right so you know he's going to have a few mistakes here and there but the yeah. thing about it is as a player especially in an environment like this even though you might not be as familiar with your character your opponent's not going to be as familiar that's, with that's the character the because that's the, the character's brand new it right goes both i mean ways. so it goes both ways it goes both ways so even if it is a new character the thing is that no matter how good of a player you are We've seen people like, look, that's a new character. You take them to a tournament, you might get a surprise win just based off of that, depending <laughs> on how much time you've been in the game, you know? Yeah, but I just want to touch up on Ed. The character is going to develop a lot. You know, I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of Oki situations off a of knockdown that you can go for a kill. And he has some cra he got some crazy jump in, some I crazy media. So right now, I think everybody's natural. Uh, they're um, more used to just knockdowns with the double dash, but you really don't need to do that with Ed. Everything follows up with a kill rush. Yeah. And again, like I was saying, cross-ups kind of body Ed. I mean, you've seen it in a couple situations yeah. where, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Knuckle Dude got the advantage off of a cross -up, you know but kill rush is definitely the answer to avoid a lot of stuff on jump ins stuff like that but we're gonna see as the character develops you're gonna see that like and kill rush again. is uh, yeah. after flicker you hold flicker four four the dash right that's what you're talking about right? no it's just the command dash i think it's the command yeah, dash yeah, yeah. yeah i could be wrong on the name though i think it is kill rush but y'all yeah. know what i'm talking about it's a command dash where he ducks under and right, he puts right, himself right in like right in your face yeah. every time after the knockdown i know exactly mm -hmm. what you're talking about mm -hmm. but yeah man the ed looking real good a brand new character here to the roster the latest <laughs> dlc character i'm happy he's back he actually looks way too cool for a lot of for me, I was like, man, I can't believe how cool he looks. <laughs> but on top yeah. of that, look, talking about Ed's, uh, just Ed in general, I need to hear that theme song once again, and I just need the translation. I'm always, like, trying yeah. to spit up. Bro, Dude, they be going off. I mean, seriously, it's how cool is that they got the in German, German, you know, the, the actual rap in German. I mean, shout outs to Capcom and their, the entire music team. I mean, yeah. they've been doing some killer stuff on the Street Fighter Six soundtrack. You, you mm. know what's crazy? I didn't even know it was German until my man. Shout out to Show You Send God for letting me know. <laughs> so we have an update. You already? That means since, you know, Nephew actually it came on his side, 
and it was on the round. He's going to lose the round. Oh, that means okay. that's going to be the match. Okay. So they're going to have to start over again once again. It's going to go to Mr. Dude because it was on the few side. And we go to the net beginning of the next match. Rules are rules. We don't write them, but we do enforce them. Yeah, With yeah. that being said. I'm just going to show my age here. You said Mr. Dude. I mean, I, how many people out there actually remember that arcade game, dude? Mr. <laughs> dude. That's an actual game? I yeah, thought you just made a, that up, game. bro. There was a game in the arcade called I thought Mr. Dude. I never heard of it. <laughs> that was a new one for me. I never Mr. heard of it, All right, I am that old. So it's okay. Send it to me later. I want to know about this. <laughs> I don't like not being in the know, especially old games. You know what? I think it's starting to ring a bell. <laughs> Nah, nah, I'm not. Did you use a little clown? You dug through green dirt and you like ate cherries and stuff. Yeah, and shot yeah, a bomb yeah. I've and never it, heard. And it played like a. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I've never heard of that. I was like, what? The like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard that one. All right, uh, I think we're ready here. No, nah, man, we're gonna get back into it pretty soon here as these guys get set up once again. Uh, since it did happen on nephew's side, that is going to be the end of the match because he was already up around. That's going to yeah. end it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're going to go and start that game all over with the next game all over again with the win, of course, on dude's side. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. Yeah, and again, I mean, I, mean, I wonder at this point in time, I mean, uh, are we actually going to have... I wonder if Nephew's going to just stick with Ed throughout this whole entire I thing. I mean, it wasn't going the worst. You, it's the best of nine, first of five. Why not? But here we go. We're going to get back into this next game here. Thank you for staying with me, New York. You know how it goes. You play fighting games. The Ed is still <laughs> on the screen. Those faces are so good. <laughs> yeah. I like how he does the classic ball off. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Sick. That's right. Oh, the grunt with the, with the, with the, the teeth out. With yeah. the teeth out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Chuck the Plasma, back to it, the Sonic Boom Prison. This is looking tough, oh, of course. Ness is trying to block up. the overhead, but the legs was exposed. Open toe sandals, springers around the corner. Get dunked. Uh, Super that corner. is German. We, we stamp the passport with that throw. <laughs> oh, no, that OD Sonic Boom right there. Just catch. Oh, no, I'm not even sure what Nephi was trying right there. He was still ready for the anti-air, too. This dude, oh. dude with a perfect timing on the DI, and that's going to be another round. Once again, this is a single elimination tournament. You you lose, you're going home. I love it. That's classic. Put the quarter, put your quarter up and get the hell up out of here. But in this case, <laughs> throw your card in the trash and get the hell up out of here. All right, here we go. Back yeah, to it. Uncle Dude just looking so solid right now. The defense, the Don't. offense, everything right now is just going so oh. smoothly for him. And again, now he's getting the shimmy, the punish counter, the meaty setup, the punish counter throw. It's all working out for him. Oh, get off of me. Damn, really? It, it was worth it? You see how healthy Ooh. Knuckle 2 is? I mean, it's a wise choice. He got him in the corner, but now he's getting worn down. Look how far away he was. Delay a jab on the drive rush. What a scumbag. Knuckle Dude. Don't be and fooled. And still within the chip range right here. Oh, it doesn't mm. even need it. Just gets the throw. And that's still a perfect right there. Yeah. Knuckle Dude looking so solid here. And again, it's, I mean, he was one of the best at the end of Street Fighter 4 first Capcom Cup champion for Street Fighter V, yep. and then he kind of disappeared for a little bit, but I love the fact that he's just back, and like, ah. it's like he never missed the beat. That's real, that's real talk. Talk about it, James, it's true. That's what I thought. You know, you figure you'll be a little rusty coming back? Nah, man. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, once once Uncle Dude came back, man, he got the, got the pretty good shape really soon, and when I mean that, like, that was early, and now he's just ridiculously playing well, and, but he's stuck in this corner right now. I will say credit to the rollback, man. Mm -hmm. Throw it out there. Yo, shout out to the rollback for sure. All right, here we go. Overhead, nice. Stood up last minute, but still getting some pressure on Knuckle Dude. Uppercut. That, that was a couple of a, better options to deal. That wasn't even an OD uppercut, if I'm not mistaken. That was just a regular uppercut, I think. Regular. And look at how much more confident Nephew is playing this up close game. You do not, if Jury knocks oh, you down, she gets to play, it becomes so much harder. That's a drop combo. Oh, oh my God. Steal the turn. Steal the turn. Yeah, here we go. Oh, go. oh, he went for the drive in back. Caught Knuckle Dude off guard. Should be able to take this round. No meter required. Now, Nephew stops the bleed. You know what? I was going to say this, but not, you know, let me just throw it out the window. It was never too late to go back to your main and try to bring it back, but man, that is a steep hill to climb. That's <laughs> a big hill, bro. Four, four games to one? Come on now. Climbing the hill in the sleet and the snow. Yeah, also known as Knuckle Dude. <laughs> like, yo. The victory be that much sweeter, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, no shimmies. We're professionals here. Okay. Got him with the overhead. Yeah, not ready for it. Here we go. Nephew, really with a lot of tricky mix-ups here. He's going to probably set up the safe jump against Guile. There it is. Mm. Oh, I thought it was a throw. Uh, oh, he's throw the, he hasn't gone for the fuzzy yet. Oh, no, Didn't go for it at all. Look at the defense from the side of Knuckle Ooh, Dude right now. No. And the stop, level stop, stop, three stop, stop. to catch the Hold jump, on. the boom. 
Hold on. Hey, hey. The boots. The, the, the fact uh. that Knuckle Doom micro walked forward to cause that jump fierce to be a cross up was so clutch. Look, man. The man oh. with the jab and then oh. hit him with a CA. Excuse me, level three. <laughs> oh. oh my god, oh. the Luke's oh. gotta watch the show. Think Sonic? about the next match. It's over. Yo. Boom. So Sonic, boom. Sonic, boom. That's not what he said. Boom. Steve. Sonic, what he said. This is perfect. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's perfect. He's a perfect. perfect. Oh, Ooh, that hurt. Shout out that's, to the Midwest. That's still basically one of the only things you can do after that uh, counter hit. Scoop. Oh. Throw. Scoop. And now, now Nephew with his back against the wall. But the wake up, is he going to spend the extra gauge? No. no. Actually, he's going to keep both Feng Shui in charges. Yeah, keep that stock. That way you can use the phone oh. to start the pressure. Yep. Find another Just like this. Yeah, it's another that. one. No, immediately just for the burnout. And plus, when he did it earlier on the wake up, he just does not want to lose dry gauge against Guy. That was pretty smart. Oh, the throw baiting okay. stuff. Yeah, he got hit by. Oh, what a bait! What a bait by Nephew! And here we go. He's back on the board here. It is four to two. Okay. All right. That's what I like to see. It's getting spicy. He said, very good. Day. When I see good gameplay, I say. <laughs> <laughs> he Ooh. said, very good. Day. Boom. Wow. Just like that, like 25% of your life right there. Man, Nephew has gotten really good at walk up, boom, perk, or perk yes. without carry, and just to stay in this range where you can approach Guile safely, because otherwise it's going to be super oh. difficult. Oh. What a catch on the jump back. And Another the auto correct? One. Yep, the no seasoning yeah. OD, the no seasoning uppercut. The season is the OD, guys. Don't get lost. Flash <laughs> uh, uh, kick! Now towards the corner. Yep, here we go. Uh, Knuckle Dude. Eight, Look at this. He's eight, spending eight. all of this meter. Oh, wait. What happened? No Sonic Boom. Did he get the charge? What a block. Wait a minute. We got two. Oh, we got boy. two. You're burnt out. Oh, what? You threw him out of the overhead. She lands right before that. I like the call out right there. That's one of the things people have started doing, man. Going to and reacting with throws in a lot of situations, especially when they try to go for the meaty overhead. Uh -oh. Level two, speaking of nephew. I remember last time Knuckle Dude was able to block almost all of this in the corner, so let's see what happens this time. He actually goes for the throw, and Knuckle Dude was ready. I mm. can't believe it. And go straight into the level three. Hold these booms. And you know what? He's killing the booms. He's trying to uh -huh. kill. Actually, the phone's way engine timing is not going down. There we go. Oh, it's down now. He's losing all those resources. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh, man. What a check, Knuckle Dude. Oh, my God. I'm getting mauled. I want oh. back here. Oh, yeah. Come and get me. This is annoying. Best booms in the business. It should be a bumper sticker. This is like a full screen oh, no. checkmate. There it is. Yeah. And gets the he, punish. He, he, knew, he knew he was going to land on the Sonic Boom. So he tried to dive kick to keep himself a little bit safe and hopefully catch Knuckle Dude off guard. But Knuckle Dude knew that was the checkmate situation. Blocked. Had the punish, Knuckle Dude defeats Nephew. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you saw the new character, especially in clutch situations like this, you gotta be brave to do something like that. But I gotta say congratulations first and foremost to Nephew. He did just get sponsored by Liquid, so that's another notch on the belt. Yeah. Yo, New York City, make some noise for Liquid Nephew! I'm a fan of that young man, I'm a fan of that young man. Of course, not to take anything away, the person who stays alive in Red Bull Kumite is gonna be none other than Knuckle Do himself. And once again, I mean, look, he's gonna be a hard character, hard player to take out no matter what kind of situation it is. So shout out to Knuckle Do as well, man. Yeah, I mean, again, remember when they were talking about, you know, the, the, the players from the US and such, you know, the North America, were talking about the parity between all the regions. Mm -hmm. Remember, Knuckle Do was part of that team, I think they called it the Dominican Republic, <laughs> you know, with uh, Mena RD and Kaba when they went to FA. V Cup and they won Yo, in Japan. Yeah. They won in Japan. So. Dominican. <laughs> oh, look, that's With that big right, stand. Let's, let's send it to Rob. <laughs> We're gonna send it to Rob. <laughs> Knuckle Dude, that was a phenomenal performance. I don't think there is too much to be said. I know you're locked in right now. I just want to congratulate you on officially moving on to round three of Red Bull Kumite. At least a light clap for my mentor. That was phenomenal. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead and uh, join the players in the back. Oh, he said he specifically want to say something. Okay, what's going on? I just want to say congratulations to Nephew for joining Team Liquid. That's my old team. So GG Team Liquid, Shopify. Okay, go ahead, dude. Use a bad man. God, I might have to hire him. I might have to hire him. Nephew, please join me up here in the front. Right here. I know that so far, 
after someone has lost, I've heard some of the fans say I've been rude and so on and so forth, right? I've talked a whole lot of trash, me and Joe. So this time, after Nephew has fought so hard from the play-in to get here, I want to give you guys a little bit of lore. Nephew actually got his name from being known as Daigo's nephew. Now, he is Knuckle Dude's son. That said, he did fight all the way from the play-in. He is newly sponsored with good reason by Team Liquid. Make some noise for Nephew! Nephew, please present your battle card, your fighter card, to Eli Joe. Knuckle dude, you just got another son. Yes, yes, yes. That is what Rare Bull Kumite is all about. I love that energy. You don't want that to happen, then don't lose. We all about finding the best. Joe, that's probably one of my favorite post-match situations of the day so far. Phenomenal. Regardless, you've been warned, do not give me your player card. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and throw things over to our commentators. We've seen what needed to be seen. Oh my goodness, the ultimate disrespect. <laughs> but you know what, it's hand in hand when it comes to the NYC. We a bit, uh, we're some a-holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say it. I mean, look, again, the history, you know, uh, on the West Coast tournaments, we were always like the polite golf claps, but then you go to the East Coast and those tournaments over there, that was where you, he you heard the noise and you heard the audience out there. Yeah, back in the day, uh, you would think you can't make friends in NYC, <laughs> but I'm obviously after, you know, the arcades is closed, the machines is oh. off, we all have a good time. But man, great matches so far. Knuckle Do is moving forward, never backwards. I'm gonna be honest with you, I would have been cool with any pick when it came to Nephew or Knuckle Do. So I mean, look, if you, if you look at just what happened, I mean, also just going to the first, first and foremost, he pulled out the it. Like, that was the first yeah. thing that you had to notice about this. Not the jury. Did do a little bit better with the jury. I feel like when controlling the neutral. However, I felt like even as well as he did, it was just one of those things where maybe it's still too new, too new to the roster to be able to stand a chance oh, with a player like Knuckle Dude. Yeah, I mean, that was such a sick bait right there, but he didn't get a punish right there. He did uh, earlier, or maybe a little bit later, he did punish it one time, but that time he, he missed the opportunity the defense man you know you can really tell the defense depending on uh, their machinery that they're using mm. when they're playing like you can see mm. fuzzies a little faster i mean not really uh, necessary to talk about, but you know what I'm talking about for those that's watching. But yeah, I really do like the fact that he, you know, you have enough games here to play because it is best of nine where you can say, you know what, let me let it rock a little bit. Goes eventually back to the jury. Yeah, that and it was... plays off a little bit better, but obviously in this situation, Knuckle Do knows a lot more about the matchup. You've been fighting this since the release, and he's got a lot of XP in it. Shout out to Chair, man. Massaging Knuckle Do, making sure that he's not salty or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to Chair, bro. Shout out to Chair. Shout out to the Chair ears. That's what I call Knuckle Do's uh, chats. But there you go, man. Knuckle Do oh advances forward, and look what we have yeah, next. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, again, Lashar. Remember, he Shut was at. He was part of that Group F at Capcom Cup, and every, nobody was talking about him. Everybody was like, "Oh my gosh, it's Mena, it's Kava, it's Ending Walker." You I was know? one of them. <laughs> but uh, you know. Well, but, look, we still got more matches, but we got to say goodbye to somebody. So let's send true. it over to Z to see what he has to say in that long ride to the airport. Liquid nephew, should I take you to the airport or Uncle Dew's house right now? You know, I think I just want to go to the airport. All right. A lot of people don't know what happened on the screen. It looked like it went to a pause state. Tell us what happened 
at that moment, and what were you thinking? Yeah, it's just my controller disconnected. I'm not sure exactly what happened. It might have been my cord, but um, it has been fine the whole time. So it, it's possible it was a PS5 too. Either way, I was definitely going to lose that round. He had like a 80% health lead, so it didn't really matter. Now we need to know, you are the nephew. Who is this mysterious uncle that you have? Yeah, so as Rob said, like my name came from Daigo's nephew. That's what people called me because I played Ryu back in the day. Um, so yeah, that's basically where it came from. Well, maybe Uncle Daigo is watching right now. We're gonna send you home and go back to Joe and the Battle King. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially getting deeper into round number two. And now we have our next match ready. Make some noise for Big Bird and LaShawn. This matchup is insane, of course. Big Bird, the reigning and defending Red Bull Kumite champion. We saw what he did going up against Tokido and LaShore, the insane run at Capcom Cup, the Group F Slayer. You cannot make it up over here, LaShore. Big Bird on player one side, LaShore on player two. This one not easy to call, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually would like to know what our commentators think about it. Steve, James, yikes, who you picking? Look, I'm gonna be real, all right? As a Marisa player, I'm not trying to fight no chun -Li, bro. I gotta hit you and you, you, you explode, true. But the walk speed, the way her fireball works, the fact that she has so many different movement options, she's free, to, she's opening up low a lot of times is what chun Li's gonna do. I think right. this is a really hard thing for Marisa to deal with. I'm interested to see if that's who we're gonna get from Big Bird. I mean, he might even go with Rashid. He's been playing a lot that's of that Rashid thinking. lately. That's what I'm thinking, but Lashar, like you said, one of those players that a lot of people when it came to Capcom yeah. kind of like snuck under the, the regular perceptive radar of a lot of people. The players were aware, he, but there was a lot of people that was there was like, yo, what's yeah. happening I right had, now? I had no idea that he was gonna do that. Good. He had the best record coming out of that pool yeah. of death. The pool of death that everybody Everybody was talking about and you know Lashar was the one who tweeted out after the pool was picked he was like well I had a nice Capcom cup <laughs> but you know what he came out and showed up so and, and that's not easy like you said the group F pool was like historically known as the worst <laughs> pool right and obviously my man made it out with the best record that should let you know that was in a crazy group but the head-to-head -head begins now we got Lashar versus Big Bird as our next match this is gonna be dope Yo, these guys yeah. are like superheroes bro right and, and, and I just want to take the opportunity, you know, part of that group F was Angry Bird, yep. of course, you know, Big Bird's training partner. I know he pulled out of this because of health issues right now. So, I, I you know, I know you're watching this. I know you're cheering Please for your, for your brother, so. Big Bird. We miss you, Angry Bird. Yes. And uh, we, we'll see you next time here at, at the Red Bull Kumite yeah. for sure. We love you, my brother. You know Let's what it is, man. I miss you, bro. But I'm sure Big Bird going to try to carry the mantle well going up against LaShawn right here. This is not gonna be an easy one. Yo, New York, you still with me? Make some noise one time. Oh, yes. Packed house. Oh, yes. It's a packed house. We're all comfortable in here, man. This is New York. Man, Dude, that, look. That, that crowd, when they start cheering like that, that's music to my ears, man. I love Let it, me tell bro. You. I'm, I'm, the, I'm just happy to be here in, 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 for another Red Bull Kumite with professionals, man, with mm -hmm. you guys out here doing such an amazing <laughs> job. But with that being said, we're going to send it to the stage and listen to the boy Hollywood Rob TV. Let's go. New York City, I know at this point, we are getting deeper into the bracket. We are getting further into the tournament. But that said, they tell me that New York City is the city that never sleeps. They tell me that this is one of the most elite fighting game communities in the world. So when we ask you to make some noise, we need to make sure we reflect that. If you're ready for this next match, make some noise! Big Bird 
Lord. Are you ready? LaShawn, are you ready? Then enough is said. Let's begin. Ooh. Yo, that is fire. Yo, shout outs to the Battle King, man. I'm still going to invoice the you, though. The Battle so. King. It's so good. Oh, Yo. he's going with the Marisa. Marisa. He's doing it. The mommy of muscles coming out in the <laughs> wedding dress. Let me tell you something, man. There's The aura is very strong in that arena right now. Listen. <laughs> Don't get this hit, This is going to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a treat. i never seen these guys play, so let's get the data going. And you know what? You know what Chun-Li has famously said? I'm the strongest woman, woman in the world. world. I don't know but about that. But Marisa's here now, I don't so. know about that, bro. <laughs> now, she hit hard, though. I, the I, I mother think, of muscles, B. I think I kind of believe Chun-Li still, though. I mean, look. Oh, what? Oh, what he the reaction? The, he on the keyboard. He on the keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He, he on is. The keyboard. Yep. yep. That man is writing an essay paper right now, going up against the shark. Oh, down, down. He waited. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's going to hurt. I am in nice. that ass right now. Water? No, he, yeah, he's going to save it because yeah. he's like, you know what? I, I have such a lead right now. All I need is one throw and a perfect KO for LaShar to perfect. start over Big Bird. Perfect vision. Oh, no. Are we going to think about it? You know what? Even if he gets washed this, this one game, I'm going to need him to run the back for the one time. Yep. So, uh oh, we back at it. I'm, I'm speaking a little too soon. The momentum, trying to swing back in Big Bird's side. Ooh, oh, nice what a wiggle. Like, yeah, space trap right there. He's going to get some big damage. We know how much damage this character does. Half-life oh. right there. Perfect parry, drive rush forward, get the big punish count. Just for the push yeah. out, man. Oh. I want to reset. We right back yeah, to the he beginning. he was trying to do a side switch right there, and I think he messed it up right yes. there. Mm -hmm. so. Command throw. Oh, oh we oh, held oh. Oh. oh, you called it, Yikes. Yikes oh, is holding this? up. Yikes oh. is holding up. Soul 10 ranker, the level three. Hold up. Soul Tenrenka. Oh my god. Yo, shout out to Janus. I mean, you, you, you got that, and we, we got Tense Fluja, Nightjar, yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Game number one, and it was getting real dicey towards the end of that second round. A lot of reasons. It's a lot of confident footing, I would say, from Lashar. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. He's staying on the ground. He's All so anti airs Cross cuts is, is good. Guessing right. Yeah. It, everything is in motion for Lashar. And you can see right there, even on wake up, Marisa doesn't have many wake up options, if any at all, except for that armor, that armor, armor right. that you call up. But you can still open it up low. You can, throw and you it. can see Lashar is already away. Yeah, I mean, basically, she ha the only way she can escape the meaty throw is with the back dash, the jump, or Ow. the tech. Oh! About to send Chun-Li to the Legends of the Hidden Temple right oh, now. Get your yeah, ass back right into back this over there. Okay. Oh, oh, get over now. Jeez. OD. No kicks. dry rush overheads for you. Listen, let me tell you something. Big Bird is salivating. Oh, there we go. Now. Okay, you got one more. He doesn't get to spin. Oh, oh. Ooh, for the burnout. Thirsty. so much mm. meter there. But yeah, he wanted that burnout so he can get the chip damage. And there we go. Big Bird with a round on the board here. Conserving the meter. Mm. The kal the kal punch. Oh. Wow. And Oof. Wants a big whip. You see him like priming that crouch and strong. Ooh, okay. He's punish. Gonna go for the level two over here. Trying to get a little bit more of this corner carry. Uh -huh. Safe jump timing. And yep, yeah, not. But you know what? Gets out of the corner. That's the important part. Every single time a shot. That's we what I'm saying, bro. It's so hard to actually keep the momentum here versus a player and a character. LaShar and Chun Li, what a combination. That guy's in a different tax bracket. Oh. You ain't right, know? See the green and just go right for the OD. Goes for the overhead. Nice block. Good defense, Big Bird. We're still alive. One what? hit, though. One hit away. This ain't over. And he goes to burnout. This ain't over. I believe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the man, foot speed for Marisa, having to deal with Chun Li at that range is so tough. Uh, and the fact that LaShar is mixing it up so well, Big Bird still has a chance here. Still a lot of damage on the board. Starting to use the Spartan kick now. Man, he just cannot get a jump in and he keeps trying. Nice! Bates out to throw attempt right there with that forward heavy kick. It's pretty tough right now, uh, Big Bird, to get a read considering the fact that Lashar's not even really chucking fireballs. He's so aware of the right. Superman punch the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay there's a Scootum Iron right there. The OD Scootum. But now, once again, just getting caught by Lashar. Lashar having his way on these mix-up situations. For medium pop oh. batter, try to check that neutral ring. Like I said, this is not an easy feat. You have to get past the offense. You have to remember that Chun-Li has so many options, so many ways to move around the screen to keep you out of your preferred range. I mean, remember when we were here with Justin, he was saying, like, Punk might have some of the greatest reactions of all time, but Lashar right now really trying to show that he might be right in that company. Yeah, nah, son. That, that, that pad ain't touching what he got. <laughs> That's different. That's different. <laughs> I play FPS. He even gets the, even punishes the quadrigo right there with oh. the OD up kicks. With punish, shake my hand. That's Chung Lee standing strong, shake my hand. Oh, oh what? Oh, the Superman punch. Nah. Cannot go for the dunk, dude. Cannot go for the dunk. 
That is the oh, kryptonite. The bat, the standing roundhouse. Oh, oh stop walking forward. The checks is just immaculate here from the Shaw. Big Bird's in trouble. We in the corner. Oh, wow, didn't get the counter hit. Nice recognition, but LaShawn with the confirm. Ooh, back oh, to oh, 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 oh my hit. gosh. Actually, he oh doesn't have a level gosh. three. One. Actually, now wait with the level two, he could kill with one hit. Another one, wait no a minute. Shot. How many oh, throws no. is he gonna take? Oh, he... Good wow. defense, big, but I like that. He was, he was anticipating the wake up super. Yeah, he was. Or just a super general. He was, yeah. But that standing light punch from Chun-Li, that, that, you know, we talk about knife normal, sword normals, that's the dagger normal right there. Okay. Oh, the perfect parry. I like I uh, said kryptonite turns green. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't let Yo, it go. Yeah, hey. All right, here we go. That pressure is crazy from LaShawn. Hmm. If you would have walked up and did the DP, I, that's it. Just, just give him the, just, just give him the card. <laughs> give the card up. That's literally one of the things I was talking about about LaShawn when it comes yeah, to anti-air yeah. and walking. Okay, uses the OD this time. Tries to move, gets hit by the target Ooh, combo. Yep. Level three. Love it. The juggernaut known as Look Marisa. Up to me. No, Kiss the, the fist. Oh, <laughs> beat the damage, though. <laughs> beat the damage, though. Oh, we almost had burnout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to get greedy for that burnout. Oh, oh made him with the parry, too. Oh, boy. Be oh, careful. Oh, oh shot. Nice. He's confirmed on the forward medium. Oh, did uh, you touch a button? Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. Lashard actually spending the meter, still trying to keep up with the sprout here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. What a whiff punish. No jumps. All solid. Stay on the ground. Look at how confident Lashard's playing his ground game. Yeah. No. He's not in the corner, so he's okay. It's the, it's the drive rush pressure you got to worry about. Okay, but he's clean, one more, though, one more mix up. One more mix up is all a big bird. Oh. And he's going to do it with the OD scoot him. With the riot shield. <laughs> I said, stay back. I said, stay, stay back. back. My goodness, OD Riot Shield. That is the name of the move, I promise you. Check it out. <laughs> Get off of me, unhand me. Oh. oh, again, I talked about that dagger normal right there. Counter hit leads to the crouching medium kick and to the standing uh, medium punch as well. Uh, shake my hand, please. Oh. Oh, stagger. Yeah, confirm. I want that corner now. No pay phones neither. Let me talk to you over here. Uh -huh. Safe jump set up. Actually, just goes for the safe jump. No shenanigans right there. No oh. head. Stop shenanigans. Oh, my God. The placement on the pokes, LaShawn. That bar is looking clean and a perfect on the board. It is 3-0 in favor of LaShawn right now versus Big Bird. I would go to the character select screen if I was Big Bird just to think about it for a second, and I think he will. Chill. You got another character? <laughs> exhale, exhale from LaShawn right there. Dude. But man, I mean, the, the craziest thing is when you see him do the the, the, the Tensho kick, the you know the up kicks, you don't even see him crouching. You don't like, see it, him it, crouch. Like, you don't even You've see seen it. If you notice, sometimes he's walking forward and just instantly. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, yeah. His uh, his uh, machinery's on peds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, back to these strong folks we've seen control the mid, take this game away from Big Bird in so many levels. Mm, that could have been a whip punish. I promise you LaShaw's gonna whip that next time. Big Bird though, however, is getting a little bit of ground here. And this is when LaShaw panics a little bit. I feel like, wow! Yeah, that's the counterpole. And commits to the sweep, gets the knockdown, still stuck in the corner. And remember, Chun Li's sweep, very hard to punish too. One of the safest sweeps in the game. Especially when it's on the big toe. Yep. Four heavy right Out there. of there! And you see, that's one of the main tools you want to be able to use against a character like her. Four medium punch, confirm on counter hit. Mm -hmm. Knock down if you get a clean hit. I see uh, Big Bird's trying to anticipate the stand strong with the crowd strong. I see what's going on here. No, oh, oh, almost, yeah, almost. Oh, He was trying to whip punish right there. Was a little too late on that, and that means Lashard's going to get the corner. There's the stop shenanigans. Oh, he didn't go for the throw. It Goes for the throw afterwards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Odie scoot him. Back throw. But he pulled oh, himself no. out. Yeah. Oh, oh, wake up, drive, impact. He's like, you know what? You can't stop this with your own drive impact. Mm -mm -mm. What a call out right there by LaShawn. Completely aware of the fact that the light is too low, also in burnout. And remember, Big Bird is the current reigning Kumite yes. champion. LaShawn trying to take him out. Oh, the overhead working. Gonna get him be able to, oh, okay, he goes to the level two. This is rough. He's gonna get the full combo off of this, the full air combo, uh-uh. This is Throw City. Ooh. Ooh, looking for the technical. That's why he went for the fist. The patty cake. No whiff punish on the Gladius. Oh, run. Oh, my God. This guy's lame. Ooh. Oh, New York appreciates this. <laughs> oh, back throw. Speed. Excuse me, forward throw. And doesn't go in there. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, so far. The whip, that was like the whip OS right there. He was just to hit the button into the drive rush. That was the The dap of death. Uh, oh, he doesn't even need the jump fears. Follow up. 4-0 for Lashar.
what can Big Bird do? Do you think he's got to go with the Rasheed maybe to try to counter this? Or, but that's not a good matchup for Rasheed. This is the hard part, man. Street Fighter is known as a matchup game. So you either got to master even your worst matchups. Yeah. I have a character on backup. Big Bird choosing to master the worst matchups. And this is his last game, his last chance yep. to stay alive in Kumite to protect his belt. Oh my God. I'm gonna keep it a stack, bro. This guy, uh, you know, it, it's crazy for me to say this. Big Bird looks a bit outclassed here, I'm not gonna lie. And this is a rare thing for me to say. Oh, oh. burned out, burned out, here we go. And no meter, so he's gotta hold this. Yeah. And is he oh, gonna oh, hold the what an option. To flip out on the back, no, he yeah. held up actually. Just mm -hmm. to get hit the air. Oh, oh, the DI what? in the corner, he tries to creep forward, LaShar says no. I'm out. Dude, it's ridiculous. Oh, oh he was too far away. He tried to punish, boom. Big Bird gonna punish Cross that up, punch attempt. Take jump. Oh. It's safe, it's safe, it's safe, he's good, he's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Tick throw. Wait a minute. This isn't looking good though. Lashar still in his territory. Oh, oh he burned no. himself out with the Otis Scooter right there. Was he was he anticipating to stand fierce? That way he went for the right shoe. Oh my god, needs to be real careful right here. Two bars on this side. He still got access to armor though. Still got the yep. right shoe. Oh no but just I waiting. Love the patience right there from Big Bird. Uh, crouch medium kick. Just oh my god. Oh. Take the throw. Smart yeah. choice. That was professional. Yep. There Take we go. The throw, gets the drive bar back, and now he starts to walk back against LaShawn. Oh my god, don't win. Oh. Don't win. Oh. Whatever wow. you do, nice good block. defense. Yes, exactly, James. Oh, yeah, this is this is pretty good. You yeah, you're yeah. burned out. He's burned out. Oh, oh my god, you gotta pen. be careful in this corner. He's got two balls. No! LaShawn! With the reaction to the Gladius charge, it does not have armors to lows, and Lashar was all you, ready bro, for it. Not, and now here we go with this. Not Bunnies. easy to deal with, and Lashar taking the lead right now. Four rounds. No. Delays at this time. Not Big Bird. No pressure. We got all the time in the world. Oh, they're swinging. Oh my God! The jab, juggle, the oh yeah, the level two. Bro. Listen, you know why he's, why he's paying out so much? It's the the little uh, Michael walks forward after the block, right, just to make sure that his buttons connect. Yeah, oh. she can't do anything. You have to let her bounce. Get she can't actually hand. do a follow up. Knockdown. Mm. Tries to go for the overhead. Lashar holding his ground. Fireman's carry. Okay. Uh. Another one. Oh my God! Oh, where oh, are you no. going? Uh, don't look. Do it again. Don't look. Do it again. Where yes, are sir. you going? Dead. Uh. Where are you? Where are you going? I, 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 I definitely want to talk about that head stomp situation. So you can get it so that it's a safe jump yep. and it lands right away. And I think that's what Big Bird thought it was going to be because if she bounces off of it, off of the perfect parry, she can't do a follow up in the yeah. air. Corner hit, we're going to the corner. Get exactly. the counter hit, going to the corner. And you exactly right on that, James. Kiss of death. Ooh. All the way to the wall no, here. You no know history. Ooh. She said, uh, uh, oh my god, where are you going? Okay. Oh. Big Bird recognizing something here. Lashar is just oh, telling where him, where are you going? Oh. Oh. He's, he's recognized the pattern jump. right I there. I promise he's going to jump. Oh, oh no, no, here we go. The double overhead. Wait a minute. Doesn't go for a side switch, though. Just going to keep the pressure Ooh. going. Good one for the overhead. Oh, oh the reaction. The reaction. Three. Wow. CA, that is going to hurt like hell. And we get in that drive gauge nice and healthy. This is troublesome. And we oh, still advance forward for the offense. We are not scared at all. There it is. He smells blood. Ooh, ooh no punish on the whip throw. And now Lashar has his... Oh! Nice! Walks into the meeting class. Big Bird is on the board. Big Bird still alive. That's what I want to see. That's a Big Bird. Now that's what I want to see. I don't want to see no nils. No, I want a breadstick on that side, all right? You know, remember, guys, oh, it's not how you start. Goodness. It's how you finish. You understand me? Let's always, go, Big Bird. Always. Eating these throws. Taking these throws. Oh no. Oh wow. Well, Lashar didn't believe he was gonna get hit by that, so he didn't confirm. Uh, what an interrupt. Sees the green. Presses buttons in between. It's very nice. Oh, oh the dunk. That's like the only one that's hit his entire game. That's true. That's true. Dang. That crouching strong from Lashar right now has been causing Big Bird so many problems. Oh, the double chippy. Look at the walk speed and the crouching medium kick to stop whatever was gonna come out of there. And even though Big Bird's holding his ground with the defense, Lashar is just waiting that much longer. And the placement is so good for some of the moves he's using. Set point, set point for oh. Lashar now. Oh my God, look at the burnout. This is tough. Oh boy. 
This is a scary situation. Yeah, you're gonna go for the heavy kicks. You can level one in the yeah. Oh, level two, here we go. And this is a nice little carry to the corner. You're gonna be talking to the Almanac right now. Let's see what he goes for the setup. He goes for the safe jump Good again. Good defense, and we out of it! That was great, Big Bird. We got oh. another chance, I like, but the back throw. Oh, right, right back in the corner. Oh. The drive impact! This should do it for LeJar. If he doesn't drop this, he has defeated the Kumite reigning champion right now. We have... Our reigning champion has been defeated. Wow. LeJar moving on 5-1 over Big Bird. Yo, guys, do me a favor, man. Make some noise for Big Bird. An amazing showing. Our Red Bull Africa champion, our Kumite Africa champion, goes home now. And once again, that was one of the things I was worried about in that matchup. Yeah. Being able to keep track, lock down a character like Chun Li, especially in the hands of somebody like Lashar, it is such, such a tall hill to climb. But before we go any further, I believe we're going to send it to the ring to talk to Rob TV. If there's one thing that the Battle King knows, it's evil. And when I look at LaShawn, I know a lot of you guys see the nice guy, calm and quiet. But that play, it tells me the truth. LaShawn, congratulations on making it to the next round. You can go back to the player room. Now I know that a lot of Big Birds fans right now are hurting. Some of you guys might be sad, but you have to remember that this is the reigning and defending Red Bull Kumite champion. Which means he used to be good. Big Bird, of course, in all seriousness, I mean, I am being serious. However, this is one of the best players in the world. He puts on for the Middle East. He is the reigning Red Bull Kumite champion, and you all love him. Put your hands together for Big Bird! Big Bird, please hand over your fighter card. Oh wait, you know what? Here, take this home and give it to the better bird. Here. No, you can keep it. You give can it, keep give it. it. Give it to the better bird when you get home. Joe, I got to tell you, you are a bad man. I could not have had a better partner in crime. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, even Big Bird, the reigning champion, has been dethroned. So it is official. We will have a brand new Red Bull Kumite champion. Before we get there, I believe it's time for us to send it over to the commentators. Dog, this heel Joe guy. Get him the hell out of here, bro. That dude is evil. I ain't gonna lie, though. That hurt, bro. Oh, my God. I don't know what I would have done. That Big Bird is bro, a professional, bro. I'm gonna be honest. He has, look, he's a Red Bull athlete. He's got a lot to hold Yo, on Yo, Joe, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you know what I said on Twitter, bro, before like the show started? I said you don't got no balls, but I'm gonna have to take that back, huh? Yeah, I was <laughs> That's a, that's a, we need a new card. That's a different Joe. That's not the same yeah, that's Joe. Not, that's not the Joe we that's all know. That's not the Joe on the card, bro. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Oh, man. Yo, keep this dude up there, man. It got to be the suit, I swear it's to gotta God. It's got to be the suit, I, I, bro. I, 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 I'm scared. <laughs> Yo, man, please, everybody, give it up for Agent 47, y'all. <laughs> give it up.
coming up age. <laughs> dude, I mean, a hitman right yo. now, dude. He is definitely. Hey, hey, yo, remember, that was Yipes. That wasn't me, bro. That was not That was Yipes. That, that uh. wasn't me. Let's take a look at the bracket real quick. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of people already going home from this quarterfinal. Big Bird made it through. Nephew make it through. But they will go no further. It's going to be Knuckle Doo and Lashar moving to the semifinal. And, of course, on the other side, we got Punk and Chris Wong. We got Gotcha Kun and Minna R&B oh. as our remaining oh. matches, especially for this next leg <laughs> of Red Bull Kumite New York. Oh. Yo! Oh, well, look. I mean, look, if all New Yorkers are like Elijah, I'm scared. <laughs> You're right, James. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Man. very, very rude. But with that being <sighs> said, I like to make sure we check in with the crowd out here. Yo, New York, are you enjoying Red Bull Kumite or what? <laughs> An amazing spectacle. An amazing spectacle. And it's an honor to be here. When we talk about prestige in this community, I feel like whenever you walk up on this stage, you see stuff like this. These are the things we talk about. A lot of love being shown to these players, as it should be. World-class talent across the board. You got Capcom Cup oh, yeah. champions all across the board. A lot of great players. So it's a pleasure to be here talking about these oh, games, yeah. man. Especially with two professionals like I'm yourselves. A, Once again, I like to make sure that it's known. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so I'm going to just throw this out there. I know we celebrate a lot about uh, New York City right now. You know what I mean? This is pretty much a celebration for the offline yeah. for the community so, but I, just, I just want to give a big shout out just to the East Coast man okay yeah. at the end of the day yeah. shout out to the East Coast okay because even though even though New York City is a stomping ground, we wouldn't be strong without, you know, our, our, our visiting neighbors to come and try to kick our ass. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Make some noise so, one more time. Make some noise, yeah. you know one what I'm saying? Time. Everybody around on the East Coast, man, from Jersey, Philadelphia, Boston, Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, all on our side, man. Hey, it's a lot more. Know what it I'm is. just throwing it out there. The East Coast is big. The East Coast is big. And, of course, holding us down on the ones and twos, the actual ones and twos, DJ John controlling Ooh. all the music. Make some noise out there for DJ John holding us down. Making sure you get the sights, the sounds, the love of Red Bull Kumite New York. It's been such a pleasure to be here. The crowd has been amazing. New York has been amazing. And we're not done yet. We still need to crown a champion. We still got games to talk about. And like I said before, we got to say goodbye oh. to one more. So I'm going to send it over to that long cab driving Z. Well, Big Bird, I know you had really huge expectations being the yeah. former champion. Tell us, what is it going to take for the birds to reestablish themselves as the dominant force that we saw at the beginning of the release of the game? I mean, we just need, we just need for a new passion drop. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it will take us long, to be honest. I mean, Angry Bird has been doing really good. Um, I just need to find the right balance between Morris and Rashid, but. No, I think we'll be fine. Well, we certainly hope for that comeback. Do you have any words for your fans, your friends and family back home? Um, I could have done a lot better. I think against Lashara I played a bit too rushed because that's not how I usually play against Chun-Li. But I'm very happy that a lot of people are supporting me and I appreciate it a lot. Especially big thanks to Nasser and Red Bull. But I'll be back. I won't be going anywhere. We hope to see you at the run back, but I gotta send you home for now and go back to Joe and the Battle King. And just like that, another one bites the dust. We are one step closer to crowning our Red Bull Kumite champion, but we still have some phenomenal battles to come. And one of them, is ready right now. If my eyes do not deceive me, it is time for Punk the God versus Chris Wall. This is a crazy matchup. Punk the God, probably the best fundamentals that we have in the game today. And Chris Wong, the definition of consistency. Second place in Singapore Premier. And then immediately, he doubles back. First place in France. This is a clash of the Titans. Punk has Icon on his pants right now. And I tell you what, he deserves to rock that moniker with the amount of phenomenal play and tournament wins that we have seen from him up to this point. 
That said, I want to know what our esteemed commentators are thinking going into this match. Yeah, I know. Once again, we got another heavy hitter. Dog, listen. Dude. Look what's on the stage right now. For, for, for me, I'm very excited because this is a fire match. I've never seen these guys play before. You know what I mean? So, and this is one, I, I feel like right now, both of these guys are like the neutral kings in terms of like, yeah. oh yeah, really staying solid and composed as both of these guys right here. Obviously in terms of the clutch fact, that will give it a little bit more edge on the Chris Wong side, but mm -hmm. that'll take nothing away from Punk the God. Yeah. This is gonna be a serious match. Well, honestly, this might even be like, like potentially whoever wins this is gonna be the champion. You know, I mean like that's how strong both of these players are over here. You gotta imagine whoever makes it out of this bracket is gonna be uh, one of the favorites at Yo, that point. Chris Wong got that look like, man, I can't believe I'm here right now. <laughs> Yo, my man always looked like he's in a boardroom meeting about to close a million dollar deal. <laughs> and he was real close to it at Capcom, cause I tell you what. Oh, oh I tell you what. Don't do him close. like that, don't do him yeah, like that. Come that, on. That's come praise. On. That is he praise. still got 300 no, yeah, stacks on top of For sure, for sure. And think about it like this. I like to point out, my man ran into his training partner at Capcom. That's Cup. right. Mm -hmm. that, that, that wasn't no random, that wasn't no straight bullet. That was a dude that was there, right. and he plays with you. So if you're thinking about anybody being a competitor, you got to talk about Chris Wong. But once again, I'll never take anything away from Punk to God. I feel like you actually have to beat him across the board. It ain't many players out there that you have to beat him across the board on everything. Not only the footsies, but the reactions, the maximization yeah. of combos, being aware where you are on the screen, and even when it comes to character matchups, he will counterpick you Facts. if he feels like it's in his favor. <laughs> so when I say he Punk the God, the cast, my dude. man will live. You literally have to beat Punk the God across the board. But when it comes to Chris Wong, man, you're crazy to say that this man isn't a threat in any bracket you put him in at this point. We talked about his accolades being like, how many tournaments has he lost in? And when he's been there, look at his placements on top right. of that. Chris Wong is no slouch. I know that man wears a suit <laughs> in his casual time. We look, we're looking at him in video games time that is a business suit man right there absolutely and again you know uh, uh, punk the god i mean look punk the god what, during street fighter 5 i felt like he was you know maybe overall from beginning to end the, the, the greatest street fighter 5 player at the time but uh you know what let's actually send it over to the battle king and get his thoughts on this matchup up to this point we have shown a lot of love to the front of house but we need to make sure we see which side is the most lit right now. Right side, how are we feeling right now? Okay, I like that energy. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know I'm about to hear it. Backside, what's up? Left side. Let me hear what's going on with y'all. Oh, they might have it. They might have it. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can clearly see, they are ready for some Red Bull Kumite. We have Punk the God against Chris Wong, the best of the best. You only get that here at Red Bull Kumite, New York. Chris Wong is ready. Punk is ready. So now it is time. Gentlemen, let's begin. <laughs> I like the open up. Yo, he really sound like a boss up there. Yeah. No, let me stop. Here we go. I was about to go off. About to go off. I was about to th throw the guitar in that bad boy. But here we go. Oh, man. Cammy versus Luke. Punk versus Chris Wong. Speaking Someone's going home. Oh, and Chris Wong draws first blood in that fundamental neutral game right there. Wow. And the reactions to the dive wow. kick. That was at the beginning, though. That wasn't even a fill out. He reacted to that. Oh, That's yeah. Chris Wong. The hey. alien. Oh. Wow. <laughs> He's seen the tapes while he was at work. Right. Saw the little delay meaty right there, just in case. Oh no! A drop combo for Punk. Very a little unusual. Little shaky, little shaky, but it's all good. Uh. I know what we happening right there. You get the hit a little too early on the jab. Actually drops it afterwards. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, let me pull my seat up, man. You're gonna get closer <laughs> to the pixel. Yeah, I, I gotta like see. To I gotta see this, man. Oh wow! Strong. Got a little bit of a shimmy in the neutral as well. And here we go, all the way to the corner. Ah, oh, he got in with the OD dive kick. Just Aggressive. a little faster. I like how he kind of cycles through his options, going for the OD there. The first time going for the light kick dive kick wasn't oh. didn't actually get the combo, but Chris Wong finds another hit. Put himself real close to burnout. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Yep, that's that first. Wow, he back throws him there. Oh! What? No. He's cracked out. Yo, yo. 
This man needs a blood test, yo. We need a blood test on this man. <laughs> what? We need a blood test on this man. No yo, dive kicks crazy. for you, dude. Yo, He's like, right. you're not about to keep doing that to me, man. God damn, that was the first game? That was the I, first I think game. Punk was like, only only had one dive kick, and that was the OD one that he managed to land. Mm -hmm. I mean, he got the hit on the last one, but he dropped the combo on that first one. That's and I true, feel like true. that was really, you know, Chris Wong kind of like gauging how Punk is going to try to get in and kind of close that gap when it comes to the offense. Okay, oh, no. big jump in. I he like that. for the suppressor right there. Oh, oh, oh there we go, the shimmy. Nice shimmy. Yep, yep, yep. 24-hour trucks are open right now. All right, here we go. The back dash. Oh, but he corners the himself. Throw. But he's going to be able to get the kill off of this anyway. Doesn't matter. Punk across the board. It's tough. It's tough. But if anybody can do it, I will say it is Chris Wong. He is capable. All categories got to be filled. Punk stops the bleed and gets around on the board. We're in game two. Yeah, we're about to play in those crown jab ranges right now. Chris Wong want to get close. And he wanna wow, get nice swift punish. Oh! It was nice and quiet. He just and a DJ right. came out. And that was a punish counter right there. So definitely going to be able to combo off of that dive kick. Oh. The patience from Punk right now. Mm. Oh, on the toe. Yep, that's plus. Oh, oh jump. yep. Uh. Minus frames, oh. but look at that, just poking right afterwards. Goes right into the level three. And as fast as that first game was, is this one just as fast? Is this gonna kill? No. No, it's not. But that's burnout, let's just chip them out. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a wrap. Just, man, they're doing a time trial on each other. <laughs> they're trying to see who wins the fastest, which is kind of crazy. We yeah. already in the third game. So <laughs> welcome to Red Bull uh, AGDQ here. I right. <laughs> Yo, uh -huh. round for round. All right. Game for game at this point. Starting yeah. off on Chris Wong's side. To the corner you go. Oh, oh wake up beat. dive kick. That was nice. That's also the beat throw options as well. Exactly. Crush the legs too as well, just in case you want to throw low forward. Punk switching up his options even on the jump. And going for the jump light right there. And then back to the oh. dive kicks. Chris Wong with the whip on the micro walk yes. back from Chris. He's reading the shimmy attempts from Punk the guard. Punk's looking for the, instead of the Ooh. throw, it's the crouch jab. But oh my God, the knockdown. Goes for the dive kick combo ender right there. Taking to the corner. Oh no! He wasn't expecting the punish counter so he threw and it was too early chris was still in hit stun and chris with well, that standing medium kick gonna take round number one by boy slug let's go oh that was a boost buffer for sure behind that standing short all right looking at those ranges oh name of the game is don't get cornered okay string them up we're trying to fill it out the blocks, walk up block, don't do anything. Okay, nice sweep, oh, gets yeah. the advantage. Oh, dude, not a true meaty right there, but just enough to get Chris Wong to be able to hang himself. Uh, nice the back, back throw. throw. Better than in a frame trap. I agree with that with from Punta God. Take the throw. And look don't at that. Take the frame trap. Punk just walked himself out of the corner. He's good. This guy knows how to play neutral. Oh, nice check, check with the stand jab. Snuffs out out of the crotch. Oh, he went for the throw. For the throw, yeah. The yep. sentry gun. Chris Wong now neutral jump, maybe try to read a draw a drive rush, a raw drive rush. Uh, light bar is looking pretty nice. No punish though. But he went he, he, he went he went for the bigger punish right there on that jab. Light no, bar is still looking real similar. The throw works out this time after the jump light. I just want to touch up on that from the, on the perfect parry on the multiple jabs. That's how you know he watches the footage. Punk is really good at the tap tap conditioning <laughs> uh, situations. So the fact that he perfect parried that, mm -hmm. impressive. DP has the anti-air. Oh, oh, the stagger, yeah, the stagger was so good. And no anti-air that time from Chris and that throw is going to kill. Yeah, I Punk. Want to, I want to touch up on those stagger jabs. It's to throw off the perfect parry. Yep. Yes. So he's conditioning him a little different now. Yeah, you see right there, that was also just a tiny bit of a stagger there. And then he's going to get the counter hit combo here. And now the throw pressure. How many shimmies? OK, just one right there. Oh, oh no. I love the fact that he blocked that. Yes. Chris Wong has yes. literally been getting away with that the yeah. entire day, bro. He's like, I'm not sure. Let me just block. Yeah. Chris tried to whip punch right there. There we go. Drive rush suppressor. And then Punk just jumps away. Adding a lot of options to the Aha. fire right now. A lot of fuel to that fire. Chris Wong finds another hit, though. Mm. Oh, nice level oh he's going to go for the level three here. He wants to build that drive gauge back. I want to eat my veggies. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Hit it with the melatonin. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, no big kick. I like that. The neutral jumps. I mean, Chris has been going for that a couple of times. So I'm pretty sure he's trying to bank on uh, Punk the God with a spin knuckle or a DP. Right. The fact that he's just landing and blocking, right? To get the punish oh. possibly. Just looking at each other. Oh. Man. Looking long this into each game. other's eyes. Neutral game is so good. These guys are good. It's gonna be a long night. These guys are good. It's gonna be a long night. These guys are good. 
Oh, the double whiff right there. Oh, again! Chris with no anti-air. That's a couple of times Punk has managed to get in there. Of course, Cammy's dive kick. That was oh! sneaky. That was, it looked like okay, a spin wait, knuckle, I'm wait. not gonna lie. That was so genius. Is this gonna kill? Is this going to kill? We I are think about so. about to find out. Finish. Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no! Here we go. Here we go. It's Chip. all right. It's all right. Chip is there. And Chris Wong got no meter, so he just needs one clean hit. Don't spin knuckle. Do not get thirsty. The what trade. trade? favor. We'll take it. Dude, against that loop jump heavy kick you traded? Wow. I just want to. It was funny. I don't know if you saw that on the background. Yeah, I did. He, he thought it was a little puff of drinking water. He just threw that on the ground. He threw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. He threw it on the, the ground. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I see you, Jay. <laughs> Oh, oh, again, that whip punish. So a lot of air on that whip. Good catch. Close the window, please. That's for the draft. Oh, Punk finally with the wake up OD. Oh. It's going to find its mark, but Chris, this time, not going to let him jump at him. Oh my God, he's inching in. What are you looking for? Maybe a low forward? Mm. Again, it's easier for Cammy to get away with raw jumps in on people because you're scared of the dive kick, right? And that's how Punk has been getting a bunch of those in there. Oh. Look at that shimmy! Yep, give him different looks. That's what Punk was talking about. He likes playing in that erratic pace just to give uh, uh, his opponents different looks, and he's just showing that right now, representing that. Trying to burn him out. Trying to burn Chris Wong out. Oh! Nice dive kick! No sand out here! And neutral Can jump by Punk of this in the corner. The no, not enough to kill just yet. Oh, oh, and the dive kick finally becoming a lot more fluid in Punk's gameplay. Starting to sprinkle it back in more and actually getting big hits versus Chris Wong. Counter hit on that's, the cross jab. That's an expensive the start, though. Chris Wong spending four bars just like that. Yeah, it gets to the corner, but at what cost? Punk trying to get a reaction out of okay. Chris. Nice. Oh, it's real quiet. That's good neutral. Yo, real quiet. <laughs> oh, it's good. That's like quiet, bro. Reading in here. Okay, nice check. Ooh. And then the uppercut right now. Okay, Chris, oh. a little bit more dialed in here. Try to go for the overhead, but Punk again with a wake up OD. No throw. Burn, Burn himself out. Burn himself out. Wow, you went for a tick throw and burn out. You wild. Yeah. And look what it led to. Wake up. We caught him with the set nice. you Nice. Oh, oh no. what a reaction. Hold on. Okay, he's still burned out. Oh, no, what a throw. What a throw not from Chris time. Wong. Not this time. No, uh, bro, uh Bro, not this time. Wow. Uh, 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 uh. Damn, it, it was a I don't. I like that he tried to sneak it in with just a ride, road drive impact, but again, Chris Wong had bar in that situation, right? So it could have been anything. Bro, the fact that he adjusted and was like, you know what, I'm not going to go for that cross cut right there and just turned it into a crouch jab. Ooh. Not sure if that was a missed input or intentional, but gets the stand fierce. To the corner we go. Level oh, three. Wow. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, wow. Ow. Was that a light starter? I didn't even see what he started with, but it hurts regardless. Either stand heavy. Stand heavy. Okay, <laughs> with makes, that sense. Damage <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. I'm just, I, I just yeah. going to... And now going for the pressure over here, gonna try to burn Punk out here. Punk with though with two bars, so. Oh, trade. No sweeps, huh? Damn, we playing that clean? We just making sure we safe? Nice. Oh, he's reaction. reaction. Gonna spend an extra oh, bar. Baits out the OD wake up TP. And Chris Wong ties it up two to two. Love it. Taking a crap on each other. That's what I like to see. Deuce, deuce, baby. Game five. <laughs> uh, hold that. The good foot. That's the good foot. Talk about God hand, we got the God foot. And you can tell Punk really wants to get into that range where he's comfortable throwing, crouching strong so he can whip punish it. But this time, Chris Wong gets the hit. Perfect parry on the follow-up. Mm. Damn, that was red. You know what? I think that was like the first standing round. Maybe I blinked what he did it, but one of those buttons Punk ain't trying try to throw out there due to the fact that Chris Wong is so exceptionally good at whip punishing, right? Mm-hmm. And now we started going oh, to Oh, no DP. I thought Punk would have had that DP right there after that dive kick. Staggered outfits of his own, Chris Wong working out. Uh, walk into that. Oh, wow, you see some barely just found his way in for the throw. Mm. Tried to go for the meaty drill, but Chris Wong won't have any of that. Oh, oh again, man Chris is ready. Wong. Chris Wong with the reaction. You saw that stagger jab again. Oh, mm. oh he had the counter hit. He was looking for block stun, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. The plus frames on the punish down a jab is what set that throw up for Chris Wong. Very unfortunate for pump great for Chris Wong. And this time, jab interrupt, crouch jab. Spins a little OD bar. A little of the drive bar. Oh, ooh, I thought that might have been too close. I thought Chris Wong might have been forgiven the punish. But now Punk here. Oh, he didn't confirm off of that. Oh, wow. It's Into right. the level three. This is going to hurt. I uh, can still see it. <laughs> oh, my God. Tomorrow. And that's with the left. Bro, not in the temple, though. Wake up buttons. Probably Chris Wong anticipating a wake up OD. Oh, oh nice it. block. Walk up block to get him to spend that meter on the dry rush cancel. 
And we out of there. Why I order? Oh, too far away for that crouching strong. Oh, mm, perfect carry. That was an assumption, guys. Don't Suppressive. be fooled. Yeah, yeah. But obviously not going to do a ton of damage, but obviously the momentum. Chris Wong tried to go for a stagger jab, and then Punk just cr coming back with a crouching medium kick. Yeah, he interrupts that. that pressure. If he staggered the jab just a little more, he actually could have walked away from that low throw. Right, exactly. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, oh, he's got three sure. bars. Level yeah. three. This yeah, 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 is definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna kill. I don't even need to ask the question. Oh my god. Finish. Damn, you look good, bro. Yo, and the level you. one still on the side of Chris Wong. One round apiece in this game number five between Chris Wong and Punk. Oh my gosh. Ooh, with cancel right there, so that's gonna be expensive. That's three bars right there from Punk. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, that's what he's looking for. He wants he wants people to uh, burn the drive gauge early, right. right with a drive mm -hmm. rush. Get the advantage a little early on the neutral. Chris Wong. Oh, again, getting caught by the stagger. Nice throw tech from Chris. Yo, they're slugging. Oh, oh get the counter hit jab, though. He didn't go for the cross up. <laughs> Yo, they're in the battle. They're in the batting cage. Mm. They're slugging. <laughs> Swinging away. Oh, looking for a whip. Oh, punish. No. That active. The drive How rush. many active frames was on that move? Oh, my goodness. So he got hit with the back of the elbow. Are you serious? <laughs> Yo, that level three right there. About to get loaded up on the side of Chris Wong. Chris Wong, unfortunately, he's letting himself get walked back a little too far. I feel like that's why he's yeah. got to be a little aggressive. And actually, you know, the back throw is going to be great. And it's okay for him to keep, you know, oh. this casual walk forward, I think he thought that was going to miss. I think he thought that time kick was going to oh. miss. He got it. Out Blue, of the 42. Oh. Can't get out of there. Blue, Is this going to kill? Is this going to kill? Hella damage. Smoked. Oh, my God. That was wrong. You know what? If, if Punk had gone for the light hooligan, he might have actually been able to make it over that. But unfortunately, did not. So here we go. It is 3-2 in favor of Chris Wong. Game there number six. There is no loser's bracket here. That was the front of a truck hitbox. What the hell was that? <laughs> Are you serious? It got to be the shorts. Scoop. <sighs> oh, hold on. Oh, no, too far away. And that was also not a counter hit, so yep. it wouldn't have combo. Oh, the suppressor! Wait a minute. Uh, frame kill. Wow, wow walking walk back and then walk forward to get the throw. Yeah, out of that jumping heavy punch range, and here's we the punish. whip punish. We punish. Close the window, please. I feel the draft. I'm not trying to catch a cold. Please close that window. <laughs> please close nice. that window. A little too breezy in here. Easy breezy win right there for Punk. What they saying, guys? Punk, 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 I think. I think so. Three times. I got my headphones on. I can't tell. Oh, oh that's nice. Right. Yeah. Again, one of the powers that Punk has with Cammy is that walk-up stand light punch. He's so good at sneaking into that range and checking you with that. Yep. Interrupts uh, the big buttons too, man. Yep. Strong, low forward. And you can see Chris Wong starting to contest it now. Gets the big hit in the corner. Three bars on the side of Punk. You know he's going to cash out. Lock it in. Take out the legs. Take out the shoulders. And Let's finally, get it. the head. Oh, my mm. goodness. I just said... <laughs> the, the lot... I like to hit it on beat, like... That is Cammy White. Oh, White. Don't say the W, just the H. White. <laughs> Cammy White. I mean, uh, now more canon, I think. I think they, uh, Capcom officialized that last name. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. The strings. Trying to fill it out, give them different looks. Even the strings are different. And Ooh. now Punk's starting mm. to back up just a little bit more to get proper space. Oh, Saving yeah. that drive game. Punch a medium was... kick and oh. still continues to go. Nice. Punk the God on the run right now. The games are tied three apiece. We're on game seven. This is the oh, best. Oh, that was out of the air. That was out of the air. Oh, oh. 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 I got one ball. Can he kill it? No. Can I he kill this? Bar. That's is a burnout, though. At least. Oh. oh. That kill. It killed. Oh. It killed. Yo, Punk the God. Wow. These guys are oh, professionals. Oh, we're punished on the standing medium kick with a drive rush. Mm. Oh, jam. Hands off of me. All right. Chris Long right now. Yeah. Trying to check with that crouching medium kick, but mm. Punk got him first. Sheesh. Chris Long, what a dash. beautiful back dash. He's been doing that High percentage. the entire day. High percentage. Oh, with punish on the side of Punk. But that's the nerf on Luke. He's been with punishing that crouching strong a lot today. Mm-hmm. I mean, if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be Punk. Oh, that was reaction. That was Assumption. reaction. Oh, the, you think that? I you think, think so. That, that was? Okay, I think okay. so. Just walking out of the range once again. Uh, Punk takes the lead in the set. Teach him how to walk again. Uh, Teach sure. him how to walk again. Send him to rehab. Let me tell you. Get familiar with the nurses. The family comes to visit. Wow. How long <laughs> am I going to be in here, Doc? I don't know. This guy, Punk.
He's so freaking pro. This guy's so freaking He's pro. He's so freaking pro. He's so freaking pro. Hold up, Chris. <laughs> Chris. But Chris, I mean, look, he, like I said, second place, first place, second place at That's the last three offline events. don't know none but single digits. Nothing. He's like, yo, I'm trying to get to the top. But hold can, on, you man. can you imagine if he gets, like, third or fourth place? That would be a, a low placing for Chris Wong right now. Hmm. This pool of killers? I feel like 16th place is first place. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Into the corner now. Chris gets the meaty. Punk actually got hit by the oh, jab with punish. Igloo button. Clean Punk's sweep. with punish is so good. It's like I said, he changed the way we all played Street Fighter Five. But look at that with punish from Chris Wong. Uh, uh, big damage to the corner you go. Try to, read the shimmy, try to read the shimmy right there from Chris Wong. Let's go, Chris Wong's trying to remind Punk that this is a two-player game. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. The oh, corner carry. I like that. Look right there, close for the burnout. Burn Stand fit for the burnout. Looking oh, for it. But this time, Chris Handle. Wong called out the shimmy that time. He was trying to walk by Stan Fierce to put him in the burnout, but Chris Wong said, you know what, F that. My cojones is huge. Oh. I'm going to press low fall. Oh. Punk is dancing in that whiff punish range is so scary. And you talked about, James, how much he's been whiff punishing that crouching strong right. from Luke, and it's because he's been slowly adjusting his range to get further and further out. Yeah. The whiff punishes are starting to work out. Ooh. Chris adjusting him by walking forward just a little bit, and, and that's what made this cross up even more yeah. important with the jump light. Exactly. He's he's keeping Chris Wong on his toes at that range, and that allowed him to just sneak in that cross up out of nowhere. Oh, no whiff punishes. And now he's inching forward with the throws. Punk switching Oh, he's trying to shoot him, but he far enough. Oh, my God. This is some great Street Fighter. Bruh. Oh, dude, this is, this is. That's what the monks back there talking about. Like, damn, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. uh, uh, oh, and the Teach him how to walk again. What about my legs? Uh, what about my legs? Yo, she digs in the back of the knees. That look crazy. That'll take Let any NBA player out for the season. Set point. <laughs> Punk the guard. Can he close it Except out? Except maybe Allen Iverson. <laughs> I mean, look, that's happened to Jalen Rose a lot. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh, Let's go. Oh no, got it right under there. Yeah, was with the punish landing frames. So, oh, uh, but he uh, it early. Ouch. Just Ouch. jumps out of there, but again, catches the landing frames. Punk actually hit a button in the air, mm -hmm. as opposed to empty jumping out of the corner. Sneaky, sneaky. I thought it was a DP. That's why you saw Chris Wong do nothing. Yeah, counter hit throw. Oh no, drive rush cancel on that crouching medium kick. Didn't believe. Oh. Suppressor again. Wow, punk challenging. And oh, 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 he was trying to punch the dive kick, maybe? Set. Yes, it was. Changing up the entrance. Oh, yeah, he's going to go for the launch here, get the most hits uh, by jumping up first. Hella damage. Oh, got to think about it. Just I like wait. that. Just wait. Yeah. Looking for the back door. Be careful. Three jabs and wait. The punk will shoot by the six special. There you go. Punk the guard advances. Of course, one of America's own is still wow. in this tournament. Excellent performance for Punk the God. I mean, look, as close as that looked, I mean, when Punk is on, like you said, you know, you have to take out Punk. Punk definitely has a history of maybe getting into his own head. Yep. But when you see this Punk, this Punk that we just saw here, I don't know if anybody can beat him. Uh, look, I, with, that be, look, with that being on the table already, you guys see who was in the ring. You saw him at Capcom Cup. You're watching him here live at Red Bull Kumite, New York. Make some noise for Chris Wong! That guy is amazing. And he's such a good guy, and, and I'm, a, I'm pretty upset that he's going to have to have this interview with the Battle King. But it is what it is. <laughs> well, we do have an interview with the Battle King, the BK, I like to call him. Let's go to the ring with Rob TV. Punk the God. That, if that performance, it was impressive. I'm not going to lie to you. Going up against Chris Wong, one of the most consistent players in the world right now. What do you have to say about the match? What do you have to say to your fans? Uh, well, first of all, I'm not going to lie. I was very surprised at how great Chris Wong was playing. He had really good anti-airs at the start of this set, so it was making me a little nervous because Luke's don't usually anti-air me when I'm playing. So I was getting a bit nervous. And watching his match earlier, he was missing a lot of anti-airs on characters with worse jumping. So I went in thinking that, like, oh, I'll just be able to jump and I should be able to get it done very easily. But he came out with some great anti-airs. The way he move around the screen, is very good also like it makes it very hard for me to pin him down but i feel like when he get on defense i notice a lot of like bad habits but he did hit me with a lot of wake up supers 
Funk the God, ladies and gentlemen. You have moved on to the next round. Congratulations. You can join the players in the back. Chris. Not yet. Don't do that. Chris Wong. He's, oh, that was nice. He said, yeah. Um, you played phenomenal at here and at Capcom Cup. We saw you make it all the way to Grand Finals. And by watching that Grand Finals and seeing you get second place, I knew you were not a winner. <laughs> what? Y'all don't agree? Y'all don't like that? Is there a problem? He lost. He lost. That said, I suppose people should still make some noise for one of the most consistent players in the world today, Chris Wong. Chris Wong, please hand your fighter car over to L.I. Joe. Oh, yeah. That doesn't say Justin. <laughs> Next year, we'll get the right one. Sorry, that's, that's my fault. That's my fault, sorry. Okay, yeah. I told Joe to get Justin Wong in the tournament. The real champion. My, I'm sorry, I'm Chris, I'm An sorry. An actual champion, not second place. L.I. Joe, that said, another player is down. And before we get to our next match, we're gonna send things back to our commentators. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that, that, uh, that Rob and Joe, huh? What a combo. You got to take it twice, huh? You got to take it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to walk <laughs> down the ring and then get hit in the face again? That's crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. That wow. is a smash. That is Jesus. That man just said. You get down to the top. <laughs> man, you suck. That Ooh. man Joe said. And get in the car. He said, well, that ain't Justin. <laughs> Damn, man. Disrespect. Big enough, big enough, man. The disrespect. Wow. That, oh, is, that is the worst part about being at Red Bull Cool with Tate New York. That is the worst part. Bro, Joe, what are you Joe, doing? Bro? Joe. Dog, get this guy out of here. He's dead, dude. Did you hear what he said, though? Did you hear? I, what what I, I say? What I say? You talked about the one two punch. You said Joe punches him again. Okay, yeah, that's what I did. I want no problems. <laughs> Yo, keep it easy. Keep it I easy. I want no problems. Keep it easy. Sheesh. All right, Agent 47, shoot. You better stop saying that, man. He gonna hear you. Walking around, ammunition just falling on right. no, 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 the ground. The business, man. <laughs> that was fire. Jeez. Oh, man. Well, look, I know it was a, it's a long, heartfelt goodbye. We had to watch him go through this again. But I would love to hear what Z has to say with Chris Wong. Take it away. Chris, you know your offline results have been so good in this last year, whether it was Singapore, France, Capcom Cup. How was your Red Bull Kumite New York experience? Rebel Kumite is an amazing tournament for me because uh, this is my first time to join this tournament. It's amazing. And um, do you know someone says I'm, I'm not a Chris Wong, I'm second one. Because uh, online CBT, offline, always second place. Uh, and Capcom Cup is second place. Um, and this time, this is a single, uh, single bracket tournament, so uh, it's hard to say. Um, but I'm happy, I'm so happy to enjoy join this tournament, yeah. We're happy to have you here. I don't think you'll be second place for much longer. Do you have any message to any of your fans back home? Yeah, thank you, Hong Kong, and every, everywhere people to supporting me, uh, for supporting me, and then, um, 
um, thank you my family uh, always supporting me and then yeah my friends uh, my family and the audience is very yeah very excellent it's wonderful thank you all right Chris I gotta send you home and send it back to Joe and the Battle King ladies and gentlemen things are whittling down the cream is rising to the top we only have one more match in round three are you ready for the last match of round three Say less, say less. Let's get into it. Bring out our fighters, Gachi Kun and Mina RD. It's that powerful energy. Leveled up ambition in the battle, claim victory. Surgical precision when I'm chopping down enemies. Certified gangsta only wins in my memory. Yes, sir. This is a battle of Cat Call Cook Champions. Mina RD, the only two times Capcom Cup champ. Gachi Kun, Capcom Cup champion, and recently just got third in the most recent Capcom Cup. Two of the best and most consistent players in the world. Bandits, Dominican Republic, Gachi Kun, Japan, Team Red Bull. Commentators, let us know who you got. Don't hide from it. You know what I love to see? I love to see the overlap, the Street Fighter League overlap. Ooh. Of course, we've seen these guys play for the respective teams, That's but we've right. also seen the Capcom Cup appearances on both of these amazing players, and we get to see one of them go home Crazy. by way of Red Bull Kumite. That's wild That right is now. wild. But we you know got what? a two-time, actually, we got three Capcom Cup champions sitting there on, on the stage right now. <laughs> well, I mean, look, before we go any further, let's take a look at the bracket real quick, just to let you guys know how we got so far. A lot of X's on this bracket, and of course, this is our last match of the quarterfinals. It's going to be Gajakun versus Men RD. Chris Wong went home. Big Bird no longer with us. Nephew, see you at the next one. And of course, that sets up our semifinal of Knuckle Doom versus Lashar. Punk awaits as the semifinal oh. of the right side of that bracket, and his opponent is going to be one of these two gentlemen, one of these two Capcom Cup champions oh. sitting in the ring right now. Oh, Yo, fun. Red Bull New York, are you still with me out there? Make some noise. Yeah. Yo. Yo. And you're going to get another one. Look at my banger after guy. banger. The DR is in the building. New York is in the building. The bandits are in the building. Mm -mm. And of course, shout out to PlayStation. PlayStation Tournament provide the exciting opportunity to win exclusive prizes and rewards, including cash, PS Plus subscriptions. I need me one of those. And other <laughs> exciting prizes. Participating in PlayStation Tournaments is about more than just competition. It's about joining a global community of gamers who love to compete. To join PlayStation Tournaments, you can sign up directly through your PlayStation 5 console, navigate to the in-game PlayStation Tournaments button with the supported title. And then, of course, there you can view upcoming tournaments, details, and registration instructions. Simply select the tournament tournament you're interested in, follow the on-screen pops, and to register and get ready to compete, connect, and possibly claim your next big win. Shout Ooh. outs to PlayStation tournaments. They've been sending a lot of FGC hopefuls to yes. tournaments all mm -hmm, around the world. Mm -hmm. So once again, yo, make some noise for PlayStation out there, man, if you're enjoying Red Bull Kumite. One of the reasons things like this gets to happen is because we get this kind of support. I'm happy that you guys got to see this in person. And now we're about to get to the next exciting match. Of course, one of these players are going to go to the next group and see who's going to claim that prize. But of course, Rob TV in the ring, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We have Gachi Kun and Mina RD. I'm gonna get straight to it. Make some noise if you have Japan's Gachi Kun! Okay, okay, okay. Now let me hear you if you have the Dominican Republic's Mena RD. The 
crowd is ready. We have two titans about the clash right now in the cage. It's not about the past, it is about right now, and we're about to see which Capcom Cup champion is better. Gachi Kun, Mino RD, let's begin. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Shout out to Rob TV, he's doing a great job. Yo, my man <laughs> I'm gonna is be up honest there. with you. Holy there's the Blanca there. Oof, oof. But can you make some noise, guys? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gonna be a good one. Yeah. Run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanna be sure. <laughs> Let's go. But can you imagine? This is a matchup where you can, you can say, I have a Capcom Cup champion. I, I have one Capcom Cup championship, and the other player can go, oh yeah, well, I have two. I got two. <laughs> Man, I, look, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, when is he gonna bust out the Blanca, right? Been on the Luke heavy, but here we go. We got one of the fan favorites for sure from NRD. Mm, so gotcha like Kuhn the with the corner pressure here. Mm. What's it gonna go for the setup over here? Is it gonna be, okay, just goes for the safe jump. Wow! wow. Just goes Stop for the it. level one. Perfect. The perfect parry is gonna be able to punish that. And actually, oh yeah, that was a punish counter still, so it is gonna be a lot of scaling here. Oh, the empty low, I knew it. Mix up. My man Rashid oh, tells you. Mix up. That's true. And here we go with the setup again. Goes for the safe jump again. Oh, almost. He was, yo, he was fishing big time. Get to Dude, the second time around. Oh, oh, he's confirm on that. That was amazing. He, he sniped out the jump back block of ball. Right. That was the attempt for sure. And he was still able to come. Like, he was fast. Like, Rashid was still plus enough to get that towards me and punch the jungle afterwards. Punish. Oh, wow. close enough. Hmm. I mean, he was close enough, no 2 and one Oh, he tried to get the punch count. Yeah, he did get the counter. Oh, yeah. wow, he slid too far forward. I wonder if that does punch count. I gotta look into that, but anyway. Back to the match in hand. The dry rush, the low, the, yo, his crouch is short reaches pretty yes. far, I must yeah. admit. I mean, that was definitely a trait that he, oh, that's gonna be a punish. And, and here we go, lightning beast. Oh, this, I mean, we talked about one of the best level twos in Rashid. This is another one right here, this oh, lightning oh. beast. It's such a problem. Oh. Reverse, level two versus level two. That Dude. man said tomato, tomato. The oh. empty low. He went with the low forward as well, so he's looking for a technical. Oh, they're both burned out here, but Mena RD with the plus frames right now uh, gets the throw. <laughs> and Mena RD is going to get his meter back first. There it is. Oh, oh. What a deep is the play. And, and, Block and, on the overhead. And, uh, Not enough to stop the pressure. They both got green up there. They're both out of the burnout. Oh, oh he almost punched that attack, but it recovers so fast. And Mena RD takes round number two. Gee, yeah. That was good. Listen, the man coming out swinging that fast. This is a slugfest here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a reaction! Yo, level two, it's about to get windy. Throw him, throw, put on your breaker. There, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's willing a to kick. Take it. No, yeah, there it is. Finally gets a kick. Goes for the empty low afterwards. Mm. Let's see, has he got the time? Yes, he got the jump fierce with the right timing. Mm, trying to catch the punish counter for the throw. I'm out of the corner. Gets opened up low. Men are RB. And level two. Yep. This is the matchup of the level mm. twos here. Put the tables. Oh my god. And Yo, here we go, Blanca Chan. Oh, got him! With the Blanca Chan, that's ridiculous. Big damage, oh, 20 no, minutes. He the combo. How did that and miss? I'm, 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 I'm. the corner, drops the combo. Gets hit on the wake up. If done properly, Mena RD. Oh, take that first game. And the crowd goes off. To the DR contingent is to the left of us, and it is blowing up my ears right now. They are so loud here, but I love it. Hell yeah, we all love this. Oh, already the buffer. And fast forward, finds an opening real quick, Men RD. That was the yield button right there. Oh, oh another yeah. one, punish uh, uh, counter. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, I'm wilding. It just looks so delicious. <laughs> oh, oh there reaction, go. reaction, gonna flip through him. Yeah. There you go, get the side switch. And now you're in the corner here. Gotta deal Back with this perfect parry. No, we got a combo. Yeah, I'm got over. Counted. There it is, I knew it. All right, all right. Tranquilo, papi, tranquilo. Damn, I want to be by so bad. Come on now. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie, bro. I want to be by so bad. Look, it's three of us. Oh, I thought he was going to flip the tables at anti air. That would have worked, bro. Mm. I, mean, I, just, I mean, the way you're saying that, I mean, someone will think that you're actually Dominican, right? <laughs> <laughs> the fact. Uh-oh. Scratch the legs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, and here we go. Block a champ set up. What's the mix up? He oh. tries to go for the throw setup right there. He wanted to get the. Oh, oh, it's still coming. It was still there, too. 
man has an assist that cheap. Oh, oh punish high. counter, punish counter. Then puts himself in burnout. Puts himself in burnout, but he's got level two. Oh, yeah, take my time. He's going to sit there just let the drive game pop. He's going to go for the offense. There it is. We're oh, he goes for the plus. Yeah, there it is. And yeah, he tried to just drive Smart. parry a lot of that. Oh, he's shimmy, gonna get caught. He's shimmy gonna get caught. in the wind. I love that movie. And Big you, damage. Gotcha, Kuhn. Oh, what a... Oh, you know bars. what? Drive impact? Drive impact? No. Back. Actually, goes for the back throw. Man, 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 man. What's for suffer? A uh, suffer. Oh, there we go. Meta RD is going to be able to take Ooh. game number two. Bro, when I tell you this crowd is going ham <laughs> right now. I don't even eat pork no more. They're going ham right now. <laughs> That's crazy. You really don't eat pork, though. It's okay. It's not wrong with that. I just more for everybody else. It's cool. You can't have a regular pizza. No, you can't. This can't. That's what I'm talking about. Man, all right. Two oh, Capcom Cup that. champions Kachikun. on the screen right now. Kachikun talking to himself there. You see that? Yeah. He's like, I'm one with the wind. He the, the is the strongest <laughs> boy. You see, uh, you see how my man Min is connected to the crowd? Yes. No headphones. My man's up there raw ears, bro. That's crazy. Ooh, wow. Huh. And that barely caught with the toenails right there. Mm -hmm. Shoot to the chest. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it was a punish counter burnout. We're in trouble. We're dehydrated and we get stunned. The uh, crush. And you're dead. That's it. Uh, Game over. He got the level one yet. Yeah, he really wants to. He doesn't need it, dude. He doesn't need it. Blanca does so much damage with that Blanca chair in the corner. Yo, dog. Mena is feeling himself. Yeah. Like he's hugging himself. <laughs> It's one of those. Ooh. Oh, nice. That frame kill into the meaty. Stayed oh. on the same side. And caught wow. the jump back block a ball. Counter hit, too. So he got a full combo conversion off of it. Keeps the corner. Mm -hmm. Holding the parry right here from Men RD. Let's go. I block with my ass. Says Men RD. <laughs> this man is having fun right now. We out of there. Oh, he's trying to punish it, but he just got clicked. And that's going to give Men RD the combo. Going to set up a light. Uh, get him to be able to set up a, uh, a block a chan again. This is so cheap. Uh, uh, uh. Easy damage. And look how quick Mena oh, got oh. back in that round. Easy damage. He's going to do it again. Looking for the shimmy. Good defense there from Gachiko. Wow. Nice, nice. Oh, oh no. right back in there off the dry rush into the throw. Oh, the that side was sneaky. Now, hold on. Did he just catch the back dash with that? Is that what I just saw? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it would have crossed up. But I could be wrong. I could be, it happened could so be fast, wrong. but wow. Oh. Listen, man, guys. Lock your doors. The bandits are here. Right? Lock your doors. Put your chain up. Tuck your chain in. Yep. Keep your wallet under the seat in the car. The bandits are here. All right. And they're still in games. We're the wet oh, bandits. A little bit too late with that. <laughs> We're the wet bandits. Oh, the mixer. Where you going? Never dizzy. All right. Yo, man, that is comfortable. I can't even. But how's got you going to slow this man down? Yeah, of course. You really got to take the you got to take the wind out of the sails, bro. All right. Doesn't go for the full spinning mixer right there to be able to get a little bit of a. Better set up. Oh, no, you got to watch out. There's an yeah. extra hit. Not that time. Let me get a bite. Oh, whoa, where was he going? He was trying to bait out the uh, mm -hmm. the OD spinning mixer. Yeah, yep. actually, yep, and it would have punished that. He would have been able to punish everything. Oh, yeah. Wow, oh, yeah, break oh, dancer too. That's crazy. Bro. I like that offensive drive reversal, but now he's burned out, unfortunately. Oh, a trade? Can imagine he would have got a combo. Did he neutral tech? Can he neutral tech get a combo? Oh, man, magical. Oh, oh, dude. Look at this. oh, he found the spot. Not close enough to the wall just yet. Here oh, comes no. the Asar. The and, you know, this might just be chip death at this point in time. He's gonna jump out? No, he's gonna hold it. He uh, keeps the throw. Yeah. Stops the bleeding. Puts a band aid on it. Tranquilo, Every, papi. Everybody was expecting, you know, to kick the tornado right there, and that's how Gotcha could just snuck in and got the throw. Levels to it. Gotcha Kun's aware, man. Oh my god. Oh, what are we putting? And he yeah. activates. That was all part of the plan. The blueprint is set in motion. The chan, there it is. Let me play with my. Who get this? Try to bait out the drive the parry right there by going straight down. The defense from Gachikun is OD right now. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he survived that lightning beast like that by basically taking no damage was ridiculous. Uh. Well, not going to be able to punish with that. Oh, almost. Oh, he won. Oh, they oh, they, won. they both. The window's oh. open. No, man, I just got to be careful, though. He's about to get burnt out, so he's not trying to spend too much meter here. There you go. There we go. Yeah, that time was a perfect timing. And now the Asar comes out here, the level two. What's the mix? Pushes him out of there. Nice Try to shimmy him. Nice tech. Look at this defense from Mena RD. Mm -hmm. Turning the tables, keeping the defense on his side. Oh. Whip punished big time by Gajakun, but he doesn't have any bars. Plenty of drive, no bars. Gets one.
That momentum is crazy right now, guys. <laughs> Checks the drive rush with the stand handy. I will say this. That was a little shaky for Gachi Kun due to the fact that Mena did have two balls. So it could have got ugly. Yep. But it, we close it out. Gachi Kun. Stops the bleeding 3 1 now. Oh, nice ball, ball, yeah. 20%. Oh, look at this. Gotcha Kun going for the wake up now. Mm. Oh, what a catch. No follow up. Too far away. There's the stubby buttons coming to haunt Rashid. Can we sweep for the one time. Hold on. Gotta be weary of the slide right there. Ah, oh, dash up. Oh, we assumed. Mm. Absolutely. Oh, damn. The walk be that good. We out of there. That's not wow. even something. And he's back tech too. Consistently. It's actually, even though you perfect carry it, it's still really hard to punish Blanca Ball. The drive rush is the way. Nice. OD wake up right there from NRD. Get off of me. Too far away for that throw over there. Does spin out the throw this time with the neutral jump. And here we go. Going to get some damage. He just built the level two, but he didn't activate it. Mm, that there's my level two. They're smiling. It looks so pretty. Mm, he did wow, that was some comments. But he but you burned know himself out. He has a lot of space to put. Oh my god, that's gonna be oh too late, Lord. too late. Oh, oh no! Gotcha cool. They, oh, he just got hit by his That's that's that. I thought they bumped that! I thought they bumped that! I didn't, sure. get, I didn't get out the door. Sure. Did you see Mena's face like <laughs> got away with that one? I thought they bumped that! Oh Come no! Say fire. it with your chest! Oh, oh no, oh, put us up in the corner. But we still got hit. Wow, did you try to check that us over? Then it say counter hit. Good block on the overhead. Ooh. Oh, no, drive parry this time from Gotcha Kun. Mm, hits a button this time. Evil Spike, uh -huh. perfect parry. Stand roundhouse. Check out the glutes. Oh! 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 Mena are the optimal nice and simple. This is tough. Yo, this is a cheat code. I just want to touch up on what Steve said. There is no headphones on the side of Mena RD. That's one of the things that he likes to do. He likes to stay, you know, connected, like you said, to his DR contingent who's sitting right behind him right now. Yo, all he hears is flags waving, right? buttons, <laughs> and screams. That's all he's hearing. His ear is actually to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh what a punish. Gotcha, Kuhn, down for one. Red the shimmy. Mm. Straight throw, no? We back it up. Oh, ooh, ooh, I respect every yeah. set. You got to come to me. Plus ooh. frames. And Gacha couldn't try to do something afterwards. Punish counter throw. Oh. Super Rashid kick. That, he looks so cool when he do that. I can't find bro. <laughs> Can I get a sweep? Damn. Yo, nobody represents the crunching rounds. I, I see him over on the men's side. But it's so risky. Okay, wait a minute. Big damage there off that stand head. Oh, bolts it out. That's gonna be it here this round. And I like that. I mean, he hadn't done that wake up OD in a long time. And Gotcha Kun. I mean, that is one of the powers of, for example, a shimmy attack because it oh also my blocks God, the wake up. Oh forward, max range. Mm. You saw him stepping on the wind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Say it with your chest. Uh. Oh, delayed it. Trying to catch something. Maybe a tech possibly. No, not even a tech button press. You can't even tech that. Oh, oh wow. and then the shimmy right there off of the lightning beast. But what's actually really good about that is that he wasted so much time on the lightning beast that he rolled. Oh my god, it's Sonic Combo. Oh, and then he made the throw. On the Another lightning beast. Oh, I, is oh, this going to be dead? Actually? I can't get to play. The miss. Oh, oh, he actually didn't go for anything more there. Nice. Oh, oh got oh. him with the cross up. He is in burnout, so this is going to be tough no matter what. Buttons on wake up. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of wake up, tall. Yeah. <laughs> Match point round. for Mena RD. Oh Lord have mercy, Dominican Republic is ready to pop off. They're on standby. I just want the cameramen to get ready because Mena RD is on one right now. We're Here gonna we get go. the knockdown Lightning into the block. Set up. Oh, okay, I respect that, you got to. And you're close to the burnout, you got to. Oh, what was, was Mena to do right there? He actually just got hit by that. Wasn't even a counter hit or anything. And look at this series from Gachiko. Oh, oh. Gets a hit into the corner. Careful. Lightning B still on the table, gets the throw. Whoop shimmy there. Whirlwind, and look at the timer, almost gone. Mm -mm. Uh oh, there's the throw. Mm. Oh, tagged it all for me. Good defense, Gachiko. Gotcha still alive though. It looks bad on the score, but trust me, Gotcha Kun can do it. No, oh, he tried to retire, but he missed it. Can Mena RD finish this off with a level one? Is it going to go? There it is! Mena RD! Yo. Yo. I guess two Capcom Cups is greater than one Capcom 
Cup, Meta RG Yo, advancing on the winner's side. Gotcha, cool point now. Yo, I don't think anybody that trains harder than me. But right now, Mena RB is the man to beat when it comes to this Street Fighter VI world. Gotcha Kun eliminated, goes home, will no longer be joining us for matches yep. here at Red Bull Kumite, New York. But you know what that means. That means your winner and moving on in the Kumite is going to be none other than Mena RB. Oh, man, and, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man, seeing that flag on stage. <laughs> it's powerful, bro. It's definitely powerful. Mm. Like I said before, man, uh, Men RD to me is one of the greatest ambassadors we ever had for the FTC. Facts, facts. And I'm curious to see what Men RD has to say about seeing all those flags out there. Let's send it to the Battle King. Men RD, you go up against a fellow Capcom Cup champion. You're seen at your back, not just your scene, the FGC in general rooting for you like this. Take us through the match. Take us through what's in your head right now. <laughs> I'll be really honest. Really, 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 really honest. I was playing him. Um, I was thinking, you know, first I regret I didn't pick Blanca when I first played him. But the second thing I was thinking was kind of funny. I was playing him, it was like 4 3 1 4 1, and I was like, yo, that's crazy. He beat his Red Bull teammate. But I'm not Red Bull, and I'm sending him home, you know? <laughs> that's what I thought for real. Just me keeping it, keeping it 100, giving it 100. But that's all I'm gonna say. If you Red Bull, you're still not messing with the Bull. Get, get off the damn stage. Go ahead to the back. Men of R.D., ladies and gentlemen. Rashi Kuhn. Gashi Kuhn. You got smoke. I don't understand why this crowd roots for losers. I don't understand it whatsoever, but maybe it's because of your history. Maybe it's because of the fact that you just got third place at Capcom Cup, that you won Singapore Premier, and the list goes on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Red Bulls. Gachi Gachi Kun, hand over your fighter car. No? Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, okay. <clears throat> exactly what he deserves. Gachi Kun, get out of our sight. I'm glad you didn't just use your hands for that after that horrid performance. Absolute waste of time and space on the Kumite Airways. I'm disgusted. Joe, we're gonna go ahead and send things over to our commentators. Please. The constant disrespect of these Capcom Cup champions, yo, jeez. The fact that you gotta take that long walk only to be greeted once again. Kind of walk down and be like, oh, that's Joe. Oh, you you gee, call you that being greeted? It's like, <laughs> it's, I look, some people call that a greeting. I think I don't I don't know what to tell you, but I would love to ask while we're while I still have you guys' ear. Yo, Red Bull Kumite, New York, are you enjoying this Street Fighter 6 or what? That's what I like to see. That's what I like to hear. I love seeing the community be a part of this. I love being here for Kumite. Let's take a look at the bracket to see just exactly what got us here Ooh, and boy. what lies ahead of us. Of course, oh, sure. Idom, Abiki, Tokido, Oil King, Mr. Crimson, Dual Kevin, Bon Chan, Broski, Gachikun, Chris Wong, Big Bird, Nephew, gone.
And what does that leave us with? Knuckle Dew going up against Lashar and Punk and Mena RD. And remember, Knuckle Dew claimed Mena RD for US. He claimed him for US. Knuckle Yo, those matches should tell Yo. you everything you need to know about going anywhere. You need to watch a Red Bull Kumite. But once again, we got to say the long goodbye. We're going to send it over to the taxi cab before it pulls off. Let's see what Z has to say. Kachikun, it was a difficult champion chip matchup with that pedigree, but I know for anyone in that situation, it has to feel so difficult as the sort of person getting cheered against. How was that for you? え、皆さんでえ、やっぱりそのアウェイ感が出ました。アウェイ感。はい。ありましたね。うん。実際どうでした so of course, when you're playing against this rowdy crowd with the DR fanboys, it is so difficult under that pressure. But he actually loves this type of atmosphere and wanted to live up to it, but he was sort of consumed by it, so it was unfortunate. Well, I'm going to take you home to the happiest place. So tell me where to go. <laughs> well, I'm going to take you home to Japan, the happiest place for you. Let's go. And let's go back to Joe and the Battle King. Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we have lost a Capcom Cup champion. We are done with round three, and we are about to get into our semi-finals. So far, Red Bull Kumite has been absolutely ridiculous, but what else do you expect? We are close to crowning a champion, and we have more Red Bull Kumite action coming at you right after this break. Hello, hello. Uh, we have our semi-finalists right here and waiting to get into the action in the very next round. But I had to pull him aside. Got to ask him a couple of questions. We got Mena and Punk facing off against each other. Then we also have Knuckle Dew and Lashar Plate. So I had a quick question from all of you. Between Knuckle Dew and Lashar, who do you think is going to win? Uh, both are great players, but I have to go with my boy Knuckle Dew. All right, all right. And then, uh, yeah, same for you. Who do, who do you like? Uh, yeah, I think they're both crazy players, but I'm gonna have to go with my boy Lashar. Nah, I'm joking. I'm gonna go with Nakuto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair, fair. And then I wanna ask the same of you guys for their match. Who do you think's gonna take it between Mena and Punk? Uh, it's, it's such a close call because Mena usually beats him, but when it comes to the big events, Punk usually shows out. So I think Punk's gonna beat him. Yeah. All right, he's putting the pressure on you, putting the pressure on you. Who do you like between that matchup? Mm, I think Punk. Ooh. Okay, yeah. We got two votes for Punk. All right, all right. So I think the only thing we have left to do is hit a quick break so we can get into the action right after that. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
we're back with Volume 2 of the best Red Bull Kumite moments, where we look back and celebrate some of the most memorable matches in Red Bull Kumite history in anticipation for Red Bull Kumite 2024, hosted in Brooklyn, New York. Volume 2 will be an all-London affair, with all three moments coming at the event hosted in 2021. Starting things off is the intense back-and-forth set in Street Fighter V between Luffy and Mr. Crimson in the semi-finals. Coming into the set, Luffy looked like the favorite with a 4-1 record against his fellow Frenchman, as well as coming first during the group stage. But Mr. Crimson would be on top of his game after a 3-1 victory over Punk, an early favorite to win the tournament. The set started off with both players trading wins to bring it to 1-1. From here, what looked like a sprint to the finish would turn into a marathon. Every single game went the full three rounds right up until the final round of Game 7, where Mr. Crimson finally clutched it out in an absolutely spectacular set. At any other tournament, this set between Luffy and Mr. Crimson would have been the best set of the event. But what followed after was even more insane. Grand Finals between Mr. Crimson and Idom. Earlier in the tournament, Idom took down Mr. Crimson with a dominant 2-0 to make it out of their group as the first seed. Throughout the bracket stage, both players were playing some of the best Street Fighter of their lives and the Grand Finals would be no different. In a set that went the distance, it took all nine games before Mr. Crimson would get his revenge and come out on top, winning Red Bull Kumite 2021. There's honestly too many moments from this set to pick just one, and we highly recommend you go back and watch it in its entirety. It's one of the best sets of Street Fighter ever played. Rounding out this episode of Top Kumite Moments is the event itself, as Red Bull Kumite 2021 was one of the first offline events post-pandemic. The event delivered some insane sets with matches we didn't even mention, like Idom vs. Bonchan, or any of the Group C matches between Punk, Phenom, Kawano, and Smug. Overall, the event was a great reminder of what fans had been missing out throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and just how awesome fighting game tournaments can be. That wraps up Volume 2 of the best Red Bull Kumite moments. It is time for the Red Bull Kumite semi-finals. So many people, so many fighters have fallen in this very ring. And only the cream of the crop, only the strongest warriors remain. It is time for us to welcome two of those warriors right now. Knuckle Dude, LeJore, come to the ring. This is a dream matchup. Knuckle Dude, a long and storied career. LaShawn, elite even in other fighting game titles. And now, in Street Fighter VI, showing his dominance. Making it out of the Group of Death, Group F, Top 8 at Capcom Cup, you name it. Do not let the nice guy look fool you. That is a beast. That said, we got some new commentators over there right now, and I'm ready to hear from them. What is up, everyone? We are here, Red Bull Kumite, New York. We are in the semifinals. We have the four best players currently up to bat, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, and it's <laughs> certainly not past my attention that three of those players are from North America as well. Never gonna hit him in this one, are we, Logan? Oh, yeah, he's been clean. But there is one hope. <laughs> <laughs> and Lashar, of course, was uh, here. He stepped in after Uma uh, was meant to obviously take part of this after winning Capcom Cup. But Lashar uh, stepped up and has proven to be a very, very uh, powerful 
contender here. He's had a very impressive run, beating Oil King, of course, a player that he faces in his region regularly, and then eliminating the reigning champion, Big Bird, to make it here to face Knuckledoo, who's faced a, a number of familiar players to him on his journey. Right? He has, yeah. It's like another weekly for him in terms of the players he's played against, but you can't, you know, under, understate the way he's played and the way he's adapted, even having to... I mean, his knowledge in the Ed matchup so early in, in that character's tenure has been super impressive as well. This is a bit more of a challenge, I think, for Lashard than it is for Knuckle, despite the fact that it's a less familiar person. It's a character that I think this is one of the characters where Chun Li can't play her usual game. You know, she's forced to kind of. I think Guile, I was talking to Justin on the side, I, I think I agree with Justin that Guile plays the Chun Li matchup just a bit better than Chun Li does, you know, in the sense that he gets the booms on the screen better, mm -hmm. he can attack it, he kind of dictates the pace of how the match is going to go, and she's kind of forced to take some risks and make some reads, but I have seen Chun Li's make it look difficult. Yeah, I mean, this is Knuckle Doer we're talking about. He's already a massive stop sign when you're playing against them, too. So I'm curious to see if maybe Lashar can bust out some tricks, maybe get more aggressive. He seems to have been playing super methodical, you know, good pokes, good reads, good reactions, of course. But he might need to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, we, got, we, got, we just kind of went into this, and we didn't recognize a slight change here on the desk, did we, <laughs> Logan? Man, Persia's joining us. Where, where did this come from? Haven't seen you for ages. A pleasure to be with you. How's your weekend going? Loving the interviews at the back, I must say, oh, as well. It's been amazing. The energy, the vibes. Come on. It's the type of thing that only New York can bring you sometimes. So that it feels good. That is very, very real. What's the atmosphere been like in the player lounge back there as well? Because obviously, mm, there's a lot mm. of pressure on them. They can't really plan too much in that first round. That wild new draw format we have. Was there a lot of like anxiety and anticipation back there? I think as it was going on and people were waiting to get their card drawn and kind of anticipating when they were going to go up, it did start to get more intense back there. Like in the beginning, they were actually playing casuals, chatting it up, having a good time. But as it started going on, you could tell they started getting more hungry and started getting more serious. They were locking in. So that's been pretty fun to look at, too. You're going to see that on the stage today. A massive shout out to the guys also running this, the Battle King himself there on the stage. But Eli, <laughs> Eli Joe. Those guys have been killing <laughs> Eli Joe, Joe with a favorite, fa favorite line from Eli Joe today hit me, hit me. I already know what mine is. And I actually feel Bro, bad saying it. Too many to. to okay, the, the Big Bird one was brutal, man. <laughs> God damn. Joe, Bro. is that how it is, bro? Come Knuckle on, man. Do You've got another son. Yeah. Was a, <laughs> wow, that one was up there as the well. The Chris Wong one was pretty good. That, You're not that, Justin. I wasn't yeah. ready for that. that Eli Joe, Justin. definitely, you know, aside from whoever wins the Kumite today is my, my other MVP. Yeah. The no, breakout I'm performance I'm with you. from Joe. I'm with you. Definitely. And what but. a fantastic format it has been, right? You know, just a change of, of, of vibe. It's super serious competition inside the ring, but the presentation, the yes. pageantry, the things that we have grown to love about Kumite is all represented here. With that New York twist on it as well, right? Yeah. And honestly, I think it's time to send it to Rob so we can get started. I want to make something crystal clear for everyone here and watching from home. These players grind for hours, days, months, years to get to a point like this, to get to this skill level in order to fight in front of crowds as amazing as this one in New York City. That being said, these two gentlemen have made it all the way to the semifinals, and the winner of this is going to the grand finals. If you're ready for our first semifinals match, make some noise! With no further ado, Knuckle Do, are you ready? Lashar, are you ready? Enough said. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. Man, you see the look in their eyes? So chill, so relaxed, so deadly. Let's get it, guys. Semi final time here. Red Bull Kurite, NYC. One of these guys will be in your grand finals fighting for the championship. Who's it going to be? Knuckle Do or Lashar? Both on fire today. I can't call it, Persia. What about you? I know, I know. I mean, I feel like I always root for Knuckle Do, but watching Lashar play today, he's been playing amazingly well, has been showing off the tricks, yeah. has been proving that people are not going to get away with no free stuff on him. So We're in that any given Sunday zone yes. where any of these players, if it's their day, it's going to be their day. Oh, oh the perfect parry to it's the heavy. That was to disgusting. see who's making the right reads and who's in form, right? Oh, so oh. Read there. First execution error I've seen from Knuckle Do today. Yeah. 
now. Let's maybe. change the momentum here. That semi-finals pressure. Surely not. Sneaking in. <laughs> and this is what we spoke about here, is those booms on the screen. Again, he gets that accidental jump forward. Mm. Oh, oh, preemptive oh. the shoot. And see, this is kind of what I was mentioning before. That extra bit of aggression might go a long oh, way, but you can't don't test be the reaction. Testing the young boys. That just takes an early one. Gonna hop over, yep. Side switch. He had the hit, the head didn't commit. Was looking for the shimmy. Another perfect parry there from the shot. Yeah, oh, trying to beat something out. Oh, oh, but confirmed the ting. Zero scaling. The juggle should kill. Yes, it will. Yeah, Bashar always seems to do a great job at putting the pokes in the perfect place. Like you want to take a step forward, there's a, there's a button for that. And there's a jump as well there, Perser, as he lands that preemptive jump in the face and the stand throw, Knuckle doing an uncomfortable situation here. The shot gets off to a flying start in the second round. Again, again, he tests the reactions, man, I'm telling you. Again. And again, he's going to hop over. Will Knuckle make the right call this time, though? He just backs away, doesn't want to risk getting it wrong. Yeah, no oh, need to, right? Nice he's got... You know, a lot of resources to work with. Doesn't need to go in and risk the OD tension on wake up. And the shot's been shown. No, it's no, nice. Harry. Mm. At the range where it's threatening oh, as well. Oh, the shot. This Ooh. guy. I, I actually Please. spoke to. What's the kid's name, man? My, my brain's gone blank, but the, the French bloody loot player. Dude. Kusanagi. Kusanagi, thank you. I spoke to Kusanagi yesterday, and he was saying the main difference between Lashar and Valmaster, who he trains with, is the guy's perfect parry rate is just insane. Well, the way that Lashar plays, he's moving forward and, and utilizing a number of various different buttons, but moving in and out as well. Valmaster normally trying to walk you down and abuse you with that standard light punch, mm -hmm. and it's very buttonsy. Whereas Lashar plays reactively and proactively, so he has that mental capacity to look for things to perfect parry as well. He does drive us straight into a boom. Drive rushes in again, trying to maintain this pressure. He wants to stay in that range where the threat of the perfect parry is going to give him a significant reward, unlike Hibiki, who we saw in the first set Ooh. against Knuckle Dude. So this is the thing. Chun Li's not getting to play her usual, you know, uh, fireball game. She's having to absorb it, but when in these situations, she's usually guessing right. Gets away with that one, though. Again, Knuckle Dude's been able to get her into the corner. Punishes that. Could have got more there. Chose not to drive rush in. Brave check. I mean, Lashar not being afraid, even when his back's against the wall, not Agreed. afraid. And he just knows where to slip those buttons in. And look, he's managed to Ooh. slow down that momentum and he burns him out. Wake up button there, there's the right choice from two. Try to get over oh, the get a count here. Yeah. Beautiful conversion, that should be it. All right, Knuckle do answering back. Okay, okay, we've got a real match here. Back and forth we go. And every round's been pretty much similar with Knuckle do taking a, a significant lead, but. I just thought Lashar's been able to close out on this occasion, though. Not to be able to get himself ahead. And again, those booms dictating Try the way they, they, they engage. After the boom is such an oppressive tool. Such a powerful tool. How do you get around that? And Lashar now fighting from the corner. Oh, oh gets hit by the overhead. God, that's what's on store for you as well if you're asleep at the wheel. Oh, okay. level two. But Lashar too many. never asleep on defense. Proactive, looking for those gaps, looking for those opportunities to turn the tide. Look at that corner carry as well, Logan. Yeah, exactly. Coast to coast. Ooh, tried to pay out of last kick. Trade. Big Button. Life lead Should be able to kill two. him. If he finishes his combo. One more. Nice. Just, Just enough. enough. Clean. Strong response up. after that first game. And they're already back in there. There's like no, no time to wait. <laughs> Just changed, up the, there. just changed up the pattern a little bit there, didn't he? Lashar just looks a bit less comfortable. Wow, Jinx. <laughs> Shut your mouth, F-word, as he busts out another perfect parry to punish that boom. Meet your overhead well blocked. Whoa. What a beautiful whip oh, 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 This guy. Always has the right button, but knuckle do. Using the meter. Waking gonna, up with it. I want to say something quite bold, Persia. Have we seen an OD flash kick blocked from knuckle do yet today? Man's looking to get Bun out. Here we go. I don't think we have. I mean, when he's got the right read, it's too oppressive. It's too hard to deal with. You know, he's making you guess. Ooh, and he's waking up. <laughs> the jab was too early. He got punished, Coward. Nice oh, slide on reaction. Punch. Consistent. Last kick. This is a very tight round. Pretty much even right now. Another perfect parry. Ooh, Ooh the frame trap. Good trap on activation. Oh, oh, he burns himself out. That's bad. Oh, oh, nice. oh, yeah. oh, just for oh, the landing oh, frames. Oh. Very good situational awareness there from Knuckle Do. All angles covered, I must say. Yes. Fantastic play from Knuckle Do to close out that round, but it's still only game three here. Big whiff punish. 
Do it cancel. Oh, he was waiting for it. I've got to get into doing that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all the top players are doing that. Why don't I do that? Minus two parry, baby. Just do it. All right, let's see if Lashar can make use of having Knuckle do in the corner at this range where he can probably react to a lot of different things, but oh. no, Knuckle do fights his way out easily. Starting to make the right reads when he gets in with that boom block, block done pressure. Here it comes again. Will he make the right read again? Yes, he does. Standing. He's getting mixed up. High low mix up the overhead, the crouch and medium kick. Finally it's gets. working for Dude. And that's the big difference from the first game. This offense is actually paying off for Dude. Making He's the right reads. Openings and converting on them. Commentator's curse there, though. There's another perfect parry. Changed the tie, but no, not exactly as he lands this one. Towards the corner you go. Safe jump. Oh. No, boom came. Yeah. Are we committed? Yeah, yep. there was no cancel. Did not work out for Lashar at that time. Knuckles, you taking the lead in this set. I mean, that's the beauty of a best of nine, though. You can kind of take those risks early on in the set. But eventually, you got to start conserving. <laughs> oh, 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 actually counter hit a delayed button there from Dune. He's sent to the corner because of it. Big chunk of damage. Ooh. Oh, my God, that oh, hit. He was looking for a stand for it. Yeah, just hit Crouch for some reason. Dude just froze him, was probably looking for a DI or something. He's reacted so well to them. Another perfect parry, so casually whips them out. That's Lashar. Wants to get back into the range of those perfect parries count. Oh, oh knocked down. That perfect parry count is... It's unbelievable. Crazy high right now, trying to throw him off with a drive rush freeze. And again! But there's another perfect parry from Lashar. And we go into the corner. Oh, no, yeah, no, he's gonna get one. No. not gonna pay off. What a strange bet from Knuckle do something he knows that we no, don't. That's going to cost him the round. One. Very nice. Very nice. We are seeing Lashar just hang on to that range. The perfect range needs to be in for dear life. He was like, this is where I want to live. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, he's so good at fighting from that range. He can just kick back, take his time. Has to absorb a lot of pressure, because as you see, every time he parries on yes. these boots, it's not perfect. Nakudu gets in with plus frames, but every now and then he gets a scramble like this in his favor and makes the momentum count. Counting hit light punch, but nothing after it. A rare drop from the shot. He's probably committed to nothing. Back to neutral we go. Yeah, he's definitely showing off his patience. Oh, oh that's he massive. Goes. He's going to recover a bunch of ga gauge here as well. He's worried about his burnout, but that is a massive turning point. Trying to make it two apiece. The empty stomp. Oh, we have to hit! Ooh! And it's still looking good for Lashar right now, though. Gets the throw. throw. He thankfully has point. enough drive gauge oh. in the corner. Doesn't burn him out from that as well. Ooh, oh, nice. does now, though. Burns him out. Overhead hits as well. So close to chip. No! Oh, oh, and there it is, the OD oh, boom. Closing it out for Du. Pulls himself into the lead, looking to make it 3-1. He's got the level two here going into the final round, which is actually a good situation for Chandler. He changes the matchup significantly. Boom's got to be a bit less. What? He committed. Oh, oh yeah, he's already done the blue committee. What a call out. Reacted to the green flash. Yeah. And he committed to that. He got a perfect parry. That's what allowed him to get that Ood super out so quickly. His perfect parry rate is just unbelievable. Mm. Knuckle do fighting from the corner now, fighting well, but huge life deficit. Oh, he gets caught low. He's gonna get a little free and he's gonna get burnt out as well. Was he anticipating the overhead that time? Possibly, I'm not sure, but Knuckle Dude definitely needed that to close this life lead. Oh, trade in. That one like, might be plus. Oh, nice. Oh, oh the legs protects him from that. Gets punished. Then he oh, reset. It's all working out. Knuckle Dude goes into a 3 1 lead here in this Red Bull Kumite NYC semi final. And Lashar with it all to do. Sneaking that in when you least expect it. What a turning point, man. The Shah's playing this neutral superbly, but the openings are just not being converted into as much as they can be. Maybe he's just a little bit wary, not committing fully, but there's been a few openings here that he could have converted into big damage. No such drawbacks for Knuckle Dude. He is taking absolutely every chance and putting big damage up on the board. I'm stunned by how well he's, how well he's perfect parry in the slow boom. Oh, oh! man, connects. And back into the corner we Same go. Jump. Back, that's just how there's nothing to do. Trade here, Ooh. fighting from the corner. God, it's always fought from the corner so well in every street fighter. Maybe more so here than others. Oh, wow. Trade it's going to burn her out again. You have to stay there, recover your gauge. Here he comes. Nice. Oh, he walks in. Burnout now, where's the level two? 
Is it coming? Yeah, he knows he can't throw those booms. Oh, bad job. Dude, just gonna hold on to that super game. Holding that rate. That. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Dragon no. suplex. Oh, 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 again. Oh. Even when you're playing on a keyboard like this guy, walk yeah. forward block is still very difficult to do. The jump in at the start of the round. He's gonna level three. Yes, he is. What a way to start this round with a massive life lead. Yeah, he gets a lot of that drive gauge back that he spent on that combo also. Oh, Spectre plus frames. Just takes the throw. Oh, Bust out of the corner, though. Got to. You got to sometimes. Oh, 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 my, oh my goodness. Knuckle Doom's offense is flowing. Everything connecting. Everything being converted, and he's 4-1 up now, looking to close it out and disgusting. make this an all North American Kumite here in NYC. <laughs> oh, we're never going to head into this one, guys. <laughs> Somebody do this, man. Do. Oh, beautiful interruption there. The perfect parry on the boom, and he jabs out of the bazooka knee. So lashar has got a lot of answers here. He has. Playing just superbly well. The amount of reward he's getting for it is just not enough in this matchup. It's so uphill the way Knuckle Dude plays it. And Knuckle Dude's really playing to go strengths there, regardless of the perfect parries. Ooh. Nice. Another one. Can he make this count? The empty stomp again. Oh, two oh. plus. Oh. Throw whiff, we're still in block stun there. Three perfect parries in a row there from Lashar. All speed variations of the boom. This guy's been in training mode for a long time. It's gonna get burnt out again. It's been a feature of the matchup. Burns himself Ooh, out. Let's close this. Yes, the count of his stand jab. Closes it out. I mean, Knuckle Dude's playing in such a way that it's kind of making Lashar second guess a lot of his tried and true options that he's going for. So hopefully you can just shake that off. You gotta bring what you know every time. He's just leaving a, a very small margin for error, right. though, you know? So even when you get scenarios like this in the sequence, it's costing Lashar meter to get him there. And he knows as yeah. long as he gets him low enough, he can bring it back every single time, which is what Ooh. he's done. And here we go. This is exactly what we're talking about. Ooh. He's going to get a level. No, he didn't go to level three. He's going to go to the level two, level one instead. Sorry. Back to neutral. We go burnt out. Horrible situation for Lashar. Oh, Rango. I have never seen someone play this well. And, and been this far down. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy. Like, Lashar's making godlike plays. Yes. He just landed that, but he's, he's still in burnout. He's still got an uphill battle. And level two's there if Knuckle wants to activate it. There's a tension. He's going to get his meter back now. All right, it is St. Patrick's Ooh. Day, so we're back in the green for Lashar. I love that, Logan. <laughs> Can he Saving get a round, one, Can he get a game here? Oh, no, Knuckle oh. going to close it. It's set point, Knuckle Do. Lashar just can't get him off him. And has not really been breaking those throws either. So over time, it just adds up and adds up. You know what? Nice. Again, I don't blame him. to the green stuff. Let's the OD. Oh, oh he wasn't expecting it. Oh, he's burnt out. Oh, this is horrible. Oh! So right. important. That's an answer. So important. Trust to get out of the corner. He's gonna, oh, he's guaranteed. Yeah, he's no he can't do nothing. Watch out for the reset. Watch out for the reset. Watch out for the reset. No, he's just going to do combos. OK. Straight into the level three. I love that. It's going to actually freeze. Yeah the drive gate as well. So, horrible situation here. More gauge back for himself to maintain this corner pressure as well. No! Oh! 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 reaching. Knuckleton takes it. So strong, so strong. That knuckle dude on absolute smoke, guys. And he just seems to get stronger and stronger as this tournament goes on. And he's booked his place in the grand finals of Red Bull Kumite, a place I don't think I've seen him before. He's obviously won some massive tournaments. I mean, for a long time, we hadn't seen Knuckle Do. He was out of the game. He was retired. He was a crypto trader. Yeah, when you're talking about, you know, the, the American greats, Knuckle Do obviously comes up, but for a, a, a very big part of Street Fighter V, he was exactly, not exactly. part of the, uh, of the scene of the community competitively. But he has come back with a vengeance, with a work ethic that, you know, is almost unparalleled. He has been entering almost every weekly event. A fantastic run from him, and that is paying Just off. Running right his now. own event as, event as well, must add that, Logan. Mm -hmm. He looks incredible. I mean, Persia, I, I'm sure you're impressed by the way he played there. He's booked himself pl a place in the final. It's going to be up against Punk or Mena. Just a matter of time before we find out. Yep, and we'll find out very soon. But first, we got to talk to the boss, Rob. Take it away. This man just did enough talking with his fists, so I'm not gonna ask him anything. 
Knuckle Dew, you are officially our first competitor in the grand finals of Red Bull Kumite. Lashar, you just put on a phenomenal performance at Capcom Cup. Now, I would like to personally request that Capcom investigate his controller he used, because there's no way he became this trash that fast. It's impossible. You love mediocrity. New York loves mediocrity, clearly. That's why you root for the Knicks. Clearly. Lashar, your time here is done. Come with me. Oh, before we do that, before we do that, I guess we should make some noise for my mans, one of the strongest players in the world, Lashar! Lashar, please hand your fighter car over to Ally Joe. Z, here's a couple extra dollars. Get him as far away from me as possible, please. You're lost. You're lost. Goodbye. Don't take. Stop. Don't take your time. You ain't take your time losing. Quick, quick, quicker, quicker, you, you, quicker. You, you lost much faster than that. Now you want to take your time. Get out of our sight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one half of grand finals officially set. Let's send things back over to our commentator. Is this the greatest heel tag team of all time? It's pretty great. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Great. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah, great. I mean, if Rob TV makes it out of the arena alive, he might have a, a good career ahead of him. <laughs> yeah, in I wrestling. mean, he's taking a big chance here in NYC. I mean, he might have a crowd turning against him. Joe, Joe, and, Joe and Rob might need some stilts if they want to become wrestlers, <laughs> but other than that, they've got the character work down pat, absolutely. To a T. I mean, he's already been a bad guy. I remember his match against Brian F. It was like 5 0 up and still talking trash. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> but now he's got Elijah Eli Joe as his uh, sidekick. It's uh, even more potent, more deadly, I think. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at this bracket, though, you know, because not only did we lose a lot of players along the way, but they had to lose and then deal with those two afterwards. It's even more difficult. <laughs> I mean, it's been one hell of a Red Bull Kumite. It started pretty, you know, anticlimactic with a lot of dominant wins all going one way. I think it was 5-0, 5-0, 5-1, 5-1, 5-0, 5 It was getting ridiculous. But then finally we had that really amazing set and it just continued on from there. Massive shout out to Broski and some of the other guys who performed this weekend. Joel Kevin. Joel yes. Kevin as well. Fantastic Phenomenal set. performance oh, there against Chris Wong. Yeah. Um, but right about now, this bracket's favorite. looking real familiar to a lot of the people. Yeah, man, we're just online. Here. It's a weekly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for shout all the out to TNS. Shout out <laughs> to Can Opener. Shout yes. out to Arnold Rebel. Yeah, this is, this is looking mad familiar. We've got Knuckle doing grand finals. Is he going to play Punk or Mena? I yes. guess NA is on top. We're going to find out soon. But I do want to hear from Lashar one last time as he's in the cab with Z. Lashar, I have a few extra dollars that Joe gave me to send you far, far away, but I'm not going to do that. I want to spend it on something beautiful. I saw that you are using a really special joystick. Can I buy that from you? Please show us, everyone, the special tools that you have been using to beat up everyone. Uh, 이 키보드를 사는데 쓰고 싶은데 한번 이 키보드 좀 보여주시겠습니까? 아. 오. That is the cheating machine. Is that even Is that even regulated? Is that against the rules? No, when you put together that uh, amazing technology plus the cat-like reflexes of a king of fighters player, this is the result you get. I want to you to give the uh, your fans and your friends a shout out back home. Let them know about you. Okay. 
앞에 바로 너무 길어도 제가 좀 자르고요. 뒤에 지금 특별하게 샷아웃 하고 싶은 사람 있으면 말씀해 주세요. 고마운 사람들. 어, 저를 응원해 주시는 분들은 모두 샷아웃 하고 싶고 그리고 이제 이번 대회에서 일본 분들이 저를 응원을 많이 해주셔서 특히 이번 대회에서는 일본 분들의 응원이 도움이 많이 되지 않, 않았나 싶어요. Obviously, the shout out to the everyone who's supporting me, uh, especially, especially for the, the for a lot of Japanese fans uh, cheering for me. So, thank you and appreciate. It. It's a good time. Thank you. All right, it's time to go home and back to the two villains, Joe and the Battle King. We now have Knuckle Do on one side of Grand Finals. But this other semifinals match has the potential to become an instant classic. I don't know if you guys know exactly who we have coming up, but we are not about to make you wait any longer. Punk the God, Mina or D, come to the game! This match goes back years. We've seen Punk and Mina collide time and time again, and it has always delivered. We've seen wins on both sides, but the Red Bull Kumite stage, the cage is not about the past. It is about right now. Who is better? Is it America's Punk the God? Is it the Dominican Republic's Mina or D, we are about to find out. Casters, who you got? Yo, are we in NYC or are we in Santo Domingo? Because I swear <laughs> the majority of this crowd is Dominican. Yeah, you sure we're in New York? Tonight. Come on, man. Yeah, I mean, the energy is amazing. And what's interesting about this is I feel like we have Mina, got the crowd on his side. That only empowers him even more. But then you have Punk who loves proving people who cheer against him wrong. So it's nothing almost more. like he a power for the both more of them. Than that. I love <laughs> the fact that for a while, Punk was like thinking, I'm not really going to main cannon. He picked up the Luke and I think he won a tournament with the Luke, but he's come back, he's stuck with it, despite everyone saying she's strong, but she's not as strong as the top five. And he's here with an opportunity to prove that she's a tournament winning capable character. And no one better in the world, I think, with this character than this guy. And now he's going to go up against a guy who we have seen him beat before, but we've also seen him lose to before because right. they play so often in this epic semi. Fun. Bro, we got two of the most exciting players in the world of Cat Street Bear. Fighter Let's 6 go. right now here in the semi-finals, and it is first of five action. We haven't seen these guys play in a long-form set, I think, like this in competition. Yeah, not before. for a while, no. We've seen them go head-to-head -head in multiple tournaments for huge amounts of money on the line, but here we are in a long-form set, and I cannot wait. Two of the most absolutely best players in Street Fighter 6 in the world right now going at it in Kumite. It's exactly what we're here for. And you know, if you're going to take Mena on, on, his, on his word, he said earlier on, he didn't like the way that Big Bird was talking about being champ, and he was going to take that away from him. Okay. Last time he said he was going to take something away from the birds, he did it. Could be the case there again, but he's still got to get past Punk, and then, of course, he's got to get past Do in the final if he's going to pull that off, but it wouldn't be a surprise if he did. <laughs> Punk with a maxed out smack talk. If he wins today, He's going to put another six bars on top of that? <laughs> With the God, hard, God hand power up? Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. We were backstage in the pl Players Lounge and he was saying, I don't know how many more YouTube videos I can make about you beating me, all right? So it's got to change. It's got to change this time. <laughs> It will be Blanca, right, most likely. That's what they usually goes for in this match. I've seen him rock, rock the Luke as well. But I think Blanca fights Kami quite well. 5-5, five, five. it's not like he wins it, but has some really good tools to counter Kami's uh, strongest play. That would be my guess. I could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, it's Ooh. looking like it's Blanca locked in on the screen. Yeah. Blanca, of course, a very good answer to Kami. But it looks like... Is he going, is he going Blanca? It looks like who I is, can see it? Punk hovering over Luke. Shut up. No, he isn't. But we're still on the character select screen. Yes, yes. No, we, back will. To no. we will find it's out Cammy, very soon. I'm just looking at the screen sure. on the stage, bro. I'm like, I'm giving you that exclusive. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get it to Rob so that. we can get started. Moments like this is why we watch Competitive Street Fighter. 
On one side, you have Punk the God. Some call him brash. Some can say that he's cocky, but nobody can say that he is not one of the most dominant Street Fighter players that the world has ever seen. The leader of the Alpha Academy fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then on the other side, we have the bull. This man put his scene on his back. He let he put so many players on, and now, of course, he is representing Team Bandits. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen this matchup play out so many times over the years, and now it is time to see who is dominant in the world of Street Fighter VI. One of these guys are going to grand finals of Red Bull Kumite. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Punk the God versus Mena or Die? We cannot have the Punk versus men a matchup without our tried and true tradition. So let's do it. On the count of three, Kumite, Kumite, Kumite. One, two, three, Kumite, Kumite. Then enough said, it is time. Gentlemen, let's begin. It Woo! is time, it is time. Let's go, baby, let's go. The second semi-final about to kick off here. I'm joined by Logan at Persia. And we have a familiar matchup, as we mentioned earlier, yes. taking place, man. I cannot call this one. We know Mena has the edge, but there's something in Punk's eyes on that stage today. No, and he's playing amazing. I mean, I feel like he is always playing amazing, but every single fighter we have had on this stage today has played great. What's going on? Let Audio issues. Us. No Need to make sure that Punk can hear everything clearly. Okay, okay. anti climb <laughs> We'll be able to react to all of these blankers. Shenanigans. Meanwhile, Menon's like, I don't need no audio. <laughs> no, and he famously doesn't. No, yeah. like, <laughs> no he like, he t with all that noise behind him, it's like yeah. a power up for him. You know, it's well, crazy. Especially in here, damn. Oh, yeah. You know what? You were talking about MVPs earlier. Yeah. We were mentioning players. What about this freaking crowd this weekend, man? Pick yourselves yes. up, man. Absolutely. What a crowd. Yes. The noise audience. has been electrifying. And if Menor is the guy he says he is, that's just going to give him the power up he needs to potentially take the whole thing. But as Persia pointed out before the set started, Punk feeds off proving people wrong. He's definitely going to want to show that this NYC crowd should have been backing the American. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's one of theirs, mate. Yeah, don't forget, yeah? One of our yeah, own, forgot. they say. It's yeah, you all, all they claimed American him. Uh, top three. Green card on its way, man. <laughs> no, it's funny, though, because we had the interview earlier with the semi-finalists, and... He was like, oh, yeah, you know what? I could rep NA. And then everyone picked Punk to win. And he said, never mind. <laughs> I rep DR only. <laughs> Should have asked the crowd, not the players, if they yeah. thought he was going to win, you know? All right, blanket balls from across the screen. Let's see if Punk can show his famous reactions. Ooh. Yo, sweet. And there's oh, the face as well straight away. Big damage, big corner carries, spiral arrow. Looking for a wake up, walks back. Optimal punishment. There the we go, heavy. Punk. Showing the reactions and the drive gauge in his pocket. Oh, that's unfortunate. And that's a massive escape there from Mena. Ready. Two, two, the reaction's too good for his own good there, Punk. Just caught him out of the sky too high. Yeah, moving too fast. And suddenly it's him who's in danger of losing his gauge. Yo, that Punk set uh, against Chris Wong, some of the whiff punishes were unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I said that that nerf to Kraut's medium punch was minor, but when you got a guy like Punk scouting it out, maybe not so minor after all. The range on that, man. That's another busted Kraut's medium punch in the game, I must say. Ooh. It's Blankers. Well, that's mad active as well. All right, oh. activation stations. Oh, oh, oh. Driver get out of away. here with all of that. Back in there, though. Didn't get much for it. Might get burnt out if yeah, you're not careful. Burnout time. Yes, here we go. Time to collect. He's in arrears. Ooh, Ooh. he didn't react. I thought he was buffering there, he wasn't ready. What a clever drive impact there from Mena RD. The setup. Another one. Oh, yeah, big damage. Come on, guess. Just jumped out with nice. a jump throw. Oh, it didn't work out. 
men are coming out on top of the scramble. Oh, did he try and sweep again? What was that he caught? Yeah, beats him to the punch there. Into, into the throw, spending a lot of gauge to maintain his pressure. Ooh, straight out with the OD dive kick and the side swap. But oh, there we anything go. Anything you can do, I can do better. I'm not taking right any of these throws. Spending bar left, right, and center. Sweep whiffs. Ooh. 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 The counter hit oh, link oh, into the oh, level one. Hard, We've seen him hit that so many times oh, now. My days. The jab part is good. Yes. Oh. He is playing so clean right now. These men are playing some pussy. Shots or yikes. Oh, again, he's doing the early crash. Medium this time it beat the jab. Ooh. Punks doesn't know what to do about the drive rush. Men are mixing it up on him. Medium kick off. Oh, oh no! Oh my days, he's gonna get some trade here. This is gonna hurt big time. Another blushy. Yes, oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's done. It's game over, man. No, still in there, still in there. Oh, has a chance. And then burns oh. out, but he's wow. ready for really so crispy right now. Men are RD. They started very strongly for Punk, but he's just so difficult to adapt against. We saw the same thing against Broski earlier. Ugh, Broski might take it at one point. They made that final adjustment. No, don't. No, you could have gone again. <laughs> oh, the roundhouse for the jungle. What a trade for Mena right there. And again, has Slow. Punk locked down in the corner. Another throw is good. How many more we got? Oh, no! The delay. <laughs> It was not another throw. Guess the game program. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Oh, boss it out. Not having any of that. Good Left bait, safe. Oh, oh, man, oh, please. Oh my face, this guy. There's no escape. The plushie making all of that <laughs> safe. The pressure is on, and we've gone back to the character Ooh. selection it and loop. It will be. After everything I said earlier. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be Cami. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Luke. In. Yeah, Blanca pick is a good pick for Cami. It's very it difficult for her to she, navigate. She can't play her usual game at all. But well, she can, but when, when the Blanca is playing like that, no, she yeah, can't. Yeah, I mean, if Blanca ever hits that trade roundhouse, the damage is horrible. Exactly. So it really puts her off wanting to play that dive kick game. And other than that. Man, how warm is this Luke, though? It just seems like a sudden decision. There's right. something you planned to do earlier. That wasn't even a punish counter, and it hit. It's all working out here for Men are to continuing where he left off on the cami. It's oh looking, my days! It's looking familiar. It's looking. Oh the my god! Keeps on doing the sweep from that reach. Somebody <laughs> tell him it doesn't reach. Nice check. Oh. <laughs> we, got, Trying. we got better fans everywhere, man. <laughs> I don't know where all those DR flags came out from, bro, but they must have been handing them out. I'm, the I'm, hearing more, I'm hearing more Spanish than English in the crowd right now. That's all I'm going to say, baby. Yo, hey. keep them tight. Oh, yeah, the hit there didn't want to burn himself out, though. Oh, no. blanca has got a load of answers, actually, if you start ODD being the, the drive bus stream. Oh. Oh. I expect to see that. Looks more uphill than with the blank. It's that familiarity, that warm with your character. Is he ready to whip out a Luke right now? Did he prepare to whip out a Luke? Immaculate spacing on every single option and button that Mena throws out there. The block and then the tech. Still his turn. Mm. Oh, just a one ball this time into the throw. So clever from Mena. The momentum on his side. Punk in big trouble here. Not Makes the run read him. again. Yeah, blocking it out and he wastes his time. Gets the interruption and now it's Punk's turn again. Oh. But there's the big drop. Oh, lucky he didn't get a drive rush cancelled there on that cross meeting for some reason. Good confirm on the target combo. Catch him trying to escape. Where are you going? The roundhouse in the back roundhouse into the perfect flash knuckle. Oh, he didn't level three. Why did he not level three there? Would have recovered his gauge. Maybe he dropped it. He's in the corner now. Horrible situation. Ooh. Level two's on his way. Massive drop from Punk. This could be it. Time to guess. Oh my oh, god. No, the chip's going to be massive as well. All right, he's got the gauge oh, back though, and Punk's still in it. Just in time. What? The oh, level. Oh. No, the level two win. What? I can't believe the level two win. He's gone straight back in. Based on Punk's reaction to that, he wasn't expecting it to win either. But now, Mena up 3 0. Did he, did he reel back? Oh my god. A little god. bit, yup. What's the input for level two? Is that supposed to be a level two? Yeah, it's a good anti air. We saw him use oh, it. Oh, the old man hits. We saw uh, Chris Wong use it quite a fair bit as well as an anti air. But... Yeah, on the dive kick was awesome, but that's a different scenario. Okay, okay. Punk, get out of the corner now. Can he get something going? I'm not sure how he got away the back throw, but he did. The safe jump into the throw. Yeah, Punk desperately needs some momentum right now. 
And he's wow. getting it. Free for, against Blanco. Three for three. Oh! oh! Okay. Okay. All right, he's waking up. He's waking up. Ooh. Nice stream there, catches him low. Beautiful spacing on that board. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Which oh way my did he face. go? He is everywhere. Yeah, bust it out, have to. Zim low. Oh, look at this, he's Woo. attacking that gauge. What a sequence there from Minardi. Has Punk close to the corner again. Oh, okay. It's an opening. Nice awareness to convert as well into the punish counter combo. Wow, he did that after the crouch medium. Good patient blocking there from Punk. But Mena's out of the corner now, back to neutral we go. Gets away with that jumping. Wasn't sure what it was going to be. Punk's got the meters as close as we can get an opening. Yeah, oh, oh, it's a whiff! Swinging for the fences! And all he gets from his troubles is a beautiful whiff, whiff punish from Mena RD. Man, Mena's playing like Ooh. he's aiming for that 5 up. Got that level 3 if he wants to use it early doors. No, holds on to him. I haven't seen a single level 3 from Luke since he picked him. Had an opportunity to do it as well. He's got a life lead here. Yes, needs to hang on to it. Goes in. Here comes the level two from Menorati. Straight away the drive from us, but he's almost burnt out. Can't let him get the sequence going now if he's burnt out. Nice jump. Oh, Ooh. he gets him anyway. Got count hit on the way down. Yeah, he's attacking heavy. the gate. Lots of drive gauge gone. One there more, and there is. we go. Burn out. That's too close. No. Surely could have swept that. Everything working for Mena. Oh, he's not ready for the drive in back. Guess for game here, guys. Oh, the side swing. That was this guy. There's more. There's still more. Oh, no, 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 no. The crowd never oh, changes. Yeah, Somebody Absolutely stop this man. Absolutely explodes. Somebody stop this man. That was disgusting. Yo, high five. Clip that. Straight back in. The frame one rematch. And Mena looking to close this out. 5-0, Punk fighting for his bracket survival. Ooh. Oh, Mena is feeling it right now. He's got so many tricks in the bag. That setup was disgusting, Persia. That was revolting. The last minute side switch, and then it continued on. Man, in a Red Bull Kumite semi-final, you're styling like that? Oh, we're going to set point. Mena RD. One round away from the grand finals here in NYC. What's it gonna be, Punk? What a dominant performance so far in this match from Mina. And he's still going. Ooh, another plushie. He hasn't gone so well. Throws him out the corner, was that on purpose? Fake, fake blanket oh. ball. Oh, <laughs> Everything's Jesus. coming out the bag. What side? Oh. Good parry. Nice block. Punk's trying to stay in this. Man, it's got a huge life lead. Oh, that's oh, it. No. He tried to win first the crowd's medium. He was too perfect. far. Ending it on a perfect. Mena taking it 5-0 over Punk and moving on to grand finals. Nah. And with the energy of this crowd, Damn. I don't know if he could be stopped. Damn. I mean, if you're knuckle dude on the sideline watching that, you got to go up against the guy who trains against the guy on a daily basis. Also and has true. this kind of momentum and form. I'm seeing nothing in the crowd but red, white, and blue, but this flag looks very different. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm not sure if we're in New York or if we're in DR itself right now. Mena RD has set the crowd on fire. Mena has definitely got the home field advantage in yes. this grand finals. A fantastic performance there, an emphatic victory. He pulled out all the stops in that set and he was with punishing like the best of them as well alongside some of the trickiest stuff we've seen him bring out in his illustrious Blanca career as well. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> highlight real for Punk there, how unfortunate. I, mean, I don't think I've seen Punk like beating that badly in any game, bro. especially in tournament, but just, just goes to show the level that Men has come to, the comfort with the crowd, the fact he plays without his headphones on and just takes it all in. It surely transcends into the game on the screen. You can see it every moment, Persia. Yes, it's all such a statement, but we have Rob on the stage right now, ready to talk to our players. So let's hear what they got to say. Mena RD, 
going up against Punk the God in semifinals and a 5-0 dominant victory. Mina, what do you have to say? All I have to say first, you know, I know Punk struggles with that matchup, but we all know he's an incredible player. And I know he's gonna keep improving. Eventually he's gonna figure it out. And I wanna take this opportunity, it's a tradition that I'm, I'm starting to do every single tournament, is thank God before the grand finals to show that regardless the result, win or lose, we have to be thankful for the opportunity. And I have to be thankful because I have all of you here supporting and, and watching the tournament. So I gotta thank him and then thank you guys. You can join the other players in the back. Mino RD, ladies and gentlemen. You know how many tournaments you gotta be cooking in to have a pre-grand finals ritual? Punk the God. You came so close. I know it was heartbreaking, but at least you didn't have to lose in grand finals this time. That said, this is one of the main faces of the FGC. This is the best neutral game in the business today. This is the leader of the Alpha Academy. Give it up one more time for Paul the Goal! Hold on, where's, over here, where's Eli, bro, where's Eli Joe? Where's Joe? Z, what's going on? Where's Joe? Looks like I get another chance. What did you just say? I feel like I get another chance. performance was that, Punk? Well, are you in a crowd? Punk, a five donut. Joe. A five donut, Punk? Rob, I'm not touching that car to get that thing in the trash immediately. No, no, no. Punk, hey, you can't go back in. Punk, get out of my sight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battle King does not do this often, but I want to take this chance to formally apologize that you guys had to see such a trash performance in front of you just now. That said, we are close to, actually it is time for Grand Finals. Let's throw everything back to our commentators. Oh my goodness. Not like this, guys. Not like oh this. My guys, where's, where's, where's the empathy? Oh, what's going on with these guys? It's Bro, as, as the show's None. gone on, it's they've got worse, got worse Honestly. and worse and worse, and I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> I knew you'd love it. Of course you love I'm it. I'm all about it. You were born a heel, mate. You absolutely, I can't take it, man. It's breaking my heart, man. Guys, enough. So let's start showing these players some damn respect. Come on, man. <laughs> what fantastic run it has been. Knuckle Do and Mena RD in the grand finals. And it has to be said, is, is NA East the best region in the world? Listen, they're definitely the Ooh. most informed region in the world because we Ooh. had Japan represented in strong numbers We here. had Asia East represented Big as time. well. The likes of Taiwan, Hong Kong, and South Korea. They've all gone as well. We had some European representation I too. I mean, let's not talk too much about that. I mean, let's get a good <laughs> run. Listen, every nation has been represented, every region to some degree. But it's not the fact that they're here, right, and they're in the finals, right? It's the fact that the way they've won their matches as well, man. I yeah. mean... 
it's been so impressive. So for me, I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to say NA's the best. Sorry, like, sorry guys. Yeah, we'll be enemies <laughs> forever. But Persia, your people are on form. I'll give them that much. I mean, they showed up, they showed out, and we're going to see more of that. But of course, we got to hear from Punk after all of that. So we're going to kick it on over oh, to yes, the Oh, yes, the interview cab. we've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Punk. Oh, it's super dark down there. But in the darkness, I need to know. You've got that fly quest drip. You've got the vitamins. You've got that D squared and the off white AM 90s. I need you to do a give me your assessment of this taxi drip. Do I got it or no? Nah, you looking fly, Z. Won't lie. You looking real nice. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Punk, you are so dominant, and your your gamer tag, Punk the God, but I've never seen a 0-5 donut from such a remarkable player. It was almost like Punk the Human. What was the last time you faced that type of score? And you talked about how NA needs to get better and learn. What will you do from this defeat to get better and get your revenge next time? Um, I mean, with... I'm hoping that I can do is Capcom help me out and just nerf Blanca in this upcoming patch because I know y'all seen me losing to him too many times. I'm not that bad, Capcom. Like, I feel like I can't be bad enough that I'm just losing to Blanca all the time. Like, the character is something wrong with him. So, I think that for me to improve in this, Capcom got to help me out a little bit, Z. Capcom, please. We need to get your insights. In the Grand Finals, we've got some good representation, but you know these two players in the Grand Finals. Who do you think will take it? Um, honestly, I believe Nakudu will take it right now. I feel like he's just been playing amazing. You know, I play him every single week in online tournaments, Grand Finals all the time. So I know how good he is. And I think right now, Gao is very very strong and i feel like just not a lot of people really have a lot of experience fighting a guy like knuckle dude honestly uh and i think that for the characters right now since the luke nerf the, for the level one the matchup became a lot harder for luke and blanca i think naturally just lose to gal in street fighter games so i feel like knuckle dude has a big edge right now in my opinion that is sage advice from the leader of the Alpha Academy. Thank you so much, Punk, for your gracing us with your presence. We're going to go to a break with more Street Fighter action right after this.
we're back with the final episode of the best Red Bull Kumite moments. We'll be looking back at some of the most iconic moments in the event's history in anticipation for Red Bull Kumite 2024, hosted in Brooklyn, New York. Let's start things off at Red Bull Kumite 2017. After rarely attending tournaments in 2016, in an effort to balance Street Fighter and his day job, Nemo entered Red Bull Kumite in Paris to show that he wasn't just some salaryman. After making quick work of Phenom and PR Balrog, Nemo faced his first big challenge, Bonchan. Entering Red Bull Kumite 2017, Bonchan had been undefeated for three straight tournaments. However, without dropping a single game, Nemo put that streak to an end. After being knocked into the loser's bracket by Gachikun, Nemo was forced to claw his way back and reverse sweep Infectious in loser's finals to earn a rematch in grand finals. In that rematch, Nemo looked like a different person, winning six straight games to get his revenge and be crowned the champion of Red Bull Kumite 2017. Next up is Fujimura, who won back-to-back -back Red Bull Kumite titles. Fujimura was absolutely dominant in 2018, where he took out the likes of Daigo and that year's Evo champ Problem X to win the first of his two titles with Ibuki. Then, on home soil in 2019, Fujimura looked even better despite nerfs to his character and went on to beat Tokido, Problem X again, and eventually Infectious to defend his title and become the first and only two-time Red Bull Kumite champion. Finishing up today's countdown are two moments that go hand in hand with each other. Let's go back to 2016 with the first Red Bull Kumite event for Street Fighter V. After qualifying through the last chance qualifier, a new star player would emerge and make a name for himself. That player was Big Bird, who was still a relatively unknown name at the time. After falling into the loser's bracket at the hands of Bonchan, Big Bird went on an impressive run and made the most of his appearance at an incredibly stacked event. During his run, he beat Xian and GamerB on his way to an impressive fifth place finish and put himself on the map as a potential star in years to come. Though he didn't rise to stardom right away, his big breakout was in 2023, where Big Bird pulled out all the stops at the first Kumite for Street Fighter VI. This time, he was one of the favorites to win the event. In what seemed like destiny, Big Bird matched up against Angry Bird, his best friend and training partner in round one. And the two had a monumental set of which Big Bird eventually came out on top. He then beat Kakeru to make it into grand finals on his way to win the entire event. I feel like Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. Am I crazy or is someone in my back seat hanging out? What is going on? I feel, I sense a passenger in here and I don't remember. What are you doing in the car? Joe, what are you doing in the back seat? And where do you want to go? Z, I need you to take me home as quick as possible. And why is that? Back in my day, we didn't go five donut. We didn't go five one. We brought it out to at least a five four, maybe a five three. I, I gotta get home quick, dude. My head is killing me. I can't do this anymore. Joe, I'm gonna take you home, but I, you are just being too toxic the entire day, ripping up cards. You know that in order to go eat sports, we need to clean up our act. The only thing that we're eating here in the FGC are those glizzies at the DJ booth, okay? Like, I'm gonna tone it down. Listen, hold on. If, if, if at all, if we're gonna be esports, I need real players. I need real players here next year. You know what? I'm just gonna have to play myself then, I guess. Yeah, if we don't get canceled back then, we'll see. But I need to go back to the Battle King. We've got a stellar lineup. King, what you got for us? What do I got? A new bodyguard. Eli Joe, you are fire. I can't believe this. You talked all that trash and now you scared? I don't understand that whatsoever. Soft, disgusting, disloyal. With that being the case, we are focused on more important things right now. We promised you guys a show. We promised you that Red Bull Kumite New York was gonna be special. Ladies and gentlemen, if I was right from the beginning, if this is special, if you're ready for grand finals, make some noise! As you can see, we have all of the Red Bull Kumite competitors, all of our fighters lined up, ready to show respect to our final two representatives. First, 
fighting while fighting from Team Shopify, hailing from Florida, the USA's very own Nakodo. The man himself. And next, fighting out of the Dominican Republic. The Bull, the two-time Capcom Cup champion, Mena R.D. Oh my gosh, the air just changed. The tension is insane. We have our grand finals officially set. To my left, of course, Knuckle Do Dang. To my right, Mena RD. Gentlemen, I don't want to take too much of your time. First, I will start with Mena RD. You going up against Knuckle Do. You guys may be friends, whatever that means, but in the end of the day, he stands in your way of a title. What are you thinking going into this match with Knuckle Do? Out of any match, all that I think about is winning, getting this championship, getting it for the Dominican Republic, for Bandits Gaming, for the people that support me. And I do appreciate Do. He's the reason that I am here today. He helped me come to the USA, and I really appreciate that. But we'll talk about it with... <laughs> We'll talk about it and celebrate right after the tournament, but this is my tournament. Knuckle Dude, you were the first Street Fighter V Capcom Cup champion. You come back to Street Fighter VI, and of course, you start off like a supernova. Up to this point, you have been phenomenal. You are fighting for more than yourself. It's of course your sponsor, more importantly, your family, two beautiful baby girls and a wife at home. Knuckle Dude, what are you thinking going into Grand Finals? <laughs> I'll be mean, honestly, I wasn't gonna come here. Like I was uh, Uma's replacement, but and I was I wanted to check out. I wanted to just take a month off break, but I couldn't say no to Rebel Kumite. Like the production is just amazing. The you want to be a part of an event like this, so I had to say yes. And I'm grateful I'm say I said yes because now I'm in grand finals against the two-time Capcom Cup champ. You know. Knuckle Dude, take your positions. It is time for grand finals. This crowd is electric, but I would expect nothing less of New York City. Before we get into the action, we're gonna send things over to our commentators. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. We had a long weekend. We had the play-ins, last chance qualifier. Yes. We are officially here at the curtain call for the Red Bull Kumite New York City Grand Finals. New York City, I need y'all to make one, I need y'all to make noise for the one time, y'all. This is the curtain call. We're about to party and all that afterwards. But let's appreciate these beautiful fighting games. I love y'all. Y'all ready to know the vibes, man. This is crazy. Let's talk about this. Let's Match talk up. about it. Knuckle do dang. 
versus Mena RD, the strongest bull, Ooh. the strongest bull, and obviously has been making a war path since Street Fighter VI began and Street Fighter V ended. He's been one of these players that you literally can't count out no matter what the tournament, what the opposition, who's in there with it, it does not matter. Mena RD is the man to beat in Street Fighter VI, no questions about he it. He is the man to beat, but don't worry, don't forget that Knuckle Dew, he's the first Street Fighter V Capcom Cup champion. Right? He's the first one. Mena's the two times. So we have a Capcom Cup versus another Capcom Cup champion. Okay, right? okay. And we got to think about the matchups. Obviously, Knuckle Dude's main is Guile, but Mena's best friend is Guile, Kaba. Mm. Right? That's going to be crazy when it comes to the matchup. It is. It's kind of crazy. And Mena's confidence, I mean, the DR squad. New York is might as well be another spot yeah, for like a bro. lot of like yeah, this man. DR representative. You are DR. I know you are biased my, as well too. My man was in the I'm crowd. A, he's in the I, crowd. You were over like, there. I said, where is Yipes? And I looked across and he was in the thick of it. Yes. Right in the middle with the rest of the Dominicans. Jeez. Well, first and foremost, before we even continue this, man, shout out to Tasty Steve and Justin <laughs> Wong. I should have introduced y'all, but you know what? Y'all are the main focal point of this show. It's the people. It's the people. And of course, people. Justin Wong. My man, Justin bro. Wazza. This is crazy that I'm actually sitting here 20 plus years later and I'm commentating with Justin Wong. You guys have no idea what that's like right now. It's man. crazy. It's crazy because you just called him ass in your chat the other day. I did. I was there. I, I did. Heard, I, saw I did. It. Listen, <laughs> I, I'm just not a fan of well done steak. Yeah, that's what it comes down we to. We need not to bring bro, the, let's, let's not do that right now. Alright guys, hold on. Let me ask this question before we start. Uh, Y'all hate me if I say I love medium well steak? No, medium's alright, bro. Medium's okay. No well done. Alright, it's no cool. Well done. No well done. I'm just saying. It's okay. I mean, yesterday I did say uh, chopped cheese is a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> Disrespectful. Disrespectful. See what I'm saying? This guy is uncultured there. swine. I mean, He's uncultured swine. You got to think about it. It's the same there. concept, though. He, yo, it's kind of similar. I, you know what? He had me going. He was like, yo, Steve. <laughs> yo, Steve. <laughs> he was like, yo, Steve. <laughs> oh, my God. But before we even get to this action, man, let's just go over to the battle kids. <laughs> Rob TV, man. Take it away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Before this last match, I'm gonna ask you one thing. Can you please rise to your feet to show some love to our final two competitors? How many years have we traveled to locals? How many money matches? How much arguing with the stream monsters? You name it. Flying all across the world to play fighting games. And one of those meccas is right here in New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, the two men in that cage have dedicated their life to the fighting game community. They have dedicated their life to honing their craft and entertaining all of these beautiful fans that we have right here in this audience and watching from home. With that being said, it is finally time. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. The FGC is on top. Can you please make some noise if you are ready for grand finals of Red Bull Commander! Oh my god, oh. here we go. Do you think a blind pick was called though? I feel like, ooh, we man, got Cal no. versus Blanca. No, we going on. Is just he going like on Blanca? No JP. Usually, Mena picks JP against Knuckle Deuce Guile. Now, if you remember, remember the World Warriors East Coast Regional Final. Yes, Talk it was him. Mena RD versus Knuckle Dude, and Mena won that. That's how he qualified. That's how he yep. qualified. So, this is kind of serious that we're seeing this in an offline setting. For the one more time, man, before we get out of here, make some noise. This is the grand finals, y'all. And look at this, North, this Northeast, man. A lot of people talk about which region was kind of strong. They're like, yo, Japan and everything. But it's a Northeast Finals right yep, here. It's I'm with Northeast Finals. Now you okay, but the pressure is on right now. But let's get familiar for the people at home that don't know. These guys see each other on the frequent. Now, mind you, I, I would think it would have been Punk and uh, Knuckle Dude at the end of this. But, you know, Men RD, of course, showing why he is the best or one of the best. You know what I'm saying? But this is a familiar match for those that have been watching the culture. But we got a serious setting here at Rebel Puma. Yeah, oh, wow. it gets clipped by the ball. Yeah, it's really tough right here. The thing is, Knuckle Dude can play a little bit more confident with the booms. He doesn't have to worry about too much, right? But the thing is, when Mena gets that lightning beast, he's the best at it. Yeah, he, don't, he knows how to control the screen very well. Burns you out a lot of times. Always aware of the drive. He's one of those. Oh, there also, we go. You got to talk about 
the matchup, the fact that Mena RD has one of the best, if not the best guy out there questionable. Get off Kappa of me. In the stable of training, bro. You can't ask for better. Sonic Booms set the tone. Even though he's ashy, he's still classy. This mm. is Gaio right here. Mm. Best booms in the oh, business. Oh, nice. What a slide. Caught him walking back. That was so clutch. Yeah, Mena yeah, RD. Yeah. I'm surprised not to press the button. Maybe try to wake up level one or anything like that. But yeah. it's really surprising. Oh, nice anti-air. Oof. Ready. Good two-piece combo Oof. right there. Yo, it could be a snowball. That could be a 5-0, 5-4. This is going to be a serious set, y'all. Y'all better pack in. Get your Yo, snacks. This is about ready. to be serious. Yep. Okay, nice oh, jump, in. jump in. Hard reach. Jumped in with the fungus. Uh. Take him. Nice. Oh, wow. Layers. That's a setup. Oh. Layers all day. Electricity. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Nice. Close Holding the parry. The I like that. Went for a perk parry, didn't bite. Knuckle Dew, what are you gonna do? I like I like the patience on the side of Knuckle Dew right here. Knows he's gotta keep the momentum in his favor. Yep. Control the speed away this game goes. Whoa! Oh. Hard read, maybe a hop, uh, input error, I wanna jumping. say it's an input error, for okay. sure. Yeah. Maybe he tried to do like forward heavy kick, and maybe he just buffered a little Fast. bit too much. Yeah. Just a one. Oh. But it's okay, because Mena didn't punish him too hard. Yep. Oh, Ooh, nice. What? You knew? Nice hard read with the hard cross read. medium kick. All right. Give me that, parry. You gotta be careful. Almost. He has the ball. No charge. Yo. We're coming to the top. You gotta throw the boom. Watch out for the slide. Oh, He's trying to bait out a jump. That was up. Yes, exactly. That was up. He's giving him looks. He's giving him different looks. Giving him looks. Oh, oh no. Nice. One, trying to hit the drive run. Great, yeah. One great idea. Round. Great idea right there. Wait, did he dry rush with low forward? Yeah, he dry rushed low forward, stopped it, right? And then Momento reacted. It's just that it just yeah. didn't go far enough. And you can see he's been using that crotch and medium kick to kind of like set up his jump ins and make sure you're not like doing anything early. I like what Knuckle Dude's doing. He's controlling the pace. Yes. Let's go. Mm, the counter post, crotch is strong. Everybody's favorite button. Didn't check the dash. Oh, not Didn't check ready. the drive impact. And that's actually really, really rare. Knuckle Dude's really good at doing drive impacts in the corner. But remember, Mena's just so good at just switching up his offensive options, man. This is so tough to react. And he got the Blanca Chan out there. Level one. Just up. Is it a kill? Damn. Yes, it is. He died. First blood oh. from Mena RD. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? Obviously, you know who I want to win. Yes. Right? Yes. But I promise you, this might go to the wire. I mm. feel it. It's in the air. Mm. Okay. He's selecting characters. Obviously, his secondary is going to be like Cammy. But do you really pick Cammy against Mena, who just 5 0 punks Cammy? Yep. I mean, look at it like this. Uh, we mentioned, you mentioned that earlier, Steve. You mentioned that earlier as well. His best friend is Kaba. So he's very That's familiar saying, of just being bro. aggressive, walking him down, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like if you want to go against the bull, you got to be no. just as aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but go for the guy. Yeah, go for the guy. The one thing Knuckle Dew hasn't really just used a lot, it's like he's kind of scared of the neutral. He's like, I don't know when to throw yep. Sonic Boom. I don't know when to even use Dry Rush Bazooka Knee. Right? He needs to kind of prove the offense, the aggressive play style that Knuckle Dew has. What? Oh, Whoa! Nah. Did he what? go under that? He went under the DI. That's crazy. Coward crouch for days. With me eyes, did I see him tuck the DI? Oh, boy. What? Sonic Boom, yep. Let's go. The harpoon shooter himself. No, that's a punish right there. Um, and it's okay. Mena's willing to take us because that's such a big normal and it's such a big win, right? Because if it crush counters, he's going to get a big damage right there. If it knocks down, he's going to get the Oki from there. And a lot of times, it's really hard to punish. Okay. So just a what? You hear this geek? My man is dropping the balls right now. Reactions on the flash kick. Oh, nice. nice. Good trade. We'll take that trade all day. Yeah. I like how slow this is going for Knuckle Dude. Men RD trying to find a way in with the Blanca. Yeah. Once he get in, that lightning piece, you already know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Nice, mm -hmm. perfect parry there. Again, oh, look at that. That's max distance, too. It Always is. keeping it safe. Speaking uh -huh. of distance, perfect spacing right there to get that. Uh huh. Back to the parkour tour. Yeah. yeah. Back, back up. One. Back up. We saw how he used that slide early on. Speaking of which, there it is. It's yeah. still there. It's still there. Ooh, Ooh. get off of me. Florida, get off Shine, of me! Shiny boots. Florida, you better keep the strings tight. That was a shiny boots. That was moist heat nice. flash kick. I love the conversion. Knuckle Dude is like the only gal that really can yes. get those like random boom conversions in the drive rush. Yes. Uh -oh. But uh oh, this is Mana Special right here. The level two. Time the to make the the Throw the blocker chop, please. I want to see the toys. Okay. I don't got no kids, but I play with the toys. Nice, oh. nice. Oh. Let me go throw it in there. Oh, oh, the big block. punish. Big punish. Extension off of the Blanca chain. What we, what's it going to be? Rainbow For the finish? Ball. Level one? Yeah, level one right here. That's the finisher. Yeah. Oh, my Two, God. Zero. Oh. That was optimization Man. station. It is. Next stop. It's so Optimized. tough. It's like... This is this is such a good matchup for Mena. Like you said, Kaba's a trading partner. Yeah. 
too familiar with these situations, man. And on top of that, you have to remember, man, men are indeed known to have many characters under the sun. We've already seen it be displayed in multiple events. Oh, That's Max, right. this is a safe. Yeah, what are you going to do? You have, you have to drive rush behind it to ah. kind of like force a pressure, force a situation. Oh, my okay, man. He committed to the jump this time and actually got the hit on Duke mm, right okay. here. Up, goes for the fake cross up. <laughs> let, me, let me get a bite. Go for the jab. No OD electricity. It's that late night snack. Oh my god, the throw. No, looking for it. The shimmy. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a fun. You can't contest with that. You thought Luke's crouching medium punch was bad? Nah, Check out Blanca's. Yo, this guy, man, is cooking my right now. Is, wow. He's hot. Yo, yo, get, bring my apron here. That man is so hot right now. Nice, perfect parry. Uh, and that's okay. I mean, Mena's all right with that because even though he has two bars, the slide, he's going to get the offense going. Nice wake up level one. You have to do something like that. You got to play risky, dude. I appreciate that from Dudo attacking the drive. Game. Wow, perfect parry. Stand oh by my the God. jump in again. Yeah. And he's not dead, but the situation is not going to be favorable. He's going to set up the toys. It's, oh, no. yeah, it's dead. Oh, no. You left him on the floor. Right. You got him on the floor. How dare you? Buy my plushie. Knuckle do, I'm sure. With two kids deals with this enough. He's like, you left all these damn toys on the floor? Oh, pick it up, man. Why are you not cleaning it up? Oh, my God. And mind you, if this was a regular day here in the FGC, this tournament would have been over already. But that's what's special about yes. Red Bull Kumite. You got to play those sets. You got to finish the damn yeah, job. First the to job. five. And, you know, that whole round, like, just happened because, one, Nakadu's looking for the punish with the sweep, yep. right? Yep. And guess what? Like you said, the distance, the spacing Mena's yeah. using is perfect. Mm -hmm. Nuggle Dude thought he could punish, and gets he got punished for trying to punish. Facts. Yeah. You that's, reach. That, that's what you get for assuming. Yes. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, the range, because Guile has one of the longest sweeps in the game. It can punish almost everything that should be punishable. For, but the Blanca pushback on that unique normal right there, right? You, I like yeah. that unique yeah. normal. Yeah. It is pretty unique, huh? Normal. Nice little pushback. That they is used true. to call them special normals back in the Speaking day. of which. There it is. Do it again. And Mena's okay. He's up three. That means he can take more risks. That's he true. He can play more aggressive. And people actually Bro. don't understand that. Like, I know a certain situation, like, man, he got a lead. Why is he taking those risks? Because he's up that many games. Yeah. Nice. Wake up back throw. You can try to force the situation a little more, doing something a little crazy. Scare your opponent in the top yeah, of that Ooh, reactions. Oh, wow. Man. Whoa, perfect parry sweep. I like that. What a oh, choice. Oh, not ready for the DI ah. in the corner. This is not good. It's really surprising. Like I said, he's... Mena's in Knuckle Dude's head right now. A ball, Whoa. level one. Whoa. No, doesn't do it. All oh, right. that's a setup. Wow. Yo, that's a setup. That's, that looks really interesting. Meaty. <laughs> Meaty. You wake up to that. Yeah, Dude is definitely not vegetarian. Oh, oh yep, there is the crumple. Punish, that's going to be damage. And look, level two's on deck. Watch out. Don't block the OD electricity. Mm, okay. There he goes. You have to fight back, dude. Nice. The trades are not in your favor, though. Definitely a menace, for sure. That is tough. Oh, the sweep. Every time? so ready with the slide. Yep. Activate. I was really just about to say it. Lightning Get, beast. Yeah, we're going to get a combo. One more guess for game, though. Nice. Looking for the throw tech. Uh, this is a combo. It's dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he no, went no, no, backwards. No, right he chose the wrong okay. one. Yeah, the toys don't want no smoke. There it is. Death. Oh, what a punish. Nah. nah. Perfect nah. parry. Sweep. That boy could. I mean, that's the gap. Yo. That is the gap. What the fact that he was ready. Wow, yeah. are you even human? Okay, there it is. Knuckle dude. Still counter in there. Still, yeah, a, still the in red form. Got yeah. the counter hit on the nice. medium kick. Able to get the flash kick on the follow up. That's uh -huh. right. You have to be more aggressive, too. Play your way. Play your style. Yeah. And you got to get into this range where he's, he has to respect the booms and you got to be weary of slides. He has a natural counter to it, but you got to make him play oh. that game. Damn, even, nice. even seeing punish. it with. Good punish, All right, flash get that kick. Good combo. Back to the parkour tour. Now yeah. you got to think about it. But that slide, the threat is there. Yeah, man. It's one of those things you really have to the jump into in. account this time. Oh, Take with the reset. The reset with the stone head. The brick. Oh, oh. That should. No, not enough. Ah, right not there. enough. But what do we get? What's the guess? Nice. Oh, my God. We're in the corner. This is tough. No, oh, got all the resources. He stopped the pressure. You got to chip him out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Had That's the right way. idea. He, he had the right idea, but did it a little too late off of the hop. And you can tell from here, like, Nakadu's not playing with enough confidence. Yeah, no, Mena's yeah, the does. one of all the confidence. Man, he got his people behind him, man. That's a cheat code, for it real, for real. It is a cheat code. And that's a major part about having fighting game like prowess, man. You got to be confident in your decisions. No second guessing. That may be too much man. confidence. Way too much confidence. Flash kick going to get him in trouble. Okay. Oh, my God. One mix away to finish the job. Ooh. Yo, lightning beast. I love back. that. So Yo. good. Match point. Oh Match point for Mena. Is this going to be a domination? 5-0, 5, -0, 5, -0 5 -0 powdery to donut. 5 to do, possibly? Wow, the hop back. Looking no for punish the there. Kick. Cannot. Yep. You got to drive rush. There oh, we go. Perfect, perfect parry. Goes for a button this time. Attack on drive bar. Attack Make on sure. that all day. 
Make sure. Okay. He takes a couple of those options off Oof. the table. You know Oof. he's about to do slide. Kick in the door. Kick in the door. Like Kaba. Uh. That's fact. He does kick doors. All right. Knuckle Dew. He has level three. Any touch, he's going to combo that level three to crit. They just close the health deficit, oh, right? Not ready for the jump. Only Did one he more mess way. up the crouch face? He got a stand face instead. That is very oh, unfortunate. No! no! Okay. Oh, my God. Level two is coming from Meta. One gets away for the championship. There it there is. There it is. No pump way. The, pump the chest. Block a chance coming out. You're Burn burning out. out. You, are you going to react with level three? This is your shot. The shimmy. Meta. RD. Just like that, the crowd goes wild. My Dominican, my beautiful Dominican people, is you should on. be up there. <laughs> right? Yeah, you should be up there. Yeah, go get up there. <laughs> my man, yipes, leaves the get test. Get in there. You was biased in there, hey, bro. You know what? Mama Mena in there. I messed it up. It's cool. It's all right. I was going to run up there, but I didn't want to drag the equipment. Yeah, bro, you would have took the whole table with you. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Let me not do that. I am mad hype. I'm not yeah, even going to lie. Nah, nah, nah. Yo, shout outs to Mena RD. Shout outs to the DR for coming all this all way. All the way. Us back the entire time. The not family. just family. But Capcom Cup as well. So many supporters. This man has transformed most of the country into DR supporters, bro. That's crazy. It's insane because... When, before this event, Logan took an Uber here, and the Uber's like, yeah, I know Mena. Mena RG in the Uber. I remember that. In he the Uber, X, right, he Logan. Like, he was yeah. like, yo, I know what you're here for. I and know Mena what you're RD here for. Yes, that's the, the man. That's the person you should be here for. That's the champ. Oh, that's the, you gotta call it like it is, man. Mena RD, I said this before the set even began. He is the man to beat in Street Fighter VI. I mean, obviously, this ain't no, no shade to anybody else, but when I tell you pound for pound, one of the strongest, if not the strongest, Tender to any bracket, it's gonna be Bandit's Mena RD. As long as he's rocking like this, he's going to be the main play player with the target on his back, and he's gonna continue to be able to put DR on his back, man. You can't Yo, say nothing less. You're bro. so happy. Look, it's not even, to be honest, I'm not even, you know, obviously I'm biased naturally because my man's Dominican, but it's just. I'm just so happy for fighting games, dude. Like, yeah, these guys are like great. some of our best ambassadors. Like, you want to have an example? It's crazy. But yo, let's, let's go on to the arena, see what Rob TV got to say to our competitors and the champion. Take it away, Rob. First off, congratulations to our winner, Mina RD. But before we get to that, can we please put our hands together for our runner-up, Knuckle Doom! I can't do that right now. I don't, Battle King don't like to shake hands, but I wasn't gonna leave you hanging after you just won like that. That said, Mena RD, what I wanna ask you about is not just where you are right now, but in context. There's so many real conversations that I know that you have with the people about your beginnings. Mena, knowing where you started, even before the FGC, what does it mean to you to have a moment like this and to be as dominant as you are? What it means, my bro, is that I had a reality. You know, in my past, in my beginnings, I had a reality, but I dared to dream. I, I wanted to dream and I wanted to believe that that fantasy will become real. And not only God allowed it to become real, but it allowed my community, the people that shared the reality with me to also share my fantasy, my dream. Mena, with the amount of people that come out to support you at these events, they scream, they cheer, they're clapping. The pressure that most players will be under there will break them. However, you go up against Punk the God in semifinals, 5-0, world-class player. Go up against Knuckle Dude while he's red hot, you do the same thing. Can you speak to us about what this means to you as far as the support that you have right here in this crowd and for all of the Mena RD supporters and fans at home? What I have to say is that 
for this to happen, for this beautiful moment to happen, there's a lot of people that have to work really hard. You know, the people at Red Bull, you right now working really hard, Abu, all of the people that came here, my team, also the people that support me are also working really hard. They have to leave their home to come and support me. But what I wanted to say is everyone has their own little piece that they, you know, share to the community. And this is what I share, good moments, good gameplay. So I have to do my job. And I'm glad that I was able to do it and that y'all enjoyed it. That said, Mena, it is very important that we get to your reward for being the Red Bull Kumite champion. Sheriff, can you please bring us the trophy, the God Hand? Now, Mena RD, for winning Red Bull Kumite in dominant fashion, no less, you are going to receive the God Hand, which absorbs the skill of all of the other fallen fighters before you. And now, your fighter card is officially maxed out. You are the only player in the world with a maxed out card. Sheriff, please give him his God Hand. And before, And before we close this out and show the most love possible to our champion, I just want to say thank you on behalf of myself, all of the talent team, the production, Red Bull in general, New York City, you have been absolutely phenomenal, amazing, and I can't believe that the FGC has gotten to this point. If you want to know what's next with Red Bull Kumite, make sure you stick around after this. That said, it is time to blow the roof off of this place for our Red Bull Kumite champion, Mena R.D. Champion's valor will be remembered. They've achieved the God Hand, allowing them to max out their fighter card. Okay, that's pretty fancy. But why are you stressing? We should be celebrating. I'm hearing of more warriors. Far more than I anticipated. Another tournament is needed. Another tournament? Where? Back to where it all began. 